I have been reborn as a colorful little black tiger, with the soul of a human and the physique of a northeast tiger. In this life, I am destined to become a legendary tiger in this forest. My mother is a white tiger, and so is my father, but I am just a little black tiger. As everyone knows, white plus white equals white. My father couldn't understand why I changed color, so he left home in anger, leaving behind me, my mother, and a tiger brother. However, in my opinion, this tiger brother is a bit foolish. When I was just a month old, one day my tiger mother went out hunting, leaving me and my tiger brother playing in the den. My playful brother slowly ventured out of the cave, but unexpectedly encountered a blind adult bear passing by. As fellow hunters, the bear naturally didn't spare the young cub as its prey. The blind bear roared and charged towards my brother, who was frozen in fear. In a critical moment, I dragged my brother into the cave. Fortunately, our tiger mother returned in time, and we were both saved from danger. If it weren't for my tiger appearance, but actually having a human soul, perhaps I would have perished in this dangerous forest long ago. This experience has made me urgently strive to possess the ability to protect myself. At mealtime, Tiger Mom lay in front of us and gently opened her belly. At first, I resisted, but when the warm mother's milk flowed into my mouth and stomach, a warm current spread throughout my body, and I felt better. So when it came to eating, I was more active than my mischievous tiger brother behind me. After a few months of growth, I found that I seemed to be different from other tigers. First, I had a particularly large appetite and always felt like I couldn't eat enough. Secondly, my body developed faster than my tiger brother, who was born around the same time. I was almost 40 kilograms at 5 months old, while my tiger brother was only a little over 20 kilograms. However, during another feeding of tiger milk, just after a few mouthfuls, tiger mom stood up and didn't let me eat anymore. I knew that her milk was obviously not enough, and we were also at the age to be weaned. Perhaps soon we would have to try eating meat. Although I had turned from a human into a tiger, eating meat was inevitable. Despite the remnants of my humanity making me resistant to bloody meat, when Tiger Mom threw a piece of bloody pork ribs at me, the hunger in my stomach made me unable to resist taking a bite. At the same time, a larger warm current appeared in my belly, gradually spreading throughout my body. It seemed that eating meat was more suitable for me. Finally, another month has passed, and we have reached our six-month mark. When Tiger Mom goes out hunting, she takes me and Tiger Brother with her. I know that this is for us to learn hunting skills. Suddenly, Tiger Mom's expression becomes focused and calm, with a hint of coldness in her eyes. She has spotted prey, a group of dense spotted deer ahead. Every few minutes, the deer raise their heads to observe their surroundings. I quietly lie beside, watching Tiger Mom hunt and learning from her experience. Tiger Mom is clearly an experienced hunter. The three of us tigers are positioned downwind, so the deer cannot smell us. Tiger Mom signals for me and Tiger Brother to stay put while she slowly crawls towards the deer, closing the distance little by little. Spotted deer are easily startled and run very fast. Even for an experienced hunter like Tiger Mom, she must approach with caution and only attack when she is completely confident. Hunting requires no fancy techniques, only utmost patience. An hour passed, and both Tiger Brother and I were getting impatient while Tiger Mom continued to wait quietly. Taking advantage of the environment and fur color as camouflage, Tiger Mom closed the distance between her and the musk deer to within 100 meters. Then, seizing the moment when the deer herd relaxed their vigilance, Tiger Mom swiftly crawled forward, bringing the distance between them to within 80 meters. This distance was enough for her to launch an attack with a success rate of over 80%. But in order to ensure a 100% success, Tiger Mom chose to continue waiting. When one of the musk deer took a few steps towards Tiger Mom, she swiftly emerged from the low grass like lightning, catching up with the deer with a powerful burst of speed. Using her weight advantage, she knocked down the male deer and quickly found the right position with her jaws, locking the prey's throat and bringing it to its demise. The entire hunting process was very short, less than 30 seconds but the waiting time was extremely long. Tiger Mom dragged the deer in front of me and Tiger Brother, just licking the bloodstains at the corners of her mouth, then took two steps back and lay down. Obviously, this was a signal for me and Tiger Brother to eat first, but Tiger Brother was not used to eating such bloody meat. Just as it was about to lower its body to suckle, it was sternly swatted away by Tiger Mom's paw. Tiger Brother walked away with a whimper, looking very aggrieved. By now, I had already enjoyed my meal, finished my portion and still felt a bit hungry. I gathered up the courage and walked towards the remaining food. Seeing this, Tiger Mom let out a low growl and then turned her head to the other side. With the silent consent of the tigress, I devoured the lower half of the stag and, at the same time, a stronger surge of warmth rose from my abdomen. At present, I don't know what this warmth is, but every time it flows through my body, I feel an inexhaustible strength. In the following days, 
the tigress played with us, her two brothers, in the open space where she resided. Through this method, we trained and disciplined ourselves in hunting and self-defense skills, and the days passed slowly in this leisurely yet serious manner. Until one day, on the way back from a hunting trip, the mother and her two cubs heard a deep and terrifying roar of a tiger spreading through the forest. It was an unfamiliar male tiger. The tiger mother immediately became tense, leaping to a higher place to observe and investigate the surroundings. As for the tiger cub, it stayed in place but its body trembled slightly. The aura mixed within the roar of the king made it feel terrified. After a while, the tiger mother returned and led us to take a different path back to our den. One mountain cannot accommodate two tigers, especially when the tiger mother was also carrying two underage cubs. If we were to encounter that male tiger, the tiger mother's size and strength could easily be overwhelmed by the male tiger, and neither I nor the tiger cub would have a chance of survival. That night, I couldn't sleep well. It was the first time I felt a huge threat from the outside world. If I were given another year or two to grow, I wouldn't be so uneasy when facing similar situations. All fear stems from insufficient strength. For the Amur tiger, the process of breeding cubs can last for about three years. The first year and a half is the most dangerous time for the cubs. During this period, the female Amur tiger does not go into heat. As a result, when other unfamiliar male tigers try to mate with the female tiger and encounter her with cubs, they will try to kill the cubs and force the female tiger to submit. If the female tiger fights back against the male tiger, the male tiger may not leave any room for the female tiger and may even kill her completely. In order to ensure the safety of our two cubs, the tiger mother starts patrolling the territory hundreds of kilometers around, unwilling to let any unfamiliar male tiger invade her territory. This is a very dangerous signal. After the male tiger completes its breeding task, it will leave and generally not participate in the task of raising the cubs. Even when the cubs grow up, it is unlikely to see the tiger father all the time. At most, every three or four months, the male tiger will come with food to visit and bond with the cubs, getting familiar with each other's scent. For several consecutive days, the tiger mother did not let the two of us follow her out to hunt. At the same time, after several days of patrolling the territory, there were no signs or sightings of unfamiliar male tigers. This made the tiger mother completely relieved and she continued to take us out to hunt. Until one day, something unusual happened. While hunting for prey, a female tiger encountered the remains of a male bear, estimated to have weighed over 300 kilograms. Only the skull and skeleton remained, indicating that it had been eaten. Next to the bear carcass, clear and large tiger paw prints confirmed the strength of this unfamiliar tiger. The tiger mother approached nervously, realizing that even if she wanted to hunt down a male bear of such weight, she would undoubtedly suffer serious injuries. However, after carefully examining the surroundings, she found no signs of injury on the unfamiliar tiger. Generally, during the summer season, there are plenty of prey available for hunting, so there was no need to engage in a battle with a fully capable male bear, unless the other tiger was simply driven by a desire to kill. At this moment, I couldn't help but feel a chill in my heart. If my mother and I, the three tigers, were to encounter this unfamiliar tiger, we might not survive in its mouth. What's even more terrifying is that if this unfamiliar male tiger is in its prime, its purpose is likely to be to find a suitable territory and a mate to reproduce with. After all, stray male tigers generally do not hunt in the territory of other Siberian tigers, which is a serious invasion. Tiger mom is obviously worried about this, so she leads us towards an unfamiliar mountain forest, where we can find our father, the best option to survive this crisis. But tiger mom is worried about who it will encounter first. Perhaps under the pressure of the unknown male tiger, tiger mom urges us to keep moving. The more we fear, the more it comes true. A loud tiger roar echoes through the forest. Tiger mom dare not delay. Vaguely, a tremendous pressure envelopes its heart. Tiger mom is certain that something is chasing us from behind, and it is very likely to be the male tiger we have never met before. Animals have a near instinctual trust in their own intuition. Thinking about the male tiger's intentions, tiger mom can't help but feel nervous again. Now all we can do is try to keep a sufficient distance from this unfamiliar male tiger. And so, the three of us, mother and cubs, tirelessly run for two hours, covering a distance of nearly 40 kilometers. Despite our efforts to escape, luck did not favor us. Just as we emerged from a dense thicket into an open area, the tigress was the first to react. She leaped out, blocking our path, and let out a fierce roar. A few hundred meters ahead, a majestic and powerful male tiger had been waiting, judging by its size and fur color. It was a recently matured tiger in its prime, weighing over 270 kilograms. Unless something unexpected happened, it would defeat the older male tiger, take over its territory, and establish its own legend by finding a mate and leaving behind its offspring. Although the tiger mother is much larger than the average female Siberian tiger, 
She has no chance of protecting both tiger cubs in front of such a massive male tiger. She must do something. The tiger mother tentatively let out a low roar, hoping to scare the other tiger away. However, in the face of the tiger mother's warning, the male tiger not only showed no intention of backing down, but instead approached her with a hint of gentlemanly composure. Taking slow steps, it seems that it intends to communicate with the tiger mother first and avoid violence if possible, as it would also have to pay a price once a fight breaks out. The two adult tigers, one male and one female, stood facing each other, and the atmosphere in the scene became extremely tense at this moment. Any slight mistake could lead to a major battle. Obviously, the male tiger's patience is also limited. It stared at the tiger mother and slowly approached from the side. It is confident that it can take down the tiger mother between a few strikes. I hid in the bushes, constantly observing the situation in the field, pondering how to break the deadlock. However, things in the natural world change in an instant. The male tiger, who was still strolling, suddenly rushed towards the tigress with great force. Fearless, the tigress met him head on. The fight lasted only a moment, and the tigress seized the opportunity to strike the male tiger's chest with a powerful blow. The immense force caused it to lose balance instantly and fall to the ground. If it made another move, the male tiger's sharp and elongated fangs would instantly bite its neck. Just as I was preparing for the final escape with tiger brother, a turning point appeared. Suddenly, from the nearby woods, there came a roar filled with anger. It was the roar of another male tiger, but to tiger mom, it seemed extremely precious at this moment. Even I, upon hearing this roar, felt an inexplicable sense of relief. With a roaring sound, a massive and astonishing northeast tiger appeared. It exuded a fierce aura that startled all the animals around. It was stronger, more ferocious, and more dominant than the male tiger that defeated Tiger Mom. At this moment, an uncontrollable killing intent surged through its body. This was Tiger Dad. In the Northeast Tiger family, male tigers have different responsibilities from female tigers. Female tigers are responsible for hunting, while male tigers, besides mating, patrol their own territory to ensure that no other adult male tigers invade. Additionally, when the female tiger is about to give birth, the male tiger will also drive away all large carnivorous animals within the female tiger's territory. After the birth of Xiao Hu, the male tiger would visit him on average every half a month to a month. And today, in this moment of danger, I finally saw Tiger Dad. In theory, if the Siberian tiger in the territory is in its prime, other Siberian tigers would not dare to invade the territory risking serious injury. However, now an unfamiliar adult male tiger has intruded into Tiger Dad's territory. If I hadn't heard Tiger Mom's call and rushed here in time, I'm afraid my wife and cubs would have suffered a terrible fate. Tiger Dad is very, very angry at this moment. Facing a male tiger who is slightly younger than him, there is no trace of fear in his tiger eyes, but rather a strong fighting spirit. Although both are kings of the beasts, the male tiger is precisely what the Tiger Dad fears the most. Moreover, judging from the size, Tiger Dad's weight completely surpasses my understanding. A 300 kilogram Siberian tiger is already considered to be closest to the peak existence, but Tiger Dad's weight definitely exceeds that number. A true king's aura is revealed on its body, and the atmosphere between the two male tigers gradually becomes tense. Although Tiger Dad is angry, he is not careless or underestimating the enemy. The unfamiliar male tiger also roars in its mouth, challenging Tiger Dad's authority. Although Tiger Dad looks intimidating, how could a male tiger who has fought and killed a male bear fear the strength of his opponent? A great battle is inevitable. A big battle was inevitable. The unfamiliar male tiger leaned forward with both paws, and was the first to emit the sound of a tiger whistle, roaring provocatively towards the tiger father. The tiger father was angry at the moment, facing the murderer who hurt his wife and son. How could this be tolerated? The next moment, only to see the tiger father eyes slightly condensed, the huge tiger body fierce force, limbs reveal a strong power. The horror of the destructive force at this moment broke out, such as a bolt of lightning, with a very fast speed to run. At the same time the mouth issued a furious hissing sound. It seemed to be using such a way to return the challenge of the male tiger. Chin Hu and Tiger Brother also appeared out of the grass at this moment, first nervously running to Tiger Mom's side and circling around to see that there was no danger to her life. Before turning their attention to the battle between the two kings, Chin Hu naturally hoped that Tiger Dad would win. After all, Tiger Dad's size predestined him to have great strength and fighting skills, and the advantage of his age allowed him to accumulate a wealth of brutal experience, which also predestined him to be the victor of this battle. A low growl came out of the tiger mother's mouth, softly comforting the two cubs that their father could surely drive away this vile wanderer. Sheen who stood not far away, watching the two beasts weighing over 500 pounds fight for their lives and tear them apart, his body shivering slightly. It was at this moment that he personally realized the terrifying nature of adult male tigers. 
Not only did they have superb explosive power and endurance, they also possessed killing techniques that were nearly perfect and best suited to them. Only such males could be called the king of all beasts by humans. It was hard to imagine that if Tiger Dad had come one step later, it would have been absolutely difficult for him to escape the tiger's mouth. Roar! Roar roar roar! The center of the battle was littered with sand and rocks, splattered by the battle between the two kings. Long and sharp enough canine teeth, coupled with sharp blades unleashed all between their paws. Whenever there was a battle, one side would always have to pay enough. Once the battle started, both sides were running to kill each other. Gradually, there was tiger blood splattering down in the field, but it was unclear whose it was. Sheen who was a little worried about this tiger father of his, although he was very powerful and had enough experience in fighting and killing. However, the other party was likewise not to be underestimated. To be able to tear down a brown bear and end up killing the other party completely and unharmed, such an opponent was rare and dangerous. While he was secretly worrying in his heart, after the scene was filled with a dragon fight, both sides were instantly dispersed again. The tiger's father's hair, back, is now dripping with blood. The male tiger on the other side was no better. Not only were the wounds on his body flowing with blood, but his forehead was even separated vertically from the center by the tiger father's long sharp claws, causing an open wound. The scene was shocking. The tiger brother in the distance was shivering with fear at the blood of his kind. Even Sheen who was nervous. Whoosh. After only a few moments of respite, the tearing began again. The male tiger leapt up and was about to pounce on the tiger father when he was stomped away with his legs by his touch. And the two kings continued to tear at each other despite their injuries as they lay flat on the ground. Each wanted to embed the long teeth in his mouth into the other's neck viciously, and then bit down dead, sending the other a decent. Between you and me, both sides exchanged battles, but the tiger father relied on his weight and experience to gradually gain the upper hand. It's too scary. If it were me, would I be given a bite of a little friend by the other party? Sheen Hu, who was lying on the side observing, was secretly shocked at the moment, his complexion taut, although he had also seen the scene of tigers fighting and tearing apart. But compared to what was in front of him, it was just like the difference between an adult and a child playing around. The smell of blood blew along the direction of the wind to the edge of the grass, adding a few points of worry to the hearts of the three-headed tigers waiting on the sidelines. In the next second, Sheen whose heart was shocked, he saw that the tiger's father had added a new wound to his ribs, and his brownish-yellow fur was dyed another color by the blood. Since the unfamiliar male tiger had his back turned, he didn't see if the other was also hurt worse. The tiger's father let out a howl his eyes cold as he launched another attack towards the other male tiger. Just as the two sides were about to kill each other again, the unfamiliar male tiger instantly shifted its figure and fiercely leapt towards the direction of Qin Hu's mother and son. In just a few jumps, the male tiger's figure had already arrived. Qin Hu was shocked by this sudden change. Just as he looked, a one-eyed male tiger pounced towards him with blood dripping, and in the moment of contact, he slapped him away with a claw, and then fled the way. Qin Hu only felt that his entire body was about to crack. A mouthful of blood instantly gushed out from his abdomen, all over his mouth and nose. Bad luck, bad luck. Jean whose heart suffocated, engage in a sneak attack. You can't afford to play. Who would have thought that after paying a heavy price, this male tiger would choose to escape? And before running away, he also disgusted the tiger father. Not to mention Jean who, even tiger mom didn't react to such a maneuver. Seeing the seriously injured male tiger escaping, Jean whose heart was relieved. No matter what, the crisis was lifted and the fight ended with Tiger Dad's victory, and that male tiger also paid its due price. However, Sheen who was not so lucky, at this moment, he was lying on the ground, not even having the strength to get up. Tiger Brother was the first to run over and anxiously licked his fur with his tongue, a whimpering sound coming out of his mouth as he cared for him anxiously. On the other side, Tiger Dad licked the wound between his ribs, then ran over with a heavy stride, his eyes sweeping over, a trace of uncontrollable tenderness flashing in his tiger eyes. He circled around the tiger mom's side, licking his fur and rubbing his head to comfort him, before walking over to Chin Hu to check on him. Roar! The tiger father licked the Chin tiger's fur, and there was some self-reproach in his expression. If he could have killed that vile tiger directly, his cub would not have suffered from this unwarranted disaster. Faced with such a situation, the tiger father had no other way, and directly plopped down in the middle of them, quietly guarding the three tigers of mother and son. This battle had also injured him quite a bit. But fortunately there was no major damage, and he would be able to recover in a few days. Compared to losing an eye, the tiger father's battle record was quite good. However, when he thought of the cubs and his mate being seriously injured by the male tiger, the tiger father's heart was still a bit angry. If he could meet again, he would not give the other party an opportunity to take advantage of it as he did today. Death is the biggest punishment for him. For animals, 
meet serious injuries such as this situation, seems to be only God's will, no human external medical conditions, can only rely on their own physical resistance to this kind of injury. In nature, animals also believe that death is the arrangement of God. After all, God is the biggest king in nature. If his wife and children ended up being seriously injured, at least there were more important responsibilities for him to bear. Woo! At this moment, Tiger Brother couldn't care less about being afraid, and let out a low whimpering roar at the strange and majestic father in front of him, before slumping down somewhat sadly against the other. Both his mother and brother were injured, and coupled with the battle just now, the terrified him also needed to find comfort. A rare moment of reunion, but under such circumstances, mud, it hurts. After an unknown amount of time, Chin who woke up from his stupor. At this moment, he only felt that his body was wrapped in a warm current, and an even more intense pain that he could not endure. Will I die? Judging his own injuries, Chin who instantly thought of this, then his eyes also revealed a mournful look. He hadn't even gone on to the peak of tiger life yet. How could it be gone like this? Chin who regretted in his heart, and before he could make his next move, the intense pain coming from all over his body completely knocked him out from the pain. But what he didn't know was that within his body, a wound that had been torn open between his flesh and blood was currently being rapidly repaired by a mysterious energy, slowing down his injuries and preventing him from dying immediately. At the same time, under the effect of this mysterious energy, his injuries were also developing in a good direction. Perhaps it wouldn't be long before the dark wounds in his body would be able to completely recover. Evening. The sky was a bit dark and gloomy, making people feel oppressed. The messy battlefield around, the broken branches and weeds, as well as the increasingly thick smell of blood, attracted flies that danced everywhere around, buzzing in the low altitude, distracting people. Sheen who woke up, the blood at the corner of his mouth had already dried up, and his fur was stared at by the annoying flies. Roar. A low voice rang out, Sheen who looked over. The tiger father was currently guarding at the side with a mournful expression. Seeing him wake up, there was a trace of tenderness in his expression. Maybe this is the father's love that belongs only to the tiger king. Tiger mother also woke up a long time ago. At the moment she cannot be counted as much good. The same look is a little depressed. Perhaps heard Chin whose voice. See him wake up. Want to struggle to get up and explore? But the pain through the body so that her tiger body trembling. And finally can only reluctantly sideways to look at a glance. The tiger's father stepped forward and gently pushed with his forelimbs, then lowered his head to comfort her. Chin who also did not expect that the northeast tiger, which was synonymous with ferocity and danger, would also have a tenderness that was difficult for humans to feel displayed in front of him. At this moment, on the contrary, the tiger brother on the side saw his brother and mother waking up, and was happily jumping back and forth between the two, occasionally rubbing against this one and then going to rub against that one, from time to time. Using his two front paws to pick at them to show his concern and joy, Sheen who tried to get up, the result is not as weak as he imagined. Although there is still a little pain coming from within the body, to more than a hundred times lighter than the pain that tore his heart and lungs before. Ha, huh, what is this? Just after getting up, Sheen who was stumped in place, because he realized that his body seemed to be undergoing some sort of change, a mysterious energy surged out from his abdomen, and at the moment, it all gathered in front of his chest and abdomen, making him feel warm. Even more miraculously, under the moisturizing of this mysterious energy, he felt that his state was moving a little bit in a better direction, and the pain was disappearing a little bit as well. It was as if, the wounds were rapidly healing in this warm feeling. Although Chin who didn't know what had changed in his body, it didn't seem to be a bad thing. He took slow steps forward, step by step. He walked in front of Tiger Mother and rubbed his head against her neck, without her protection. Chin who might have already had his neck bitten off by the male tiger and opened his neck's life early. Walking closer, he could feel the sorrow that flowed from the tiger mom's eyes. For a northeastern tiger, being seriously injured, the biggest possibility was to face death, which was too normal for them. The tiger mother seemed to have realized it as well, and was prepared for it. The strange male tiger was too strong to seriously injure her in a few rounds. And in such a deep forest, Chin who couldn't find any humans to seek rescue, if this era wasn't before he crossed over in his previous life, then what happened to them might be even worse than now. Seriously injured tiger mother now can only rely on her own to pull through. The good thing was that even if she was seriously injured, there was a male tiger guarding her side. If there was no male tiger guarding her, perhaps the consequences would have been even worse. Having the male tiger's protection meant that both the cubs in her were a lot safer, but it also made Papa Tiger's hunting mission more difficult in the future. To feed the family, Papa Tiger will have to go out hunting, and, not empty-handed or focusing on small prey. This, too, means that the risks associated with hunting will increase further. However, 
Papa Tiger does not hesitate for a second. After seeing that the cubs and the tiger mom were safe for the time being, he had also built up enough stamina. The previous battle had caused him to consume a lot of stamina and suffer some injuries, but this did not affect him from exercising his right as the king of all beasts. Roar. A thick tiger roar rang out, swearing his dominance while also giving tiger mom and the others a thick sense of security. Tiger dad voiced out, signaling his family that he was leaving and that he had to bear the burden of the hunt. Tiger brother was still mischievous jumping around Sheen Hu and tiger mom, but was a lot more stable than before, and would occasionally follow tiger dad's posture of sitting upright and staring ahead and then let out a wailing mo sound from his mouth, following his father's posture of guarding his family. After Tiger Dad left, Tiger Mom's expression became vigilant again, and Chin who lay on the ground, carefully feeling the flow of mysterious energy in his body, feeling the injuries in his body healing a little bit, it made him happy. He walked to the front of the Tiger Mother, and after carefully scanning through it, he found that it seemed to have broken a few ribs, and he didn't know if he had injured his internal organs. He tried to mobilize the mysterious energy in his body. Wanting to share it with Tiger Mom, but found that it was not under his control at all and could not be invoked. Glancing at Tiger Mother, who was still unaware of the severity of her injuries, Sheen who could only get next to him, mother and son leaning quietly together, comforting and encouraging each other in this way. Despite knowing that it was impossible for that strange male tiger to come back, the caution that should be there was still necessary. I wonder if this method will work. Looking up at the surroundings, Sheen who seemed to have thought of something, but after glancing at the gradually darkening sky, he rested the urge to practice it immediately. There was no human light bustle, nor was there the clamor and noise of cars. After the darkness enveloped the land, there were only the most primitive and authentic sounds, even though she was still injured. Tiger Mom was still alert from time to time, patrolling the surrounding area, waiting for Tiger Dad to return. I don't know how long, the night was deep, the temperature around gradually cooled down, the sound of insects also subsided a lot. There was a loud noise coming from the distance, making the mother and son of the three tigers waiting at the same place highly alert, but when she smelled it was a familiar odor, the tiger mother couldn't help but relax her guard, roar, the tiger's father returned, letting out a sound from afar to inform him, as if to say I'm back, he was dragging something heavy in his mouth and could only walk backwards, after coming closer and seeing the prey that tiger dad brought back, Sheen who couldn't help but suck in a mouthful of cold air, and at the same time, he also gained a further understanding of Tiger Dad's strength. This is a moose weighing more than 400 kilograms, almost the same weight as the Tiger Father, plus a pair of hideous antlers. It is hard to imagine how the Tiger Father killed such a behemoth and brought it back. Tiger Dad placed the prey close to him and made a vocal call to Chin Hu and the others to feed themselves, while he himself tore off a piece and walked over to Tiger Mom. Coming to the prey, Chin Hu realized that the moose's innards were almost emptied out, but the remaining part was still enough for them to eat for a few days. Strangely enough, after the first mouthful of meat was swallowed, Sheen who realized that the feeling of hunger in his belly had become even stronger. After tearing off the meat and chewing it and swallowing it, that warmth reappeared again, seemingly a little more than before. Sheen who felt that this was a good thing, and that this mysterious energy seemed to originate from within the food he ate. As long as he could eat more, the meat he ate would be able to be converted into this mysterious energy stored in his body. Currently, he hadn't found any other uses for this mysterious energy. But just the fact that it could repair the injuries in his body was enough for Chin Hu to use it as a means of preserving his life. Now that he had enough food, Chin Hu was also able to let go of his appetite to eat. In the large moose, only Chin Hu and Tiger Brother were tearing at it. The Tiger Father ripped off a few more pieces of meat and placed them next to the Tiger Mother. Watching her eat them, before he plopped down on the side, his tongue fluttered up and down, and the breath exhaled from his mouth turned into a white mist, as if the hunt had also consumed too much of his physical strength. The night was deeper. In the forest field, the air grew colder and colder. Chin Hu and Hu Di were embraced by Tiger Dad's entire body, to not feel much coldness, although everything around was quiet, and did not look like there was any danger. The Tiger Father still carefully guarded, occasionally raised his head to patrol a bit, occasionally turned sideways to check the condition of the Tiger Mother, like a man who cares about his family. The fog in the mountains and forests gradually heavy up, time also a little bit of time. The sky gradually turned from dark to gray. Tiger Mom and the two cubs frowning tightly also relaxed at this moment. After guarding the tiger all night, the tiger father was also a little tired. Taking advantage of the lightning sky, he also prepared to squint for a while. His physical strength had been severely depleted over the past two days, so much so that at this moment, he had just squinted his eyes for a while before falling into a deep sleep. With the food that Tiger Dad had brought back last night, they wouldn't have to worry about food for at least three days or so, and if they starved for two more days, they could stay in this place for another week or so, 
Jean who was the first to wake up from his sleep. Looking up and around, he gently stepped out of Tiger Dad's arms and stretched comfortably in the clearing in front of him, opening his mouth and sticking out his pink tongue, taking a breath of the oxygen-rich and moist air. A new day had begun. Perhaps the danger was eliminated. And Tiger Daddy woke up. Tiger Father's sensitive ears flicked, then opened his eyes to look at the two brothers, then put his heart down, turned around next to the Tiger Mother and continued to catch up on sleep. Tiger Brother seems to forget the previous fear. At this moment also finally no longer worried and afraid, and continued to play with Chin who beside him. However, not too close to the two parents, but toward the mountain forest. As for Chin who, at this moment, he did not have the mind to play and fool around. The memory of his previous life as a human being was still there. He wanted to do something for Tiger Mother. From the moment he saw that Tiger Mom was injured, Chin who had several methods floating in his mind. But after thinking about it, he could only save himself in the end. The good thing is that Chin whose previous life worked 9 to 5, coupled with a person living a lone life, but also in the spare time to read the habit of reading books, from literature across to historical literature, and then to the Yellow Emperor's classic of internal medicine and other medical classics he has involved. This time, he wanted to go to the forest to see if he could find some medicines for internal injuries. After all, most of the medicines that could be used by humans could actually be used by animals as well. Only the dosage and medicinal properties were a bit different. However, this did not affect Chin Hu's ability to validate his idea. With a light roar towards Tiger Mom and Tiger Dad, Chin Hu took a step towards the mountain forest in front of him. Tiger Brother was also following closely behind, bumbling after him, with an ow sound coming out of his mouth, as if to say, Brother, wait for me. The Tiger Father guarded the Tiger Mom, and did not worry about the two little ones having any accidents. In his territory, in addition to the prey, there are not many animals that can threaten the two little ones, let them explore the opposite is conducive to their growth. He seemed to be this idol when he was a child himself. Tiger father pondered for a while, comforted tiger mother and went back to sleep. In the mountain forest, Chin who changed from a slow walk to a trot, the young figure jumped between the mountains and forests, and looked like the king of the mountains and forests. Tiger brother is also very happy, for the first time without the tiger mother accompanied by the side, also let loose to play. To the surrounding forest everything is full of curiosity. Chin who occasionally stopped and then searched the grass in the forest. At this moment, it was the beginning of summer, and it was also the time of the year when the climate and rainfall were the most favorable. So a lot of Chinese herbs would also grow and sprout at this time. It would be even better if we could find a wild ginseng that was old in these places. I just don't know if this thing has any effect on tigers. All along the way, Chin who searched carefully, following the still clear images in his mind to start identifying the herbs. Tiger brother didn't know what he was doing. Seeing his brother peeling back the grass from time to time to sniff the green leaves, while he himself followed and did as he was told, and was occasionally attracted to the flying saucers in the forest, which didn't let anyone save him at all. Ow. Oh. After advancing towards the mountain forest for some distance, Tiger Brother suddenly opened his mouth and roared vigilantly at the mountain forest in front of him. At the sound, Chin who immediately became alert and turned around to check. In the forest ahead, the not-so-deep grass made swish-swish sounds. Obviously there was some kind of animal in it. Chin who did not let his guard down, and without moving, he protected Tiger Brother behind him. Swish. After a series of rattles, a row of wild boar cubs suddenly sprang out of the grass. Looking at their size and fur color, they seemed to have been born not more than a month or two ago. Seeing that it wasn't another large beast, Chin whose heart let out a sigh of relief. He then stopped his Tiger Brother who wanted to go forward and chase after them, and led him to quickly leave in another direction. A group of small wild boar cubs is just a group of small wild boar cubs. Don't have to care, but where the cubs are, they are bound to be followed by adult wild boars nearby. That thick-skinned contraption. With Chin whose current strength he couldn't threaten them. Instead he would easily be attacked. The only thing that mattered was to leave first and save his little life. It had to be said that this territory that Tiger Dad was in, the flora and fauna were quite rich and diverse. And along the way, Chin who found three plants that were used to treat internal injuries. Greeting Tiger Brother. He used his claws to plow them out, and then let him use his mouth to bite them to keep up with his pace. Chin whose heart was filled with the satisfaction of exploring and finding treasure. If only there were more good things in this forest field. Chin who lamented in his heart while stopping his steps. It was time to go back. They were far enough away from their parents' range, and the dangers of going further around became uncertain. Having these few herbs to use as test subjects was also enough. Ow roar. Greeting his tiger brother. Chin who then planned to go back. When Tiger Mom got better from her injuries, he himself could ask Tiger Dad to take him around this territory to see if he could find anything useful. On the way back, apart from the fact that it took a little longer, there were no accidents. Instead, 
they saw several waves of animals foraging for food. Seeing Qin Hu and Hu Di arrive, they instantly scattered and ran away. This made the tiger brother interested, chasing the tracks of the herbivorous action on the way to run nonstop. In the end, perhaps he was tired. And only then did he follow Qin Hu with his tongue hanging out, panting. Seeing the two cubs back, tiger parents also woke up. Compared to yesterday, the tiger mom's state of mind was much better. Xin Hu went forward and placed the medicinal herbs he had picked in front of the tiger mom and made a sound for her to eat them. The tiger mother pondered, then gently picked up one of the plants and started chewing it. The northeast tiger was also one of the omnivorous animals. Occasionally, it would also eat grass, just like the captive cats and dogs at home, and would also look for some plants to eat on its own when its body became unwell. This seemed to be the animal's instinct in general, being able to distinguish those plants that were beneficial to them. Tiger Mom ate the medicinal herbs Qin who found and did not experience any uncomfortable reactions. Qin who guarded the site for half a day, and then could not stand to wander around pacing. Tiger Father also some cannot stand the heat of the sun, looking for a slightly cool place to lie down. Tiger Mom tried to move her body, and the moment her front paws touched the bottom, she could still feel the pain in her heart. Even so, she endured the pain and moved over. Tiger's brother couldn't stand to be hungry and ran off to the side every few minutes to steal a few bites of moose meat. Under the baking sun, the moose meat began to emit a strong odor. If it was left any longer, it might have to rot. Unless it was starving and had no other food source, a tiger would not eat rotting meat. Now that the moose meat was still fresh, the family began to eat their lunch again in the shade. In order to maximize the consumption of meat, the family ate openly. After an hour, the moose meat that was originally enough for the family to eat for three days was only a pile of bones. The price was that the family, except for the tiger mom, had round bellies. After eating enough tiger father and mother are hiding in the shade to rest. Sheen who, on the other hand, was running back and forth, because he realized that after he ate, the stream of warmth became clearer and clearer, and if he ate his fill and then ran for a while, the feeling would be even stronger. Seeing this, tiger brother thought that his brother was playing some kind of game, and also followed behind him and chased together, occasionally biting Sheen who's tail, and occasionally pouncing on him as if he was prey all at once. Naughty. The summer climate is like the mood of a tigress, changing at the drop of a hat. One moment is still in the heat wave. The next second in the sky will gather the clouds will be hot sun cover. Not long afterward, a clap of thunder rolled by, accompanied by pouring rain came pouring down. For this woodland, summer was a time of abundant rainfall and lush grass growth. A time when herbivores could reproduce and have enough fresh plants to feed them. For carnivores, too, fresh and tender small animals are the best choice for most predators to relieve their hunger. It was precisely for this reason that Qin whose family was not in a hurry to worry about food. Instead they were here to accompany the injured tiger mom. Since the forest and field had just been washed away by the heavy rain, the vegetation in many places had begun to grow again, which naturally attracted a large wave of herbivores. This also ushers in hunting opportunities for tiger dad. When the mother was injured, half of the responsibility of raising the cubs fell back on him. After pacifying the tiger mom, another tiger paw pressed the tiger brother, who had secretly followed him to the ground, and after being aggrieved, he could only retreat to his mother's side amidst the tiger dad's majestic tiger roar, Sheen who, on the other hand, because of its large size, was brought along by the tiger father to go hunting, unlike the hunting style of the tiger mom, the tiger dad's style was much more rough and direct, with the tiger father's strength and speed, in this woodland, in addition to a small number of animals can be lucky to escape the tiger's mouth, most of the herbivores can only be in the tiger king's hunting obediently, Qin who also learned a lot in the process of hunting after Tiger Dad. For example, the rhythm of breathing during the hunt is different from normal, and there is also a subtle difference in the way of hunting power taught by both the Tiger Mom and the Tiger Dad. In order to let his cubs to be able to exercise the hunting skills, when he went out, the Tiger Father would specially catch some small prey similar to small stirrup antelope, small deer for Qin who to practice, over and over again. Qin whose hunting skills and physical fitness skyrocketed, tainted with some of his father's formidable aura. Perhaps it was because the tiger's mouth had killed a few more times. Every time he went back, the tiger brother played with him. When Qin whose eyes glared at him and he put on a serious look, he would be startled and wonder why his brother had become so scary. Thanks to the fresh blood and flesh replenished every day. Plus Qin who finding medicinal herbs every now and then. Tiger mom's injuries ushered in an improvement on the fifth day. Not only could her front paws touch the bottom and walk, even the broken ribs in her body were beginning to heal. For this reason, the tiger's father had found a spacious and sheltered place as a temporary habitat. Although tiger mom's injuries have healed considerably, she is not yet able to hunt or live on her own, so tiger dad will have to work hard for a while longer. In the middle of this time, 
The tiger father also changed to take the two brothers out to hunt. The two brothers were almost half a year old, and their temperament was starting to get naughty, just the age of a bare child. Sheen who can still control his own nature, slightly stable, compared to the tiger brother is more and more spontaneous, but in the way of the tiger father's majesty, but do not dare to challenge the king. Every time we go out to hunt, tiger brother will always be taught a lesson by the tiger father, either by being slapped a tiger paw, or being thrown a tail. After a few times, he gradually became more and more honest. After the tiger father, even the tiger brother also personally hunted a single small wild boar, although the mouth of the meat is pitifully small, but at least it is their own catch. This achievement, let the tiger brother in front of Chin who this brother stood tail proud for a long time. Chin who didn't have the time to pay attention to the tiger brother's childish tantrums. After half a month of exercising in the mountains and forests after following tiger dad, Chin who realized that the stream of warmth in his body fluctuated dynamically between increasing and decreasing. However, Chin whose physique was indeed getting better and better. Not only was his body stronger and sturdier, even his sensitivity such as his speed and sense of smell had increased a lot. Even by judging the smell in the air, Chin who was able to know what kind of animal was there, roughly how long it had stayed, leaving from that direction and so on. Within a range of 3 kilometers he was able to easily lock onto the source of the prey scent. This subtle development horrified him, because no matter whether it was in his previous life or in this life, he had never heard of any northeastern tiger being able to be as peculiar as he was. Therefore, Chin who paid more attention to exercising his body while hunting, and he felt that there must be other uses for this mysterious energy in his body that he just hadn't discovered yet. In addition to going out with his tiger father to practice hunting, he would also take his tiger brother to explore everywhere within his tiger father's territory, climbing mountains and wading through water to build up his physical strength and endurance. In addition to teeth and sharp claws, endurance and explosive power were an important part of a tiger's fight. Most tigers can only naturally grow in strength and explosive power as they age. But Chin who was different, he was a human being in his previous life, so he naturally knew that there was a gap between ordinary people and those who exercised regularly. In order to make a better life for himself as an adult, he started planning now. Chin who wanted to take the initiative to exercise and become strong early. As long as the strength and explosiveness was enough, a big BBBB might be able to slap his opponent to death. Or even worse, let the other party have a taste of how powerful he was. Holding such a belief, Chin who became more and more diligent. In this way, under the care of the tiger father, Chin who three tigers not only did not suffer, but also live a good life. At the same time, the tiger mother also and the tiger father and Chin whose unremitting efforts, the injury finally made great progress. Not only had the broken ribs healed almost to the bone, even her weight had risen by more than 10 pounds instead of decreasing during this time. Except for some strenuous movements, tiger mother had basically recovered. Even she herself did not expect to survive after such a serious injury. Tiger mom as well, and can follow the tiger father and his party to go out hunting. Just she can not go down to help can only be on the side of the pressure on the tiger brother this little naughty boy, do not let him help. The hunt was over, and Chin whose family returned with their prey. Tiger brother was a little frustrated. This time there was tiger mom watching. He didn't even participate in it. All the way was drooping ears. Tiger mom walked slowly, following tiger brother around, occasionally making a sound to comfort the little guy. Tiger father walked ahead with the family's food in his mouth, and even Chin who ran around in front of him, helping to scout the surroundings. The family's days were harmonious and cordial, to the point where Chin who experienced a few moments of kinship. However, all of this would change when he and his tiger brother reached adulthood. Taking advantage of the fact that the sun hadn't reached its hottest point yet, Tiger Dad and his group finally returned to the temporary campsite. Roar! Papa Tiger put down the prey in his mouth while letting out a call from his mouth and started to greet the rest of his family members as they ate. Hearing the call, Chin who trotted back from the distant woods, holding his head high, his gaze serenely scrutinizing the front in a majestic manner. Tiger brother may be a little hungry. Originally paralyzed on the side, heard the tiger father's voice. The first rushed over, and in the tiger father's side to find a good position, began to pull the prey tearing up. The action of the mouth is a bit silly. It seems to express his dissatisfaction with not being able to participate in the hunt just now through this way. The tiger mom stood aside, waiting for the cubs to feed. There had been no great physical exertion for some time in a row leaving her with little desire for food. As she grew healthier, she pondered for this reason when it was time to return to her territory with her cubs. High scanning ahead, the tiger mom plopped down in front of the clearing. The cubs would be with her for another year or so, and she wasn't sure if she would encounter such dangers in the future. But the cubs were getting bigger every day, which meant they were getting safer every day. Until they are able to live on their own, it will be time for their mother to drive them away. 
This is the destiny of the Northeast Tiger. Jean who ate a few bites of meat, feeling the familiar warmth, the color of curiosity in his heart grew stronger. With the help of this mysterious energy, he felt that his state was getting better and better. He even realized that under the reinforcement of this mysterious energy, his tiger claws were even a few times sharper than the claws of an average young tiger. Even if it couldn't reach the sharpness of an adult tiger, it wasn't far off. Therefore, now Chin who extraordinarily cherished food, and as long as he could eat more, he would definitely take one more bite and transform it into this mysterious energy. Tiger brother, on the other hand, showed his teeth, his eyes squinted, and a warning whine came out of his mouth, like a dog puppy that was protecting its food, neither threatening nor looking stupid and adorable. For this kind of provocative behavior, Chin who will not spoil him, a slap down. The little guy can only be aggrieved to let go of the food in the mouth, and then change to place, next to the tiger father went, until the family ate their fill, the whole head of prey is still left about one third, as leftovers, as two little guy hungry when eating rations, after lunch, the weather got hotter and hotter, even when hiding under the shade of the trees, there was still a heat wave pounding on the face, the four tigers lay down on the wet ground that their tiger father had plowed out to absorb the cool air, and moved in a uniform manner to stick out their tongues to dissipate the heat, constantly dispersing the heat, perhaps the heat was too much for them to bear, and the tigers began to move around in the surrounding shade, expecting to find a comfortable place to take a nap, tiger dad also seemed to be unable to stand the heat, and stood up from the ground, and after circling around in front of tiger mom and chin who for a few times, he let out a stream of urging sounds from his mouth, tiger mom also vocalized in response, only chin who did not yet understand the meaning, but understood that tiger father was ready to take them out of here, this temporary shelter was too hot, forcing Tiger Dad to think about leaving, with Tiger Dad leading the way and Tiger Mom following closely behind, Chin who trotted over to Tiger Brother, who was hiding in the cool, and slapped a paw on his drowsy face, Tiger Brother by this sudden change of events hit the blindfold, see the parents walked away, only in Chin who urged reluctantly get up and follow, Chin who did not know where Tiger Dad was taking them, but could guess that it was possible that he was taking them to Tiger Dad's cave, after all, this was only the edge of the two Tiger King's territories, and there was still a distance from where they lived their daily lives, Tiger Mom didn't walk fast, and not long after, Sheen who brought his Tiger Brother to follow, one on the left and one on the right beside Tiger Mom, walking through the forest, although it wasn't directly baked by the sun, the place was also filled with a sense of heat, Sheen who ran from time to time to explore around the road, everything here brought him curiosity, at the same time, he also found that the heat around him did not feel very strong to him, not cold or hot state, also do not know if it is the reason that he has that mysterious energy, the terrain among the mountains and forests was not exactly flat, but it was still walkable, and all around was in a primitive state, with no traces of humans or other industrialization, this was also the reason why Chin who was exploring everywhere, after all, in his previous life, he had not heard much about poachers hunting the northeast tiger, selling tiger skin, tiger bone and tiger whip and other things, this is the moment when Chin who truly understood the importance of defense, through this mountain forest, the vision in front of us is much more open, revealing a lush grassland, occasionally a cool wind blew through, making Chin who several tigers feel inexplicably comfortable, tiger brother stood in the wind, constantly scratching with his paws in an attempt to grab some more to cool himself off, tiger dad looked around and recognized a direction before leading the family forward again, after walking for about 3 to 4 hours, they traveled a distance of about 50 to 60 kilometers, after traveling through mountains and grasslands, and flowing through a small stream, they saw a towering mountain front in front of them, and a spacious entrance presented itself at the foot of the mountain, Tiger Dad took the lead to enter through here, with Chin Hu and the others following closely behind, the scenery along the way opened Chin Hu's eyes, so it turned out that Tiger Dad's territory was so big, and at the same time there were also many animals living there, after following the Tiger Father into the valley, only to find that there is another scenery here, around the slope is full of years of ancient trees, the middle of the location is not low-lying, but has a few clean taste, the middle of a hundred meters wide lake, seems quiet, as soon as he came in, the dry heat outside seemed to be cut off, and the feeling of silk coolness refreshed his heart, tiger brother was the first to react, his complexion changed, he was not atrophied, and he had a few more points of desire to explore, roar, tiger dad let out a low roar and ran towards the mountain forest in front of him, the family followed closely behind, following tiger dad to the cave he was sheltering in, it was a naturally formed cave that had lost its water flow through geological changes, only retaining the spaciousness inside, apart from being big, with cool air and good ventilation, there was nothing else, but compared to Tiger Mom's cave, Tiger Dad's place is really good, thinking in his heart, 
Chin Hu pulled his tiger brother and explored around the cave. Once the two little tiger cubs were born with curiosity, they probably couldn't be pulled back by ten oxen. When Chin Hu came to find, the naughty tiger brother has already run to the outside of the mountain forest, at the moment is wagging his tail, to the front of a big tree wailing, seems to be chasing what animals. Chin Hu walked over and looked up. A squirrel holding fruit in its hands is now sitting on a branch teasingly looking down at the tiger brother, seeing the arrival of Chin Hu, but also deliberately put the fruit held in the hand and the mouth quickly nod and finished. This scene made the tiger brother below who witnessed it anxious. In his opinion, everything in this territory should be his own, let alone a fruit he had never seen before. Looking at tiger brother's anxious appearance, Chin Hu felt a few moments of amusement. Walking forward, he pressed a paw on tiger brother to subdue him, physically calming him down forcibly. Ignoring the provocation of the squirrels barking and chattering overhead, Chin Hu came to the front towards Tiger Brother with a low growl, and the two little guys ran outside with their parents on their backs, followed the Tiger Father to the road Chin who has not noticed this vast valley there are so many beautiful scenery, tree trunks of thick ancient trees are in patches, and there are no traces of human interference, the unknown wildflowers in the surrounding area are also blooming in this season, at the same time, in the surrounding mountains and fields, there are many trees with bright red fruits hanging from their branches. Some squirrels and sables were foraging for food in the surrounding area. And there were also some birds on the ground searching for food. A vibrant look. Chin who liked this place very much. In the place where the tiger's father was staying, there were naturally no large beasts around that could threaten their safety. As long as they didn't leave too far away, they were all safe. Perhaps that was how felines liked to hang out. Chin who led his tiger brother towards the mountain forest and came under a fruit tree. The tiger's paw slapped hard on top of the tree trunk, and the fruits hanging off the branches swished down like raindrops, and the movement startled Tiger D with a jolt. Sheen who pushed him and used his claws to pick out a fruit with an intact appearance and sent it to Tiger Brother. Ka! A mouthful was sucked in, then gently bitten down, and the sweet and sour juice instantly filled Tiger D's mouth. Such a magical taste sensation instantly conquered him, a pair of big eyes staring wide open at the moment, still reminiscing about the taste sensation he had just experienced. Chin who also picked one to taste, the flavor was not bad, the other animals could eat it, it also showed that this fruit was non-toxic and edible, after trying something new and strange, the tiger brother followed Chin who closely, hoping that he could bring himself to see more, the farther into the mountains to explore the forest, the wilderness here is even wider, not only a rich variety of trees, even the climate is also different from the outside world, like a small independent ecosystem, on the way of traveling, Chin who searched through the rotting leaves growing full of newborn green plants. I don't know if there's any wild ginseng in such a place. Chin who underestimated in his mind as he searched. Coming out to play was part of it. The rest of it was to try his luck and see if he could find a wild ginseng or two. In his previous life, thanks to the popularization of network information, Chin who was fortunate enough to have seen many videos of mountain ginseng digging, and had some understanding of ginseng leaves and mountain ginseng growing places. I can't see any even after searching for half a day. Chin who used his claws to plow open a spot of soil, and was a little disappointed to see that it was not mountain ginseng underneath the green plants. Tiger brother didn't know what his brother was doing, and had plowed several pits that weren't deep or shallow along the way. Could it be that his brother was trying to poop? Tiger brother seemed to want to discover something, ran all the way forward, and searched under the tree in style. Hoo hoo! Tiger brother plowed the pit very hard and was very serious. In the middle, he didn't forget to greet Chin who over. Looking at the pits that Tiger Brother was digging, Chin who was both a little surprised and a little helpless, under the Tiger Brother's body, a ginseng not much bigger than a carrot was exposing half of its body. Chin who also do not know whether the Tiger Brother lucky, he looked for half a day, the result is not as good as this guy a flurry of planing. Chin who controlled the force, with the Tiger Claws will ginseng around the soil carefully pull out, and then Claws will take out the rhizome. Looking at this wild ginseng of the last year, Chin who also did not expect his own whimsical idea, at the moment really found by him, Tiger brother saw his brother digging out such a strange thing also felt strange, could it be that his brother didn't dig the pit to shit? Chin who did not know the thoughts in this little cub's mind, just cut off a ginseng whisker with his claws, and immediately put it into his mouth and chewed it, a slightly bitter flavor followed by a sweetness and even a subtle fragrance emanated out, Chin who stood in place, carefully feeling the ginseng beard after swallowing it to see if there were any other changes within his body. It seems that there is no movement, or is the amount he swallowed too small? Sheen who was a little unsure, and then looked at the rest of the mountain ginseng. Ka Ching, taking a bite of a large portion of the wild ginseng, he endured the flavor and chewed it in his mouth. Perhaps it was because he had seen too much in his previous life. Sheen who wanted to experiment if this thing could increase that mysterious energy in his body, 
After chewing for half a day until he swallowed it into his abdomen, Qin Hu realized that there seemed to be some difference, small abdomen out of this moment hot, as if being sprinkled with some warm water. The originally silent mysterious energy also became active at this moment. Even without eating, Qin Hu noticed that it was in the midst of increasing a little bit. It's having an effect. Qin Hu started to get excited. If he had hands, he would definitely hold up his tiger brother at this moment and start thanking him. Qin Hu carefully felt. From the time he swallowed the wild ginseng to half an hour later the mysterious energy in his body was active and stopped. The whole amount of increase was comparable to what he had eaten twice. Qin Hu had some guesses in his heart. But he didn't know how to verify it. Looking at the remaining half of the ginseng on the ground, Qin Hu suddenly thought of something. Since this thing was useful for himself, would it not be equally effective for other tigers? When he thought of this, Qin Hu's gaze went to the tiger brother on the side. His body seemed to look a bit frail at the moment. Ow! Tiger brother was pressed on the ground by Qin Hu, tilting his head back, his hind legs stomping and digging non-stop. However, Qin Hu pressed down on him, making it impossible for him to move. Using his claws, he sliced half a slice of wild ginseng and stuffed it into Tiger D's mouth. A peculiar flavor instantly spread out in all directions. He tried to escape. Tiger brother didn't know what his brother was up to, but this stuff was really hard to eat. He just wanted to open his mouth and spit it out. But he was slapped back by Qin whose claw and swallowed the mountain ginseng slice in the process. Seeing that his purpose was accomplished, Qin who also let go of the little guy. Tiger brother saw his brother no longer pressing him. Instantly turned over and ran out. He wants to go to find tiger parents. Follow his brother is too bullying tiger. Running back the way, tiger brother still feel aggrieved. Mao Thao has been to the tiger father's cave. See the tiger parents tiger mom and dad, which is surrounded by adults begging for comfort. Qin who did not follow along back, still wandering outside. According to the current state, he estimates that he can follow the tiger father to stay for about a month, until the tiger mother can independently hunt for food. Therefore, Qin who planned to do something during this period of time when he was clothed and fed, he was going to start his plan in advance. The first thing was to utilize that mysterious energy in his body to enhance his physical quality. Secondly, on the way to follow tiger dad out to hunt, he would refine his animalistic and wild nature as much as possible and strengthen his hunting skills, so that he could have the ability to hunt in advance. In this way, even without relying on tiger parents, he could still manage to survive in the wild. Finally, only then did Qin Hu plan to slowly increase his weight and strength. This matter was not considered urgent. After all, his current age was placed here, and it was useless to rush. After another year and a half or so, he would be able to grow to the state of a young guy. Before that, he would have to learn to develop obscenely. Along the way, Qin who was familiarizing himself with Tiger Dad's territory. Although this place is very good, but in the end, it is not his own. In the future, he is also prepared to find a resource-rich territory, and just live a life of mingling and waiting for death. When passing by, he was also able to see the scene of other small predators hunting for food, which made him feel a sense of emotion. In his last life, he stood at the top of the food chain. While this life is not bad, as long as he doesn't meet any humans, he himself is also at the top. When he returned to the cave and sought his tiger brother who was lewdly beside his parents, before Qin who got close, the tiger mother on the side issued a roar towards him, as if warning Qin who to behave as a brother and not to bully his younger brother all the time. Qin who lowered his head, not daring to offend the tiger mother's tiger authority, and could only take over the education. Tiger father lying on one side, micro microscopic eyes to recuperate. For this kind of trivial matters of family education he never overly involved. Education is the right of the female he is not good to intervene. Qin who lowered his head and went forward, also in the tiger father's side to find an open position lying down. After getting down, Qin who realized that this cave was really well chosen. From here he could see the mountains and fields outside, and he didn't have to worry about sneak attacks from other beasts. This also reinforced the idea that when he lives alone, he must find an excellent feng shui treasure. The dusky sunlight gradually climbed up the tip of the mountain and forest, and the sounds around them quieted down all of a sudden. Qin whose family had trekked and run here during the day, and at this moment they were also a little tired. The aggrieved tiger brother has long been next to the tiger mama sleep, occasionally issued a heavy breathing sound. Tiger father also some cannot carry sleepy, from time to time stretched out the hideous tiger mouth to relieve. A pair of tiger paws forward, the body did a stretch stretch after pillow paws began to rest. Qin who also had some drowsiness, but it was not as serious. Under the watchful eye of the tiger mom, he also insisted on doing a few exercise moves of his own design before closing his posture and returning to lie down beside the tiger dad. Although the tiger mom was a bit puzzled, but did not interfere too much with Qin Hu's freedom. After all, 
Every tiger needs to learn to survive independently. Give them the freedom to grow space. This is the best wild education. The night was silent. Only the tiger's den from time to time the sound of heavy breathing. The summer days light up earlier and earlier, which has no concept to the tigers. In their view, day and night are only related to hunting. There were many prey during the daytime. So if they were hungry, then they would go out from their dens to hunt and fill their stomachs. And if they didn't succeed in hunting, then they would rest for a while and fight again. Although tigers didn't have much time to sleep, they weren't very willing to move around either. For example, at this moment, Sheen Hu obviously woke up very early and thought in his heart that he wanted to get up early to work out his body and intensify his training. But his body was honestly lying on the ground, not moving at all. But in his mind he was still thinking about how to start the exercise after he got up. If it wasn't for Tiger Dad stopping him away in his sleep, he wouldn't have been willing to get up even now. It had to be said that this body's instinct still had a somewhat strong influence on Shin Hu. Lamenting in his mouth, Shin Hu slowly paced out of the tiger's den. Today's weather was also sunny. The sunlight was a bit dazzling, but it was still bearable. Goo, a clear sound came. Shin Hu suspected that he had heard wrong, but the next moment, the belly actually does make this hungry sound. Glancing at the still sleeping tiger parents in the cave behind him, it seems that he can't count on it. Shin Hu walked towards the outside of the cave. He wanted to go to the surrounding forest to see if there were any small animals that he could feed on. The tiger's paw pressed against the dead branches and rotting leaves in the forest, and it didn't make too much noise. While walking, Shin who observed the surroundings, the range too close to the tiger's den was definitely not inhabited by other animals. Therefore, Shin who ran and came to a mountain forest more than 10 kilometers away from the cave. It was just out of the valley and came to the edge of that small stream. Just out of the valley, the temperature outside was already a bit high. Although Chin who didn't feel it particularly strongly, the cicadas chirping around him provided him with a reference. Chin who plopped down in a dense bush by the creek. The reason why he chose this place was due to Chin who's careful consideration. After all, a clean water source in nature could still attract many animals. Plus it was now in the summer. Although there was plenty of rain, but who relied on rain to quench their thirst all year round? Holding this mentality, Chin who chose a suitable location for hunting, lying in the grass quietly waiting for the arrival of prey. Not long ago, the distant shallow grass really ushered in some small animals. A small squirrel, vigilant drink a few mouthfuls of water and jumped away. Sheen who was not interested in squirrels. Perhaps it is because the temperature is gradually rising. The creek also began to lively. More birds and animals to come. Among them, a small, but fat enough wild rooster caught Sheen who's attention. It wasn't too big, but for the young one now, it could definitely be a breakfast. But he still needed to plan a bit. After all, this thing would fly if it was frightened which he wouldn't be able to do himself. Relying on the terrain advantage, Sheen who as a cat, hunched over the body quietly groping forward, without making a sound, a little bit pulled into the distance with the prey, 10 meters, 8 meters, until close to the pheasant within 5 meters, Sheen who slowed his pace. He wanted to wait for the pheasant to finish drinking water to have a distance forward himself, so that he could pounce on him. However, the pheasant did not. Seemingly discovered, the pheasant's long flexible legs began to flee in all directions and the direction happened to be one or two meters closer to Chin Hu. Without much thought, Chin Hu's body instinctively pounced on it, both claws opened, the muscles of his hind legs fired, and his body whooshed out two or three meters away. With a snap, the pheasant that had just flapped its wings and flew up was slapped down right by his tiger claws. Hey, chicken today. Chin Hu bit down on the landing pheasant, his heart somewhat happy. He didn't expect his first attempt at hunting small prey to be successful, not waiting for the pheasant to struggle and beg for mercy. He was torn apart by Chin Hu's tiger claws. Then after picking some chicken feathers Chin Hu began to eat. Not to mention, this flavor Chin Hu really have not eaten. After the meat, took a look around the chicken feathers and the blood scattered on the ground. Chin Hu went down along the creek again. This place has the smell of blood. Other animals may not appear here for a while. He must change a place to hunt. After devouring four or five pounds of pheasant meat, Chin Hu again noticed that the strange heat flow in his belly began to move. His mental state was a little better and his body's sense of touch became much more sensitive. This young tiger body of his seemed to have strengthened a little bit more, perhaps stemming from natural rank suppression. Facing a dozen or so adult gray wolves, Chin who wasn't afraid, and this group of gray wolves that looked to be about the same size as a dog didn't make him feel much intimidated. Roar! A majestic and thick tiger's roar roared towards the opposite gray wolf pack. The head wolf's body instinctively flinched at the sound, but once he thought that he was facing an underage tiger cub, and saw the prey in the other party's mouth, the fear in his heart was thrown away in an instant. Had ha. The gray wolf revealed its canine teeth. The flesh on its face instantly pulled taut. 
With a stance that it was about to charge up and fight for its life, Qin who also does not spoil the other party, puts the two prey on the ground, presses it with one tiger paw, then looks ahead with contemptuous eyes, and starts tearing and swallowing in the vicious gaze of the many gray wolves, two small piglets only, a few big mouth Qin who can swallow all of them, but he just did not do so, instead, in front of the gray wolf group, a little bit of tearing and swallowing, provocative meaning, the head wolf was a bit numb, it had never seen such an arrogant tiger cub, along the way, although did not meet other large beasts, but such a small cub met the group predator, usually only leave the prey to escape, now how different it is, the atmosphere in the field was as if it had instantly frozen, without the order of the head wolf, the surrounding gray wolves didn't dare to take the lead in attacking, after all, even if the tiger was small, it still had sharp claws and teeth, not to mention the horrible biting power of the tiger's mouth, ow, after the head wolf reacted, also some anger, if it is to meet an adult tiger, it must not say anything, as far as possible to run as far as possible, now it met a tiger cub and dared to provoke its own majesty, if it didn't take out something, I'm afraid that the other wolves under its hand would have other thoughts, the head wolf issued an order, the other gray wolves also no longer hesitate, instant division of labor is clear, a few female wolves protect the cubs to hide in the distance, the rest of the wolves scattered, in a circle shape will Qin who surrounded in the middle, looking for the best time to attack, although he didn't attack at the first opportunity, Qin who still swallowed the rest of the food in one gulp, he didn't want to be beaten by this group of gray wolves, how about hitting a snake and hitting a wolf, naturally grabbing the head wolf and whacking it, Qin whose eyes narrowed slightly, his tiger's eyes condensed, he found the position of the head wolf and instantly charged out, the surrounding wolves were also startled by Qin whose active attack, ow, Qin who didn't care about the other gray wolves attack, recognizing the location of the head wolf, he jumped in close, and with his tiger claws as sharp as blades in full swing, he slapped down towards the head wolf's body with a big BB pocket, although the head wolf had already reacted, and tried his best to avoid Qin whose attack, but his speed was still a step slower, sharp tiger claws scattered and grabbed into the meat of the head wolf's hind legs, blood and flesh instantly rolled out, the head wolf wailed in pain, Qin who will not let go of the opportunity to kill, the tiger's mouth reversed direction, about to bite down towards the body of the head wolf, but at the critical moment was another gray wolf to scratch the hind legs, under the pain, the tiger's mouth unexpectedly bit off, allowing the injured head wolf to escape, Qin who turned around, the gray wolves that surrounded him just now had already leaned over, and were now tearing around the back half of his body, and not long after that, there were more wounds, the not so intense pain that entered his mind caused Qin who to instantly awaken his animalistic instincts, the majesty of a king could not be violated, Qin who was truly enraged, his body raised up, catching a gray wolf that attacked him and biting down hard towards its neck, Ka Qing, out of Qin Hu's expectation, he originally thought that this bite could only seriously injure the gray wolf, but it ended up directly biting off his neck, killing him, in the moment of the outbreak just now, Qin who felt a powerful force suddenly burst out of his body, instantly raising his damage by an order of magnitude, otherwise he wouldn't have been able to bite off the gray wolf's neck so easily, it was at this moment that Qin who truly realized how terrifying the explosive power of this body of his was, at the same time, it also made Qin who noticed that that mysterious energy, indeed, had other effects, perhaps frightened by the damage of Qin whose bite, the gray wolves that were still gathered around to attack Qin who instantly scattered in all directions, avoiding Qin whose gaze while making low whimpering noises from their mouths, just not daring to come forward, they were in fear, even the gray wolf leader was a bit numb, throughout his wolf life, he had never seen such a ferocious tiger cub, today was the first time, it really opened his eyes, originally thought it was someone else's cub that could only be bullied at will, but it turned out to be a stolen chicken, seeing the other wolves scatter, the head wolf also had to stand out to face Qin who head on, the head wolf showed its teeth and made a whimpering sound from its mouth, looking very fierce, Qin who was unmoved, looking around at the gray wolves around him, he pressed forward step by step towards the head wolf's position, one wolf, one tiger, the battle was about to begin, the moment Qin who took the initiative to attack, the head wolf also moved, letting out a wolf howl from its mouth, then without hesitation, fled in another direction, Qin who did not go forward to catch up, his eyes watching the direction the group of intruders escaped, usually where there were tigers the wolves would not dare to invade at will, even if they crossed paths, they would quickly flee while avoiding encounters, because wolves and tigers were the same predator, once the tiger discovered the wolf pack's trail, it would most likely hunt them down, the gray wolf pack just now was just seeing Qin whose young age and wanted to snatch his food, and after suffering a loss and not being able to fight it naturally fled very quickly, after all, just a cub is so powerful, 
The adult tiger that hasn't yet appeared is how fierce it should be. Roar. A slightly tender tiger whistle resounded in the surrounding mountains and fields, seeing that the wolves had completely left. Jean who couldn't hide the excitement in his heart and couldn't help but let out the sound of a tiger's roar, which, although tender, was also full of the aura of a king. Only then did Jean who relaxed from the state he was in just now, and then began to examine his own injuries. In the first wave of siege by the gray wolves, the back half of his body still suffered damage, being bitten and scratched some by a few gray wolves. Sticking out his tongue, he licked the wounds. Fortunately the wounds weren't too deep, they only broke through the skin and flesh, so it wasn't a big problem. Fighting with other predators for the first time, Jean who also gained a lot. If his aura was a little weak at that time, I'm afraid that he would have been robbed of his food long ago, and maybe he would have been chased and beaten up by the wolves, fleeing in a mess to find his parents. For the first time, Jean who felt the benefits of the mysterious energy in his body during the battle, reflecting in his mind on the process of fighting the wolves just now, suddenly there was another loud noise coming from the grass in front of him, causing Jean who to once again bend down and prostrate himself, his expression on alert. When the tiger brothers scurried out from the grass, he was instantly startled by Qin Hu's aura, and his entire body instantly bounced more than three feet from the spot as if he had exploded his hair, to be clear to see the grass out of the tiger brother after. Qin Hu also put away their own momentum, and then went forward to pat the frightened tiger brother. Qin Hu returned with the trophies. Before even entering the middle of the tiger's den, the tiger's parents smelled the difference in the air's odor, and then successively jumped up from the ground and scurried out to the outside. And at this moment, Qin who also happened to bring his tiger brother back to the front of the cave, throwing the adult gray wolf carcass in his mouth on the ground. Qin who let out a roaring whistling sound from his mouth towards tiger dad and tiger mom, probably telling them about the encounter out there. Tiger mom sniffed in front of the gray wolf corpse, then circled around Qin who a few more times, her eyes searching for the injuries on his torso, with an uneasy look on her face, and an anxious and worried roar coming out of her mouth, as if she was blaming Qin who for acting too recklessly. Roar. The tiger's father was even more direct upon hearing this, and with a single jump, he scurried out towards the forest floor in front of him, as the owner of this territory, he couldn't tolerate his territory and cubs being invaded and bullied by other predators, it was too bullying for a tiger, looking at the departing tiger father, a warmth of being spoiled arose in Sheen whose heart, tiger brother followed behind his brother, his eyes were always fixed on the gray wolf that had long been dead for a long time, how could he not understand how his brother could be so powerful, the same tiger cub, why are you so good? There was a deep sense of frustration in the heart of the little tiger brother. At dawn, Jean Hu and tiger dad returned to a place not far from the tiger's den with their prey. The sunlight was a bit harsh today. Tiger brother ran out when he heard the commotion. He wanted to see what kind of trophies his brother and father had brought back. Luckily, the hunt was not something he had participated in, but there was still food to be had. Tiger brother consoled himself. Tiger's mother walked up towards tiger's father and growled lowly at his side before rubbing their fur against each other. Greeting Tiger's father's safe return in this way, Jean who looked at it, obviously a tiger, but had a feeling of having eaten dog food, right now the life of clothing and food is carefree, with the tiger father there, none of them need to worry about food, may play and grow to their heart's content, but such a good life won't last long, northeast tigers are lonely hunters and kings at the top, even the mother who is raising them at the moment will not hesitate to evict the two youngsters from their territory when they reach adulthood, so that they can find another way to make a living. This was perhaps the way of survival that distinguished the northeast tiger from other large beasts. Qin who pondered in his mind how to use this time to make himself stronger. He had already tasted the benefits of his body being strengthened by the mysterious energy before, and now he was going to take more ways to utilize this mysterious energy. While tiger's mother and tiger's brother were eating the food that the father and son had brought back, the two tigers, one big and one small, had already found a comfortable place to lie down long ago, having stayed up all night without sleep. Sheen who wasn't particularly sleepy, but was just a bit lethargic, perhaps from the tiger's instinct, as long as there is food, after eating, not willing to move again, this point and the lion have something in common, squinting his eyes, Sheen who suddenly remembered that he had not finished eating half of the wild ginseng, he lethargically got up and looked around, but he didn't know when his wild ginseng had been hidden by little tiger brother to his side, Sheen who came over with the wild ginseng in his mouth, and with both paws picking at it, he began to gnaw on it, Chewing in his mouth and swallowing it, a warm current rose up, a little more than the heat generated when he himself ate. From the time he discovered this extra mysterious energy in his body until now, Sheen who felt that this thing had only increased a little bit, perhaps this energy was produced by eating every day, but strengthening and enhancing one's physical qualities, as well as repairing one's injuries would also deplete the energy. 
This was what caused the amount of this energy all the time to keep building up. But being able to transform this energy into strength, Qin who had nothing to complain about. A while Jin sang down, the mysterious energy in the body increased a lot more. And along with it, Qin whose mental state at the moment was also a lot better. Even the lethargy of just now was swept away. With a few more other thoughts, Qin who glanced at the tiger father who had long ago squinted his eyes into sleep, then quietly groped his way out of the tiger's den. Tiger brother already had a few points of satiety, and his expression also had a few points of lethargy, but when he saw Qin whose arrival, his eyes immediately changed. With a few more points of awe and worship, the strong, can always be revered by the weak. Qin who made a sound to give tiger mom a word, while he himself took small steps towards the mountain forest. Glancing back at the delicious food and then looking at the direction his brother had left, Tiger Brother seemed to be facing a choice. In the next moment, Little Tiger Brother similarly let out a milky tiger whistle towards Tiger Mom, and then chased after Qin who in the direction he had left. He also wanted to become strong like his brother, so he was now going to follow up and see, and by the way, learn the way his brother became strong. Tiger Mom just roared from afar after the two little ones had gone far away, as a kind of admonition, and then left it alone. It didn't seem like a bad thing to let children grow and explore on their own. Didn't walk out much farther. Sheen who heard the sound of running coming from behind him, looked back at his brother. His heart secretly pondered. Should ask to help this little guy. Compared to himself, little tiger brother seems to be really a bit skinny. To grow faster and taller, it seems that besides eating more, it is practicing more. Sheen who thought for a moment, then turned back to greet his tiger brother. And the two brothers ran towards the mountains and forests. Here was their playground. This time Qin who didn't run in the direction of the creek, but towards the place where Tiger Brother had found the wild ginseng earlier, he still wanted to take his chances. After all, eating this stuff increased his energy more than eating meat. It just didn't have a feeling of satiety and didn't top hunger. Having gotten Qin who's call, Little Hu Di also had a few more moments of joy, once again came alive and ran after Qin Hu. Brother is still willing to take me to play. Little Tiger Brother thought in his heart. Also some longing. The plants in the forest became denser and denser, and some of the flowers gradually withered. After walking for some time, Qin who once again returned to the previous place, greeting little tiger brother close to him and telling him to look for the kind of root that he fed him last time. Little tiger brother couldn't help but shiver, seemingly remembering the fear of being dominated by his brother. But thinking that his brother was stronger than himself, could it be because of eating this thing? Little tiger D had an extra heart. Then the two brothers began to spread out in all directions to look for it. The natural state of the wild ginseng growth cycle is longer. At the same time, the number is not too much too. The older the year may be the more difficult to find. Because some small animals will also nibble wild ginseng rhizome. Qin who was just holding the mindset of trying it out while tossing back and forth in the dense greenery. Tiger brother was in the other direction. Sniffing the air from time to time. Occasionally using his claws to dig the dirt on the ground. And occasionally looking blankly at the dirt pits he had dug out. Somewhat skeptical of life. Even though he knew it was unlikely. Qin who still wanted to give it a try. After searching an area, he brought his tiger brother to another mountain forest. In the middle, he only found one plant in a corrupt stump. Because it was protected by the stump, the wild ginseng's character looked like it was still a bit old. Tiger brother also followed and came up, his heart curious to the extreme. Qin who didn't know if this thing was useful for other tigers. So he used his paw to cut a little bit and fed it to his tiger brother. Unlike before, this time, tiger brother was surprisingly less resistant. Was this the stuff that made his brother stronger? Little tiger brother frowned and chewed. Although the flavor was not to his liking, he forced himself to endure it. After swallowing, tiger brother really noticed something different. Between his throat to his belly, there seemed to be some heat, and his original state of being a little tired was actually easing a little at this moment. Tiger brother seems to realize. Look at Qin who mouth carrying wild ginseng eyes are almost through the light. Qin who also noticed it and seemed to be startled by tiger brother's look. Wasn't it just eating a piece of wild ginseng? It doesn't have to turn the tiger stupid. Qin who was alarmed and patted tiger brother with his paw. And after seeing that he came back to his senses and did not have any other abnormalities, he let out a sigh of relief at that moment as well. Fortunately, fortunately, while celebrating, Qin who also prepared to go back. After coming out for the whole morning and using up his physical strength, coupled with the hot and dry air, I'm afraid that tiger brother could not stand it any longer. On the way back, the tiger brother seems to be in high spirits. Better than the state before coming. Just like playing chicken blood. Which makes Qin who not quite understand. Before eating a piece of wild ginseng is not like this today ah. Uh. Walking. The brothers came to an open grass. Just at this time. The grass suddenly came a burst of strange screams. Qin whose body lurched and immediately slowed down. 
Then with a claw, he pressed his tiger brother's body to lie on the ground, gently picking apart the weeds in front of him, he observed the situation ahead through the gaps in the grass, not far away in the open, there was a small civet cat-like creature hunting a snow hare, however, this big cat was much larger than a house cat, with a body length that could be around one meter, and there was also a pair of special hairs on both ears, eh, so it's a lynx, Sheen who breathed a sigh of relief, but still didn't act rashly, this lynx had already hunted successfully and would probably leave in a little while, and Sheen who didn't want to cause any trouble, after all, he is now with the tiger brother, if he fights, the other side still has helpers, then he will not be able to take care of him, lie down in the grass and wait for a while, see no sound coming from the front, Sheen who then greeted the tiger brother walked out, came to the front to take a look, in addition to some rabbit hair and lynx hair, as well as the chaotic odor, there are no other traces left, but this aroused the curiosity in Sheen whose heart, it is reasonable to say that within the tiger's territory, there will not exist such hunters as lynx and gray wolves, but within a few days he met them one after another in the tiger father's territory, and it looks like they all came from other places, could it be that something had changed in the other forests that they didn't know about, so that these predators had abandoned their original hunting grounds and fled, but even if that was the case, they couldn't just barge into a male tiger's territory, Sheen who was a little worried in his heart, perhaps it was time to remind his tiger father to patrol his territory, when he left, Sheen who incidentally collected a few hairs left on the ground by the lynx, while greeting his tiger brother and starting to move in the direction of the cave, the surrounding mountains and forests had undergone some changes, and before Tiger Dad had patrolled the territory, everything was full of unknowns, Sheen who became extra careful at this time, after all, after meeting a grey wolf and then a lynx, who knows if there will be other hunters hiding in this mountain forest, after all, he is now with the tiger brother, if encountered a working leopard and black bear, brown bear and so on, he dare not guarantee the safety of the two, after all, these things and the tiger are hostile relationship, met there is no say to stay a hand, because there are concerns in his heart, so on the way back, Sheen who walked very cautiously, his ears hearing is fully open, and his field of vision is also from time to time monitoring the wind and grass around him, fortunately, they are not particularly far from the tiger father's cave, more than 10 kilometers away, in terms of the two little guy's feet, an hour will be able to arrive, when they met danger, the speed would be raised again, and they would be able to reach tiger dad and tiger mom, at this moment, Jean who experienced the sense of crisis of not having the shelter of tiger parents, and at the same time, it also strengthened his idea of being strong, returning to the cave, he sniffed the lynx for that Sheen who brought back, the tiger father was furious, under the watchful eyes of the family, the tiger father stood outside the tiger den, belly surging in the deafening sound of the tiger whistle, the birds in the mountains and forests were all shocked to fly away, and even some small animals heard this sound, but also was scared to shiver and tremble, tiger mom also hurriedly lowered her body under the tiger father's rage, and then protected the two little cubs behind her, this was the second time Jean Hu and Hu Di had seen tiger dad angry, and the aura was still so terrifying, at this moment, Papa Tiger swept away his previous lethargic state and became domineering. After shaking his fur and glancing at the mountains and forests, he was somewhat impatient to go patrolling the territory. Sheen who pondered for a moment, and then prepared to follow the tiger father's pace, accompanying him to patrol the territory. Although he was already a bit tired, the little tiger brother still managed to hold himself together to keep up with his father and brother's pace. Tiger mother stood behind her, looking at the departing father and son trio. Her expression rippled with emotion but in her heart there were a few moments of relief, it was true that a tiger's father had no sons, this group of cubs also grew up a little bit under tiger dad's education, tiger mom didn't hinder them to take the first step to grow up, some things always have to go through, experience a little earlier, will be less to suffer a lot of losses, tiger dad walked along the valley and then started his rounds from the ridge above the creek, his territory was huge, hundreds of miles, and he definitely couldn't finish his rounds today, Sheen who, however, was more than happy to follow, after watching Papa Tiger walk through the jungle at a leisurely pace, his calm and unhurried demeanor allowed Sheen who to see what a king's aura was, his eyes were filled with envy, it might take many more years before he himself could have the mature aura of Tiger Dad, not only him, even Tiger Brother at this moment, when he looked at Tiger Dad in front of him, his eyes were filled with awe and longing, patrolling the territory wasn't exactly a boring thing, within the area where the northeast tigers hunted, they would often patrol the territory, this patrolling was not only to mark the territory, but also to warn and expel other carnivores that invaded the territory and guard their territorial boundaries. Once a foreign animal enters their territory, the tigers will immediately notice an attack. So patrolling the territory is also part of the daily life of the tigers. 
The tiger's father showed great dedication when he walked ahead to patrol. The three of them walked silently through the forest, their bodies lowered and their eyes alert. Once any abnormality was detected, Papa Tiger would quickly give a warning and let out a ferocious growl, deterring his opponents while observing their reactions. At the same time, patrolling the territory was also able to give the territorial tiger a better understanding of the distribution of prey within its own territory, guarding its own territory while still searching for food. Bear. Papa Tiger bared his urine on a thick tree trunk to mark the territory and at the same time warn the intruder that there is a master here. Don't be afraid to die you come and try. Little Tiger Cub was very curious about this behavior of Tiger Dad, then raised his head and took a deep sniff at the trunk. Vomit. Vomit. Several times in a row, Tiger Cub's pair of budding eyes widened. He jerked up his speed and followed closely behind Chin Hu, then sneezed continuously between his mouth and nose, expecting to exchange the odor from earlier. After a few kilometers along the ridge, the flat terrain became steep and the height plummeted downwards. Papa Tiger traveled a little bit with his two youngsters as they rolled and jumped between the protruding rocks. Patrolling the territory is a physical job and it takes a long time. Perhaps it was because the tiger father was trying to take care of the two cubs. After walking out of the mountain forest, he plopped down in the shade of a tree and rested, with the mysterious energy in his body as support, always supplying the consumption. Sheen who didn't feel much tired. On the contrary, little tiger brother. At this moment not only drooped his head, even his eyes, also did not come before so big god. Seeing the tiger father lying on the ground to rest, tiger brother also obediently lay down. Chin who felt that it would be a long distance pulling exercise with a lot of exercise. After resting for not long, tiger dad got up again and made a sound urging the brothers to follow. Little tiger brother rested for a moment, and was also much better, more lively. In this way, along the edge of the territory. The tiger father walked one-fifth of the distance of today's journey. Now even the tiger father felt a little tired. It was now afternoon, when the temperature was at its hottest. Tiger dad stuck out his tongue to cool off. Little tiger brother followed suit. Only Chin who didn't feel much heat. And at the same time, his physical exertion wasn't that great. At this moment, Chin who also noticed how much the mysterious energy in his body increased and assisted him. Just as the father and son three were resting on their backs. Not long after, a noisy and dense sound suddenly came from the front. It was accompanied by a powerful roar. The originally dry and hot mountain forest was unexpectedly displaying a few noisy scenes at this moment. Father Tiger collected his breath and gazed deeply ahead. He seemed to have sensed something and stood up from the ground. Facing the sunlight, a black shadow that shook the mountains and forests came rushing headlong in the direction of Chin Hu's father and son. Perhaps it was because the sunlight was too blinding. Neither Chin Hu nor little tiger brother could see what the black shadow surging ahead was but they clearly felt the vibrations coming from the ground. Roar. Tiger Dad saw it clearly, and this look instantly made his complexion serious, while a terrifying tiger roar came out of his mouth. A large-sized moose was rushing in their direction at an extremely fast speed, sounding huge and voluminous, but with a terrified expression. It seemed like there was some fierce beast chasing them behind them. The number of moose was too much, a black and pressurized piece, no less than a hundred at a cursory glance. What was terrifying was the broad and sharp antlers on top of their heads, like a sharp axe, little Tiger D had never seen such a shocking scene, and his little heart almost stopped beating, Chin who also reacted immediately, and at the moment the moose herd approached, he followed his tiger father and started climbing up towards different tree trunks, fortunately, tigers can climb trees, hiding in the tree, Chin who breathed a sigh of relief in his heart as tiger brother merely followed him, looking towards the ground from the heights above the tree trunks, the momentum generated by the hundreds of moose running around made the tiger, as the king of all beasts, only be able to avoid its front for the time being. Little Tiger Brother looked down below with some horror. If he hadn't reacted in time, I'm afraid he would have been flattened by a group of hooves. The moose herd rushed past, that is, a few minutes time, the forest below slowly began to quiet down again. At this time, Papa Tiger had long since jumped and landed from the tree. Chin who also retreated from the trunk of the tree by leaning on his paws. Papa Tiger looked ahead with a majestic expression. In the next moment, a medium-sized leopard with flower-spotted fur appeared in the middle of the three tigers' vision. Six eyes gazed at a leopard. Chin who sensed that the leopard on the opposite side was a bit flustered, and its hind legs were trembling a bit. The next moment, under the gaze of Chin who and the three tigers, the leopard turned around and let out a short alarm roar towards the back. The atmosphere of the scene at this moment was unusually tense. Leopards were usually solitary animals, cunning by nature, but relatively small in size, making them even more scrawny and small compared to tigers. Perhaps it was the tiger father's extraordinary physique and his unruffled temperament, sharp fangs, and muscles so strong that they were visible to the naked eye, that made the leopard feel a strong sense of oppression. 
The leopard felt that his life received a huge threat at the moment, his body instinctively wanted the leopard to try to escape or hide, but his body trembled as the huge oppression and fear made it temporarily lose control of his body. Even so, the leopard tried its best to look fierce enough, a pair of still sharp long teeth exposed and a voice from its mouth warning that once approached by the tiger, the leopard would be forced to fight fiercely to protect its own life. Sheen who stepped forward and followed the tiger's father, and the leopard sensed the other movements and barely resisted the urge to flee. The whole scene was so tense that it was suffocating, and after feeling the strong sense of oppression and the urgency of life and death, the leopard could only hope for the arrival of the companions that he had called out to, so that he could make these tigers in front of him scrupulous. The leopards that were handling their prey in the distance also heard the call of their companions, raised their heads and stood up, rushing in this direction. Five leopards, not too big and not too small, looked like a couple of brothers, and they were the kind that had just reached adulthood and didn't have much social experience yet. The leopards thought they had enough on their side to make the tiger cringe. However, they clearly underestimated the determination of the tiger's father to defend his territory. At the same time, they made the fatal mistake of never trying to provoke a father with a baby. Even if it was to preserve his image in front of his cubs, the tiger father would never back down. Roar! A tiger's roar went straight towards the five leopards on the opposite side of the room, producing a wave of sound that even lifted up the fallen leaves along the ground. The tiger father didn't launch an attack first, because he realized that the bad boys in front of him, who had invaded his territory and hunted for food with impunity, had their eyes on the two young cubs behind him. If he was the first to attack, the two cubs would be his soft underbelly. It seemed that the leopard on the other side had also gotten a hold of the tiger's father's cartilage, and his originally somewhat depressed aura rose a bit more. Sheen who shook his head, glanced at the opposite side of the five leopards, but also some understanding of what is called a newborn calf is not afraid of tigers. Only an excessive gap in strength would bring about a gap in strength. The five leopards took the opportunity to observe the three tigers, one large and two small, opposite them. Although their parents had warned them that a tiger's but should not be touched, other than looking a little scary. It didn't seem to be as serious as they said. Sheen who glanced across the street, the tiger's father might not even be able to fight five in one battle. Eat Eat's lack of action was just worrying about his brothers. Roar! Sheen who let out a tiger whistling sound, and then looked solemn, protecting his tiger brother by his side, taking a fighting stance. This change in turn startled the five leopards on the opposite side. They didn't expect this immature tiger cub to be so fierce. The tiger father seemed to understand Sheen who's meaning. The next moment his body scurried out like the wind toward the five leopards to attack. Facing the leopards that did not differ much in body length, Sheen who was not too intimidated yet, previously fighting with the grey wolves had allowed him to accumulate some experience, and at the same time gave him a lot of confidence. At this moment, facing the threat of five leopards, if the tiger's father didn't make some substantial reaction, I'm afraid that in the future, his prestige would be greatly reduced, and in the future, things like territorial invasions would be more frequent. When they saw the leading male tiger attacking towards their side without the slightest hesitation, the leopards were also stunned and retreated to the side for a distance. The father tiger didn't care and started to tear into the nearest leopard. Once he was in a fighting state, the sense of oppression brought about by it, even Chin Hu, who was also a tiger, felt terrified. After the five leopards were tailed, they were immediately startled and dodged in a panic. Seeing this, the other leopards actually dared to stay where they were even trying to find an opportunity to come in the direction of the two Chin Hu brothers, Chin Hu was fearless, the tiger whistling sound from his mouth is slightly younger than the tiger father, but the threat level is not weak, in just one look, the tiger father thunderously slapped away a leopard, bit another leopard's hind legs, and at the same time pounced on a leopard, and the tiger's sharp teeth ruthlessly bit into the leopard's back, the remaining two leopards were still looking for an opportunity to sneak attack the lone Chin Hu brothers, one of them was stunned by the ferocity of Chin Hu standing up, and the other came to the tiger brother's side, and was slapped on the cheek by Chin whose full strength claw that reacted in time, while leaving a deep mark, the scene was instantly flooded with the smell of blood, Chin who found himself somewhat enjoying this kind of fighting scene, the injured leopard didn't linger and jumped out of the fighting circle with a single bounce, the tiger's father adjusted his posture, and his strong paws pinned the leopard to the ground, then loosened the tiger's mouth again and shifted the target, biting down hard towards its neck, the leopard's not so thick and strong neck was no challenge for the tiger's fearsome bite. It was very easy for the leopard, which had its spine broken, to lose its resistance, and was taken into his mouth by the tiger's father's bite on its neck. When the other four leopards saw the scene, how could they dare to stay any longer? They lost all thoughts and panicked, hissing at the rest of their kind, seemingly calling out for them to hurry up and escape. Chin Hu and little tiger brother didn't move, their eyes gazing at the scene of the leopards fleeing for their lives. Tiger Dad hesitated for a moment and also stopped, 
not continuing to chase after them to start the kill. The tiger father's appearance just now made both Qin Hu and Hu Di feel awe, when the tiger should also be a domineering tiger. This is the common thought of the two brothers' hearts at this moment, seeing that there was no tiger behind them. The rest of the leopards that escaped with their lives lowered their heads and let out a sigh of relief. Recalling the limp bodies of their companions in their minds, they finally realized what their parents had taught them. At the same time, they panicked and called out to their surviving partners to start moving away from this area. The adult male tigers were too terrifying. And if they could, they would rather never set foot in this area again for the rest of their lives. The leopard ran extremely fast as it left. On the other side, the tiger father opened his mouth to release the long lost leopard carcass and walked over to look at the two cubs, which were not injured. At the same time, the tiger dad came over and first rubbed Chin Hu's fur, then turned his head and licked his tiger brother's forehead. It was obvious that the tiger father was very satisfied with Chin Hu's performance. The leopard escaped. Even five young and strong leopards could hardly withstand the thunderous force of an aged and strong northeastern tiger. Instead of tearing the leopard carcass on the ground, Papa Tiger bit it in his mouth and then walked along the front. Chin who followed, not understanding why Papa Tiger didn't eat the enemy's corpse to vent his anger. Walking forward, the not-so-open field was scattered sporadically with the carcasses of these few moose. Perhaps this is the reason why the moose herd was frightened and ran wildly. The five grouped leopards, in their hungry state, Faced with ample food naturally want to hunt and store some more. Eat enough to run away. Perhaps the leopard brothers did not expect this to be the case. Hunted moose meat have not been able to eat a few mouths. Was encountered by the male tiger was scared out of their wits. Fled the road. The prey on the ground was cheaper for Chin Hu and the others. It just so happens that they are also a little hungry. Chin Hu thought. Watching the tiger father carrying the leopard's corpse towards the edge of his territory. Chin Hu had already guessed in his heart what tiger dad was going to do. At this moment, he was definitely going to throw his opponent's body at the edge of his territory, while marking his urine on it, deterring this group of leopards and at the same time giving the hunters who invaded his territory the harshest warning, do not be afraid to speak your mind. After 10 minutes or so, the tiger father ran towards the two Qin Hu brothers with a sturdy stride, it was time to enjoy the spoils of war. Qin Hu stood guard and did not take the lead in eating. In the tiger family, this is the right of the strong to enjoy but also the tacit understanding of survival between them. The tiger father picked a fat moose to start eating, while Chin who led his tiger brother to pick a relatively smaller moose to eat. Under the afterglow of the setting sun, the silhouettes of the three tigers, father and son, were stretched out for a long time. It seemed to be heralding the rise of a powerful and young northeastern tiger family. The feeling of eating greatly compensated for the exhaustion of the journey. The one who ate the most happily was tiger brother. After all, there was nothing better than food to relieve the feeling of exhaustion. Father Tiger ate slowly, and when there was plenty of food, he chewed very finely, his mouth making the sound of crunching bones and swallowing from time to time. Sheen Hu, on the other hand, revealed a look of joy after feeling the increase of mysterious energy in his body after eating. As his body grew, the effect of this mysterious energy on him became more and more obvious. The entire eating process lasted for about an hour or so. The sun was only popping up a little bit on the backline of the mountain ridge exerting its residual heat. After eating their fill, Father Tiger brought the two Qin Hu brothers to drink water by a small pool. After eating and drinking, the lethargy that belonged solely to felines seemed to take over again. Not waiting for Qin Hu to turn around and check, a thick breathing sound came from the distance, making Qin Hu froze, turning back to look again. The tiger brother lying on the ground was also squinting slightly at the moment, his head nodding the ground from time to time, also struck by sleepiness. Qin Hu observed himself did not seem particularly sleepy, looking at tiger brother and tiger father, there are adults in the room, there should be no accidents, thinking of this, Chin who got the idea of wandering around for a bit, however, remembering the recent increase in the number of predators in the forest, he didn't plan to go far, eating and drinking before taking a walk seemed like a very healthy tiger life, stepping on the green grass, Chin who walked forward along the forest in front of him, the scenery here was very different from the previous scenery around the tiger's den, it was more of a large mountain canyon-like terrain. Chin who saw the edge of Tiger Dad's territory. The other side of the landscape was a bit barren. Even the forests looked a lot sparser. He headed for a high, exposed rock, then easily jumped to the highest point. The breeze ruffled his fur, and as he looked up and down at the forested wilderness below, Chin who couldn't help but tuck his paws and plop down. Such a feeling was too mesmerizing. The idea of wanting to occupy a territory of his own surfaced in Chin who's mind. After staying on the rocky heights for 10 minutes or so, when the sun's rays completely disappeared into the sky, Chin who also walked down, he loitered along the way. This kind of carefree life was something he had never had even in his previous life as a human being. 
Moving forward along the mountain forest, Sheen who saw the corpse of the leopard that had been hung on the trunk of a tree by the tiger daddies, which was already a bit stiff at the moment, and under the warmth of the heat, it was currently emitting a gust of odor that would make one's head go up, a sound came from the dark forest, causing Qin Hu to subconsciously become in a defensive position, however, when he saw that it was a panicked snow hare fleeing, Qin Hu also lost interest, he turned around and left in the direction of the tiger's father, but after he left, a pair of bright lights suddenly emerged from the originally dark forest, a behemoth with a robust body and a scar on its cheek that went vertically to the tip of its nose gradually revealed itself, however, after glancing at the leopard corpse above its head, the dark shadows shrouded its figure once again. Sheen who did not realize what he had almost experienced just now. After returning to his tiger father's side, he didn't stay idle and came to a thick tree trunk and rubbed his back. Perhaps it was past the time for chemtrails, and Sheen who also began his unfinished workout. These past few days, going out alone or following tiger dad in hunting as well as today's gig patrolling the territory. These daily exercises did not increase his exercise and the strengthening of his body by that mysterious energy in his body was not obvious, especially today's encounter with the five young leopards had made Qin Hu more aware of the natural law of the strongest being king and the weak being the strongest, he himself was now able to lead a carefree life, all thanks to the shelter of his tiger father, but there will come a day when he will have to leave them to live alone, and then everything will depend on himself, Qin Hu pondered, and after rubbing his back, he started practicing on the tree trunk with his paws, he wanted to train the strength of his front claws and at the same time make his nails polished a little sharper. Moreover, Sheen who had also planned that after Tiger Mom healed from her injuries and left Tiger Dad's territory to return to his own, Sheen who could still hunt some small animals to make up for the lack of food he had eaten, to relieve Tiger Mom's pressure, and to allow himself to exercise his hunting ability in advance. With his current strength and hunting skills, some small prey like snow hares, pheasants as well as swans he was confident of hunting successfully. At the same time, Qin who was also ready to cultivate the little tiger brother. After all, when he watched the animal world in his previous life, he also understood. Brother Tiger co-rule a piece of territory thing although rare, but also appeared. With the tiger brother's help, Qin who thought that there were very few in this mountain forest that could threaten the two of them. The prerequisite was that they could grow up smoothly. Qin who secretly decided that no matter what, he must live until he grew up smoothly. After all, only when he reached adulthood would he have the chance to compete with other male tigers for a piece of territory, with his own land and captive prey on it. Sheen who thought, both paws in the tree trunk planing more vigorously. Before dawn, the tiger father had already woken up, shaking and relaxing his body, comfortably stretching a lazy waist before calling the Sheen who brothers up one by one, taking advantage of the fact that the sun had not yet risen. Accompanied by the cool morning, they could patrol the territory for one more section today. Sheen who had worked out until late last night, but he was naturally energized after waking up at the moment. Instead of leaving immediately, Tiger Dad dragged the leftover food from yesterday's body over and gathered it together, then picked out a portion of meat that was easy to swallow before eating it individually. A moose meat, Tiger Father ate close to two-thirds of the amount. Belly are propped up round. From a distance to see, less a few points of the mighty and domineering, more a few points of the rounded and cute meaning. Chin who greeted the little tiger brother to eat together, want to become more powerful to eat more exercise. Sheen who wailed, conveying the meaning to little tiger brother's ears, perhaps being inspired by his brother's words with confidence, the little guy did not wait for Sheen who to start, but tore and swallowed like a wolf, after finishing breakfast, the tiger father stopped the lethargy that welled up in his body, taking slow steps gently walked forward, this was the posture of an after dinner walk for tigers, and it was also their most relaxed state, Sheen who had eaten a lot of moose meat, but it didn't protrude out somewhat at his belly like tiger dad and little tiger brother, it was as if his belly was a bottomless pit with room to spare. After devouring all of the remaining food from Tiger Dad and Little Tiger Brother, Sheen who still had a feeling that he hadn't finished yet, he had discovered that his appetite seemed to have gotten a little bigger again. Right now, the amount of food he ate was almost about three times that of his little brother. Ow! Oh, seeing his father walking away, Sheen who made a sound and called on Tiger Brother, who was a bit sleepy again, to follow. Little Tiger Brother wanted Tiger Father to stay and stop for a while longer. But the matter of patrolling the territory was also something that could not be done sloppily. So after prioritizing, he still forced himself to follow Qin Hu and set off. Along the way, the tiger father's speed is not fast, obviously in the care of the cubs, but also in order to digest food. It is not advisable to move too much when you are full. It is easy to hold on. As he kept going along the mountain forest ahead, the sound of crashing water came to Qin Hu's ears. Before he even got close, he could see the river ahead through the naked eye. Qin Hu this was the first time Qin Hu and Little Tiger Brother had seen such a wide river, 
Although Qin Hu had seen all the mountains and rivers of the motherland as well as the great rivers in his previous life, this was the first time he had seen it in this life, and there was an indescribable joy in his heart. The tiger father also seemed to be somewhat looking forward to the water source, turned toward the two cubs wailed and roared after the four limbs stride ran up. In a short time, his figure arrived at the river's edge. Qin Hu and little tiger brother also ran and followed. After eating breakfast and walking for about an hour, they were also a bit thirsty. When they came to the edge of the river, the terrain here was so gentle that they were able to reach the river when they walked up. Tiggy was so happy that he wagged his tail and ran towards his tiger father in the water. Unlike cats, tigers don't like water. Instead they like it very much, and they are very good swimmers. The tiger's father crept into the current and submerged most of his body in the water. It made him feel a cool sensation. Tiger brother followed tiger dad to learn his stance. Sheen who walked along the edge of the river, then also found a place with a deeper water source and jumped in. A feeling originating from his body's instincts instantly surged up. Even though this tiger body hadn't swam before, as soon as he entered the water, Qin who instinctively paddled his limbs and swam. No wonder tigers like water so much. The feeling of the hairs being floated by the current is really too comfortable. As if the pores of the whole body are opened at this moment, the whole body is permeable and comfortable. Little tiger brother learned tiger father lying down for a while, cannot help but naughty, from time to time with paws to slap the water. The water will be all gradual on the body of the tiger father. Tiger dad squinted slightly, avoiding the splashes from the side. With the attitude of the male tiger, did not roar towards the little tiger cub, already considered spoiled. After staying for 10 minutes or so, Jean Hu and his party left the river with a sigh of relief. Patrolling the territory would take a day or two. After traveling some distance, a front stopped the river and turned to the other side. Papa tiger continued on, occasionally marking the edge of the territory ahead with urine. If today went well, they could make a loop back into the middle of Tiger's Den by tomorrow night. After all, the tiger mom was still guarding the middle of the cave, and although it was no problem for an adult female tiger to go two or three days without food, it was ultimately unsettling after a long period of time. On the way to patrol, the tiger father was as serious as ever. Sheen who also occasionally turned around to look at the scenery. Little tiger brother is much more mischievous. From time to time in the elder brother and father side of the shuttle back and forth. Mouth wailing sound all the way. Sheen who looked forward in his heart, hoping that everything was alright. Tiger father's territory on a lot of animals. All kinds of animals. But no matter what kind of animal, met their line. Far away from them will escape without trace. The tiger's father seemed to be used to all this. Hunting was just to fill his stomach. And after eating, he had no interest in laying his hands on these small animals. After walking through a stretch of flat lawn, the front was starting to enter the mountains again. Papa tiger also became cautious. On the lawn one could look far away at a glance, but in the mountains and forests one could not detect unknown dangers. Luckily, they were not tired. Even if they met danger, they were able to react quickly and calmly. Tiger father is still walking in the front to lead the way. Sheen who in the last break the road. After walking a distance towards the mountain forest, they climbed up a slope, leaping over a small hill. A 20 to 30 meter wide canyon appeared in front, with some dense trees growing in the middle, facing the direction of the wind. Sheen who felt that he seemed to smell something, somewhat familiar, but somewhat uncertain. Coincidentally, at this moment, Tiger Dad also stopped. His expression became alert again, his gaze fixed on the front. Sheen who did not know what this odor was, but Tiger Dad knew very well that it was the smell of the same kind. Walking forward tentatively for a while, Tiger Dad did not find or see any potential threats around him. He whispered for Sheen who and little Tiger Brother to wait here and maintain a defensive posture. Tiger Dad avoided the fragile dead branches and walked forward without moving to investigate. The further he went, the stronger the smell that permeated the air became. Tiger Dad's expression remained unchanged. He knew very well what was ahead. It was just that being cautious was never a bad thing. Looking at Tiger Dad's back, Sheen who also began to ponder in his heart. Perhaps something had really changed in the neighboring territories, which had led to the emergence of all these unusual conditions. Tiger Dad lightly stepped on the ground, taking one step at a time trying to minimize the sound he made. A dozen meters away, Tiger Dad saw the scene ahead, beneath the forest field. A mottled carcass that had been cleanly parted was lying quietly on the ground. Tiger Dad stood at a distance for a while, looking a little uneasy in his expression, but quickly calmed down again. This was a northeastern tiger that had died long ago. It had been so long that even the hairs that stained his flesh had begun to dry up and fall off. The tiger father circled around the corpse, then tilted his head and let out a loud tiger whistle. On the exposed bones of the northeastern tiger's corpse, Tiger Dad saw many out clear teeth marks, inscribed on top of the tiger's bones, from the one missing tiger tooth at the skull and the extent of wear and tear on the other teeth, 
Tiger Dad already knew everything. His expression was a bit mournful, but did not show too much emotion. Chin Hu and Hu Di rushed over in a hurry when they heard their father's tiger whistle. After hurriedly holding back a glance, Tiger Dad's burly body covered up what was behind him. Roar! A low sound came out of Papa Tiger's mouth, urging the two little ones to walk back. Papa Tiger looked resolute, but Chin Hu still sensed something. Returning to the small slope just now, on the way out, Tiger Dad turned towards the mountain forest in front of him again and let out a terrifying tiger roar that resounded through the small valley. Sheen who detected the sadness in his father's expression, while the same kind of scent that filled the air just now also made him realize what was going on. Tiger Father is in his prime. If there is any other kind that can cause a change in his mood, I am afraid that it is only his relatives. Without saying a word, Papa Tiger walked steadily ahead as usual. Sheen who, however, felt that his father's arrogance revealed a sense of loneliness. Tiger father left about more than an hour later came back, mouth holding a gray wolf carcass. The hair at the corner of the mouth was stained by blood into a crimson red. Chin who was lying on the ground, the gray wolf carcass had already been eaten by tiger mom and tiger brother. Only the bones were left. Tiger dad tossed the gray wolf corpse aside, then glanced at Chin who with some relief. Of the two cubs, Chin whose performance was naturally a bit more favorable to tiger dad. After all, as the king of one side of the territory, Chin who showed courage and strength right now, so it was conceivable that when he reached adulthood, he would definitely become a qualified king, standing at the top of the food chain of this mountain forest just like himself. The tiger brother, perhaps sensing the tiger father's praise for his brother, somewhat shriveled up and plopped down beside the tiger mother. Looking cautious, late afternoon, the tiger father who had rested enough got up, shook the fur of his entire body, and then let out a low roar towards Chin Hu. It's time to go out hunting. Chin Hu stood up from the ground and a sound came out of his mouth in response, looking a little excited. Tiger brother was left behind because tiger father felt that he was not capable of learning and adapting to hunting right now. Tiger's mom had not yet healed from her injuries, so naturally she stayed behind with tiger's brother to watch over him. After shaking his body and changing his spirit, Chin who was also ready to set off with tiger dad. It was the first time that Chin who participated in a night hunt. Before setting off, tiger mom vocalized some instructions to Chin who. The danger of hunting at night is too much greater than during the day, and there is also the possibility of injury. But for the tiger father to educate Chin Hu hunting skills, the tiger mother is not too much involvement. After all, the male tiger has its own way to go, by another male tiger to guide in education. Chin whose future will be better. Growing up is always a lonely and hurtful process, especially for male tigers. Outside the cave, little tiger brother watched with bated breath as his brother and father left to hunt and study, and he could only envy. Sensing his loss, the tiger's mother rubbed her head against his forehead to express her concern and relief. After leaving the tiger's den, tiger dad led Chin Hu towards the plains below, not too fast, occasionally stopping to wait for Chin Hu. He was a bit excited. This was the first time he came out to hunt at night, compared to the daytime. Many animals will also come out at night to forage for food, such as wild boars, musk oxen and other nocturnal hunters. But the northeast tiger usually only preys on large animals, such as adult wild boars, moose, musk oxen, etc. If it is the winter season when there is a lack of food, even brown bears and black bears will be added to the menu. Walking in the mountain forests at night, the tiger's father also walks cautiously, occasionally stopping to look up and sniff the air. For northeast tigers, the darkness of the night has little effect on their eyesight. They are a feline very well adapted to nocturnal activities, and their eyes have excellent night vision. In general, darkness does not affect the vision of northeast tigers too much because their eyes are highly adaptable and can quickly adapt to different brightness. Moreover, the eyes of northeast tigers have the function of night vision, which allows them to see things around them in a very dark environment. In addition, the eyes of northeast tigers can also reflect light, which improves the visual acuity of northeast tigers. In the darkness, this reflection can help northeast tigers to better spot the prey around them and increase the success rate of hunting. Tiger Dad was searching for prey, Sheen who was not idle either, following around Tiger Dad. Similarly sniffing the air with his tiger nose, discerning the information here. After walking a distance of a few kilometers, he went out of the place where Tiger Dad often frequented, and then headed towards the jungle ahead. Wild boars like to eat the roots of some underground plant growth the most, and Tiger Dad knew very well which places had this kind of plant distribution. Along the way, Tiger Dad did not make a sound to remind him, but he was using his actions to teach Chin Hu how to hunt at night. Father and son walked along the jungle. Along the way we'll also encounter some foraging small animals, but all by the tiger father scared away. The jungle at night seemed much quieter than during the day. In the next moment, tiger dad seemed to have caught the scent of his prey and slightly lowered his body. 
Jean who cautiously went up and similarly lay down behind Tiger Dad. Not far away. Under the jungle, four or five wild boars with a dozen or so piglets were arching the dirt on the ground in search of food. Tiger Dad slowed down his breathing. His expression quieted down, quietly observing the movements of the wild boars. Jean who followed, learning from Tiger Dad's every move. The wild boars hadn't realized that they were being watched by the two tigers, and were completely unaware of the danger coming. Only the leading wild boar raised its head and sniffed the air around it as was its habit, then chewed food in its mouth and looked around with alert eyes, but it didn't take long for him to follow the rest of the boars and arch the dirt on the ground to forage for food. Papa Tiger did not take action, but instead lay on the ground and kept raising his head to test the waters. Wild boars had a keen sense of smell and could even smell the scent of hunters a few kilometers away. Sheen who guessed that Tiger Dad was probing the wind direction so that he could hide his own odor and then adjust his sneak attack route. He carefully observed without making a sound or acting rashly. There were a large number of wild boars ahead, all colors, and Sheen who was also observing the hunting targets. The tiger's father cat around, seemingly selecting the object of the sneak attack, and then circled around, approaching a little bit without disturbing the group of wild boars. Sheen who also followed the cat up. He also selected a hunting target for himself, a half-sized wild boar cub with a fairly strong physique. Hunting process, the tiger father than Sheen who have much more patience not only 10 minutes to move a step, and even the slightest worry about the immediate wild boar group ate enough to go away. Jean who knew that the success rate of tiger hunting was very high, so he was not in a hurry either. The two sides were separated by a distance of roughly 300 meters. After more than an hour, Jean who and tiger dad slowly pulled in half the distance, with a distance of 150 meters. If the prey found them and ran away, within this distance, even if tiger dad was fast, he wouldn't be able to catch up with the wild boar that was running for its life. So, there was still a need to wait patiently. The wild boar group seemed to have discovered something as well. Apart from the leading wild boar, the other two adult boars stopped eating and looked up at the surroundings, a pair of eyes exploring non-stop. They hadn't discovered the danger yet, so they wouldn't flee in haste. The opportunity was still there. Jean who thought in his mind, his body tightly pressed to the ground. Papa Tiger took advantage of the moment when the three boars lowered their heads to forage for food to catwalk forward another dozen meters, and then plopped down behind a tree trunk. Sheen who looked at the situation, then got up and went in another direction. He wanted to try and see if he could drive the wild boars from the back of the herd in the direction of his tiger father. Sheen who thought, his limbs sensitively avoided the fragile withered branches on the ground, and approached the wild boars from another direction. Papa Tiger glanced at Sheen who and ignored his unauthorized action. Half an hour later, Sheen who touched the back of the wild boar group of 100 meters, the male boar sniffed the air, seems to detect the danger, and then his mouth let out a wail. Sheen who sound, whoosh sound, from the back of the wild boar pounced out. Ow, a tiger whistle, scared the wild boar group fled to the rear, the tiger father remained in ambush, when the wild boar ran for its life to the near, instantly jumped up, a paw slapped on the side of an adult wild boar, the huge force directly to the wild boar toppled down, on the ground to fall on his head. The wild boar flipped over and wanted to continue to run for its life, but it was clasped by the tiger father's two claws, controlling it from behind the wild boar, avoiding the wild boar's sharp tusks at the same time. The tiger's mouth also bit tightly on its back. Wild boar mouth issued a pig-like miserable squeal. The surrounding forest constantly came from the whoosh escape sound, seeing that tiger dad had already managed to catch a prey. Sheen who was overjoyed, while his extremely fast running body also pounced towards a half-sized boar. Sheen who followed the tiger father's action. Paw slap slapped on the side of the boar. The half-sized boar fell to the ground with it. Sure is practical. A claw on the side of the extremely fast running prey. After destroying its balance, and then trying to speed up again to escape, it bought time for the tiger. Sheen who was delighted in his heart, and his claws were deeply embedded in the boar's skin. The more intense the struggle, the more damage the boar would receive. Soon, Sheen whose adjusted posture began to lock his throat, giving the boar a fatal blow. His muscles began to fire and his tiger teeth clenched the boar's throat harder and harder. Ho ho! Because of the close proximity, Sheen who could even clearly hear the bubbling sound between the boar's throat as it was clogged with blood. He didn't have the slightest bit of softness. The law of survival in this environment was the law of the weak and the strong. Perhaps it is not too ventilated cause, boar limbs began to struggle violently. Sheen who dead by throat not let go. At the same time limbs force, sent the boar the last ride and affectionate kiss. The tiger father's side also finished the hunt and then let out a tiger whistle to call Chin Chin, dragging the already broken prey to Tiger Dad's side. It was only then that Chin who saw clearly that the wild boar's throat had been broken open by Tiger Dad, and was bleeding at the moment. Father and son looked at each other's prey, and both were somewhat satisfied in their hearts. 
Tiger Dad licked Chin Hu's fur with his bloodied tongue. Roar! Tiger Dad greeted Chin Hu and started to eat, taking the lead in his own mouth. Starting at the boar's fragile belly, Chin Hu was also not polite. He did not resist much after seeing such a bloody scene more often instead. After all, eating could increase the mysterious energy in his body, thus improving his physical quality, which was something to be happy about. Chin Hu tore off a piece of flesh and chewed it with satisfaction, while a warm current appeared in his body at the same time slowly increasing as he ate. Accompanied by his tiger father, Chin who had learned a lot more on this night hunt, father and son ate half full in the same place before packing the rest of the prey and moving a little bit in the direction of the cave. The next two or three days won't have to worry about food, Chin who thought in his heart, holding the half-sized wild boar cub he had hunted in his mouth. He somewhat proudly followed behind his tiger father, gently wagging his tail. Another night passed. Tiger dad once again revitalized his spirit, then urged the two little ones to set off again. This scorching weather, both the adult tigers and the cubs were a bit overwhelmed by the heat. Papa Tiger led the brothers on their journey to patrol the territory. The borderline that came along this way was not so badly damaged. In some places, the scent of the marked territories had just been washed out, causing some predators to trespass unintentionally. Papa Tiger didn't go on a killing spree against these mindless transgressors that had trespassed into the territories, but only made a mighty gesture to frighten them, and then mainly drove them away. Even so, Chin Chin roughly counted the number of signs of invasion at the edge of the territory to be as many as 21. Such a number made Chin Hu a little worried. Something must have happened to the neighboring territories in order for these hunters who originally lived in that area, or on the edge, to have to migrate to other areas. Thinking about it, Chin Hu followed his tiger father over a mountainside, and at the foot of the mountain was a river, which wasn't wide, but the water was clear and had a gentle current, so it was easy to swim across, along the river. The terrain and land were relatively flat, and all kinds of vegetation grew thickly, surrounded by some towering trees on the mountain slopes. Chin who knew that this river should be the upper reaches of the big river that he passed yesterday, walking up a few dozen kilometers further from here, he would be able to return to the tiger's nest from the other direction. Grounded on the bank, the tiger's father stopped and looked a bit cautious. After all, with the wide terrain, abundant water, and the surrounding dense mountain forests as well as sufficient grass, this location was considered to be superior, and was able to attract a lot of herbivores and predators to patronize it. If he was just an adult tiger, he would have nothing to worry about, but for the safety of his cubs, he had to be cautious. Papa Tiger surveyed his surroundings, sniffing the air, which was a bit moist. A tiger whistled towards the opposite side of the mountains, announcing his arrival to the mountains, but also warning the hunters hiding in the shadows. Male tigers were almost impossible to kill an adult northeastern tiger except for the upper casualties that would occur if they encountered another male tiger. Even when encountering some groups of predators, the northeast tiger is able to react quickly and has the ability to kill or seriously injure the other. Therefore, the adult northeast tigers, except for the kind of northeast tigers that just came out as adults to wander and look for territories in the meantime, the other landowner tigers would seldom clash with the northeast tigers whose territories were close to each other. After all, a piece of mountain forest was enough to support a northeast tiger and as long as the landlord tiger's physical strength and age were still in shape, there was no possibility of major conflicts. Therefore, after hesitating for a moment on the bank, the male tiger greeted the two cubs behind him and took the lead in stepping into the current. Without hesitation, Chin who also followed and pounced into the water, splashing a wave. Little tiger brother looked at the bottomless and wide river has been in the bank hesitation, whether to jump down. A few moments of work, Chin who are almost swimming out a third of the distance. Little tiger brother mouth let out an owl, also boldly jumped down to the river. There was no sense of suffocation, only comfort. The buoyancy of the current once again gave him a different experience. After spending a few minutes swimming to the other side of the river, the tiger's father was shaking the water droplets from his fur in the open space. Chin whose fur all over his body was also wet with water, and once he was on the bank the water current incidentally covered his fur against his body, making it a little difficult. Learning from the tiger father's example. Shaking the muscles of the whole body, the water in the hair was shaken out again. Fur fluffed up a bit, Chin who felt a lot better. Tiger Dad glanced at the two cubs that had arrived safely and continued on to the mountains ahead. After walking along the river for a while on a flat path, Papa Tiger made a jump onto the hillside and began to climb upwards. The two Chin who brothers hurriedly followed. This place had already reached the edge of the territory, so they might meet the male tigers from the opposite side that also came to patrol the territory. So Chin Hu and the others had to follow their father's pace closely. If they trespassed into someone else's territory and left behind a scent, it would not be good to start a conflict at that time. At that time, the tiger father faced the possibility that the opposite territory tiger invited to war. 
If the slightest mistake is made, it is serious injury or death. Nature is so simple, rough and cruel. The sunlight had just crossed the forest field and thrown itself between the mountains and forests. A gust of cool mountain wind blew along the hillside from the canyon just a few moments ago, which seemed somewhat cozy and added to the comfortable feeling of the fur on the whole body being gently stroked. Papa Tiger walked slowly. Sheen Hu and Little Tiger Brother also walked with great spirit. Further ahead, is the direction of the Tiger Father's cave. After a few days out, Sheen Hu had the feeling of a wanderer looking forward to returning home. On this part of the road, Tiger Dad walked with extra caution. Because this section of the road is the closest area between the two territories and the area where both sides can see each other from time to time. The father knows the threat of this place and its importance. The cubs were in danger following him, but it was a lesson they would have to learn as they went through and grew up. Papa Tiger's territory is large, so there are many threats and challenges he faces. If he hadn't been slowed down by the cubs, he was afraid that he would have finished patrolling the territory once already. In this dangerous area, Tiger Dad didn't speed up either and remained in the same pattern as before, walking for a while and then stopping to rest and rest again. Fortunately, this area had the joint maintenance of both sides, and was considered to be safe and sound. Out of this area, the tiger father accelerated the speed, but also along the way began to pay attention to the migration of the animals. When going back, the tiger father also wanted to bring some food back. After all, he hadn't returned to the tiger's nest for two or three days. If he returned empty-handed, he didn't know if the tigress would be angry. Sheen who followed Tiger Dad around, still learning hunting techniques and accumulating experience. With the experience of several successful hunts, he planned to try hunting some small animals after returning to the Tiger Mother's territory, to sharpen his hunting skills and accumulate experience, and secondly, to possibly alleviate the Tiger Mother's hunting pressure. The cubs were getting bigger and bigger, and their own appetites were likewise increasing, and the pressure on the Tiger Mom was also greater, as Sheen who thought. Tiger Dad on the other side had already seen the movement of a group of sika deer in front of him. In this piece of mountain forest, there is no lack of plum blossom deer, moose such medium and large herbivores. The required tiger father hunting is still relatively easy. There was no emotion. It was all skill. Tiger Dad smoothly spent an hour hunting a 110-pound buck, dragging the buck back. The tiger father did not put the food on the ground to eat, but let out a tiger whistling to the two brothers to urge a sound after biting the prey in the direction of the tiger's den and went. Sheen who followed, the little tiger brother see there is food, also very start, not waiting for Sheen who urged, he jumped forward to catch up, returning to the tiger's nest again, Sheen who had a feeling of going home, perhaps hearing the commotion in advance, the tiger mom was also lying in wait outside the cave, when Sheen who and his party returned, the tiger mom rubbed her fur next to their necks, although it was only two or three short days, it was the first time the cubs had traveled far away from their mother, although there is a male tiger's shelter. There will not be any danger, but the tiger mother is still a little worried. See the cubs are safe to return. Also be satisfied. The tiger father walked to the female tiger with the plum deer hunted on the road in his mouth, and then placed it on the ground with some pleasing meaning. Sheen who stood aside. Before eating there was a feeling of satiety coming, and at that moment was ready to turn his head away. Tiger mother, however, did not enjoy it alone, and let out a roar to call the two cubs. Let them eat first and then dragged out from the cave to eat still half of the other plum deer. Seeing this, Chin who could not help but admire the tiger mom. Being able to hunt alone meant that tiger mother's injuries were almost healed. However, thinking about it, they had been taken care of by the male tiger for more than a month before and after. Tiger mom's healing also meant that they would be leaving this place soon and returning to their own territory. Although the tiger father would come over every once in a while, and the family would be reunited. But it always felt like something was missing. Perhaps this is the feeling of home. Sheen Hu, who was born as a human in his previous life, couldn't understand the living habits of the Northeast Tiger. Perhaps it was the rules that the community had abided by for millions of years, eating a large mouthful of food to make up for the consumption of mysterious energy in his body. Sheen Hu felt that he should take his exercise program a step further, leaving Tiger Dad, relying on Tiger Mom alone to hunt and feed the three of them. I'm afraid that just having enough to eat would be a problem. He would have to find another food source. Sheen Hu thought that even if he had to leave, it wouldn't be now. There should still be a few days for him to prepare. Just during these few days, he would follow his tiger father out hunting again and learn some hunting tricks along the way. Now Chin whose weight, length, as well as strength have grown by a large margin, and many hunting techniques have begun to be utilized. But it's just a matter of inexperience. Of course, it was in the case of not being able to. Chin who had other means, even after becoming a tiger, it didn't mean that he wouldn't be able to lay traps Ah, In his previous life as a fishing enthusiast, Sheen who was well aware of the importance of making a nest. However, 
after becoming a tiger, some of his body's instincts hindered him from utilizing his ingenuity. Ow. After eating and drinking, little tiger brother began to become lively and active again. Perhaps he also understood that there was not much time left for a family reunion. And at this moment, he was also walking back and forth among the tigers in a very mischievous manner. Finally after some sleepiness, this is in a vacant lot obediently lying down, not long to fall asleep, went out for a stroll. The little guy felt the benefits of the tiger's den here. Sheen who lying on the side, tiger father they are next to each other, licking each other's fur, seems to be doing a final goodbye. Sheen who quietly watched, and then thought of the remaining wild ginseng hidden in the tiger's den, taking a bite and rejecting it, the flavor was the same as always, and the efficacy was equally not bad. Sheen who only felt it roughly and noticed that it had increased quite a bit, he then simply devoured all of the remaining wild mountain ginseng. The mysterious energy kept transforming and increasing in his body, also causing Chin Hu to feel a dry heat all over his body as he ran back and forth around the tiger's den. Tiger moms walked over, thinking it was because he was too hot. Tiger father let out a roar, seemingly wanting Chin Hu to go to the foot of the mountain to take a cool bath. Glancing behind him, Chin Hu went out of the tiger's den alone. He did feel a bit parched, perhaps due to eating too much wild ginseng. Coupled with the fact that he was about to leave his tiger father and end these days of being clothed and fed, he desperately wanted to quench his hunting skills so that he could have enough to eat every day even after he returned to the territory. Chin who left and went to the mountains to look for hunting opportunities. He had an idea in his head. Chin who, who had patrolled this territory, knew that the most abundant thing here was still the wild boar, and to deal with this kind of wild boar that had a lot of meat, a lot of numbers, and wasn't too smart. Chin who thought of the videos he had seen in his previous life where hunters used corn to make nests and rounded up dozens of wild boars at a time. Whether it's herbivores or carnivores, the need for food is never satisfied. Chin who walked through the mountains and forests, looking for food that would attract wild boars. There were no human footprints in this place, so naturally, there was a lack of patches and patches of corn. Although it could be found if one looked carefully, the quantity was too small, and if it was on a large scale, it would have long been spoiled by the wild boars. What Chin who was looking for were some root foods that wild boars love to eat. These things are not difficult to find. The terrain is flat. The soil is soft and fertile place basically have growth. Just that most of such places have a wide field of vision, not conducive to hiding. This is the farthest Chin who has left the adult tiger alone. Walked 30 or 40 kilometers range, found 4 or 5 places, and planed about 20 or 30 pounds of root food piled up in an excellent hunting place, and then quietly waiting for food will be prey to attract to come. Chin who lay on the ground and waited patiently. Last time, he had hunted two small wild boar cubs by the creek, and this time, he planned to hunt a larger wild boar. Moreover, he also planned to use the same tactics as last time, when the wild boar group was attracted over. After observing to lock the prey, he suddenly sprang out from the ambush place, mimicking the sound of an adult male tiger, scaring the adult wild boar away, so that he could fake the tiger's power and hunt the locked prey. Chin who planned in his mind, thinking a little bit about the shortcomings of the plan, in his previous life as a man, in this life as a tiger, Chin who also knows how to utilize the power of wisdom, which is a fearful northeastern tiger. After a short while, a group of wild boars, led by the boar leader, cowering towards the location where Chin who piled up the bait. Perhaps the temptation of food was too great, or this place was too far away from the tiger's haunts. In any case, this group of wild boars was not very defensive. In the hot weather, facing a bunch of favorite food, the wild boars were not too polite, and they ate it with a grimace. Chin who observed for a while that there were prey that matched his position in this group of wild boars. Therefore, Chin who appeared to be more careful and cautious, crawling and traveling on the ground as much as he could to ensure that his scent and figure were not detected by the wild boars in front of him. Roar. A tiger's roar that was 80% similar to that of an adult male tiger resounded through the surrounding mountains and fields. Chin whose body fiercely scurried out from the ambush place, instantly approaching the group of wild boars. As Chin who expected, the adult wild boar, despite having sharp tusks, did not have the slightest intention of resisting in the face of the adult northeastern tiger, and riveted its strength to escape. Chin who did not care about the direction of the adult boar, speed to the extreme, and a 50 to 60 pounds of half a large wild boar cub side by side, seems to know that he cannot run northeast tiger. Wild boar began to practice a false move, the first false shot, so that Chin who was a bit caught off guard almost lost balance, by the time he adjusted his stance and re-accelerated. The boar had already escaped some distance, originally in accordance with the habits of the northeast tiger. Such prey should be given up. It is not worth the loss. But Chin who had the mysterious energy in his body for support. He didn't care about the consumption of physical energy. And with a wail, 
He accelerated towards the boar's butt and chased after it. The wild boar that was escaping was terrified. If it could speak at this moment, it must be a nationalist. Chasing the wild boar and running out for a few kilometers, Sheen who took down this somewhat exhausted boar, under the extreme speed running, his physical energy consumption was not very big, just that his body was a bit paralyzed, and it seemed that the transition between gain and loss was too fast. Sheen who dragged the wild boar's corpse, looked at the distant wild boar group that was shaking its pig's tail and fading away, and began to eat with a big mouthful of food, eating up a 50 to 60 pound wild boar, Sheen who spent 10 minutes, and again, he couldn't get enough of it, however, he knew that it was time for him to go back, in the middle of the tiger's den, the family was lying neatly on their backs, and after eating and drinking, the best way to consume time was to have a beautiful sleep, Sheen who also found a place to lie down and slowly closed his eyes to sleep, the sun dipped in the west, Sheen whose family finally woke up one after another from sleep, there was no need to hunt today, so everyone was a bit flustered with idleness, only Sheen who was teasing little tiger brother, training his physical ability and endurance, for the next three days in a row, except for the middle of the tiger father took Sheen who out hunting once, the family almost all stayed together, Sheen who knew that the day of parting had arrived, there was no sad parting picture, nor the reluctance to send off the king for thousands of miles, only the repetitive tedium of traveling to the steppe, tiger mom left with the two Sheen who brothers, tiger dad lay on his back in the middle of the cave and did not come to say goodbye, for him, this is just a small fragment of the long tiger life, it does not matter, Sheen who walked along the creek at the foot of the mountain, among the tigers in the group, only the little tiger brother turned back once every three steps, seemingly a little reluctant to give up, but after being urged by the tiger mother's voice, there was no more attachment, as long as there is a big brother to accompany is good, little tiger thought, and began to become lively and active again, while the sky was still cool, the tiger mother brought the two little ones on their way back to her own territory, the two cubs are now more than seven months old and are considered to be half big tigers, the tiger mom also has to think about the increased food intake of the two cubs, if there hadn't been an invasion of strange male tigers, she could have brought the two cubs to grow up happily in another prey rich place by now, but looking at the increasingly noticeable size difference between the two cubs, the tiger mother felt it was time for her to show some favoritism as well, the journey went on as if it was a spring trip, Sheen who was already not surprised by the surrounding scenery, before, when he saw it for the first time he still felt novel and appreciated it, but now it was only bland, Little tiger brother chased after the surrounding lawn foraging birds pouncing, chasing after the soaring birds, but very happy to play, lawn not far away from the deer group distance together, probably more than 10 like, see not far from the appearance of the three tigers, also was startled, at the same time, then issued the sound of machine alarm, each panic wildly run away, speed is extremely fast, the three tigers are not yet the desire to eat, the prey in front of the eyes to run apart is not strange, this journey, Sheen who estimated that it would take about two days, the territories of the two tigers covered too much area between them, and crossing this distance would take quite a bit of time, however, after such a long time had passed, the tiger mother was also a bit confused about the situation in her territory, tiger Sheen was also a bit worried about this, after all, having been the landlord tiger not being in his territory for a month or two, when he went back again who knew if he would be turtled up, the weather was cool, and the tiger mother walked quickly, constantly urging along the way, and finally using a trotting pace, Sheen who walked easily, maintaining the speed to follow tiger mom's side, glancing back at little tiger brother, barely able to keep up with their speed, just a little strained, Sheen who realized it, little tiger brother's character had some lazy genes engraved in it, during these one or two months in the tiger father's territory, the life of being clothed and fed without any worries had also made his weight and stature grow a bit, although it was not as exaggerated as Sheen who's, it was still stronger than the average tiger cubs of the same age, Coupled with Qin who this period of time deliberately take him to exercise, the little tiger brother weather endurance, physical strength or explosive force has made great progress, but is a little lazy, as long as what to do, walk up a few minutes immediately show fatigue, this time, Qin who was not moved, quietly slowed down the speed fell in the small tiger brother raw after, while he did not pay attention to the time, the mouth violently issued an owl to scare him, seems to be really scared, little tiger brother's speed miso raised, instantly followed the tiger mother, then turned back, eyes some grudging gaze at Qin Hu, he could see that this little thing was showing weakness to him, Qin Hu didn't care, no matter how much the little guy chased after him, he wouldn't be able to be in such a condition, roar, perhaps dissatisfied with the current speed of advancement, tiger mother turned towards the brothers and let out a serious roar, telling the two little guys to be quieter and hurry up, the three tigers had been walking like this all morning, slowly approaching the edge of tiger dad's territory, 
and were advancing towards Tiger Dad's leader. This part of the place has some mountains and forests. At the same time, because of the terrain, the climate seems a little dry. The vegetation is not so dense. Some of the grasses on the ground were a bit withered by the hot sun due to the lack of moisture. Tiger Mother found a shady place in a forest and plopped down. The long trek had made her feel a bit depleted as well. Jean who each found a shady rock to lie down on, then instinctively observed the situation around them. There was another five to six hundred meters of distance through this mountain forest, and they were about to enter the range of Tiger Mother's territory, but there was still some distance to the destination they must travel to. At this moment, the sun was hanging in the middle of the day, and the weather was starting to get hot and dry, but it was good that the journey ahead of them could be traveled in the mountains and forests without having to be exposed to the sun's scorching rays. The cool breeze that blew made all three tigers who stopped to rest feel comfortable. Tiger Mother wanted to get up and look for a water source. Sheen who took the initiative to set off, and little Tiger Brother followed beside her, wailing and clamoring to go. Tiger Mother had no choice but to bring the two cubs along as they walked forward while searching for a water source. Just after stepping into their territory, a sense of familiarity spread out. Tigers are also freedom-loving animals. The mother is very familiar with her own territory. It didn't take long to find a water source with the two little ones. After drinking enough water and resting at the water's edge for a sufficient amount of time, they moved forward in the direction of their destination in the forest. As the tiger mom walked along, she also lost the loose look she had earlier and became serious, exactly the same as when the tiger dad was patrolling the territory. Perhaps this is a common characteristic of tigers. This journey is a migration and a tour of her territory. Tiger Mom was also aware that if she left for too long, there might be intruders in her territory. Tiger Mom didn't care about other intruders as long as they weren't other adult male tigers, but that usually didn't happen. Along the way, Tiger Mother didn't stop and quickly cruised towards the territory. The three tigers and their party followed closely to prevent falling behind. Soon, in a corner of the mountain forest, under a thick tree trunk, Tiger Mother discovered something new, a pile of excrement left behind by a predator. Tiger Mother went up to take a look then searched the four directions with some solemnity, then quickly ran over in one direction. Sheen Hu and Little Tiger Brother hurriedly followed. Coming closer, Tiger Mother had already started observing and collecting odors at the scene. Sheen Hu took a look and realized that there were footprints of the same kind on the ground, and there were also messy footprints all around. Not like the footprints left by an adult male tiger, but like a female tiger with three cubs. After leaving the territory for too long, the worst had happened, but not the worst. At least this tiger moving around in the tiger mom's territory was female like them and had three cubs with her. It usually worked out fine with each other. After all, the tiger mom had a lot of life experience and could probably solve a lot of things. Scouting the situation clearly, the tiger mom uttered a voice to remind the two cubs to follow her closely and not to run around. Although there was tiger mother's protection, with their current strength, even if they met an adult female tiger, they would be killed single-handedly. Chin who understood that the tiger's life came first. From this moment on, Sheen who felt that something had changed in him, but it seemed like it hadn't. The sun went down in the west and the night slowly drew in. The mountains and forests that had been dominated by the heat for an entire day were once again vibrant at this moment. The temperatures slowly dropped back down, and the wind blowing through the forest and mountains cooled down again. The mountains and forests are also starting to become less calm. The tiger mother led her two cubs to the center of her territory after a few dozen miles of trekking, and finally returned to the center of her territory before nightfall. But before they could return to the middle of the tiger's den, they discovered something very bad. A dozen kilometers or so from the vicinity of the territory they were preparing to roost in, the mother tiger once again found the tracks left by the female intruder. The carcass of an adult buck was all that was left of the skull, a mangled skeleton. In the surrounding area, the tiger cubs were equally successful, finding piles of feces left by the intruder's cubs. Tiger mom was annoyed in her heart, but until the intruder was found, she could only endure all of this. Sheen who was also observing the surroundings, for this group of tiger intruders, he was also a little unable to tolerate it. After all, if they ate one more bite, they themselves would eat one less bite. It was equivalent to a stranger suddenly breaking into your home. Not only did he freely trash it inside, but in the end, he also left behind a pile of stinking garbage. The tiger mom rested briefly, and then told the two cubs to stay close to herself at all times. After all, in the next second they would most likely encounter an intruder. A fight could happen at any time. The tiger mom's nervousness made the two cubs nervous as well. They were not ready to rest, even when darkness came, and they continued to follow the trail of the intruder. Tiger mother walked out along the place where she had just found the prey carcasses, and as she walked, she let out a muffled and angry tiger roar, like a reserved middle-aged woman cursing, repeating over and over again. Sheen who also didn't dare to run around, 
An adult boar had taught him a lesson in poor judgment and carelessness. Seeing that both his brother and mother were so serious, little tiger brother didn't dare to run into the distance either and followed Chin Hu closely. Because of the tiger mother's warning tiger whistles all the way, the animals in the mountains and forests couldn't help but riot. Wherever they passed by, whooshing sounds of fleeing could be heard in the jungle not far away. Occasionally, one could also meet some groups of animals rushing to escape from the territory where the northeast tiger appeared. It was getting darker and darker. After resting for a while in the mountain forest, the tiger mother didn't continue to make tiger whistling noises, and found a position on higher ground, quietly observing the surrounding mountains. Sheen who lay on the side and also looked at the mountain forest in front of him, not understanding what tiger mother was doing at the moment, but he knew that it must have something to do with finding the female northeast tiger that had invaded the territory. Tiger mother listened with both ears to the sounds made by the animals fleeing in the mountains and forests, and then her gaze kept shifting. In the next moment, Tiger Mother's gaze was fixed on a forest where the sounds emanating from it were not so obvious. Her gaze froze, perhaps she had found where the intruder was hiding. Tiger Mother turned around and hesitated, but she brought her two cubs along with her. The mountain forest was only a few kilometers away from where they were. The Tiger Mother walked cautiously, her eyes searching the surroundings along the way. Jean who understood at this moment, the original Tiger Mom just walked all the way to make a tiger whistle sound. The original is trying to use the means to scare snakes. I didn't expect it to be successful, but as soon as he thought of the scene of the two female tigers meeting, his heart could not help but be nervous. After all, if a conflict broke out between them, as their cubs, what should they do? Learn from their mother's behavior, and also press the opposite intruder's cubs to beat them up? The moment he thought of that comical image, the tension in Sheen whose heart dissipated a lot, walking among the dark mountains and forests, Tiger Mother also remained the king of these mountains and forests. Suddenly, Sheen who felt as if he heard a subtle tiger whistling, but it was not backed up enough so it didn't travel that far. Sheen who wanted to remind tiger mother of this, but he saw her slowly stopping in her tracks at the moment. Under the mountain forest two to three hundred meters away directly in front of them, a female tiger that looked slightly thin was staring at them at the moment. The gazes of the two female tigers locked together in the next instant. Sheen who also froze, not expecting the intruder to be so bold as to come and block them on the road without waiting for them to come to the door. The mother tiger let out a gurgling tiger whistle. The female tiger on the opposite side was equally unwilling to show weakness, and similarly let out a tiger whistle in response. In the distance of the mountains and forests, the echoes of the tiger whistles of the two female tigers resounded. The intruder was provoking on the opposite side, and the tiger mother told the two cubs to stay where they were. As she herself slowly walked forward, war seemed inevitable. From the moment she saw this intruder, Jean who knew that she was afraid that this was also her own territory that could not support the three cubs, and she had no choice but to go out in search of a place with more abundant prey, all for the sake of the cubs. The distance between the two female tigers was getting shorter and shorter. Jean who found three tiger cubs probing and watching in the distance, probably two or three months younger than them, seemingly not yet weaned, their weight and figure appeared a bit thin and weak, although sympathetic, but Jean who will not let each other continue to hunt in their territory. Because once the number of northeastern tigers on the territory was high, the number of prey would not be enough to feed them and there would be a crisis. Indifference is also one of the laws of survival for the northeast tigers. The two female tigers opened their mouths to each other and let out tiger whistles, with a tendency to go to war at the drop of a hat. However, in Chin whose opinion, this scene was more like two Amazons scolding each other. You a sentence and I a sentence back. You and I. Some comedy. Peaceful expulsion of invaders. This is the result Chin who expect to get. But the toughness mixed in the other party's tiger whistling sound made it difficult for the tiger mom to suppress the anger in her body any longer. When the other party let out a tiger whistling sound to angrily dislike her back, she directly got up and accelerated, pouncing towards the other party. Tiger mother used her forceful movements to tell the opposite intruder, I don't care, since you don't want to get out of my territory, then stay and become fertilizer. In the face of the tiger mother's sudden pounce, the intruder obviously didn't expect this kindred spirit in front of him to be so strong either. Sheen who witnessed the two tigresses fighting with each other, as if they were two ordinary plus house cats fighting, waving their double claws in each other's hands towards each other's body to scratch, at the same time, and each other biting and rolling on the ground. Although the scene is not as majestic as the male tiger fight, but the same bloody and cruel. In a short while, the two female tigers had their own damage, but Sheen who could see that the intruder had clearly fallen into a disadvantage. After all, compared to the tiger mom's body, the intruder in front of him was going to be a step behind. Watching from the side for a few minutes, the two female tigers fought once and then confronted each other again. But after observing that there were no serious injuries on the tiger mom's body, Sheen who put his heart down, roar, 
After the intruder was injured, it rushed across the room and let out a tiger roar before running up again. Its hind legs lashed out and its body leapt up, pouncing towards tiger mother. The tiger's mouth tore at it, and its strong and powerful two front paws clashed together with a thumping sound. However, even though it fought as hard as it could, it couldn't undo the defeat, carrying three cubs that were not fully weaned, and with the bumpy ride, the hunt yielded only enough food to fill the cubs, and in the end, only a small portion could be left for herself. The mother tiger slapped the intruder to the ground with one paw, and the tiger's mouth bit down hard. The scene of bloody tearing and killing made the cubs of both sides watching from afar a bit unbearable to watch. Bloody and brutal. Between life and death, what erupted was the instinctive aesthetics of violence. Seeing that their mother had lost, the three tiger cubs hidden in the back couldn't help but run out, surging to the female tiger's side, their mouths letting out wailing sounds. The remaining two tiger cubs defended themselves in front of their mother, their mouths emitting tender tiger whistles, doing their very best to make their complexion appear hideous, hoping that this would scare the opposite tiger mother. Perhaps it was shocked by the cubs' behavior, so that the tiger mother who had the upper hand stood on the opposite side, did not continue to launch an attack. All things have feelings, not to mention the tiger mom who is also a mother. Seeing that the intruders lost their power of resistance, the tiger mom also stopped attacking for the time being. Seeing this situation, several young tigers anxiously surrounded the mother and called out. Their eyes were full of anxiety and helplessness. After a while, the female tiger lying on the ground gasping for breath only recovered some strength, trying to use both paws to support the body to stand up. Ow dash. The small cubs wailed anxiously and surrounded her, seeing that her enemy stood up. The tiger mother thought that the other party was still not dead and was planning to make a last-ditch effort. Her eyes, which had softened somewhat, immediately became stern again, already ready to attack again. Roar! The tiger mother let out a tiger whistle, then took a step towards the front. Seeing this, the seriously injured female tiger thought that the tiger mother was going to poison her three cubs, and not caring about her injuries, she protected her cubs behind her. However, the tiger mother stopped when she was two or three meters away from her opponent. Roar! the tiger mother vocalized again, having given an ultimatum to the other party. Roar! Glancing at the cubs behind him, the intruder seemed to anticipate the end of resistance, and under tiger mother's gaze, the other party unexpectedly slumped down in tiger mother's direction, his mouth letting out a tiger roar that showed weakness. Seeing this, tiger mother's expression relaxed. Since the other party had put down the dignity of the king, she would not kill the other party and her child, but expel from her territory that was certain. Despite her severe injuries, she was still barely able to stand up and walk, and Tiger Mother let out a gust of tiger whistles towards the other party. The other party responded in kind, as if paying homage to Tiger Mother, the strongest of them all. The Tiger Mom paid no attention to this, and followed the other side step by step. She wanted to see the other side out of her territory. If she had been any other female tiger, she would not have gone soft. If the other party wanted to continue to fight, perhaps she would not hesitate to kill the other party and then kill the other party's cubs one by one. Tiger Mom believed that any other tiger facing such a situation would also do something so decisive. Tiger Chin and Tiger Cub were hanging behind them for some distance, also to prevent the other party from making a dying struggle. Although the heart of preventing people is not to be ignored, the heart of preventing tigers is equally not to be ignored. This place is not far from the edge of the tiger's mother's territory, about a dozen kilometers. The surrounding mountains and forests, as the night gradually deepened, also became silent. In the forest, there was only a line of tigers walking one after the other. The tiger mother witnessed the other party leave her territory before stopping at the edge of the territory. Roar roar roar. Gusts of tiger whistles went towards the front, and tiger mother seemed to be vocalizing a reminder of something. It was all she could do. The tiger mother turned around and looked at the two cubs that had followed her, then somewhat dotingly went up and licked their fur one by one, and rubbed their heads again, before leading them towards the front. Today's scene also made the tiger mother's heart alert. This female tiger that invaded her territory in front of her, if she was either taken over by other tigers in a battle, or the male tiger had suffered an accident and lost the ability to shelter and watch over her cubs, it would be difficult for the female tiger alone to raise the big three cubs on her own. Even though the tiger mother had shown them mercy just now, Sheen who knew that they were afraid they wouldn't last more than a few days, without a mother, an unweaned tiger cub would be as good as dead. But these are not things Sheen who should care about. After seeing the cruelty of natural survival again and again, Sheen whose mood became more urgent. Returning to the tiger's den, tiger mother lay on the ground and gently licked the injured places on his body with his tongue. A battle had also made him consume a lot of physical strength. Although he hadn't broken any bones, he would have to rest for two or three days to recover. Sheen who glanced at his surroundings, and without being sure if it was safe,
he didn't dare to go out rashly, although it was very likely that there was no danger. Sheen who still suppressed the idea of going out to look for wild ginseng and stayed quietly by tiger mother's side, perhaps he was tired, or perhaps he had experienced a different kind of battle tonight. Not long after lying on the ground, Sheen who began to feel sleepy, the sky was gradually showing white, and a new day had begun. Sheen who stretched his back and incidentally scanned the surrounding area, not see the figure of the tiger mother, only little tiger brother lewd in a corner, still huffing and puffing. Sheen who guessed that perhaps tiger mother was uneasy about the intruder, so she went to yesterday's territory to patrol it again after dawn, once again making sure that the other party had left her territorial boundaries, glancing at his sleeping tiger brother. Sheen who planned to go out and go without taking little tiger brother with him. Outside the mountains and forests were still uncertain if there were any other intruders. Sheen who alone would still have the chance and ability to escape if he encountered danger. But if he brought little tiger brother with him, he might even give one away for nothing. Tiger mother's territory and tiger father's territory is different. Although the same mountains and forests covered, but some places are more former peaks and valleys. Within the territory not only lived Sheen whose family, but also a lot of brown bears and black bears and other beasts. However, the environment of this place is also more suitable for the growth environment of wild ginseng. Previously, Sheen who didn't know that this stuff was good for increasing the growth of mysterious energy within his body, so he didn't think about it. Now, he planned to go out to look for some more and try to store some more. First, he would use the wild ginseng to enhance his mystical energy, then feed back to himself, and after improving his strength, together with hunting, the two channels would increase his strength together. After returning to Tiger Mother's territory, the probability was that Chin Hu and Little Tiger Brother would grow up leisurely here, as long as they successfully pass through this year's winter. When the next year comes, they will be able to be considered real tigers, although there is still a long time before they leave their parents to live alone, but it is possible to cooperate with the adult tigers to hunt some large prey. A week later, Chin Hu and their lives became regular again. Every day, apart from accompanying the tiger mother around to patrol the territory and scout the situation, they were waiting for their mother to bring back meat to fill their stomachs. For Chin Hu, after returning to the territory here, he instead became busier. Last time, he took advantage of the fact that Tiger Mother was out on patrol to expel other invaders. After Chin Hu wandered into the mountains and forests alone and found several vintage wild ginsengs in a canyon, there were many things added to his life. In addition to the food brought back by Tiger Mom, and taking the two brothers out every now and then to learn how to hunt, Chin Hu also secretly exercised at night. Chewing on a mouthful of wild ginseng, he ran back and forth around the distance of one or two kilometers around the tiger's den again, learning from his own daily night and morning running program in his previous life. In addition to this Chin who also tried to make himself climb trees more often, exercising the muscles and explosive power of his limbs. Occasionally when his mother wasn't around, he would also pull little tiger brother along to train. In order to prevent the high intensity of the training to the little tiger brother to practice waste, each training, Sheen who in accordance with their own intensity cut by two-thirds, and at the same time after the end of the little guy will chew on a piece of wild ginseng to return to the vitality. A week down the line, the two of them had a huge harvest. Sheen who realized that his limbs had become stronger and more powerful. The power that erupted when the tiger's palm lined up against an object already had a hundred or ten more pounds of strength than a month ago. With one palm strike, a tree the size of an adult male's arm snapped right down the middle, and Sheen who felt it was still very easy. Not only that, the hidden sharp claws between his tiger claws also had a tendency to harden further. Popping out one of them, it could be used as a sharp blade, which was very convenient to use to cut wild ginseng. As for little tiger brother, after being trained by Chin Hu for a week, coupled with tiger mother's recent favoritism towards him in terms of food, it had made him grow in size by a hair. It was only that much shorter than Chin Hu by about 20 centimeters. The original color of stupidity on his body had also disappeared, and there was more of a youthful and lively demeanor which made him look healthier and more powerful. It hadn't rained for more than half a month, and the weather became even hotter. Sheen Hu and Little Tiger Brother walked between the mountains and forests in company. They had just gone out for some exercise and were walking at the moment. Tiger's mother had gone out hunting, and knowing that the two little ones were secretly practicing their hunting skills, she didn't constrain their freedom too much. She just gave them some serious advice, telling them not to mess with large animals such as adult wild boars, brown bears, black bears, leopards, black panthers, etc. The other small animals are free to hunt. Other small animals could be hunted freely. This was Tiger Mother giving them a liberalized authority. With the authorization from the queen of the territory, the two little princes became reckless, coupled with the recent hot climate and the heavens not raining. Chin Hu and Little Tiger Brother squatted at different water sources and successfully hunted two or three times. However, 
What they caught during that time were all small prey such as pheasants and hares. Nevertheless, after killing a wild rabbit with his own hands, Little Tiger D also strengthened his confidence and became more and more interested in following Chin Hu's training. Although Chin Hu remembered the tiger mother's advice, but in his heart want to hunt larger prey heart is still unabated. Therefore, today while the tiger mother is not at home, the two brothers simply exercise a little. In the Chin Hu encouraged to run towards the mountain forest, along the route at the moment, walking up another kilometer's distance, ahead was the water source where the two brothers often ambushed. The water source there was not big only a few meters deep and not really wide. It was considered a very common puddle. Today, the brothers also want to go up and try their luck, to see if they can catch one or two small prey. Came to the water source, Chin Hu brothers first secretly observed the surrounding situation. See no other large-scale hunters in this place ambush. Also strutted out, will be some of the original rickety body to drink the water of the small animals scared a soul. They hated to grow an extra leg when they fled. After the two little guys gradually grew up, they wanted to be the two dudes in this territory even more. Taking a sip of the clear water source, Chin who raised his head to look around at the place with the best view, then greeted the little tiger brother and walked together. Standing on the high ground, looking towards the surrounding mountains and forests, the forest and wild areas are no longer full of a bright green scene that can't be seen before. Lying on the ground, Chin whose body looks more like a nearly adult tiger, beside the little tiger brother is smaller. There were many small animals that came to drink the water and the variety was abundant. In order to take a sip of water, these little guys had to risk becoming a meal in someone else's belly every day. Even so, they had to. After all, if you didn't drink water, you would definitely die of thirst, and if you risked it, you wouldn't necessarily die. Scanning the circle with his tiger eyes, Jean who had little interest in hunting these small animals drinking water in front of him, little tiger brother is somewhat eager to try. After all, he only wants to hunt, not caring if it is to his taste or not. Chin who pressed down little Hu Di's restlessness. It was at this time that a commotion suddenly came from the mountains and forests. Chin who fixed his eyes on an adult leopard that scouted around for a while before strutting to the water source. Chin who squinted his eyes and observed the adult leopard, with a round belly and some blood stains on the corners of its mouth. It must have come over to find water to drink after eating its fill. Chin who concluded that his prey must also not be very far from this place. Moreover, leopards seem to be more loyal to venison. Thinking about this, Chin who felt that he could make a tiger out of a tiger. After all, now that the two brothers were together, as long as they didn't meet adult wild boar herds, as well as black bears and brown bears and the like, a lone adult leopard couldn't threaten their lives, but risking their lives was a certainty. Chin who began to think about it, and at the same time, he also signaled his little tiger brother who was observing the leopard. It seemed that tigers were naturally fond of taking risks. Little tiger brother immediately understood the meaning conveyed by his brother and his eyes glowed with a bright light. To him, a leopard hunting in the territory where he lived was his enemy. It was nothing to risk a little bit of danger to snatch the enemy's food. Having made up their minds, the two Chin Hu brothers hung far behind the leopard after it had finished drinking and left. As long as the leopard was in their line of sight, it was enough. Perhaps it is the reason for the full, the leopard along the way back, although occasionally will be vigilant look around, but are not more careful, but also to the brothers to create an opportunity. After walking a distance of two to three kilometers, Chin Hu finally saw the place where the leopard stored its prey. A buck that had been eaten for less than a year was currently being hung by the leopard in a place that was two to three meters from the ground. This was not his lair. It was just a place where he stored it when he went to look for water after hunting and feeding. Under the watchful eyes of the two brothers, the leopard nimbly climbed up the trunk of the tree, then bit down on the neck of the prey, and after lowering its height a little in the tree, threw the prey straight down, perhaps to prevent other hunters from sneaking in. The leopard quietly observed the surroundings before descending the tree, and only then along the tree trunk, three or two steps to the ground, Sheen who felt that the time had come, roar dash, a tiger's roar that was 95% close to the sound of the tiger's mother came out of his mouth, with as much momentum and mellowness, in imitating the tiger roar of an adult tiger, Sheen who had put in a lot of effort, perhaps startled by the sudden tiger whistling sound, the leopard that originally landed on the ground and was planning to take its prey was instantly alerted and then without hesitation climbed up high on the trunk of the tree, its gaze scanning the surrounding mountains and forests inch by inch. Roar! Another tiger's roar resounded through the mountains and forests, and the distance of the sound was getting closer and closer. The leopard was a little panicked. From the sound he could hear that it was none other than the king of this territory. It seemed to be coming in his own direction. In three or two clicks, the leopard landed on the ground, anxiously biting the neck of its prey and dragging it towards the back. Seeing this, 
Sheen who quietly groped his way forward to the front position some more before letting out a tiger whistle once again. Not only that, Sheen who let the little brother tiger lying down on the spot. He was in the grass between the exposed part of the body, pretending to come towards the appearance of this place, not far away from the leopard. It really looked like he had encountered a territorial tiger, and became a bit bewildered and confused. As a leopard, he knew very well what it meant for adult tigers to hunt in their territory, and facing an adult northeastern tiger, even if the other party was only a female, he was able to kill himself effortlessly, even if he climbed a tree, he didn't have any advantage, as the northeast tiger was even better at climbing trees than he was, and perhaps only had a slight advantage over the leopard in terms of speed, that was all, if he didn't run away again, the other party would probably chase after him, Sheen Hu, who was advancing slowly in the grass on the opposite side, was also a little anxious in his heart, his eyes gazing at the leopard's position, seeing that he hadn't had any tendency to escape yet, could it be that he was discovered again? Sheen whose heart drummed with some uncertainty, just as he hesitated to roar again, the leopard in front of him discarded the prey in his mouth the next moment, then ran away at an extremely fast speed, seeing this, Sheen who was excited in his heart, he didn't expect that the tiger had succeeded once again, and this time the victim was an adult leopard, seeing the leopard fled, Sheen who still did not slacken off, continued to bravely stride forward, it wasn't until he came to the prey that had been discarded by the leopard that he breathed a sigh of relief, letting out a low roar and greeting little tiger brother to come forward, Sheen who hurriedly bit the prey by the neck and dragged it outward, in order to prevent the leopard from returning, the two Sheen who brothers, one biting the head and the other biting the leg, combined their efforts to drag the white horde prey all the way back into the tiger's den, a hundred pounds of meat, enough for the two brothers plus the tiger mother to eat a half full, just returned to the tiger's den, the tiger mother's figure also appeared here, today went out hunting, missed once, originally intended to wait for the night to go looking for prey again, I didn't expect that just when I turned around, I saw my two cubs sneakily dragging a partially eaten plum deer and running back, perhaps being thieves, the two little ones were also startled by the sudden appearance of their tiger mother, then, little tiger brother could not contain his excitement a little and ran towards tiger mom, he wanted to tell the tiger mom how his brother scared away a leopard and hoard out his prey, but before he could open his mouth, he was interrupted by Chin who sharp tiger whistle, dragging the prey to tiger mother, Chin who lowered his head and waited for his mother to distribute it, since returning to the territory, the tiger mother had begun to do this, no longer waiting for the two cubs to finish eating before she would eat the rest like before, after seeing how much Chin who could eat, tiger mother didn't dare to do so, after glancing at the two cubs, then a low growl came out of the tiger mom's mouth, although she didn't know how the two cubs got the prey, as long as she could bring back the prey, it was enough to prove the ability of the two cubs, although her heart was still happy, her face was very serious as she criticized them one by one, and then tore the prey apart and distributed it under the sheepish looks of the two cubs, the temperature outside seemed to have reached the extreme of summer, even the wind blowing in the air was mixed with an unbearable heat, roar, in the open space in front of the tiger's den, little tiger d walked back and forth in the shade, attempting to relieve the agitation in his heart in this way, sheen who, on the other hand, lay on his back on the ground, and even though he was illuminated by the sun's rays, he didn't feel much heat, and his body was always kept at a suitable temperature, not too high or too low, Sheen who felt that this might also have something to do with the benefits of the mysterious energy in his body that was circulating and flowing along his entire body, Tiger's mom was also hot, at this moment, they all somewhat missed Tiger Dad's tiger's nest, at least in such dry heat, they were not tortured by the heat, however, the heat also brought them benefits, at least food would not be in short supply for a short period of time, as long as they guarded the four or five water sources around the tiger mother's territory, there would always be prey that couldn't withstand the thirst to come to their doorsteps on their own, waiting for them to pick, it was so hot today that none of the three tigers asked wanted to go out, tiger mother hid in the coolest part of the tiger's den, sticking her tongue out to cool off, just when the three tigers were lazing around at home, a strong figure slowly stepped in from the zone at the edge of tiger mother in tiger mom's territory, it rolled around in a water source to its heart's content, and then only then did it have its fun, shaking its fur and leaving amidst the indignant gazes of the many small animals, this was the figure of the tiger father, at the moment he had crossed the edge of his territory and traveled to the tiger mother's territory to visit the cubs, it had been almost half a month, and the tiger father had finally found the time to come and visit, smelling the scent left behind by the tiger mother, the tiger father followed him all the way, after ambushing a water source where many animals gathered to drink, and hunting a merganser, he took the gift and continued toward the tiger's den, perhaps smelling and hearing the sound, Sheen was the first to react, noticing that it was a familiar odor, he had lowered his head, 
It didn't take long for Papa Tiger to let out a tiger whistle, announcing his arrival from afar. Tiger Mom didn't have any reaction, standing up and also gave a sound back in the direction of the sound coming from afar, and then she continued to lie down. Little Tiger D was a little excited to know that his father was coming, and stared into the blazing sun and rushed out. Tiger Mom and the others didn't stop. After less than 10 minutes of time, Tiger Dad's burly figure appeared before the tiger's den, putting down the plum deer in his mouth. Tiger Dad walked up and gently rubbed their fur. Just as Papa Tiger rubbed his fur in a sign of intimacy, Chin who realized that Papa Tiger's chest and ribs had a scar left by a claw mark. The fur around it hadn't grown out again yet, and the scar was smooth and delicate enough to be seen at a glance. Chin who guessed that it should be a claw mark from another male tiger. Could it be that another male tiger broke into this territory after we left? A small detail made Chin whose mind pondered deeply. During this period of time, Chin who also understood one thing. The other landlord tiger that was close to Tiger Dad's and their territory was killed by another adult male Northeast tiger and occupied his territory. That's why the sight of so many hunters fleeing in haste happened before. Moreover, Chin who guessed that the female tiger they had met earlier that had invaded the tiger mom's territory was most likely the reason why she had lost her male tiger and her territory, and had come to their territory in search of food. Chin who didn't care about other things, but the matter of the approaching territory changing owners was considered a big deal. After all, Anyone would want their territory to get wider and wider, and the more and more adequate food sources, the better. Moreover, the way the tiger father looked, it seemed that he had already had a battle with that newly promoted landlord tiger. Now as soon as he recovered from his injuries, he hurried over in the direction where the cubs were, obviously worried that the male tiger would come to trouble them. After all, no matter how powerful the tiger mom was, she couldn't possibly be a match for a male northeastern tiger that could wrestle with the tiger dad without losing. Tiger Dad followed Tiger Mom somewhat coquettishly, then plopped down next to her as well. He didn't stop for a moment along the way, plus the fact that this territory wasn't as cool as his tiger's den, so even strong as Tiger Dad was a bit overwhelmed. While the old mother and old father were lingering, Chin Hu and little Tiger Brother were guarding the side of the plum blossom deer, and then sneakily ate the meat. Even though the hot weather had somewhat affected his appetite, Chin Hu wasn't that bothered. The Tiger Father brought a whole plum blossom deer, but in an hour's time, a hundred or so pounds of meat had been eaten by the two little ones for most of the time. If he wasn't afraid of Tiger Mom's anger, Chin who felt that his belly could hold more food, the hottest moment of the day was spent in the tiger's den. Father Tiger accompanied Mother Tiger as she strolled through the mountains and forests. Tiger Chin and Tiger Cub followed. Along the way, Tiger Dad let out a low roar from time to time, as if he was talking to Tiger Mom about something, his expression sometimes solemn, sometimes majestic. Chin who stopped for a while, and Tiger Dad seemed to be reminding Tiger Mom to pay attention to the newly promoted landlord Tiger in the neighboring territory. If you are not able to defeat it, you must find a way to escape. In the direction of your own territory, he will be the first to come when he hears the sound. Tiger Father said all the way. Sheen who listened all the way. Then summarized one thing. The opposite side of the male tiger is not a thing. Of course, the basis of these summarizations were the words that Tiger Dad said to Tiger Mom. Thanks to Tiger Dad's company. The four tigers went all the way forward along the mountain forest for a great distance. There was also some implication of touring the territory in it. The three territories of Tiger Mom and Tiger Dad and that newly minted landowner Tiger there's partially overlapped. Tiger Dad wasn't worried about his own direction. After all, he had just fought with the other side looking the other way. And although he hadn't won, he hadn't lost either. What he was worried about was the safety of the female tiger and the two cubs. So this time they stood at the intersection of three blocks of territory. The tiger mom observed the forest across the street and there was no sign of any other of her kind out there. Tiger dad took a step and patrolled along the edge of the territory as well. No sign of the formidable rival. However, after going over a slope, they soon noticed something unusual. In a dry section of the creek, a rotting corpse was being pecked at by birds of prey. Sheen who took a look and recognized it. It was the corpse of a northeastern tiger cub, only three or four months old by the size and he clearly remembered that this dead cub seemed to be one of the cubs beside the female tiger that had invaded their territory earlier. Now, his body was casually discarded on the exposed riverbank, leaving his body to rot and grow worms, to be pecked by birds of prey. As powerful as the northeast tiger is, there are times when it is weak and powerless, and it faces the threat of death at any time. One cub died, but what about the female tiger and her remaining cubs? Chin who was once again shocked by the coldness of nature. The tiger father didn't know about the female tiger's invasion of the territory that happened after they returned to the territory. While tiger mom and the others were standing at the edge of the river watching, tiger dad stepped on the hot sandstone and walked towards the middle of the river. Sheen who also wanted to follow him over to take a look, but he was stopped by tiger mom. 
so he can only stay at the edge of the river channel and wait for Tiger Dad. Looking around the tiger cub's body, Tiger Dad's complexion also became somewhat unnatural. The cub's carcass was already somewhat decayed, but the fatal wounds on its body were still visible. Several hollow marks on his neck foreshadowed what had happened to him. The tiger father endured the stench and searched the mudflats not far from the cub's carcass. No luck. The next moment, an equally majestic figure appeared in the mountains and forests a kilometer or two opposite Qin Hu and the others. It just exposed itself and then turned its head to stare at Qin Hu and the others. Roar. The tiger father also spotted the figure of the other male tiger in an instant, and at the first opportunity, he let out a warning tiger roar towards the distance. From a long distance away, Qin Hu could also see that male tiger's demeanor clearly. Perhaps his body wasn't as strong as that of the tiger's father, but the cold look expressed on his face gave Qin Hu and the rest of them a shuddering feeling. Qin Hu saw clearly that on the face of that male tiger, there was a long scar that came down from the middle of his forehead to the tiger's nose, and the scar was a bit old. This scar made the male tiger look a bit more vicious. The tiger father seemed to be the one who had fought with this male tiger before. Watching the two sides go head to head, after seeing the male tiger approaching the territory with his own eyes, a feeling of uneasiness arose in Qin Hu's heart. He wondered if he was worrying too much. Little tiger brother was next to his mother, his body trembling, probably also frightened. However, after realizing that the male tiger approaching the territory was not the one that had previously invaded tiger mother's territory and caused her to be seriously injured, Qin Hu instead felt more than a hint of gratitude. After all, that male tiger was much more vengeful than the one in front of him, and no one would want to be constantly missed by a male tiger. On the other hand, the opposite side of that territorial tiger, after the tiger father issued a warning tiger whistle, he didn't respond in any way, merely turning around from where he was, then glancing at the male tiger and their family. With a cold expression, he turned around and entered the mountain forest. There was a posture of people not offending me and me not committing any offense. The tiger father did not relax his vigilance but instead looked at the carcass of the tiger cub in the middle of the river bank. In such a conspicuous position, is not the opposite side of the male tiger after the ascendancy of the first for the elimination of the roots, and the second for the purpose of killing the chicken to make an example of monkeys. This is unknown. After inspecting the fringe area of the territory, on the way back, the atmosphere seemed a bit dull. Perhaps it was because of the steep increase in pressure brought about by the territorial tiger next door. The tiger father also began to think. Originally, the last territorial tiger in that territory was an old northeastern tiger, and would not easily clash with the two young northeastern tigers, even if he was treating the female tigers as the weaker party. But now that the territory has changed owners, I am afraid that the pressure on the tiger mom's side will be even greater. The tiger father couldn't think of any better way. After all, people didn't directly come up to your territory to pick a fight. If they just fought over it without any reason, maybe this is the real war. Not much time. The four tigers and their party returned to the tiger's den. The remaining three tigers were all a bit overwhelmed by the dry heat. Only Qin Hu touched a wild ginseng from a corner of the tiger's den, then cut off a piece and chewed it gently. When the sun was about to set, Tiger Dad and Tiger Mom walked together, intending to go out hunting. Qin Hu immediately followed, and little Tiger Brother also returned to normal from his sickly state. As long as there was food, the little guy was still willing to move. The dry and hot weather provided great convenience for their hunting. Still at the water source, the four tigers were lying on the ground one by one, their gazes quietly gazing at the prey in front of them. The threat facing the territory was also infinitely weakened at this moment. After waiting for several waves in a row, and not seeing any other larger prey coming to drink the water, the four tigers all patiently waited against the dry heat. After the sun set, the sky darkened. It was also at this time that there were more and more figures of animals foraging for food and water in the mountain forest. Around the water source there were some animals scattered around to drink but they were dispersed by a group of savage wild boars. This was considered one of the prey that the tiger's father often hunted. Seeing the arrival of prey, Tiger Dad, who had been waiting for a long time, was also a bit impatient. He kept sweeping his eyes over the strongest boar in the group, and his eyes were a bit more agile than earlier. After the night darkened, the animals gathered at the water source also came back, one wave after another, as if they had an appointment. Papa Tiger kept a close eye on the movements of the wild boars. These things look reckless and stupid. But the leader of the head pig is occasionally very shrewd. Tiger Dad got up, then quietly felt his way up. Tiger Mom followed closely behind, but from another direction. Jean whose eyes lit up. So it turned out that when hunting, the two northeastern tigers were also able to cooperate silently. Only this kind of cooperation may need to be familiar enough with each other to be able to carry out. In most cases, it was only a male and a female that could cooperate like this. The rapidly dropping temperature at the water source also attracted many small animals to come and enjoy the coolness. 
The tiger's father circled around a patch of yellowish grass and ambushed the boars on the side. Tiger mom came up from the other direction and formed a solid position with tiger dad. Watching tiger dad hunting once again. This time Chin who had a different feeling. Before he also tried to use tiger dad's skills to hunt some small animals. But the chance of success was only half. With his strength and speed soaring, Chin who felt the power of tiger dad's hunting skills. The reason why some skills in his hands cannot be perfectly played out. Or in Chin who himself. Strength and speed. Experience are not enough. Articulation of the use of the effect is greatly reduced. But Chin who is not too worried about these. After all, with the increase in years, his strength and speed will only far exceed the same age northeast tiger. Coupled with the summer heat, guarding the water source for hunting gave Chin who many opportunities to practice. And now, he intends to ponder the field teaching experience of tiger parents again, summarize and reflect on it, and then find small some small animals to cooperate with it. Contemplating, not far away from the mountain forest rang out a mournful cry. Then look back, a wild boar has been chased by the tiger father ran away, and the distance between the two sides is getting closer and closer. Tiger mom, on the other hand, was staring at another newly adult wild boar, which was sufficiently advantageous in terms of weight and tusks, but lacked the experience of facing an adult northeastern tiger, and was frightened by the sound of the tiger's roar and the tiger that suddenly sprang out. By the time the wild boar reacted, the tiger mom's tiger paw had already slapped over. Sheen who had seen his parents hunting moments too many times, so he didn't pay too much attention to what happened next. Of course, Sheen who knew the result, and his mind kept flashing back to the changes and adjustments of his parents' bodies between pounces, as well as the use of experience and so on. Between a thought and a test, Sheen who felt a flash of light in his mind and seemed to have sprouted some new ideas. It was as if, an epiphany had occurred. Not waiting for Sheen who to finish melting hunting techniques in his mind. A heavy mopping sound suddenly intruded, disrupting his thoughts. Hiss. Sheen who came back to his senses, somewhat surprised, but it also made him understand some of the hunting techniques more deeply. Looking up, Tiger Dad was dragging a fat adult boar towards here. On the other side, Tiger Mom was similarly fruitful. The wild boar that had just reached adulthood and had yet to experience the beauty of the forest advanced into the tiger's mouth. The two adult boars, combined, had enough meat to feed their family for a long time. However, now that the weather was hot, they would eat as much food as possible to ensure the taste and freshness of their meal. This time, Chin who finally let go of his belly and ate. Instead of stopping her, Tiger Mother let the boar she had captured go to the two cubs, and she herself shared the other boar with Tiger Father. Finally open to eat a full, Sheen who felt somewhat satisfied. Little Tiger Brother's belly also support the round, walking especially fat, because also want the weather to cool down the reason. Sheen who family left more than half of the meat to keep, as tomorrow's food, touching the dark, came to the water source to drink a lot of pain. The brothers only satisfied with the food in the mouth of the parents went back. The starry night sky was beautiful especially at this moment when there was not a single extra cloud covering the sky. Walking close to the edge of the tiger's nest, Sheen whose ears suddenly heard a sound of trampling grass in the distance. It was somewhat like a small animal foraging for food, and somewhat like the walking pace of a wild boar cub. Glancing ahead at his parents who were rushing home, Sheen who felt that they hadn't heard such a subtle movement either. Even the little tiger brother beside him had no knowledge of it. Sheen who moved, although he had eaten his fill. The inspiration he received from his parents on site teaching today had no place to be utilized. Since there was a small animal in the distance that took the initiative to come out and cooperate, Sheen who naturally wouldn't refuse, patting the little tiger brother's tail, then signaling him to follow him. Although he didn't know what his brother had in mind, it was a good choice as an after-dinner exercise. The tiger parents in front of them noticed the cubs' movements. Anyway, they were already almost close to the tiger's den. There was no major danger in letting them go out alone so they just didn't care. Sheen whose ears constantly adjusted to collect the source of the sound where, little by little corrected the forward route. At the mountain forest ahead, the unknown little animal made a sound again, and it was still the sound of digging the ground. Sheen who was a little happy, even at night, it was using objects to hide its shape and odor. A little bit closer, the little tiger brother also knew that his brother had found a fun animal, and also learned a little bit to touch it. Ow, oh, when he came close and the distance was enough. Sheen who let out an owl sound from his mouth, and his body violently leaped up, pouncing towards the grass that made the sound of plowing the ground. Sheen who felt that he had grabbed a fluffy prey underneath him, and it was also a bit large in size, not like a hare or a wild boar or something like that. Just in the middle of thinking, he asked a familiar smell. Surprised, Sheen who looked down and saw the prey he had pounced on. It wasn't the prey he had imagined, but when it was a bony little tiger, Sheen who was shocked. Just as Chin who was out of his mind and relaxed his suppression, 
A force erupted from the skinny body of the little tiger that was pressed under him and broke free, then scurried out towards the mountain forest in front of him. Little tiger brother did not see clearly, only saw the prey escaped from under his brother, and immediately chased after it. After reacting, Jean who also followed forward and chased out. Perhaps he was too weak or too hungry to stand it. The little tiger that escaped only ran out a few hundred meters away, and was caught up by the little tiger brother, and then a tiger pounce pounced him to the ground. When little tiger D saw clearly the prey that he pounced on underneath him, a cry of awe immediately escaped from his mouth, while his body bounced up and landed on the side to watch from afar. It was a small tiger. Roar. Perhaps seeing that he had been discovered, the original fleeing tiger cub unexpectedly did not flee at this moment, but instead stood in place and revealed a ferocious color to the two Chin Hu brothers. Instead, it stood still and showed a fierce color to the two brothers. Chin Hu slowly stepped forward, measured this bone-thin little tiger, scanning a circle before he and a few days ago the intruder's cub on the number. Chin Hu didn't understand how this little tiger in front of him had gotten back into their territory. But little tiger brother didn't think about it that much. In his opinion, this little tiger was the intruder, and he was going to follow the example of his parents and take a bite out of this tiger cub's neck, or expel him from the boundaries of their territory, while giving him a hard lesson so that he would learn a lesson. However, Sheen who did not let him bite on it, and just when he wanted to pounce on it, he suddenly raised his tiger paw and stopped his impulsive tiger brother. He was a bit confused, unable to figure out why his brother didn't let him bite the offspring of the intruder in front of him. Sheen who did not make a move, he just glanced at the all-time wild rat that was pressed to death under the paw of this tiger cub, and a wave of sadness could not help but rise in his heart, their end should not be like this, a very motherly thought suddenly surfaced in Sheen whose heart, he retreated backwards with his tiger brother until he disappeared from the little tiger's view, in an instant, Sheen who understood why this tiger cub had suddenly stopped to wait for his tiger cub brother to pounce in the face of their chase, a few hundred meters behind him, a pair of expectant gazes were coming through a rock-constructed cave. The female tiger that had invaded the territory was dead. Sheen who guessed in his heart. In just less than two weeks, the original king of all beasts had been reduced to such a state that he had to rely on hunting wild rats to fulfill his hunger. It was a miracle that the female tiger died and the cubs survived. It was just that in Sheen whose opinion, this miracle might not continue for long. His heart let out a sigh. It was good enough to ensure that he could find food with just this tiger cub that he had paid yet to be weaned by himself. Not to mention that he had brought along a drag queen that was even smaller than him. If the tiger father hadn't appeared at that time, I'm afraid that he would have ended up in a worse situation than this. Jean who shook his head to dispel such thoughts, glancing at the surrounding jungle, he made a bold decision. He was going to fund these two intruder cubs. As for whether or not they would survive in the end, and whether or not they would be killed after being discovered by their mother, it would be left to fate. For his part, little tiger brother was horrified by his brother's actions. He didn't know what to do, whether to go and tell his parents about the intruders that had appeared here, or to follow his brother along towards the mountains. Perhaps out of trust, the little guy ended up following Chin Hu's lead. He wanted to see what his brother was going to do. In the nighttime mountain forest, Chin Hu came to the place where there were more small animals in the past days, and then plopped down and waited quietly. He didn't know why he had such a crazy idea. He was no longer a human being, but a tiger. But his mind recalled the rotting corpse of the cub, as well as the two starved tiger cubs just now, he still couldn't kill each other with his own hands, or wait on the sidelines for them to lose their lives, a hare became the first victim Chin who met tonight, in just two hours time, Chin who had captured four or five hares in the course of the night, the little tiger brother was guarding the prey, so it turned out that his brother was hungry, the little guy thought in his mind, then went up to pick some and was ready to go down for a snack when he was stopped by Chin Hu, a bite of three hares, Chin Hu and let the tiger brother to bring the rest, and then walked along the place just now, or that slightly more rocky place, once again looked at the body of the little tiger has been invisible, Sheen who couldn't bear it, in the distance from the discovery of the little tiger in front of the cavern one or two hundred meters put down their own prey, and then rushed to the front to let out a light roar, and then did not look back to take the little brother left, Sheen who didn't know if he was right or wrong to do this, but as long as he felt he could do it, then he would do it, as Sheen who walked, the little tiger brother beside him picked at the rabbit fur at the corner of his mouth with some indignation. All along the way, he was making muttering noises, seemingly complaining. However, after returning to the tiger's den, the little guy didn't vocalize in the direction of his parents, but instead sought out a corner to sulk alone with Chin Hu. Chin Hu also sought a corner and began to squint and rest. After dawn, tiger father is ready to go back. After all, he also want to have their own territory. Out for a long time is also afraid of the birth of a change. Tiger Mom took the two cubs and sent them a short distance towards the edge of the territory. 
Then she stayed alone and let the two cubs go and play. However, Sheen who was still thinking about those two cubs, but did not take the initiative to go. After all, that place is not far from the tiger's den. If he took the initiative to go up, leaving the odor of other cubs on his body, and came back to be smelled by the tiger mother, he will definitely not leave the two orphan tigers little lives. Holding this idea, Sheen who intends to take the little tiger brother to go hunting by the water source they usually go to. This period of fairly calm days also gave Chin Hu the opportunity to settle down and accumulate his strength. Under the joint patrol of their parents, their territory was safe for the time being, and there would not be any other northeastern tigers invading the territory in a short period of time. But Chin Hu was also starting to plan for the future. Now he and little tiger brother were getting older and older. They would be almost a year old by winter. At that time, their speed, strength and size was one of the most rapid growth periods, but the scarcity of food in winter was severe. And other than those animals that were fixedly residing in this mountain forest, most of the animals would still migrate with the change of seasons. According to Chin whose food consumption, the prey that could be caught in the mountain forest at that time of the year seemed to be somewhat insufficient for him to eat. Moreover, Tiger Mother wouldn't hunt without sleep to satisfy his appetite. Moreover, Chin who was not willing for Tiger Mother to risk hunting black bears and brown bears and other large-sized beasts in order to supply him with enough food. Therefore, Sheen who wanted to try to practice his hunting skills during this season of abundant food, so that when the weather cools down and enters the fall, he can prepare some winter food to make up for his consumption. With this thought in mind, Sheen who began to use the water source in front of him as his base for hunting practice. For seven consecutive days, Sheen who would bring little Hu Di to this water source. Sheen whose body was now starting to become stronger. Coupled with knocking a few slices of wild ginseng from time to time, the growth of the mysterious energy in his body was also slowly increasing his strength and speed. Although during these few days of practice, Chin who still made mistakes in situations that led to some larger or faster prey catching his mistakes and escaping. But Chin who was not discouraged. It was only when mistakes occurred that they could be corrected. Until finally the chances of them occurring became smaller and smaller. This instead made him feel that it was a good thing because by making these mistakes, he still had the time and opportunity to correct them. Although there were mistakes from time to time, Sheen who still caught some small animals such as hares and pheasants, and the chances of success in hunting were getting higher and higher, with few misses. Once he captured this kind of small animal, Sheen who would not only let Xiao Hu Di fill his stomach, he would also let him carry it around the cavern where he found the two tiger cubs and feed it precisely. Moreover, when he had enough experience in hunting small animals, Sheen who shifted his gaze to some larger sized prey, for example, munchak, sick of deer cubs, Wild boar cubs and even some moose cubs were also temporarily included in his hunting list. Just like this, Sheen who began to shift his target, giving up the original squatting water source that he had been guarding for many days, he found another water source where deer or wild boar groups often go, accompanied by his tiger mom. In the peace of hunting and survival, Sheen who felt that he needed to learn a lot of things, but he was not a pure tiger. He had some human intelligence and way of thinking, and he wanted to combine the two. A northeastern tiger that possessed human wisdom and was strong and ferocious, that should stand at the top of the mountains and forests, Sheen who envisioned. At this moment, he was lying on his back in the grass at the edge of the water source observing his prey's every move. This was also the hunting experience that tiger dad and tiger mom taught him. Only by knowing your opponent better than it knows itself can you give a fatal blow when it makes a mistake. Therefore, Sheen who was patiently observing the various prey that came to the water source to drink, remembering the odors emitted by their bodies the speed at which they ran, as well as the signals they gave out when they met danger, and a series of complicated and detailed things. Although in this process Chin who only hunted to the wild boar cubs, but it is the first time that he relied on his own efforts, summed up the wild boar group activities of the law, and thus in the middle of the road specifically ambushed the wild boar cubs harvested. Of course, this hunted wild boar cub was also fed by Chin who to the two orphan tigers. During the period Chin who took the time to lie down on the far side of the waiting and watching a bit, the two orphan tiger's size has a big change. Not only the fur looks more color, even the body also more meat. Although still some thin and weak, but compared to the previous Chin who just met the time to be much better. At least for the time being, his life is not in danger. Maybe wait for another two or three months. When winter comes, they will also be able to learn to hunt some small animals. But the moment they thought of this, Chin who couldn't help but have a bit of a headache. This hunting skill is all about the old bringing in the new and the father passing it on to the son or the mother passing it on to the son. But who let the two cubs in front of him be a pair of orphan tigers? Sheen who felt that he should plan ahead, otherwise it would not be good to be raised two wastes that know how to eat when the time comes. Eating, exercising, hunting, feeding the two orphan tigers as well as searching for wild ginseng. These things occupied Sheen whose daily life. 
As Qin Hu began to trade hunting around, the small animals and the only few water sources also suffered. Every day, there would be a scene of chickens and dogs jumping around near the water sources, which was chaotic and also made the critters that came to drink water even more vigilant. This, on the contrary, added some difficulty to Qin Hu's hunting, but it was not difficult to defeat him. As the days passed uneventfully, the weather also gradually became cooler. The original dry heat that filled the entire mountain forest was slowly fading and becoming cool again. The biggest change was still the trees in the mountains and forests, gradually changing the color of their leaves, providing the most natural camouflage for the various animals living in the forest. Of course, this also included Qin Hu's family. After a period of exercise as well as hunting experience and understanding, the aura on Qin Hu's body changed drastically, combined with his surging body and size. It made him look not much different from a tiger mom. It was also because of this that Qin who realized that the injustice he had encountered was becoming more and more obvious. Not only did he get less and less of the food that tiger mother brought back each time, even when hunting, he would occasionally encounter tiger mother's reprimand. Occasionally, she would also roar at Qin who twice, with a strong meaning of warning. Qin who understood in his heart that the tiger mother was already treating herself as a big child. After all, a tiger's sense of territory would gradually increase as it grew up but the territory was limited. Coupled with Qin whose food intake that had surged over the period of time, it also made the tiger mom feel threatened. Although tiger mother knew that Qin who was not yet old enough to leave her and live independently, Qin whose presence already had the tendency to compete with his mother for resources and territory. This was also the reason why tiger mother's attitude towards Qin who was getting worse. Perhaps in another winter, Qin who will be mercilessly evicted by tiger mother. This was also the natural rule that the Northeast Tiger had already continued for millions of years for the reproduction of the pack in order to maintain its own survival, protect its territory, and maintain its resource sustenance. Qin who endured silently, not being able to get enough food here at Tiger Mom, he relied on his hunting skills to hunt those small animals in the water source to fill them, or squatting to hunt the cubs of large herbivores, occasionally using a few tricks of the tiger and waiting for rabbits. He was also able to fulfill his food needs. But those two orphan tigers that were fed by Qin who from time to time were a bit worse off, because of the lack of food, some of the captured prey Qin who himself also had to eat. So the portion supplied to them was reduced a lot, but fortunately they were also able to let them eat half full every now and then. It's enough not to starve. Qin who thought in his heart, silently glanced at tiger mother who was protecting little tiger brother's feeding site, then turned around and walked towards the mountains and forests. Perhaps it was due to the change of seasons, the weather overhead had also changed. After the climate was no longer hot and dry, some raindrops would occasionally fall down from the sky, and even in winter, they would turn into snowflakes and fall. In this way, the problem of water sources in the mountains and forests was greatly alleviated. This made Qin whose hunting difficult for them all of a sudden. The days when they used to be able to hunt a prey by squatting at the water source for two to three hours gradually became few and far between. Spending half a day or a day to hunt a single prey became the majority. Qin who walked in the mountain forest, carrying the half-sized wild boar he had been sneakily hunting in his mouth. Although he had eaten the most easily spoiled internal organs, the remaining meat was still 40 to 50 pounds of such, which was enough for those two orphan tigers to have a full meal. Qin who walked with a somewhat heavy pace. This period of hard workout was also effective. Not only has his speed and strength increased a lot, even his body has become stronger. And when his body is hit in the middle of running at extreme speeds, it seems that it doesn't have a big impact on him, and he will slow down after a while and won't experience any injuries. Qin who was very happy. Roar. Arriving at the front of the cavern and letting out a light roar towards the location in front of him. Qin who was ready to turn around and leave. What he didn't expect was that the two orphan tigers that had always waited for him to leave before appearing actually showed up in front of him, and also let out a childish tiger roar towards Qin whose position. Hearing this, Qin who smiled in his heart before continuing to turn around and leave. Winter was coming soon. He had to do some preparations in advance or else if he wanted to put on some more fall fat in winter, I'm afraid it would be difficult to achieve. It was good that his current hunting strength was okay, and could already gas comparable to some freshly adult northeastern tigers. As long as the tiger mother does not issue a warning, Sheen who will wantonly hunt in this territory, while looking for new wild ginseng, in order to survive the winter. Sheen who is considered to have made sufficient preparations, but also for the tiger mother's upcoming expulsion and exile, but also prepared for the mind. Even though the situation was not optimistic, Qin who continued to follow his usual plan, constantly repeating and strengthening his physical exercises. Only with enough strength and speed would he be able to hunt stronger prey and lay a solid foundation for his better survival. Of course, Qin who didn't dare to cross the edge of Tiger Mom's territory and head to other Northeast Tiger's territories to hunt anymore. Even if it was Tiger Dad's territory, 
Qin who hadn't done it yet. After all, this was a very life-threatening matter, and one should never rashly go hunting in the territories of other northeast tigers as a last resort. Although Qin whose strength had risen quickly, he knew very well that compared to the adult northeast tigers in other territories, his strength and experience were still not enough to fight them. Right now, even an adult female northeast tiger was able to strangle his throat and easily bite it off in a fight. Therefore, Qin who also began to respect the law of survival of the northeast tiger, if he wanted to come to the tiger father's territory to hunt and think, he also had to get his approval and gesture before he could do so, otherwise he was an intruder. Even if it is his own son, the same is true, perhaps the tiger father will not hesitate to use the strength to teach Qin Hu how to do a good job of a northeast tiger in peace and quiet. Counting the days, the day before tiger dad came to visit was fast approaching, Qin Hu planned to communicate with tiger dad about this issue next time. After all, after his harassment for some time, small prey was now rare. Even the cubs of some large animals had suffered a lot from Qin Hu's poisonous hands. You can't catch a single fleece and pull it to death. So Qin Hu intends to broaden the food source channels. I believe that the tiger father will not refuse. With this in mind, Qin Hu once again returned to the mountain forest. Ever since tiger mom showed some distance to Qin Hu, Qin Hu found a place to rest outside the tiger's den. Only little tiger brother continued to enjoy the favoritism from tiger mother. Unchanged, but Qin Hu believed that one day he would feel it. Qin Hu returned to the vicinity of the tiger's den, just in time to meet tiger mother returning from her hunt with a sick a deer in her mouth. Seeing that Qin Hu was here, she didn't make a sound to drive him away, but instead, after putting the prey back in the tiger's den, she returned to Qin Hu's side and gently rubbed against him. Qin Hu could tell that there was some complexity in the tiger mom's gaze. Perhaps she was surprised at the growth rate of this cub of hers as well as her hunting ability. She had given birth twice, and the two Qin Hu brothers were his third cub. It was precisely for this reason that Tiger Mother was a bit unsure about this cub. Given the Qin Hu's size, she could only change her attitude towards him. After all, a beast that was almost close to a meter and a half in size consumed enough beast resources. However, Tiger Mother was also aware that Qin Hu was only an eight or nine month old cub today. Tiger Mother still laughed, and she looked back at Qin Hu with what seemed to be some reluctance and intolerance. Qin Hu knew that Tiger Mother herself had treated herself as a big child. As long as she didn't starve, Tiger Mother's differential treatment of herself in terms of food would remain. The reason why Qin Hu was not expelled from living alone was because in the Tiger Mother's view, he was also only a half-grown cub. But the amazing growth rate of the order had also confused her. In terms of how to treat Qin Hu, Tiger Mother appeared to be cautious and took a compromise approach, neither expelling him to live on his own, but also supplying him with food. Qin Hu lay down on the ground and chewed a piece of wild ginseng. He felt his body heat up again. Goo, smelling the smell of blood in the air. Qin Hu's belly also made a hungry sound, getting up and shaking his fur, glancing at the mountains and forests, Qin Hu was ready to go out hunting, calm days always pass quickly, hunting small game Qin Hu was already handy, even a sick a deer fawn his current speed could easily catch up and rely on his strength and speed to pounce strongly, although the tiger mother did not restrict Qin Hu's hunting power, Qin Hu was very sensible and stayed away from the 20 to 30 kilometers around the tiger's den, due to the change of seasons, Water was no longer in short supply in the mountains and forests at the moment, but the animals that could be hunted began to migrate. Qin who wanted to catch the tail end of this food abundance and seize the opportunity to hunt more. Between the mountains and fields, there was very little green grass to be seen in the flat areas anymore. Yellowed leaves and dry grass were the most common sights in this mountain forest. Herbivores, in order to eat fresher green grass, also began to go to higher elevations, looking for vegetation that had not yet yellowed. There was still some tender green vegetation preserved in those mountainsides. Hunters like Qin Hu, who were also aware of such changes, also had to follow the animal's footsteps and hunt further afield. Walking between the advance, Qin Hu's heart is no longer the same sense of loss that he had at the beginning, and more is the feeling of the law of survival of the northeastern tiger. Of course, in order to live a better life, Qin Hu was also thinking about the problem of food sources when winter came. This issue was imminent. The higher along the mountain forest, Stepping past the hillside location, the jungle became low, with some sparsely distributed bushes replacing the originally tall trees. This was not the first time Qin who had come to this place to hunt alone. In addition to paying attention to not disturbing the prey in advance, he would need to pay attention to the large animals living in this place. For example, brown bears, black bears and the like. Perhaps in one of the caves, one would run into such big guys with thick skin and flesh. Qin who came after the animal's migration route. It was a few moose. But after traveling a long distance Qin who didn't see them nibbling on the vegetation, in order to satisfy his growing appetite, Qin who had to take the risk of hunting those large herbivores. Although there is also a great danger, 
but the harvest is also very gratifying. Finally, after chasing along the mountain range for three hours, in a mountainside, Sheen who saw the figures of several moose from afar, it was very large and there were two not so large moose in the center, which seemed to be a family of several. In order to survive, Sheen who also had to prepare to hunch over and prepare to hunt this family of several. I'm sorry, Sheen who mumbled a sentence in his heart, and his eyes became a few degrees colder, bypassing the rocks and coming behind the moose. Sheen who advanced a little, having indulged in strengthening himself for the recent period of time, Sheen whose need for mystical energy was getting bigger and bigger, coupled with the fact that Tiger Mother had reduced his food supply, even with the wild ginseng supporting him, Sheen who still felt that it wasn't enough. In addition, he also had to feed the two orphan tigers from time to time, so his life became tense in an instant. Searching for prey and hunting became a normal part of Chin Hu's daily life. The Moose family hadn't noticed Chin Hu's figure yet, and were still leisurely munching on the few green plants on the ground. Chin Hu relied on the cover of the raised rocks on the ground and got very close. Chin Hu's target was the young calf of the Moose family. Even if it was a cub, it still weighed a hundred pounds or more. And Moose cubs do not have the long horns of adult moose. The danger is also much smaller. Plus, he hadn't seen a northeastern tiger. So Chin who felt that his hunting success rate was still considered high, closely watching the movements of the moose family, Chin who still decided to focus on sneak attacks, as long as he could confuse the moose family and disrupt their formation so that the moose cubs would fall out or make mistakes, he would have the best time to hunt. It's a good thing that adult northeastern tigers also hunt large animals like moose, and the chances of success are pretty high. Therefore, the adult moose would also be afraid after seeing the adult northeastern tiger. Sheen who planned to utilize the sound of the male tiger's tiger whistle again. After all, there was no old ancestor in the natural world who taught them that soldiers were not afraid of deception. After pulling in enough distance, Sheen who began to prepare. Roar! A tiger's roar that was 95% similar to that of an adult male tiger rang out. It was thick with a hint of deterrence. As expected by Sheen Hu, the moose family that was still grazing leisurely saw Sheen Hu's figure appear, and coupled with the sound of the tiger's roar, it really caused them to be confused. The powerful sound of hooves collided on the rocks, making a thumping sound. Sheen who stepped on the larger rock pieces on the ground and lunged towards the front, ready to add fuel to the fire of the moose cubs that had already messed up their pace. Roar! The terrifying tiger's roar fell on the moose cubs' ears, and an instinctive fear rose in his body. Sheen saw the right moment and raised his speed, slapping a tiger paw on the moose cubs' buttocks, the tiger claws slashing down. The intense pain directly caused the moose cub to panic, with the adult moose disengaged from the escape direction. Perhaps the adult northeastern tiger's intimidation was too strong. The moose family didn't make a move to resist and kept running away. Sheen who kept a close eye on the fallen cub, then followed. The chaotic scene just now had made the moose cub lose its bearings, only thinking of escaping from the sight range of this terrifying big cat as quickly as possible. Sheen who held it behind him, wanting to exhaust its strength as much as possible and reduce its resistance. The moose cub ran up the mountainside for a couple of kilometers before its speed slowed down. Sheen who was dangling behind it without slowing down, seeing it showing fatigue, he was also ready to move up and start hunting. Another tiger whistle sounded behind the moose cub, using the last remaining strength of its body. The moose fawn finally pulled away for a distance. However, it soon let out a cry for help. Sheen who did not give it a chance, no longer reserve, speed up to catch up, and then run again in the right palm fierce force toward the moose cub's hind leg slapped down. At the same time a few sharp claws clawed hard into it. Blood flowed out with Chin whose tiger claws, still somewhat fresh, the moose cub became even more fearful, and the sound coming out of its mouth was even louder. Chin who did not want to delay, so as not to attract bears with the smell of blood, running with a jump up, landed firmly on the moose cub's back, so that its body smashed hard on the rocks, suffered a serious injury, and did not get up for a while. Chin who seized the opportunity, rolled over and bit the moose cub's throat, and began to make up for it. In the middle, Sheen who also monitored the surrounding movements from time to time. He is also afraid that the adult moose despite the fear to return to save the cub. If the long horns to come on a bit, even with his current physical body I am afraid that some cannot stand. Fortunately, the moose figure did not appear. This dropped moose cub was abandoned and became Sheen who's ration. The tiger's eyes stared at the moose cub losing its breath before Sheen who delivered a mouthful of hair to the tiger's mouth. He spat out the mouthful of hair, and only then did he bite the moose and drag it down the mountain. Now the wind at the mountainside, and the smell of blood is also relatively heavy. Sheen who is worried about is looking around for food to stick autumn fat for the winter of brown bears, black bears. Comparatively, this thing was not as terrifying as an adult northeastern tiger, but it was also not an existence that he could mess with right now. Disturbing the scene as soon as possible was an effective measure for Sheen who to reduce the risk. Ow ow ow. 
Chin Hu still underestimated the lure of food to the black bears that were going to winter. Having just dragged the moose carcass down a kilometer or two, the blood scattered along the way was carried by the wind and blown into the black bear's nose. Smelling it, the black bear gave chase, glancing at the black shadow in the distance. Chin Hu cursed in his angry heart. An adult black bear was no less threatening than an adult northeastern female tiger all the way. But looking at the food that he had worked hard for a few hours to hunt, letting him give up so easily, Chin Hu was also a little reluctant to give up. Chin Hu's movements were faster, but the moose's body is heavy enough. Coupled with the uneven ground rocks, Chin Hu's speed cannot be fast up. Seeing the black bear's figure getting closer and closer, Chin Hu was also anxious. The tiger's mouth loosened its bite on the prey and roared in the direction of the black bear's pursuit. Perhaps fearing Chin Hu's tiger voice, coupled with Chin Hu's size, it actually really made the black bear hesitate for a split second. It stopped where it was and then stood up to look at Chin Hu's direction. However, Chin Hu made a big mistake, allowing the black bear to chase after him without hesitation. As Chin Hu let out a tiger's whistle to deter the black bear, he actually bit down on his prey and continued to drag it down, and his speed didn't decrease in the slightest. In this way, Chin Hu's behavior aroused the black bear's curiosity. Comparatively, which northeastern tiger feared the black bear, and that too while hunting for food on its own territory. Looking at this, the black bear then judged that the northeastern tiger in front of him was somewhat fearful of him, and was most likely a freshly adult northeastern tiger. Facing such a huge meat, the black bear did not hesitate to chase after it. In nature, this bit of risk was worth it compared to the harvest. Sheen who looked back and then froze. He had been scared by himself just a moment ago, and the next moment, he chased after him without hesitation. Chin who didn't know what was happening, just as he hesitated to give up his prey, the black bear also chased after him. In the face of Chin who, the black bear also showed enough vigilance. First stood up, a pair of bear paws shaking, mouth full of saliva toward Chin who issued howling sounds. Provocation, naked provocation. Chin who let go of his prey, and without hesitation, he let out a tiger's roar and disliked the black bear. This was about the dignity of a future king. With this, the black bear was even more certain that the strange-looking northeastern tiger in front of him was a newly adult and still inexperienced northeastern tiger. In the black bear's opinion, this was a heavenly opportunity. Ignoring Chin Hu's threatening warning, the black bear shook its seeming ass and walked up, its sharp teeth exposed. The face of the black bear suddenly rushed up. Chin Hu was not afraid. Full strength issued an angry tiger roar. The muscles of the whole body instantly erupted into a powerful force, defiantly toward the black bear to tear bite. This was the first time Chin who had faced an adult black bear. Beastly instincts took over his brain. He nimbly dodged the black bear's sharp claws and then bit the black bear's belly with an owl. And the painful black bear gave Chin who another slap. The huge force slapped Chin who and dropped him on the rocky ground. However, Chin who did not notice any internal injuries. When the black bear was about to pounce, Chin who suddenly accelerated his whole body and then stretched out his long claws that were as sharp as a blocking blade and slashed down at the black bear's body. Roar roar roar. Although it didn't hurt any important parts, the pain stimulated the black bear's nerves even more, and the instinct to fight was released even more. Chin who instantly felt the pressure, constantly dodging and dodging, while utilizing his advantage to cause as much damage to the black bear as possible. But the defense value of this black and unattractive thing was just too high. Chin whose few claws went down all scratched wounds on its body, but not much blood flowed out. It was white and full of winterized fat. Not only him, the black bear was also a bit confused. It had seen a lot of northeast tigers, but it was the first time it had seen a northeast tiger like Chin Hu. It wasn't afraid of its sharp claws at all, and even if it was scratched, it didn't care and still attacked towards the black bear. Such a strong desire to attack, but let the black bear heart trembled. After some tearing, both sides have wounds on their bodies, but Chin Hu did not even look at it. A pair of tiger eyes staring at the black bear, looking at it a little hairy, careless. The black bear heart has the intention to retreat but also cannot give up this moose cub in front of him. Right at this moment, Chin Hu, who had caught his breath, charged up again with explosive combat power. Ow! Chin Hu disregarded his injuries and even took an injury-for-injury injury approach to attack the black bear. Feeling the intense pain coming from his shoulder, Chin Hu didn't feel intimidated. Instead, his body became more and more excited and the mysterious energy in his body began to become active. Woo woo! Chin Hu bit the black bear's body to death. The tiger's mouth erupted with powerful biting force, and then shook vigorously to reveal tearing and expanding the battle. This crazy behavior startled the black bear as well, and while one bear paw slapped Chin Hu's head, his body was also retreating backward. Perhaps frightened by Chin Hu's crazy and brazenly ruthless aura, the black bear pulled its legs and ran the moment Chin Hu let go of his mouth. Roar, roar. Chin Hu's head as well as his mouth was covered in blood, 
and he let out a loud tiger roar in the direction the black bear fled. The black bear ran even faster. He didn't expect this northeastern tiger to be so crazy and completely desperate. It was scared. For the first time, Sheen who had achieved victory by his own strength, and the other party was still an adult black bear. After the extremely frenzied desire to fight slowly receded, the perception of the outside world became sensitive all of a sudden. Sheen who flopped down on the rocky ground and gasped for breath. If this black bear also take the same brazen fighting style, then Sheen who also do not know what to do. Horizontal ones are afraid of rash ones, and rash ones are afraid of those who don't want to die. That's what he was thinking. At the same time, Sheen who was also thinking about having the repairability of the mysterious energy in his body to his body under his belt. Otherwise he wouldn't have dared to fight so crazily, completely disregarding his physical injuries. Hiss. Although the wounds on his body were being repaired, the pain coming from the wounds did not decrease in the slightest. After an hour, Sheen who regained some of his strength, and in order to avoid the smell of food attracting other black bears again, he had to get away from here as soon as possible. If another black bear came to grab the food with him, Sheen who might really have to leave the food behind and run away. After all, the mysterious energy in his body could only repair the wounds. It didn't guarantee that he wouldn't die. Biting down on his prey's body, Sheen who began to drag it downwards with force. It took more than two hours, and only when it was getting dark, did he drag the prey to a gentle area? Relying on the support of the mysterious energy in his body, Sheen who had been holding on, now that it was safe, he was also a bit anxious, toward the softest abdomen of the prey. He opened his mouth and tore into it to make up for his original consumption. Moose meat compared to other animal meat, eat in the tiger's mouth. There is no different or Chin who do not like the flavor. It was as if all the prey felt the same to Chin who after eating it in his mouth, feeling the rapidly compensating energy consumption in his body. Chin who felt his body start to heat up again, and some of the pain in his wounds was slowly decreasing. After eating a half full meal and dragging two thirds of the food left, Chin who headed in the direction where the two orphan tigers were. Ever since the tiger mother had shown an increasingly obvious distance from Chin Hu, he had begun to take extra care in feeding the two orphan tigers and he had his own plans. After feeding them for a month or two, the two orphan tigers were no longer as hostile to him and little tiger brother as they were at first. After all, the northeastern tigers are also spiritual, knowing that it was Chin Hu and his brothers who let them survive and accommodated them. Moreover, Chin Hu had his own considerations in feeding the two orphan tigers, which was considered part of his plan. If he could subdue these two orphan tigers and train them to become his heartfelt subordinates, then in Chin Hu's hands, it was very likely that the strongest team of kings in the history of the Northeast Tigers would be born. If the little tiger brother will be brought together, facing four adult Northeast Tigers, any more powerful Northeast Tigers you meet will have to hate the mountains or escape without a fight. Thinking about the hordes of Northeastern Tigers in the zoo, Sheen Hu felt that his plan still had a basis for implementation. After spending some time, Sheen Hu finally dragged the food to the front of the cavern where the two orphan tigers were living. This time, Sheen Hu did not put down the food and leave. He wasn't going to leave. After all, with such an idea in his mind, Chin Hu intended to test the two orphan tigers. And if they remained hostile to him or showed other things that Chin Hu didn't expect, he probably wouldn't leave the two orphan tigers behind anymore. Glancing back at the injuries on his body, Chin Hu felt that his acting skills were not bad. All the way he had deliberately controlled the speed of the mysterious energy repair in his body. For the sake of now, creating this kind of atmosphere. The two orphan tigers in the cavern had heard the commotion outside and had already seen what was going on. However, when they smelled a different scent of blood in the air, they became anxious and not caring about anything else. They ran and jumped out of the cavern. Ow. Oh. The two orphan tigers probed their heads and at once saw the food in front of them as well as Chin who lying not far behind the food. The two orphan tigers looked at it and instantly understood what had happened, thinking that it must be that big brother was hunting for food for them. And in the process, he encountered other hunters and they broke out into a violent conflict, and then Big Brother fought through his serious injuries to guard the prey and bring it back. Perhaps Big Brother wanted to do as he had done in the past, put down the food and leave without disturbing them, but his injuries were so severe that he put down the food and collapsed on the ground just a few steps away. Ow. Oh, not caring about anything else, the two orphan tigers crossed over the food and came straight to Chin Hu's body, circling anxiously at him and letting out anxious roars. Once upon a time, this was how they watched their mother lie on the ground and then lose her life forever. That was what they relied on. Now that the same thing was happening again, the two little ones panicked. They regarded Chin who as their last reliance. One of the orphan tigers anxiously licked the wounds on Chin whose body with its soft tongue, attempting to make him feel better in this way. Just by looking at the horrible wounds on Chin whose body, both orphan tigers felt a great fear. They didn't know what kind of enemy their big brother had encountered. But the battle must have been very tragic. Faced with such a situation, 
the two little guys could only be anxious, making whimpering noises by Chin who sighed and licking his cheeks with their tongues from time to time in an attempt to wake him up, feeling the movements of the two little ones, Chin who felt that he was not feeding two white-eyed tigers, he opened his eyes somewhat weakly, looked at the two orphan tigers, and then performed a scene of pushing the two orphan tigers towards the food with all his strength, simple two stupid tiger cubs, where to see what is called the evil on earth, see big brothers suffered such serious injuries still think of themselves, to Chin who wailed, lowered his head and rubbed against his fur, close, Chin who knew that the purpose had been achieved, as long as he got close to the two orphan tigers, gained their goodwill and trust, and then guaranteed food to raise them, his idea of forming a northeastern tiger entrepreneurial team would have the possibility of being realized, although the wounds on Chin whose body looked scary, the truly fatal injuries had long since been repaired by the mysterious energy within his body, and it was for the sake of showing the two orphan tigers that these superficial wounds were preserved. Now that he had successfully subdued the two orphan tigers, Sheen who also played along, staggering his body, he moved to the front of the cave, and commanded the two little ones to drag in the food before lying down. Perhaps the battle that he had just experienced was really a bit consuming. Sheen who began to squint as he lay on the ground. This action of his scared the two orphan tigers. After waiting anxiously at the side for half a day, Sheen who was woken up before he pacified the two little ones and urged them to go and eat. In this way, the two little guys to tear the prey to swallow up. Sheen who felt that as long as he could subdue these two little guys, all he did was worth it. After a day had passed, Sheen who no longer controlled the repair speed of the mysterious energy in his body, and the wounds on his body, all of them healed. The two little guys had already guarded in front of him, as when they were facing Sheen whose mother, they were protecting their mother's side. Moreover, by Sheen whose side, there were also a few pieces of food that the two little ones had torn down pile up. Seeing this scene, Sheen whose heart was greatly determined. As long as these two orphan tigers can grow up smoothly, he can start his own king's map hegemony, in order to distinguish them and have a name. Chin who felt that he should give each of the two orphan tigers a name. After taking a closer look, Chin who realized that the two orphan tigers in front of him were a female and a male. The bigger one, which was a male tiger, should be the older brother, so it would be called Xia, the other smaller sister. Since the older brother is called Xia, then let's name her Autumn. After naming the two little ones, he had the satisfaction of expressing himself with a low roar. The two little ones were a little happy, although they didn't know what the name meant to them, but in their eyes, the name seemed to mean Chin whose acceptance and recognition of them, so they were happy. However, with this, the burden on Chin who became heavier, the two cubs, Summer and Autumn, seemed to have taken Chin who as a dependency. Not only were they no longer hostile they even looked at Chin who as if he were a parent. After his injuries had healed, Chin who lay on his back in the open space in front of the cavern and began to think about tiger life. The battle with the black bear had allowed him to see the top line of his battle power. Fighting to the death, he could only injure the black bear, and could not incorporate it into his repertoire like an adult northeastern tiger. However, this also meant that in the mountains and forests, apart from those large beasts Chin who couldn't mess with, other small and medium-sized prey no longer posed a threat to his life. Even if he met neutral hunters like leopards and black panthers in the wild, he would be able to fight them head on. Summarizing the experience of the battle with the black bear, Sheen whose confidence grew a lot. In the middle of contemplation, he saw the little tiger brother not far away with a dozen pounds of ribs in his mouth running over here. Old saw Sheen who lying on the ground from afar, and the color of delight in his eyes raised a lot. The pace was a little faster, and the bulging belly rocked back and forth, looking a little more strong. Sheen who also noticed that since tiger mother had tilted her food resources towards little tiger brother, his size had grown by a hair, coupled with the fact that Chin who often brought little tiger brother to exercise, his strength and speed had also increased quite a bit, ow, little tiger D came to Chin whose body and put down his ribcage before going up to rub against Chin who affectionately, but it was startled by Xia and Xiao who suddenly jumped out, when Chin who made a sound, the two little guys retreated back into the cave, looking at little tiger D with eyes that were not quite hostile but not much closer either, Chin who felt that he still had to find an opportunity to let a few little guys train together, to cultivate a team feeling, lest there be infighting in the future. After greeting the two little ones, Xia and Autumn, who had eaten their food, Chin who also stood up, taking advantage of the fact that little tiger brother was also there, Chin who planned to find a place to train their speed and strength, and incidentally teach them some hunting skills. Summer and Autumn did not have adult tigers to teach hunting skills, before that Chin who also considered it, or planned to teach himself personally. Although his current hunting skills and experience cannot be compared to other adult northeastern tigers, but some teaching is better than none, greeting the three little ones to follow, Sheen who came to a hidden canyon in the mountain forest, he found this place when he was out hunting, 
The mountain forest above was dense, the canyon below was flat, and there was a small stream flowing through. It could serve as a temporary training base for the three little ones. However, during the process of traveling, Xia and Little Tiger D seemed to be somewhat at odds, and kept the objects glaring at each other. Perhaps it was because Little Tiger D had been leaning towards Autumn's side that made Xia a little upset. Qin who ignored the two little ones. After coming inside the canyon, he started to greet the three little ones for training. The method Qin who used was very simple, to boost speed and endurance, then run around the canyon until they were exhausted. Boost strength then carry out rapid climbing trees. Exercise the muscles of the limbs and explosive force. Qin who was also training, occasionally distracted to pay attention to the situation of a few little ones to avoid injuries or other unexpected situations. The little tiger brother had been trained by Qin who for some time now, and was easily able to get the hang of it. Plus his age and size were stronger than the two young tigers, Summer and Autumn, so he lasted the longest. Even though they weren't quite adapted to Qin who's training methods, the two little ones, Xia and Autumn, were still gritting their teeth and sticking to it, Qin who could see that these two little guys had a spirit of defiance in their bodies, and if utilized well, they would also have some achievements in the future. After the three little guys were exhausted one after another, Qin who fed them a piece of wild ginseng, and still insisted on exercising until the three little guys were rested, and only then did Qin who stop. Qin who felt that his whole body was like a furnace at the moment, the hot mysterious energy constantly quenching his whole body. After the wild ginseng in his mouth was finished chewing, such a feeling slowly disappeared. Qin who took a short break and then prepared to bring a few little ones to start learning hunting skills. Some of the basic hunting skills little Hu Di had already followed his parents and Qin who to learn them very familiarly. Summer and Autumn were only 4 months old and had only been weaned after losing their mother and switched to eating meat. Nutrition was still somewhat unable to keep up. Even though Qin who paired them with some animal awful to make up for some of it, the foundation was still not as solid as a tiger cub like little tiger brother. Making a mental note of it, Qin who prepared to think of a way later to see if he could use wild ginseng to make up for the two little ones vitality. Between the mountains and forests, Qin who began to educate the two little ones, Xia and Autumn, on the basics of hunting from the beginning. Starting from the most basic patience training, Qin who believed that as long as the few little ones grew up smoothly, he could consider where to plan his territory from. For a few days of training, both Xia and Autumn persisted and improved their mental state, perhaps having a kindred spirit weaker than himself to bully. Little Tiger Brother also came to be interested, as long as Tiger Mom wasn't around, he would sneak over here and follow the two little ones to train and catch them, so much so that Qin who asked Little Tiger D to go to the water source to wash his body with water before returning to the tiger's den every day, to avoid Tiger Mom smelling the odor of summer and autumn, Qin who still insisted on hunting on his own, and had slowly begun to adapt to independent living, as long as Qin who ambushed good, hunting some medium-sized prey success rate also reached about 60%, Relying on their own hunting, Qin who can finally eat enough, Richin also let the two little guys' body began to become plump up, Qin whose dedication gradually had an effect, although he no longer ate the food supplied by Tiger Mother, Qin who would still go back to the area around the tiger's den every now and then, observing Tiger Mother's movements and comparing her to discovering Summer and Autumn's hiding place, at the same time, Qin who would also follow Tiger Mother when she went out hunting to steal her experience, with the practice of hunting on his own, Qin who learned more deeply about Tiger Mother's hunting skills and used them to his advantage. It is not too much to say that Qin whose hunting skills have improved rapidly. The climate gradually turned from cool to cold. Qin who hunted less and less animals, and even several times will hit the idea to those large herbivores. Before Qin who did not think that the food problem is so serious, now he realized that he is still too lack of Northeast Tiger survival experience. And not only Qin whose side is so, even the Tiger Mother, hunting to the food also began to reduce. There was even a time when Qin Hu and Tiger Mom jointly set their eyes on the same prey. In the end, Qin Hu gave in. After all, Tiger Mother is the queen of this territory. Qin Hu understood that after winter came, the food shortage would be even worse. At that time, he would need to take bigger risks when hunting. Qin Hu began to make preparations. If he really couldn't, he would have to venture into Tiger Dad's territory to hunt some. Tiger Dad's territory was relatively vast, and there were many canyons so the climate impact in some places wasn't too great. The most important thing is that there are a lot of wild boars in Tiger Dad's territory, and the wild boars don't migrate with the seasonal changes. As long as there is food, there is enough for them to survive anywhere. Thinking about it, if there was no other way, he would have to do it. A few days ago, when Tiger's father came to visit them, it happened that he took Xia and Autumn out, and it was only afterward when little Tiger brother signaled him that he knew about it. Qin who felt that it was necessary for him to make a trip to Tiger Dad's territory. Qin who prepared himself to deal with it, even with Tiger Mother's help. 
He was not confident that he would be able to lead the two tiger cubs, Xia and Autumn, to survive together. What's more, he couldn't let Tiger Dad and Tiger Mom know about the existence of the two of them. Otherwise, with the Northeast Tiger's character, he would definitely kill them without hesitation. Settling down the two little ones, Qin who returned to the tiger's den with his little tiger brother. His mother had yet to return, so Qin who searched out the wild ginseng he had stored. There were three more, all of which were of good vintage. After leaving one for little tiger, and urging him to continue exercising according to the plan, Qin who was ready to leave. After hesitating for a while, he still urged little tiger brother to send some food to the two little ones if he didn't come back for three days. The most important thing was not to be discovered by tiger mom. Qin who looked solemn, and little tiger brother also listened with rare solemnity. After looking at his brother's distant back, little tiger D seemed to see something different in him. It was a kind of aura called a king. Qin who went out of the tiger's den and left from another direction. Firstly to avoid tiger mother, and secondly to visit the two little ones one more time. On the way back, Qin who purposely hunted a sick deer fawn in the mountains and forests, and brought it back to the cave where they hid his food for Xia and Xiao in the past few days. And after repeatedly telling them not to run around, he headed for Tiger Dad's territory. This time, Qin who was also taking a risk. He had to cross the overlapping area of the three Northeast Tigers' territories, and if he met an adult male tiger from another territory in the middle of the journey, Qin who might not have a good chance of survival, but in order to survive the winter, he would have to plan ahead, and taking some risks would be worth it. During the day, Qin who traveled all the way from the mountains in the direction of his tiger father's territory, the speed was extremely fast. It was both rushing and exercising himself. For a distance of close to a hundred kilometers, Qin who had to walk for about a day. For the sake of safety and to avoid meeting other adult northeastern tigers, Qin who also walked very cautiously, and only in the center of Tiger Mom's territory would his speed be faster. Even when Qin who passed by, he saw Tiger Mother hunting an adult wild boar. Now that the climate was turning cooler, the plants in the mountains and forests were starting to wither but some rooted plants were bearing plump fruits underground. Unable to eat grass and green leaves, most of the animals migrated to other places. Only the wild boar did not worry about its food source and was active in the mountains and forests, and at the same time became one of the tiger's key hunting targets in winter. Sheen who glanced at tiger mom's hunting site from afar, did not make any noise and left quietly. When night came, Sheen who had already driven more than 50 kilometers, after finding a small stream to replenish some water, Sheen who was also ready to find a place to rest, having run off and on for dozens of kilometers. It was also the first time for him to attempt such a long distance long distance run. Sheen who found a relatively safe rocky bottom, lying on his back, he began to squint his eyes, just as he was about to fall asleep. Something seemed to move between his ears. Sheen whose expression moved and he immediately awoke with a start. Because this place wasn't too far away from the overlapping areas of the three parties territories, Sheen who was extra vigilant, if he wasn't too tired. Coupled with the thick color of the night, he would have wanted to cross this area earlier, but for safety's sake, he still decided to recuperate here and set off again at dawn. Hearing the commotion coming from the distance, Sheen who did not hesitate and sought out a strong ancient tree and climbed up with ease, crouching at the trunk of a tree more than 20 meters above the ground, Sheen whose eyes gazed at the area below. A leopard was searching the surroundings with some vigilance, then with a hair in its mouth, it carefully advanced in one direction, it disappeared from Sheen whose sight in a short while. A false alarm, Qin who relaxed in his heart, he was afraid of meeting another adult male tiger, for the sake of his own life, it was not too much to be careful, Qin who pondered and was about to move to retreat under the tree, but a thick breathing sound interrupted his movements, it even caused the claws he had just extended to stop in midair, not far away in the woods, an adult male tiger weighing more than 350 kilograms walked among the mountains and forests at a pace, perhaps it was the smell of the leopard that attracted it, and was currently sniffing the ground with its nose all the way up. Sheen who crouched on the tree not daring to move a bit, and his expression was also tense to the extreme. A few hundred meters away, Sheen who looked down from a height and was able to clearly see the full face of this adult northeast tiger, especially the horrifying scar that ran from the forehead all the way to the tip of the nose, allowing Sheen who to instantly recognize this landlord tiger from the next territory. It seemed to be hunting as well, stumbled upon the leopard's trail, and then quietly groped after it. Nowadays. The plight of food scarcity was not only faced by Qin Hu and the others, but also by the other northeastern tigers as well. This also caused as long as it was edible, the northeast tigers dared to include it in their menu. That's why there are cases where adult northeast tigers kill large beasts like black bears and brown bears. So facing the situation that adult northeastern tigers rob other hunters of their food, or even kill hunters to add to their meals, is a common occurrence in today's season of food scarcity. In winter, 
When the competition for food was white hot, it was also the time when the Northeast Tigers had the most intense territorial conflicts. Sheen who maintained his stagnant position for 10 minutes or so, waiting until the male tiger below had left before he gently retracted his front paws. It did not fall to the ground at the first opportunity. He was waiting. Half an hour later, there was no movement coming from the ground. Only then did Sheen who truly breathe a sigh of relief, and then glance towards the place where the male tiger had passed by with a palpitating look. Just now, he was still thinking of spending the night here. But at this moment, Sheen who completely lost such thoughts and only thought of leaving this place quickly, with his current strength, once he encountered an adult northeastern tiger, leaving safely was a luxury. Although the northeastern tiger basically will not happen to eat each other, but kill him, that is certain. Even if Qin whose strength far exceeded that of a northeast tiger of the same age, but facing an adult male tiger whose strength, speed, and fighting skills were all at their peak, even if he fought to the death, he could only inflict some light injuries on the other side. After landing, Qin who didn't dare to stay and left in the opposite direction of the male tiger. They shouldn't meet again in a short period of time. The alertness in Qin whose heart was raised again, he began to run through the mountains and forests, trying his best to avoid making a big commotion. Despite feeling tired, the mysterious energy in Qin whose body continued to surge far and wide throughout his body, over a dozen kilometers of overlapping areas, Qin who ran very fast until after he entered the range of Tiger Dad's territory. Only after finding a place with high ground that was also relatively safe did Qin who begin to rest. The night was uneventful. The sunlight of the next day came out very late. Qin who simply drank some water and then began to run wildly in the direction of the tiger's father's tiger den. At the same time, Qin who was also paying attention to the animals along the way. Although he hadn't gotten the authorization to hunt from tiger dad, Qin who felt that tiger dad wouldn't care if he hunted one or two prey as a gift. Holding this thought, Qin who began to search, paying extra attention to the other sense around him, walking out a dozen kilometers ahead to the place where Qin who had previously followed tiger dad to hunt wild boars, Qin who carefully observed. It was the same as what he had guessed. The resources on Tiger Dad's territory were relatively rich, and wild boars and even some herbivores such as sick deer could still be seen from time to time. Sheen who advanced cautiously, searching for traces of prey. When the sunlight had just come out, Sheen who also found the trail of a group of wild boars. Compared to before, the individuals in this group of wild boars were larger. Even the smallest wild boar was 70 to 80 pounds. Still waiting patiently, Sheen who began to look for a suitable prey then locked onto it and touched it up a little. After his speed and strength increased, Qin whose hunting skills rose. As long as it wasn't an experienced adult boar, Qin who was still able to handle it easily. After spending more than two hours squatting on this group of wild boars, Qin who was finally ready to launch his attack. The setup was the same and the harvest was rich. Qin who was still quietly approaching the wild boar group, minimizing the distance between the two sides, and then launching a sneak attack towards the target, taking advantage of the wild boar herd's confusion. He chased after the target in the scattered wild boars fleeing for their lives, then disrupt the balance of the prey, use the tiger claws to lock the prey fiercely, and then cut off the possibility of escape, finally locking the throat to make up for it, ending the prey's struggle. A wild boar weighing almost close to a hundred pounds, already almost an adult. This thing was still somewhat dangerous, but in the eyes of the northeastern tiger, it was just a food that tasted pretty good and had enough quantity. After the hunt, it was still early. Qin who decided to hunt another small wild boar to replenish its consumption. This one could be a gift for the tiger father. Finding a safe place to store his prey, Qin who set off once again. Unlike the mountains and forests of other territories, perhaps due to the higher terrain and latitude of Tiger Dad's territory, the climate here was better. And at a glance, the green areas still occupied the majority. Some herbivores migrated here from other places as a transit point to replenish their food before migration. So, there's plenty of food in Papa Tiger's territory. Even when winter came, many animals would pass through it smoothly by relying on the accumulation of the previous seasons. This is also the reason why the tiger's territory faces the most frequent intruders. At the same time, other tigers also covet this rich territory. Once Papa Tiger showed signs of being slightly weaker, they would take advantage of the situation. Qin who circled around, and a group of sika deer were still eating grass. Sika deer were difficult to hunt because they were very resourceful. Qin who had successfully hunted plum blossom deer fawns before. This time, he also targeted the plum blossom deer fawns. After a few months of growth, the plum blossom deer that survived also had some survival experience and were not good to hunt. But Qin Qin's strength was growing all the same. After waiting patiently for a few hours, and after enough distance for a sneak attack, Qin who did not hesitate to pounce. A dozens of pounds of sick deer was enough for Qin who to have a full meal. Autumn days always passed by quickly. The sun set in the blink of an eye. After eating and drinking enough, 
Jean who dragged on the hunting food and began to move towards the valley where Tiger Dad's cave was located. Whether or not the winter would go well depended on this time. After all, the thick snow of winter covers not only the mountains and forests, but also the lives of many animals without a sound. The dark night was quiet. Jean who walked among the mountains and forests, stepping over the stream at the foot of the mountain, and entered the valley where the Tiger Father's cave was located. Before he even got close, Jean who realized the abnormality of the surrounding grass, it was too quiet. Jean who put down his prey, then pulled his voice towards the valley in front of him and let out a loud tiger whistle. Soon after, the tiger dad hidden in the grass slowly revealed itself. If Jean who rashly intruded, even if he was the son of the tiger father, I am afraid that he would not be spared a severe beating. He was a tiger, and already had the potential to be a threat to the tiger father. Perhaps it was the smell of a familiar odor that confused the tiger father a bit. After all, he hadn't seen him for a month or two, and the half-big boy from before had scampered taller and grown up anyone would have to be confused for a moment. Roar! Tiger Dad approached and recently let out a tiger roar. Jean who naturally saw the vigilance in the tiger father's eyes, and could not help but sigh for a while, while lamenting the rules of survival of the northeastern tigers, he also slowly lowered his head and retreated towards the back, letting go of the prey he had brought along while also making it clear that he didn't mean anything else. The tiger's father walked forward and sniffed the prey that Jean who had brought, somewhat hesitant, his eyes scanning back and forth between the prey and Jean Hu. Jean Hu waited quietly, not in a hurry. He knew that the tiger father was contemplating and hesitating. After all, a child is too big for its own good, and it was the same for the northeast tiger. It was not uncommon for a son to kill his father and occupy the territory as king among the northeast tigers. It was also because of Jean Hu's growing strength that both tiger dad and tiger mom felt threatened. Jean Hu muttered in his heart. This time, he seemed to have experienced the difficulties of the ancient emperor's crown prince. Being too outstanding wasn't a good thing either. Jean who lay on the ground, quietly waiting for Tiger Dad to make a choice. After almost an hour of stalemate, Tiger Dad finally made a decision. Taking Tiger steps towards Jean who, Jean who was also waiting for his fate. Without fear, he gazed at his mother's gaze. Roar! A loud and majestic tiger roar came out of the tiger father's mouth and rolled towards Jean who. Unmoved. Jean who stood up from the ground and gazed calmly at his father. The two tigers just gazed at each other. Everything was in the air. The tiger father moved. He took a few steps forward and came to Jean whose body, then rubbed his fur. A low growl then escaped from his mouth, as if an old father was giving his last instructions to his own son who was about to be far away. The tiger's father left, taking with him the prey that Jean who had carried in his mouth. Jean who watched his father's distant back, he had made the same decision as tiger mom. Jean who was relieved. Although Tiger Dad's attitude towards him was also starting to drift away, it was good that he had at least gained Tiger Dad's approval and was able to hunt in his territory for the time being. Winter could be survived. Sheen who began to walk back, he planned to find a temporary shelter in the area close to Tiger Mom and Tiger Dad's territory, avoiding Tiger Mom's line of sight and at the same time, he could also better hunt in the two territories. On the way back, Sheen who was in a somewhat low mood, even though he was still a minor, he was now alienated by his parents. It all stemmed from the fact that his strength had grown and threatened the status of his parents' territorial tiger. Although it was only a possibility, no one was sure. Eventually, Jean who would leave his parents to survive on his own, but he didn't know how far away he was from that day. But Jean who knew that being strong was definitely the right thing to do, and even if he was alienated by his parents, he would not regret it. Tiger Dad's reaction was both expected and unexpected by Jean who, originally, he thought that he would be mercilessly expelled by Tiger Dad or be taught a lesson, and then make Jean who realistically understand that the Northeast Tiger's law of survival. But this process, the Tiger Father has left a trace of leeway, dealing with it but not so directly. He was appreciative of Jean who because he had never seen such an outstanding cub. Perhaps, this time, the compromise was also mixed with the Tiger Father's last fatherly love for Jean who, having received the authorization from the Tiger Father, Jean who was relieved, at least he wouldn't be bothered by the shortage of food during the winter. Jean who walked on top of Tiger Dad's territory with hobbling steps. At this moment, he felt lonely. Perhaps, every northeastern tiger had suffered such a moment before. Expelled by its parents. Wandering, then adapting to this loneliness. It continued to grow up in the mountains and forests. Becoming powerful. And finally defeating another king and then succeeding the other as the new king of the forest. This is the life that the northeast tiger must go through. After walking for some distance, Jean who regained his vigor and dispelled the loneliness in his heart. His path to becoming a king hadn't even begun yet, so how could he get discouraged first? On the way back, Jean who walked with ease, after understanding the northeast tiger's way of survival, it seemed as if he had unloaded some kind of burden. Although there was no more help from his parents, 
his future world would be even broader, allowing him to soar. Walking along the mountain forest, the sunlight was gradually covered by clouds, the sky became overcast, gusty winds began to sweep through the mountains and forests, halfway through Qin Hu's walk, rain began to fall from the sky, the rain was tinged with a slight coolness, the drops fell on Qin Hu, dispelling his loneliness, for a distance of several dozen miles, Qin Hu still ran back, endurance and stamina were slowly improving, it was still ten minutes into the night when he crossed the intersection area of the three territories, the heavy rain was still continuing, while Qin Hu was rejoicing, the rain had masked his scent, allowing him to once again avoid the patrol of the territorial tiger and not have a head-on encounter, sometimes, danger was always inadvertent, the places where Qin Hu landed were picked to be as muddy as possible with rocks that didn't leave footprints or puddles of stagnant water, after walking some distance ahead, Qin Hu glanced ahead and then stopped his body, the corpse of a leopard that had been gnawed to the point where only its head remained lay silently in the rainwater, the last vestiges of fear remained in its dead eyes, Qin Hu glanced at it, then turned around and ran in the other direction, moving forward, there was a strong uneasiness in his heart, although Qin Hu was not superstitious, he still followed his instincts, running wildly in the rainy night, Qin Hu quickly traversed this overlapping area and then smoothly entered the boundaries of Tiger Mother's territory, just as Qin Hu breathed a sigh of relief, a coolness instantly rushed straight to his brain from behind, Qin Hu stood at a high place and looked towards the opposite side of the mountain forest, that male tiger was currently gazing at himself with cold eyes, Qin Hu's body was instinctively trembling, which he stopped alive, that male tiger was just now tracing his tracks, if his speed had been a little slower, or if he hadn't changed direction just now, perhaps the fate that awaited Qin Hu would be just like that leopard lying quietly among the mountains and forests, facing Xiong Hu's death-like indifference, Qin didn't flinch and stood across from him, responding with the same look, waiting for adulthood, I will let you know what it means to kill a teacher with a messy fist, Qin who was ruthless in his heart, and touched and memorized the threat this time, turning around, he ran towards the mountain forest, and the male tiger also hit its figure, only a few minutes away, he was able to capture that little cub who had gone out alone, next time, he wouldn't be so lucky, early the next morning, Qin who returned to the center of tiger mother's territory, after a night of traveling, he originally wanted to rest for a moment, but instead, he heard a tiger's whine among the mountains and forests, unlike tiger mom's previous tiger whistles, this sound was filled with anger, Qin who glanced towards the tiger's den, little tiger brother and tiger mom were not there, and the direction from which the tiger whistling sound came from was exactly where the two orphan tigers, Xia and Autumn, were previously hidden, suffered, Qin who was startled in his heart, then ran wildly in the direction of the cavern as fast as he could, although he had already prepared himself to be discovered by Tiger Mom, but that was also after getting through this winter and having the ability to truly survive on his own, even if he was discovered by Tiger Mother, he would not let the two Xia and Autumn face Tiger Mother's wrath alone, Qin who knew that the sound of Tiger Mom's voice ringing out meant that little Tiger Brother was also where he was, he had to arrive as soon as possible, in front of the cavern, Tiger Mother's hair all over her body stood up in anger at her little son who was in her way, no matter how much she roared, Little Tiger Brother still stood in front and wouldn't let go. In the cavern at the back, Xia and Autumn had already been scared to death by the female tiger's tiger might. The fear hidden in their hearts was once again seduced by the strong tiger roar. The tiger mother stepped forward, her mouth dangerously cracked open, revealing her sharp teeth. Tiger Cub's body was shaking as well, but still remembering his brother's instructions, he shook his head. Then his mouth roared at his mother for the first time. The tiger's mother's entire goo stopped as she listened to the not so loud tiger roar. She couldn't believe that the cub she had raised would do this to her. She was furious, glancing at the food in front of the cavern. The food she had hunted so hard for was being given to the offspring of the intruder by the cubs like this. To the tiger mom, this was a disgrace. Instead of urging the cub to leave, she was ready to teach him a lesson in survival with practical actions. The tiger mom stepped forward, and tiger cub stepped in front of her, and before she could make a move, she slapped him aside with her mighty tiger paw. He tried to get up to block but was held down by the tiger mom's paw and then let out a deafening tiger whistle at him, it was the last limit of her patience, even a parent child couldn't stop it, step by step, tiger mom approached the cavern and got a good look at the offspring of the two intruders, perhaps only their blood could wash away their family's shame, just as tiger mother was approaching, the sound of Qin whose tiger roar suddenly came from among the mountains not far away, roar, hearing this sound, tiger mother turned her head to look to the side, Qin who galloped in, Panting as he stood on the opposite side of Tiger Mom, the young and athletic body, combined with Qin whose slightly mature eyes at the moment, Tiger Mom was also a bit frozen for a moment, the child has grown up, Tiger Mom had this sentiment in her heart, 
She had never seen a cub like Chin who grows so strong at almost a year old, even giving her the illusion that the child had grown up. Even so, she still considered Chin who to be her most outstanding son. But at this moment, this young male tiger was standing in front of her. This somewhat went against the experience she had accumulated from her tiger life. The tiger mother's eyes slowly grew cold. No longer mother and son, she looked up at the two cubs. Her fluffy fur stood up, ready to fight. Chin who let out a tiger whistle in warning. He didn't want to fight his mother, but the tiger mother all but ignored his warning. He wanted to make the young male tiger, who was still a minor, realize who was the queen of this territory. The female tiger was furious. No tiger could provoke her tiger king's authority in her territory anymore, not even her own son. She charged up towards Chin Hu. She had to make him remember this profound lesson. In the next second, the strong tiger claw powerfully slapped on Chin Hu's head, and the powerful force caused him to instantly lose his balance and fall to the ground. Although it was painful, Chin Hu endured and did not fight back. If he had resisted, he might have further enraged his mother, and the result would only have been worse. Tiger mother ignored Chin Hu's lack of resistance. She was determined to make her son remember this tragic lesson. The authority of any tiger king was not to be provoked. The sharp and lengthy tiger claws scratched at Chin Hu's body, scratching off a claw of tiger fur while also leaving long wounds on his body. Fresh blood flowed out and invaded Chin Hu's body. The smell of blood filled the air. Still not holding back, the tiger mother opened her mouth and bit down on Chin Hu's shoulder, gaining the upper hand. The sharp tiger's teeth instantly broke through his skin and then dug deep into the muscles. Chin Hu still didn't resist. Perhaps stimulated by the smell of blood, tiger mother's original furious expression gradually loosened up. Seeing that Chin Hu still showed no signs of fighting back, she loosened her tiger's mouth. The blood of the cub was left on the teeth in the tiger's mouth. With her mouth open, she stared at this cub that she had nursed since childhood. Growing up, the tiger mom didn't lay her hands on Chin Hu after all. After all, tigers don't eat their children, and she still cared about the last of her kinship. But she didn't understand why this most outstanding son of her own would go against her will for the sake of the offspring of two invaders. Roar! The tiger mother let out a tiger whistle. Calm and determined. She glanced at the two cubs behind her. Then her expression went from intolerant to determined. Ow! Realizing what was going on, the young tiger cub ran towards the front to catch up with the tiger mother's figure only to be knocked over by his mother's back foot and fall on his head. The mother walked away without looking back, not even glancing at her favored young son, Chin who felt a bit lost in his heart. On the other side, seeing that there was no longer a threat from the adult tiger, Xia and Autumn also trembled and walked out from the cavern, surrounding Chin who with a low wail. They hadn't helped much, but had instead dragged their big brother down. Little tiger brother drooped his head and also walked towards his elder brother. He realized that his brothers had been unceremoniously banished by their mother. He was so lost that he ignored both Xia and Xiao and walked straight to Qin Hu's side and snuggled up to him, trying to find some solace. The wounds on Qin Hu's body were not very serious, and he would be able to recover in a short time. But the tiger mother's warning before she left, also let him know that he is now completely banished by his mother, even with the little tiger brother suffered together. Qin Hu was also somewhat lost. Although he had fantasized that he would be expelled by his parents one day, he had not expected it to come so soon. In order to plan for the future, Qin Hu had to keep the two young tigers, Xia and Xiao. Although the future days would be even more difficult, Qin Hu still carried a glimmer of hope. As long as there was enough food, he was confident that he could feed the three little ones. After successfully surviving this winter, he would be the absolute future king of this mountain forest. Comforting little tiger brother as well as the frightened Xia and Autumn, the injuries on Qin Hu's body also healed, with only the fallen fur proving that this place had just been injured. After lying down in front of the clearing for a while, Chin who slowly stood up and looked up at the surroundings. This place they could no longer stay. They had to find a safe place as soon as possible, close to their parents' territory, but also isolated from the territorial boundaries of that other male tiger. Although he was expelled, the tiger mother still didn't have the heart to force the two brothers into a desperate situation and didn't deprive him of his hunting rights in this territory. Therefore, in order to reduce the time spent running around the two territories, Chin who pondered for a while and still chose to look for a relatively safe place to land at the edge of the two territories, but to avoid the northeastern tigers in the third territory, there weren't many places for Chin who to choose from, only the place where he encountered the black bear before was more suitable, but with the presence of other beasts, it was another uncertain danger for the three little ones. After thinking for half a day, Chin who finally decided to look for a place to land at the foot of the mountain where he hunted the moose cubs and encountered the black bear, since he had made up his mind, Chin who would not regret it. He got up and greeted a few little ones and set off together towards his new home. Sheen who walked in the forefront to open up the road. The little tiger brother drooped his head emotionally depressed hanging in the team at the end. 
After they left, a figure slowly appeared in the jungle, silently watching the direction they left. The distance between this mountain forest and the mountain peak they were about to advance to was only 20 to 30 kilometers. The reason why he landed at that place was something Sheen who had considered. In addition to shortening the hunting distance between the two territories and reducing traveling, if winter came and there was a serious lack of food, he would have to venture out to look for black bears as a reserve for their activities. Although he didn't have the strength to kill black bears yet, Sheen who had already taken all the bears living in that area as his last reserves. Along the way, besides little tiger brother, the two little ones, Xia and Autumn, were the happiest. Since losing their mother, today was the first time they had experienced the feeling of being protected. It was precisely for this reason that their reliance and trust in Sheen who became even deeper. After spending two hours, Sheen who slowly led the three little ones to the woods under the mountain peak. After letting little tiger brother watch over the two little ones, Xia and Autumn, Sheen who wandered around the surrounding mountains and forests alone, because it was the foot of the mountain, there were many rocks here. There were also quite a few giant rocks. Sheen who wandered around for half a day before finding two or three suitable sites that could shelter them from the wind and rain, but also had enough space to accommodate them. In the end, Sheen who still chose a cave near a water source as his future landing spot, returning to the mountain forest to greet a few little ones. Sheen who prepared to go out and look for food. Perhaps he hadn't adapted to it yet. Until after Sheen who went out, little tiger brother still hadn't reacted, with a confused look in his eyes. Perhaps even he didn't expect that his mother would be so determined towards the two brothers. Sheen who may also see the state of the little tiger brother. But there is no further comfort. Every northeast tiger has its own way to go. But he wants to let the little tiger brother always have a different tiger life. With a vision of the future. Sheen who slowly towards the mountains. To start his first step of independent life. As more and more animals migrate. The food problem becomes more and more difficult. In order to hunt enough food for them to eat. Sheen who has to hunt once or twice a day or three or two days to hunt a prey that is heavy enough for him to eat. For adult tigers, this is a very difficult thing. Not to mention the half-grown boy like Sheen who. However, Sheen who was not discouraged. He had an advantage that other northeast tigers did not have. So, taking advantage of the fact that there are still some movements in the mountains and forests that have not yet migrated. Sheen who is ready to start hunting like crazy. He, for one, is going to stock up on food for himself and the three young northeastern tigers for the winter. Wanting to live independently, Sheen who still had a lot to learn and experience, for the sake of safety, and also to let the three little ones familiarize themselves with the surrounding mountains and forests as soon as possible, Sheen who took the three little tiger cubs out hunting together. As Sheen who walked, he vocalized and educated the three little ones so that they would also imitate his way of learning. Sheen who taught patiently, judging from the subtle traces left behind by some prey, and at the same time sniffing the residual odor around them so as to track the approximate range of the prey's advance. While teaching the three little ones, he was also learning himself. After two days of bumpy ride, the three little ones were a bit hungry. They were also extra serious when searching for the traces of prey. Sheen who was heading towards Tiger Dad's side of the territory, and there were relatively more traces of prey activity. It was easier to search for them. Using a melon, he picked up the feces left behind by the wild boar. Then looking at the hoof prints on the ground in clusters, Sheen who took the three little ones and chased them along the way. The winter food would depend on these wild boars to replenish it. Although Sheen whose experience in hunting wild boars was not rich, but it was still more than enough to deal with small piglets or newly adult inexperienced wild boars. Moving along the mountain forest, Sheen who discovered the route that the wild boars were advancing, perhaps also to avoid the northeast tigers, these wild boars went to the edge of the territory as well. Moreover, the grass on the ground had already been rubbed out by the wild boars that walked frequently to make a path. Sheen who found a place and started squatting, looking at the color of the sky, there might still be some time before the wild boar went out to forage for food, Sheen who looked at a few little ones and also planned to leave time for them to rest while squatting here, lying on the ground, looking at the surrounding mountains and forests, it was not as noisy as it was in the summer heat, and there was more of a sense of tranquility and despondency, after waiting for an hour or two, in addition to little tiger brother, the two little ones, Xia and Autumn, were somewhat unable to hold back their temperament, occasionally getting up and moving, and occasionally playing around a bit. Sheen who shook his head, still driven by instinct, unable to control his mischievous character. Using his tiger claws, he pressed the two little ones to the ground, and then made them quietly look at the vision ahead. Despite not understanding, the two little ones, Summer and Autumn, did their best to control themselves from making trouble. When the sky gradually darkened, Sheen who finally heard some subtle sounds in his ears. There are still two or three kilometers. Sheen who estimated in his mind, 
then told little tiger brother to take the other two little guys and retreat to the mountain forest 200 meters behind himself, bringing them out was just to learn hunting skills, just watch from the sidelines, Sheen who was also afraid that they would mess up and disturb his hunting plan, although it is not the first time to hunt wild boar herd, but Sheen who still rushed to a trace of pressure, perhaps afraid to miss it, adjusting his mindset and lowering his body, Sheen who buried his entire body into the grass, quietly waiting for the arrival of the wild boar herd, after about 10 minutes, the mountains and forests resounded with the sound of grunting, Sheen who looked out through the gap between the bushes, a dozen or so wild boars of varying sizes came rushing towards this place with broken steps, Sheen who waited patiently, adjusting his entire body to its best condition, when the group of wild boars slowly approached, he began to pick his target, after the battle with the black bear, Sheen who had a rough idea of his strength, so this time, he picked a wild boar that looked like it weighed 150 pounds or so, both sides were getting closer. Sheen who scurried out of the grass with a whoosh, and the wild boar herd was instantly in chaos, perhaps out of instinctive reaction. Under the leadership of the head pig, the wild boars let out a wail from their mouths, and then darted their hooves and began to escape in all directions. Sheen who stared at his prey, his body like thunder, constantly changing direction in pursuit of his prey, where he passed by. The wild boar fled in panic while splashing up with the dirt on the ground. After firmly locking the prey, Sheen who did not pounce on it at the first time, he lagged behind the boar by a meter or two, both to create pressure on the boar to force him to flee with all his might, but also to prevent the boar from counterattacking in the face of death. Running around the forest for a circle, the boar still failed to get rid of Qin Hu, and did not consume much of his physical strength. Seeing this method against Qin Hu cannot, the wild boar immediately changed another way, began to speed up towards the distant mountains. Qin Hu did not panic, limbs gradually increased strength, speed also increased up, closely followed the boar side. No matter how the boar reversed its direction at breakneck speed, Qin who was always close to its side, it was a bit scared, it had never seen such a tiger that was not afraid of consumption, the wild boar that was close to Qin who also felt an unprecedented fear, and its four hooves tried their best to run away with all their strength, see the wild boar is about to escape from the edge of the territory, towards another piece of territory scurrying in, Qin who does not give it a chance, instantly will speed to the extreme, straight over the wild boar, prejudge its movements, and then from the side of the vertical leap, a pair of tiger claws tightly embedded in the body of the wild boar, buckle, at the same time in the fall of the two to the mouth bite in the neck of the wild boar, Sheen Hu and wild boar running speed are too fast, suddenly stop so that they both fell a big heel, heavy landing on the ground, Sheen Hu didn't send the tiger's mouth, still biting down on the boar's neck with a powerful bite that was increasing in strength, the boar's thick breathing and constantly struggling limbs let Sheen Hu feel the pain it was suffering at the moment, in order to end the boar's pain as soon as possible, Qin whose tiger mouth exerted force and pressed its windpipe to the extreme, the more violent the struggle, the sooner the boar would die. Success! The prey no longer had the power to resist, and its body gradually softened, losing its luster in its pupils. Qin who loosened the tiger's mouth and grilled the boar, confirming death and then began to bite the boar carcass and drag it to the back. Ambush behind the three little guys also ran up, hungry for a day they have long been a little impatient. The wild boar's bristles were thick and its skin was particularly strong. Summer and autumn's teeth hadn't grown yet, and they couldn't bite the boar's skin. Sheen who used his sharp claws to break open the boar's soft belly, forming a gap, and the three little guys tore up. Soon, they dined on fresh food. Sheen who lay on the side and waited for the three little ones to eat. He had to always observe the situation around him to prevent the smell of the food from attracting other predators. But ordinary predators wouldn't dare to take food from the tiger's mouth. But those large beasts were not sure. Qin who looked around as the smell of blood was dispersed from here by the wind into the surrounding mountains and forests. Occasionally, there were loud noises coming from the distant mountains and forests, only to return to peace. Qin who saw the figure of a leopard, but after looking at it from afar, it left. There were also some small hunters who also sniffed the air from afar, and when they saw Qin whose figure, they also left wisely. No animal would come to snatch the northeast tiger's food without caring about its little life. Even if Qin who didn't look as strong as the other adult northeast tigers, Qin who quietly watched the three little guys will be a whole wild boar a half, and then slipped round belly lazy toward him over. The surrounding mountains and forests appeared silent, perhaps intimidated by the smell of blood in the air, as well as Qin who's striking figure. Qin who got up and allowed Xia and Xiao to rub against his side. Little tiger brother let out a low growl towards his brother and dragged the food over. He knew that his brother could eat all the remaining food. At the same time, he also wanted his brother to be able to eat more and grow stronger and fiercer so that they would be safer. Qin who stepped forward, pulled a piece of pork and tore into it. With a lick of his tongue, the meat on the bone was also scraped off. 
Some slightly soft bones were also chewed and swallowed by Qin Hu. It was the time to grow your body. It was good to eat some of everything. When Qin Hu was eating, the three little guys consciously stood in a row under the leadership of Little Tiger Brother. Then each gazed in a direction, guarding Qin Hu. This scene made Qin Hu feel very pleased. A wild boar of 50 to 60 pounds, Qin Hu also ate a lot, providing him with a large amount of energy. With so much food swallowed, he still didn't see his body bulge out. Seeing Qin Hu finish eating, a few little ones got up and gathered towards him. After a busy day, while the sky is still somewhat light, Qin Hu is also ready to take a few little ones back. Along the way, a large, three small and four tigers walked back in a row, before approaching the tiger's den. A roar rang out from the mountain forest in front of them. Qin Hu stopped and looked up at the other side. An injured leopard was currently dragging its injured hind legs, its mouth half open, showing its long teeth, looking somewhat ferocious. Qin Hu stopped and wondered what had injured this leopard's hind limbs. He was not afraid of leopards with injured hands. Little Tiger D was also not afraid of this big cat with flower-colored spots all over its body and stood beside Qin Hu, sending out a tiger whistle towards the leopard with the same warning tone. As Qin Hu stepped forward, the sound from the leopard's mouth raised a knot, as if it was about to attack in the next moment. Without a chance, Qin Hu greeted a few little ones and walked past the two or three meters beside the leopard. Although he wasn't worried about the leopard storming out to attack, he kept his eyes fixed on the leopard, cold and unfeeling. The leopard seemed to be intimidated by Qin Hu's eyes and lowered its head in some fear before hunching over and shifting away. Qin Hu glanced at the leopard with an icy gaze before walking away, then followed the three little ones. He didn't lay a deadly hand on the leopard. He had the ability to do so, but he didn't use it. An injured leopard, even if it managed to survive the darkness of the night and lost its ability to hunt, how long could it live? Qin Hu did not lay a hand on him, and that was only because he and a few little ones had already had enough to eat today. And if they had not hunted for food, he would not have shown mercy to the leopard. In this natural world, even predators have to be ready to become someone else's prey at any time. Returning to the landing place, Qin Hu let the three little ones enter inside the cave, while he himself lay down at the entrance and guarded the vitals. Although it was unlikely that something like a beast attacking them would happen, it was not too much to be careful. Qin Hu thought in his head, this life became a northeastern tiger, then do the ultimate in tiger life, not only to live better, but also to become a generation of legendary tiger king. The night was deep, and the wind between the mountains and forests had cooled down. Qin Hu's ears could still hear the rattling sound of the leopard moving its body. Having lost the support of its hind limbs, the leopard had lost its ability to move. Death, just a matter of time. Qin Hu was no longer concerned. Similar things happened every day in nature. To not become prey in someone else's mouth, then be strong and be the top predator. Qin Hu plopped down on the ground and scanned the surroundings, his tiger's eyes looking particularly eye-catching in the darkness of the night. Squinting slightly, Qin Hu began to fall asleep. The sounds of the surrounding mountains and forests also gradually fell silent, and the sound of the wind was also heard. Just as Qin Hu was falling asleep, a miserable scream and disorganized footsteps came from the distance. Qin Hu squinted his eyes slightly, his ears collecting the subtle ringing sounds coming from the distance. The miserable scream continued and was interspersed with the sound of wolves howling. Qin Hu listened attentively for a while as the leopard's scream slowly diminished and finally until they disappeared. Qin Hu understood that another predator had become food for other hunters. Qin Hu wasn't surprised, only that he didn't expect wolves to live in this place. Even if he met one he wouldn't be afraid. After all, he had encountered this thing before and won the fight. Now that his strength was incomparable, encountering wolves again, if it was the winter when food was scarce, it could just make up for their dilemma of food shortage. The night was uneventful. The next morning, Qin Hu urged the three little ones to get up, and then got energized to start a new day of exercise. Having just eaten a full meal yesterday, after a night of digestion, today was really the time to be energized. Perhaps it was instinctive lethargy, Qin Hu urged several times before the three little ones stood ahead somewhat hazily, then followed Qin Hu's order to march, running towards the mountain forest ahead. After not too long, the three little ones began to gradually wake up, passing by a patch of grass. Qin Hu saw the blood stains left around, the spots of fur remaining on the ground showed that it once belonged to a leopard, stimulated by the smell of blood. The three little ones also jerked awake. They started patrolling around the place. Sheen who did not stop it. To be strong, this was the best incentive. The three little guys were very active, following Sheen whose pace as they quickly sped along. Under Sheen whose leadership for this period of time, the three little guys, including Little Tiger Brother, had made considerable progress and were growing every day. At the same time, this also meant that they consumed more and needed more food. In order for the several little ones to ensure enough food intake, 
Jean who was prepared to continue hunting tomorrow after a day of training today, by keeping the interval of one or two days, he might be able to put on some more fall fats for the three little ones before winter comes, helping them to withstand the harsh winter cold. Jean who still adopts the same exercise method as before, training the three little ones endurance and physical strength, and then after they are exhausted, he gives them a piece of wild ginseng to restore their vitality. After resting enough, then the strength and speed training. During this process Chin who was also observing, constantly modifying and adjusting his workout to ensure that the three little ones were able to find a degree that suited them. Not far behind them, at this moment a northeastern tiger was staring at their running figures, then after looking at them for a while, it returned to the middle of its territory. That was the figure of the tiger mom. She was still attached to her children. Ever since migrating to this territory, Chin who had noticed that the predators and prey coming and going all around were somewhat frequent. It was reasonable to say that after the landowner tigers of the neighboring territories completed the alternation of their territories, the chaos slowly calmed down after a period of time. After all, he needs a stable food source to feed himself. But Chin who saw the migrating gray wolf packs, as well as the occasional passing leopard and lynx. However, since he had landed in this place, Chin who did not intend to let these predators come and go as they please anymore. He planned to take the initiative and follow his parents' moves, patrolling this small area, then expel those small and medium-sized predators that were snatching food resources from himself, but there was no rush at the moment. He planned to do this in a few days. At the moment, it was better to bring the three little ones back to the cave first, then let them recuperate and hunt some more, so that they could patrol this tiny territory together after they had eaten and drunk enough. Jean who let out a low roar, and the three little ones wailed in response, looking excited. They saw a king who was about to rise to power. It was also a model for them to learn from in the future. Chin who led the way towards the front. The increasingly urgent survival circumstances made him want nothing more than to live in peace. After Chin who and his party left, the surrounding mountains and forests once again fell into tranquility. Returning to the tiger's den, Chin who increasingly sighed at the difficulty of tiger life. The little tiger brother lay on his side, a little tired but with a determined look, guarding his brother tightly. Now that their mother had expelled them, Little Tiger Brother could only rely on Chin, who was his older brother to survive. Taking a glance at the two little ones, Xia and Autumn, they had already fallen asleep in a tired snuggle. Chin, who did not think much about it, gently pulled the three little ones closer to himself, and then also began to fall asleep. Tomorrow, there are still a lot of things waiting for him to do. The next morning, the sunlight is much later than before. The wind coming out of the mountains and forests brought with it a slight coolness. Chin, who was the first to wake up, woke up little tiger brother, in his sleepy state, explained and instructed some, and then tiptoed up and out of the cave, feeling the cool mountain breeze outside, Chin who still cautiously patrolled around the perimeter of the cave, only after finding no threats did he leave with peace of mind, Chin who wondered which one of today's victims was again, and took steps to wander around the mountain forest, after drinking some water to get himself in a better state, Chin who began to look for traces of prey, something a little different from the past, Today he planned to go in and take a look at the territorial boundaries of the tiger's father. Firstly, to familiarize himself with the hunting environment. And secondly, to see if there were any prey that could be hunted. The weather was getting cooler. And many small animals would also eat more food at this time to prepare for the upcoming harsh winter. Jean who also planned to start preparing. But at the latest, he would have to wait until there was snow on the ground before he could store the food from hunting. In this weather now, although the shelf life of the food could be extended a bit. Meat that hadn't been salted could only be kept fresh depending on the temperature. Along the way, Chin who sniffed a lot of stray scents, all left behind by some passing predators. At the same time, Chin who was also able to occasionally hear sounds coming from the distant mountains and forests. There was no lack of sounds made by black bears, gray wolves and other such hunters. He took a step and walked, not in a hurry. Tiger Dad's territory was only a dozen kilometers away from here. So for Chin who, he could arrive very quickly. After smoothly entering Papa Tiger's territory, Chin who smelled the fresh odor used to mark the territory. It was very pungent and a bit catchy. Chin who sighed in his heart, then started walking up the stream. After entering the hunting ground, Chin who moved instead, speeding up and frequently searching the surrounding mountains and forests, attempting to catch small animals that had fallen behind or something like that. After wandering around for half a day, Chin only saw a group of wild boars leisurely foraging for food. One had to marvel at this thing's ability to reproduce. Chin who was not accustomed to it, and caught the group of wild boars and prepared to go wool gathering, with the wild boar group spent more than 3 hours, and finally Chin who holding his 70 to 80 pounds of half a large wild boar slowly rushed to the direction of the cave, he walked a bit slowly, stopping and starting along the way, and did not take the lead in eating, 
when he was about to walk out of his tiger father's territory, Sheen who saw his father's majestic figure in the distance, beside him, there was a tiger that was slightly smaller by a head, Sheen who silently looked at him, then walked away with his prey in his mouth, Sheen who knew that his parents had gotten together again, his suspicions corroborated, perhaps it was possible that he and Tiger Cub would have a few younger siblings by the time winter came, after the cubs left, they were ready to breed new cubs in the winter as well, Sheen who was silent and a little worried, once the parents' new cubs were born, their presence would be a threat to the cubs. The parents would not allow their two older brothers to live in this area anymore. At that time, I'm afraid that what would greet them would not be their parents' expulsion and acquiescence attitude. It was very likely that the parents would take the initiative to come out and forcefully expel them. And if they didn't leave, the end would probably be tragic. Sheen whose current strength was not enough to counteract and challenge his father's position and authority. Even if he was able to fight to the death with the black bear, Against his father's tiger's mouth, he couldn't fight and would only die. Perhaps after Chin who got through this winter, maybe his strength would be comparable to a female adult northeastern tiger, the figure of his parents. On the contrary, made Chin who realized the seriousness of the problem. Thinking along the way, Chin who also brought his prey back to the area where they had temporarily landed. Perhaps it was time to do something. Chin who felt that in order to prepare to leave this place in advance, he had to let a few little ones adapt and grow up as soon as possible. At the same time, in order to ensure that there was enough food, after the several little ones finished eating later, he would have to take them to start patrolling on this small temporary territory. After expelling those predators, they would be able to peacefully prepare for the winter. With this intention, Sheen whose pace was much faster. When they returned to the cave, the three little ones were already waiting at the entrance of the cave. Looking at the food Sheen who had brought back, Xian Xiao's closeness had been raised to an extremely high level. The little tiger brother let out a low growl and went forward to greet his brother's smooth return, Sheen who put down the food, and as usual, he used his claws to cut an opening for them to gather around, and then made a sound to urge them to eat. A half-sized boar of 70 to 80 pounds was just enough to fill the stomachs of one big, three small and four small tigers, Sheen who ended up wrapping up the meal, and there was no residue other than the rather hard pig skull. After eating and drinking, the time came right into the late afternoon, and the temperature rose quite a bit. Sheen who vocalized to signal a few little ones to follow him, although he didn't know what his brother was going to do, the several little ones were in high spirits, standing on a high place and taking a look at the 20 kilometers or so of this territory, Sheen who began to patrol along the edge line, this was the first time he had exercised the rights of a territorial tiger, albeit in name only, and Sheen whose journey would begin from now on, the battle between the two male tigers was very intense, even if both sides occasionally came into contact and tore at each other, they would separate in a very short period of time, not getting entangled and exposing their weaknesses. Sheen who waited patiently at the edge of the scene for the outcome of the battle, scanning a glance at the surrounding mountains and forests during his free time. There were different animal figures in different directions, and they were also in the middle of the spectacle. It seems like people aren't the only ones who love to watch. Animals are also keen. Sheen whose mouth was tinged with a smile, between twisting his head, he saw his parents squatting together in the distance watching towards the scene. There were also wild boars or other predators watching the battle from afar. Even the figure of another male tiger was seen in the small area where they had landed earlier. This discovery gave Chin who another shock in his heart. It was fortunate that he had left from wherever he was with a few little ones and came within the territory of the tiger mother. Or else there was a good chance that he would have encountered this male tiger. Looking closely, the male tiger stood on all fours behind the mountains and forests. His eyes looking deeply this way, although his essence was still full of vigor. His body was a bit thinner than a normal adult northeastern tiger, not having enough weight advantage. The moment he turned around, the one eye that was only left and the horrific scars on the eye socket made Chin whose heart shake. He recognized it. This was the young male tiger that had once chased them and was later rushed by the tiger father and had one of its eyes scratched and blinded by the tiger father during the fight. At the moment, it didn't look like it was doing very well. Its body had slimmed down quite a bit compared to before, but the aura on its body was getting thicker and thicker gradually moving towards maturity and stability. This discovery makes Chin who can't help but feel emotion, and at the same time also makes himself more alert for a few points. Weakness will be bullied, and strength will always remain only in the sharp tiger claws and within the territorial boundaries of the northeastern tiger. The night was gradually falling, and the battle between the two male tigers was still inconclusive. After experiencing the very beginning of hurting each other, now they are just suffering. Who is the first to be unable to resist revealing its shortcomings? The only thing that will greet it is a fatal blow. At the same time, they also knew that the surrounding mountains and forests were full of spectators, and in witnessing the other party's tragic defeat, they were also more able to emphasize their authority. 
displaying their might, and deterring those enemies who were foolish enough to move. He was more powerful than the other party and more qualified to rule this territory. Although both sides were injured, no hunter belittled them. Instead, they showed awe, fighting for survival. After surviving for about half an hour, the territorial tiger was the first to be unable to withstand it, and the physical exertion coupled with the injury to his front leg caused his body to sway slightly. Even though he corrected his stance at the first opportunity, his opponents still seized this subtle opportunity. With a tiger shadow pouncing away, the male tiger that had just become a territorial tiger not long ago was crushed by the wanderer, and then bit down on his back with a death grip. There was no suspense. Even the same northeastern tigers couldn't withstand the terrifying bite force of the other adult northeastern tigers. This was the favorite hunting method of the northeast tigers, biting the neck or throat of their opponents. The victor had been born. The territory, which had just been stabilized, changed hands again and fell to this young male tiger. In the end, the original territorial tiger was bitten by the wandering male tiger and then gave up resisting. The wandering male tiger also did not choose to kill the other party, but instead prowled back and forth in the surrounding open area after sending out demonstrative and expulsive tiger whistles towards the other party, sending out horse tiger whistles to proclaim its ownership of this territory. This unexpected reversal made Qin Hu sigh. The new territorial tiger is now strutting on his territory with his head held high, his gaze coldly scanning the surrounding mountains and forests, and for his kind, his hostility is even greater. Even the northeastern tiger couple who were watching from a distance were met with provocative growls from the new territorial tiger. For the blind tiger that stood at the edge of the territory watching, he disappeared into the mountains and forests shortly after the victor was born. Sheen who glanced down at the two little ones, Xia and Autumn, pondering in his mind. Technically speaking, that defeated northeastern tiger was considered their father-killing enemy. Now that it had suffered such a downfall, it seemed that it was all the more important for them to come to a fall. However, Qin Hu was not able to judge how much combat power that Northeastern Tiger had left. Having lost its fighting strength, it only needed to wait in the mountains and forests for a night. And naturally, other hunters would come looking for the smell of blood. Falling down the well this set, in the natural world is even more embodied. Moreover, to take advantage of the other party's loss of combat power to kill, this is for every Northeastern Tiger is not a shameful thing. Positive confrontation is the way they believe in. After watching the new territorial tiger declare his change of power, Qin who left with the three little ones, he planned to bring the three little ones over to watch again the next day, and at the same time, let them remember what happens to losers as a way to motivate them. As they left, different sounds rang out from the surrounding mountains and forests. Qin whose parents had also left, and even if another male tiger occupied the original territory, it would not pose a threat to them. Although there wouldn't be a situation where the two families would fight together in a group, the tiger's father's deterrent power was enough to be able to resist the challenge of the young male tiger in another four or five years. The night grew thicker, and after witnessing an alternation of power, the mountain forest fell silent again. Sheen who led the three little ones to find a temporary landing place nearby. This night was not as calm as imagined. A few kilometers away, Sheen who could feel the lively movement coming from the distance. Although he was severely injured, the northeast tiger was not an object that could be bullied at will. If that male tiger could make it through, there might still be a silver lining there, but Qin who found it difficult. His former enemy wouldn't give him a chance to revive, and would only use his sharp teeth and claws to cut off his last chance of survival a little bit. Qin who had been guarding the three little ones, and the two little ones, Xia and Xiao, hadn't slept well during the night, perhaps because of nightmares, their limbs kept scratching at the air, and their mouths made whimpering noises. Little tiger brother was the one who slept the most calmly, and was also the first to wake up at dawn. After making a sound to greet Qin Hu, he wanted to go outside and was stopped by him, nudging the two little ones, Xia and Autumn. Awake, Qin Hu only stretched his back before leading the way towards yesterday's battlefield. The lively scenes of the night had dispersed after dawn. The male tiger's position shifted a bit, and beside him was this animal that had been torn down to its fur. The wound on his torso was surrounded by a swarm of flies, making buzzing sounds. The male tigers lay flat on his back his breathless tail rising occasionally to disperse the flies that surrounded him. His wounds had already begun to scab over, but last night's self-defense had made his internal injuries a little heavier, and even getting up and walking was a little more difficult, causing him to move less than a few hundred meters in one night's distance. There was no sadness or anger in the pair of yellow eyes of the male tiger, only a calmness like stagnant water. He had already failed, and in his nature, he knew what would happen if he failed, just as he had once treated the previous ruler of this territory a black bear carcass, plus a hundred pounds of wild boar, enough for Qin Hu to go back and forth twice. After throwing the last of the wild boar meat that had been brought back at the entrance of the tiger's den, Qin Hu greeted the three little ones as they came over to eat. 
compared to the two young tigers, Summer and Autumn, the little tiger brother, whose body had just undergone evolution, had a bigger appetite. Chin who also discovered this phenomenon, linking it back to himself, perhaps the mysterious energy within his body was a subtle evolution, it all seemed to connect, Chin who felt some emotion in his heart, this power of evolution was too powerful, not only could it improve the overall quality of living beings, but it could also stimulate the cellular activity and toughness in the body, thus prolonging the ability to stretch the organism, in the midst of emotion, Chin who dragged the corpse of that black bear to the side of the demonic plant, then glanced at it and let out a growl, the demonic plant understood and somewhat happily swayed its branches and climbed onto the black bear's corpse. The densely packed roots started to root into the black bear's flesh little by little, and then a strand of blood red essence was continuously pumped and melted by the demonic plant into the red fruit at the top of its head. Seeing that this tree demon was so willing, Chin who also turned around and walked towards the direction of the three little ones. After tossing and turning for so long, he was also a bit hungry. Perhaps it was time to check out the situation of the piece of unclaimed land next to Tiger Dad's territory tearing off a piece of wild boar meat and chewing on it, Sheen who made up his mind that later on he would go in that direction to take a look, and incidentally check on the recent situation of Tiger Mom, although they had already separated and lived independently, but now that this mountain forest had changed, he was also a little worried about Tiger Mother's safety, it was more reassuring to take a look, and besides, he also planned to go and test the waters first, prepare for his parents to provide life substance behind him, the evolved Sheen who already had the ability to guard a territory, after eating, and glancing at the demonic plant that was continuing to extract nutrients, Chin who instructed the three little ones some more before leaving in peace, the situation of the demonic plant being rooted in the black bear's corpse and continuously absorbing nutrients also startled the three little ones, looking at the visible deflated black bear corpse, the three little ones no longer dare to approach the ten meters around the demonic plant, Chin who's left with peace of mind, running through the mountains and forests, he planned to first go to tiger mother's territory to take a look, right now, it was the season when winter was approaching, and coupled with Tiger Mom's special body, he was afraid that hunting would be difficult. After thinking about it, Sheen who hunted a plum blossom deer to take with him even after searching for prey trails during the midway march, approaching the edge of the territory and sniffing the bearing where the smell of the tiger mother was strongest in the air, Sheen who started heading in that direction, carrying a dozens of pounds of plum blossom deers in his mouth might still be a bit of a struggle for the previous Sheen who, but after evolving, Sheen who could even run with it in his mouth. He also didn't know how strong he was nowadays, but fighting another adult male tiger should be no problem. He thought, at least he wouldn't be locked up by the other party due to his lack of strength. Sheen who moved forward, his figure walking through the bare mountain forest, a few kilometers in the distance, the tiger mother was drinking beside a flowing water source. It seemed like she had just prepared to come out to hunt, but judging by her behavior, she should have missed the time to hunt and was making a short stop here at the moment. Her sixth sense of intuition allowed her to instantly notice the abnormality of the surrounding mountains and forests. Turning back, she saw Chin who with the plum blossom deer in his mouth, his eyes still revealing a cold look. She didn't understand why this eldest son was bringing himself food. Could it be to provoke? Uncertain of Chin whose intentions in her mind, the tiger mother continued to walk carefully in Chin whose direction, a low growl emanating from her mouth. Chin who stood still and waited, then put down the plum blossom deer he was holding in his mouth and after taking a look at the tiger mom's bulging body, he ignored the warning sound emitted from her mouth, and didn't utter a single word in response, but instead, after taking a look at it, he turned around and left, seeing that everything was fine with tiger mother, Chin who didn't stay here for too long, today, he was going to return to the territory originally ruled by the vagabonds to take a look, and if possible, he might be about to become the new ruler of that territory, now that he thought about it, Sheen who felt that when he sensed an unknown creature pursuing him behind him earlier, the other party was most likely one eye. Moreover, Sheen who suspected that the appearance of this demonic plant had a lot to do with one eye. Moreover, Sheen who suspected that this fellow, one eye, had not also had certain opportunities that had allowed him to obtain the life substance as well, thus evolving. After thinking about everything, Sheen who became more and more worried about his parents' situation. After all, one eye the male tiger coming to see him now was a little too unusual seemingly intelligent in general, as Chin Hu pondered, his body gradually stepped into the wanderer's territory, this area had become somewhat silent after one eye's massacre, the mountains and forests were empty except for the occasional sound made by the flying birds that landed on the ground in, everywhere Chin Hu walked through was empty, vitality was not evident, Chin Hu carefully observed this territory, although it was a long strip of territory, the lower half of it had gone through one eye's massacre, and perhaps it would have to go through one or two more springs of warmth before other creatures would make up for it. 
Therefore, Qin whose footsteps had been toward the upper half of the territory's mountain forest further north, after crossing a dozen kilometers or so past the tiger's den where the previous wanderer had been buried, Qin who noticed a difference. There were still quite a lot of creatures here, most living in the valleys and mountain forests. Even when snow covered the mountains and forests in winter, these places would retain a certain amount of vegetation for the animals to feed on because of the difference in terrain. And this, too, became one of the food sources for Qin Hu to spend the winter. Moreover, this place was also large in size, and it was next to his parents' territorial boundaries in front and behind. As long as there were prey to live on and a source of food, there would be no problem getting through the winter. After checking it out on the ground, Qin Hu had the urge to occupy the land and claim it as his own in his heart. After all, with his current strength, it was enough to maintain the rule of this territory. Coupled with the fact that he had this demonic plant that could provide life substance, Qin who had even more confidence in his heart. As long as he was given some more time, he believed that he would definitely be able to achieve evolution by swallowing the life substance on all the tigers around him. After a brief inspection, Qin who headed back in the original direction. This time, he planned not to tell his tiger father. But after taking this territory and marking his scent, his tiger father would definitely know that his opposite neighbor had changed again. Qin who ran happily. The plan was to go back and bring the three little ones and the plant here. Find a new place to land. And start a new life. Qin who planned how to utilize this new territory. A territory that wasn't small in size had thus become his kingdom. How to better utilize it was a test for Qin who. Staring at the demonic plant that had been sucking the corpse of that black bear dry and draining it. Qin who then greeted the two little ones. Xia and Xiao. Who also came along. Then. Amidst Qin Hu's threatening voice as well as the demonic plants writhing, the two little ones tried the taste of the sweet spring for the first time, as was the case with little tiger brother. After swallowing the life substance produced by the demonic plant, they also slowly developed a feeling of vertigo, and then staggered in the direction of where Qin Hu was, and before they were even four or five steps away, their bodies touched the bottom and lay down. Qin Hu went over to take a look and saw that the two little ones were breathing evenly and their other vital characteristics were normal, so he was relieved. Quietly, he and little tiger brother guarded to the side. Perhaps the black bear provided too much nutrients. Even after squeezing out two drops of life substance, the demonic plant didn't show signs of weakness. Instead, it was shaking its body against the wind. Seeing this, Sheen who once again voiced out to ask for a drop of life substance from it and then gave it to little tiger brother. One or two drops of life substance was not the most useful to the current Sheen who. Leaving it to the three little ones was instead the maximum utilization of this substance. Perhaps because of his experience with this evolutionary aberration, Little Tiger D was the first one of the three little ones to wake up. There was no difference from the previous changes, but Qin Hu noticed that Little Tiger D looked at him with a bit more of a spiritual look in his eyes, and his demeanor was a bit richer. Could it be that this contraption is also capable of increasing the intelligence of an organism? Qin Hu speculated in his heart while looking at this plant that was as intelligent as a sperm. A bold idea sprouted in his mind. During the waiting process, Qin who also discovered that the bodies of the two little ones, Xia and Autumn, hadn't changed much. It was the same as the little tiger brother who had swallowed the life substance for the first time, enhancing the overall quality of the whole body, but it didn't reach a point as terrifying as Qin Hu's. Moreover, after the two little guys woke up, Qin who trained them again according to his previous orders, and found that they understood his orders to a much higher degree. It indeed looked like they had more intelligence. Qin who was elated and his eyes carried a strong greed when he looked at the demonic plant again. It scared the plant into trembling. Qin who calmed the three little ones down a bit, then prepared to lead them to the territory ahead, perhaps knowing that they were going to move to a new home. The three little ones all looked a little excited, their mischievous instincts still engraved inside their genes. Bouncing along the way, Qin who attached the demonic plant to a bare bone and bit it in his mouth to carry it along. This thing is still better for him to personally feed and watch over. After all, in addition to his ability to threaten the life of this plant, the other three little guys, including tiger parents may only become the plant's sustenance. The mountains and forests became a bit silent in the beginning of winter. In addition to the slightly chilly air, few animals could be seen. Qin who entered the mountain forest with the three little ones and then moved along the open area towards the northern mountain forest. All along the way Qin who didn't find any traces of other creatures' activities. And it wasn't until they crossed 70 to 80 kilometers and entered another territory close to the north that this phenomenon changed. Coming to the mountain forest here, Qin who noticed some subtle changes. The treetops of the mountain forest had snow hanging from them in some places, and many places were even dotted with unmelted snow. The further north one went, the colder the temperature here became. But fortunately, Qin whose body could automatically regulate the temperature, and with the presence of the mysterious energy in his body, 
This was a happy thing. Followed behind the three little guys although also feel the chill. But good thing he can still accept it. After experiencing the body's all-round strengthening, they are not so afraid of the cold. Sheen who scouted around in the surrounding directions, hoping to find a suitable place for them to land. There were quite a lot of canyons here. And Sheen who also intended to find a canyon with a higher temperature as a place to land. After searching for half a day, Sheen who found a fairly spacious canyon in the direction next to Tiger Dad's territory. After finding a cave that could protect them from the wind and snow, the tigers settled down in their new territory. Sheen who admonished the three little ones, and then ran towards the edge of the mountain forest with some impatience. He wanted to see for himself how wide the range of this mountain forest was, and at the same time update the information on the scents that were used to mark the boundaries of this territory. By the way, he would also explore the number and types of animals living in this area. Prepare in advance for his future winter survival first. Chin who did not tell his tiger mom and dad that he had changed this territory to his own. He was afraid that his parents would be hostile to his reckless behavior. And he was also afraid that they would think that he was stealing it. But no matter what, there was no other ruler in this territory at the moment. Now that Chin who had entered this territory, it was equally reasonable for him to occupy the mountain as king. As long as he was able to fend off other challengers in the years to come, this territory would truly belong to Chin who to use. Roar, letting out a loud tiger roar in his own territory. He listened to the sound penetrate through the mountains and forests before forming an echo back. Chin who felt a wave of relief in his body and mind. No wonder the wanderer had been so fond of this action before. It turned out to be really easy to get addicted to, quickly and simply making a round of the half territory to the north. Chin who began to explore the traces of movement on the ground. Perhaps it was because the canyon was richer in this place. The number of animals living here was quite high and there was still a portion of large herbivorous action left behind. Chin who was very happy, as long as he didn't massacre the animals in his territory in order to obtain the life substance like one I did before. He believed that this food would be enough for him to eat over the winter. It was enough for a few baby tigers to keep eating. If there was spare food, occasionally feeding the demonic plant and threatening it to part with some of its life substance. Chin who believed that they would be able to grow up quickly in a short period of time. Chin who thought to himself, while also moving at a fast pace towards the area they had previously selected, but further north that Chin didn't know about. A blizzard with gusty winds was gradually descending, and at the same time there was also a thick aerosol with an unrecognizable view, which was like a shroud coming towards the direction of the area where he was. The peaks, mountains, and canyons were engulfed by the thick fog, as were the mountains and forests. It was as if the entire heaven and earth had been covered with a garment. When Chin who returned to the side of the three little ones, and then somewhat excitedly told him that this was his future home. The three little ones still looked incredulous. It made Chin who laugh lightly for a good while. I didn't expect that after swallowing the life substance and improving their intelligence, the three little ones still acted not too smart. Chin who made a cursory inspection of this territory. The animals in it were completely enough to feed a few of them. After finding a place to use as a tiger's den, they carefully stayed in this territory. Every day, Chin who went to the mountains and forests surrounding the territory to wander around looking for traces of one eye while hunting, but as if it had disappeared, for a long time in a row, Sheen who did not find any trace of one eye, and it seemed to have disappeared again, to the hunting time occasionally see the opposite tiger dad hunting scene, every time Sheen who was far from a glance, and then left, compared to tiger dad's calmness and sophistication, Sheen who still lacked some experience, but strength was enough to make up for these gaps, over a period of time. Sheen who hunted for food to supply the three little ones to grow while providing nutrients for the demonic plant to accumulate enough life substance. For many days in a row, Sheen who didn't let it provide life substance. Instead waiting for the three little ones to adapt to the current body strength as well as speed and power before slowly increasing it for them. After this period of training, Sheen who also adapted to his current strength and speed, and hunting some small movements was basically no longer difficult for him. Even for medium to large sized prey, Sheen who was able to hunt with ease and with his amazing speed and overwhelming strength, there was no prey that could escape under his tiger's mouth. This made Chin who somewhat proud. He desperately hoped that there would be other strange male tigers to come, or to verify his current strength. But right now Chin who had more important things to do. After bringing back food for the three little ones, Chin who began to provide the demonic plants with sufficient nutrients. After he was ready, he was going to make a trip to Papa Tiger's territory. It was time to bring Papa Tiger to receive the evolution brought about by this life substance. However, Chin who was still worried that the tiger father was a bit stubborn. After all, he was only a northeastern tiger, and was still a very traditional kind. If he went there rashly now, would he disregard being taught a hard lesson by his father again? With trepidation, Chin who headed towards the tiger father's territory. The weather was getting colder and colder. 
The number of snow drifts in the sky was also increasing. Qin Hu wasn't too worried about winter this time. Powerful strength was the source of his backbone. Qin Hu forested the mountains and walked through the mountains and forests. All the way, there was no change from the path he had traveled before, except that there was much less green at the eye level. Qin Hu crossed the edge of the territory, raised his head and sniffed into the air. There was no odor of the tiger father left behind, and continued to march towards the territory ahead. It was only when he reached the center of the territory that Qin Hu smelled tiger dad's scent, accompanied by a strong smell of blood. Qin Hu did not care when he smelled it, thinking that it was left behind by tiger dad when he hunted other large prey. But after a careful sniff, soon Qin Hu realized that something was wrong. He let out a tiger whistle towards the mountain forest in front of him, and then quickly ran, moving towards the direction of tiger dad's cave. A bad feeling rose in Qin Hu's heart, climbing upwards along the foot of the mountain. The odor Qin Hu smelled became clearer and clearer. He didn't know what was happening, but he smelled the blood of his kind as well. Qin Hu leapt to the front of the tiger father's cave and let out a tiger whistle towards it. Then the tiger father's voice rang out from inside. Qin Hu smelled the sound and immediately walked in vigilantly. When he entered, a horrible wound on the belly of the tiger dad was presented to Qin Hu's eyes. Dried blood hung from the hair around the wound, infesting a large area. Moreover, the gaping hole was torn to a long mouth and the intestines inside were faintly appearing. Qin Hu stepped forward, his heart startled, anxiously voiced out to ask Tiger Dad what had happened. The Tiger Father's yellow eyes maintained a calm look, and there was not much panic. After glancing at this outstanding sun, Tiger Dad made a warning sound to warn Qin Hu not to go to the edge of his northern territory, where there were terrifying creatures. After issuing the warning sound, the Tiger Father glanced at the wound on his belly before his eyes revealed a look of gravity. This was the first time he had met such an opponent and just one encounter had left him seriously injured and allowed himself to escape with his injuries. Tiger Dad had issued the warning for fear that Qin who was young and unaware of the depths of the world, and that if he met such a fierce beast, he might not have a chance to live. Although Qin who didn't know what had happened to Tiger Dad, he had also seen Tiger Dad hunting at the edge of his territory in the north two days ago, so it was possible that the injuries were left from that time. Qin who glanced at the wound, then went up and licked Tiger Dad's fur to comfort him. This time, he didn't reject or scold Qin who, Perhaps in Papa Tiger's opinion, it was already difficult for him to survive an injury like this, and if he wasn't around, then the best inheritor of this territory would be Qin Hu, his eldest son. There was no better ruler than him. Father Tiger thought to himself with a hint of despondency in his eyes. Qin Hu paced anxiously at the side, thinking of a solution. The location around Tiger Dad's wound had become red and swollen, and even after Tiger Dad had licked it with his saliva, it still didn't stop the wound from becoming inflamed. After thinking about it, Qin Hu spoke out to comfort Tiger Dad, then anxiously ran towards the location of his cave. He wanted to see if the life substance produced by the demonic plant could have a healing effect on Tiger Dad's wound. Qin Hu traveled quickly through the mountains and forests. Tiger Dad's injuries were already very serious. After dragging on for two days, plus the wounds were so large that they had become infected, Qin Hu could only pin his hopes on this. Traveling at full speed, Qin Hu only spent half an hour to return to the tiger's den, instructing the three little ones. Qin Hu took the bones of the demonic plant rooted in his mouth and ran towards the mountain forest. The slender body of the demonic plant was messy in the wind, completely unaware of what was happening to this male tiger. Qin Hu couldn't think about it in time. He only hoped to get to the tiger father's side as soon as possible and treat his injuries. Arriving outside the tiger's den, Qin Hu couldn't wait to enter. Then he placed the demonic plant in front of him. After emitting a growling sound, the demonic plant understood Qin Hu's meaning and without hesitation. It immediately secreted a thumb-sized drop of life substance from its root whiskers gently extending into Tiger Dad's mouth. At Qin Hu's gesture, Tiger Dad opened his mouth, and then he felt the most unforgettable flavor of his life. It was a pre-verbalized sweet taste that melted in his mouth and instantly dispersed into his entire body. Papa Tiger briefly ignored the discomfort from the wound, then closed his eyes in relief. Qin Hu nervously watched Tiger Dad's state at the moment, his tiger eyes fixed on the wound. I hope it works. After a short while, Qin Hu miraculously realized that the red and swollen state around Tiger Dad's wound had slowly subsided, and the surrounding muscle tissues were actually writhing at a speed visible to the naked eye. Qin Hu witnessed this magical scene. The plants on the side were also somewhat pleased with the situation, and seemed to have felt Qin Hu's shock. And just as Qin Hu waited anxiously, outside, over the mountains and forests, a white cloud that covered the entire sky gradually pressed over, as if destroying everything, enveloping all the objects below. In the tiger's den, Qin Hu saw the tissues around Tiger Dad's wound slowly healing up and getting a little bit better, and his heart was overjoyed. He didn't expect the life substance produced by the demonic plant to have such a function, but thinking about it, 
Since this life substance was able to promote the overall evolution of the organism, it was also able to compensate for injuries or muscular defects. Tiger Dad was also shocked by this never before seen scene. Compared to the three little ones, Tiger Dad was older, more experienced, and naturally a bit more intelligent. In his experience, there was no such thing that could immediately restore a wound. This scene also broke his perception. Originally, he had prepared himself for death. After all, for a tiger, the final result of such a large wound infection would only be death. The tiger's father's complexion changed a little. After gazing at Chin Hu for a while, he looked away again, and the whole person also had a giddy and strange feeling. Chin Hu looked at Tiger Dad who was lying on the ground with slightly narrowed eyes, and after realizing that this was a normal phenomenon, he also let go of his heart. With the addition of the Tiger Father, and after swallowing the life substance, I'm afraid that his strength would increase greatly, and even surpass the Northeast Tiger's racial limitations. He exited the tiger's den with the demonic plant in his mouth, glancing at the fellow, if there was no help from it today, just by Chin Hu himself, he might only be able to watch his tiger father's injuries deteriorate day by day. I'll call you little demon from now on, Chin Hu rejoiced, patting at the little demon's somewhat slender body, seemingly sensing Chin Hu's meaning. The little demon waved its two leaves as if to say you're welcome in general. Chin Hu also did not count, holding the small demon attached to the bone came to the tiger's den outside the guard. Just as soon as he came out, Chin Hu realized that something was wrong. Originally bright sky at the moment even darkened down. The sun also disappeared. Looking up, the mountain forest overhead was covered by a thick layer of clouds, which was now extending a little behind Chin Hu. Chin Hu was a bit surprised. After all, he had never seen such a sight before. Such a huge and thick cloud. Even if it was just the beginning of winter now, it was impossible for such a sight to appear. Glancing at the little demon on the ground, Chin Hu felt that there might be something he didn't know about this. After leaving the little demon in front of the cave and uttering a warning, he was ready to head to the tiger's den where the three little ones had landed. Perhaps because of the past few days together, Chin Hu had a hint of trust in the little demon. And only then did he make such a move. Chin Hu didn't dare to delay and immediately ran through the mountain forest. Fortunately, the speed of the cloud behind him was not too fast. Chin Hu speed up in a short while after leaving it far behind. Chin Hu's heart is anxious. Speed is also much faster. After Chin Hu left, the thick cloud slowly covered the entire mountain forest including the tiger's nest. The little demon stood guard in front of the door of the tiger father's cave, his body swaying slightly with the wind. When the cloud mist shrouded down, the body of the little demon surprisingly showed great joy, and seemed to have sensed the sights happening in the outside world. Then in the cloud mist all of its roots were stretched out in the cloud mist in midair. A little bit of tiny things were absorbed by the little demon's root whiskers metamorphosing into a red liquid slowly converging towards the red fruit on top of its head. Although it was less than absorbing the animal's nutrients, it was good that there was a lot of this cloud. The little demon swayed its body and fluttered its roots in the air with great joy, and as the clouds filled the middle of the tiger's den, the tiger father who was in the middle of evolving also inevitably inhaled the clouds in the air. In the clouds and mist, the tiger father's heavy breathing became even, and the changes within his body were also accelerating. What was even more amazing was that on the tiger father's body, just like Chin whose changes at that time, he also began to continuously lose his hair, which then quickly grew out like weeds blowing in the spring breeze. The golden colored hair covered tiger dad's entire body, making him look even more majestic and extraordinary. If Chin who was here, he would definitely be able to tell from these signs that this thick cloud also had a similar effect as the biological substance, only that the effect had been weakened a lot, but the amount was immense. Chin who didn't know about the situation over here, and only felt that this thick fog had come in a very perverse way. With an anxious mood, Chin who didn't take long to arrive in the middle of the tiger's den on another territory, calling out, seeing the three little ones walking out of the tiger's den one after another, Chin who was relieved. After thinking for a moment, Chin who decided to bring all three of their little ones with him and gather them together at the tiger father's cave. Now that the situation in the mountain forest had changed, Chin who felt the need to unite everyone. After thinking about it, Chin who still thinks that he should bring the three little ones to Tiger Dad's cave first, with little tiger brother in there, Tiger Dad at least won't easily hurt the two little ones, Summer and Autumn, out loud urging a sound. Chin who then let the three little ones follow their own pace toward the direction of the Tiger Father's Tiger Cave. Running to a hillside, Chin who saw the clouds not far away, it was slowly advancing forward, with a big picture of the momentum of swallowing mountains and rivers. Chin who thought for a moment but still hardened his heart and charged into the thick fog. After all, it was impossible for him to leave Tiger Dad behind. After once again urging the three little ones to keep up with his pace, Chin Hu and his group soon arrived at the front of the cloud coverage. Diving headfirst into the clouds and mist, 
Sheen who stood still for a moment, there was no uncomfortable reaction. Instead, it made him feel slightly comfortable. Between breaths, the mysterious energy in his body unexpectedly moved slowly, and Sheen who also felt a slight warmth coming from his body, suppressing the curiosity in his heart. He glanced back at the three little ones, who didn't seem to have any discomfort, and greeted them as they continued to run ahead. Just as he got up and picked up speed, a whooshing sound of breaking air sounded in the sky. Sheen who looked up, a small black dot is falling down at a very fast speed. It fell to the ground with a pop. Sheen who looked forward, it was a small flying bird, which had been dropped into a bloody mess at the moment. With just a glance, he continued on his way. The three little ones followed closely behind, similarly curiously massing the surrounding mountains and forests shrouded in clouds. Sheen who ran forward. The clouds in the forest were so dense that even he could only see 1 to 200 meters in the surrounding area. The line of sight that the three little ones could see was even shorter. However, on the way of traveling, Sheen who keenly noticed that there seemed to be something more on the ground in the mountain forest. After walking for some distance, the caution in Sheen whose heart lifted, but he didn't notice any uneasiness. Walking towards a dark spot in the forest, Sheen who saw clearly the dark shadow lying on the ground, an adult boar weighing close to 300 pounds, with seven or eight boars of varying weights scattered around it. At the moment, this class was lying quietly in the mountain forest. Sheen who was startled by the scene, went up to explore some. Anyway, these boars belly normal undulation. Breathing is also uniform, just as in a coma. Sheen who guessed in his heart. It seems that this cloud is not so simple. Seems to have some of the role of psychedelic drugs. Sheen whose speed slowed down. Faced with these wild boars lying on the ground defenseless, he did not make a move. Instead, he continued to explore forward. The three little ones followed Sheen who around and noticed the situation, and their instincts drove them to gather around a slightly smaller boar and nibble on it. Sheen who did not stop them, although it seemed to be a bit cruel, it was necessary for survival. The sleeping boar felt the pain, but only its body twitched and struggled for a bit. It didn't wake up, and in the end, it was bitten by the little tiger brother's neck to death, and then sent to the west. Sheen who stood guard. He also wanted to see if these animals were also passively evolved by the cloud. Little Tiger D tore off a piece of meat from the boar and carried it to Chin Hu, nonchalantly swallowing it into his mouth. Chin Hu noticed something special. In the past, the mysterious energy in his body would also increase when he swallowed meat, but the amount wasn't as much as today's bite. Moreover, the flavor of the pork had become much more delicious, but with a bit more chewiness. Chin Hu judged that these cloud-shrouded animals had also passively evolved. It just wasn't as high as their degree. Thinking about it this way, Sheen who felt that I'm afraid that all the creatures within the range covered by the clouds and mist had produced this evolutionary ability. Besides these things, what about plants? Demonic plants like the little demon came to mind, and their origins seemed even more mysterious. After wolfing down a wild boar, Sheen who looked at a few little ones who were still swallowing their saliva, and walked up to drag the adult wild boar that weighed close to 300 pounds, thinking that the tiger's father hadn't eaten yet either. This wild boar that was evolving was just right to be their food. Coupled with the fact that the range covered by the cloud was too large, Sheen who also felt like hiding to see what was behind them first. Food, too, became important. Perhaps guessing their brother's thoughts, the three little ones each picked a wild boar from the surrounding wild boar piles that they could take with them, and then killed it without hesitation before dragging it behind Sheen who. Thick cloud shrouded mountain forest. In addition to Sheen who their line of pace sound sound in, all around is quiet. Even the sound of the mountain wind blowing also did not. A piece of mist blocked their front. The field of vision was obstructed, and it became difficult to discern the direction. Fortunately, the smell of the forest has not yet been affected. Sheen who sought the smell of just when they came all the way to pursue the advance. Although the speed was slower, it was good that they didn't get completely lost, and the general direction was still right. Coupled with the several wild boars in tow, Sheen who and the others were not in a hurry to go in the direction of the tiger's nest. Who knows what kind of creatures are hidden in this cloud. Moreover, Sheen who guessed that Tiger Dad's injuries were feared to have been bitten by the powerful creatures that had evolved in the cloud. To be able to bite an unevolved peak northeastern tiger beast like Papa Tiger, one could imagine the terror of the opponent. Caution was essential. Sheen who speculated that the range covered by the clouds and mist, perhaps even the plants would receive the influence, thus giving birth to some simple consciousness might be possible. In that case, this mountain forest would not be as safe as it once was. Even the northeastern tiger, which once stood at the top of the carnivores, became uncertain all of a sudden. Perhaps even more powerful and terrifying creatures would be born out under the catalyzing effect of the cloud. The existing ecosystem was completely broken. Everything became confused. Sheen who advanced carefully, and along the way saw more creatures lying on the ground in a stupor, receiving the catalytic effect from the cloud mist. Of them, 
Perhaps they would wake up and undergo more pronounced changes, or they might never wake up. The surroundings were still silent. Sheen who followed the scent all the way forward, and the further he went, the more familiar the surroundings became. Sheen who was worried about Tiger Dad and his speed increased. Little Tiger Brother also recognized the surroundings and then stayed close to the two little ones, Xia and Xiao, to prevent them from getting lost in the fog. Sheen who knew that he couldn't stay out for too long, after all, who knows when these now sleeping animals woke up, or what kind of abilities they were given to catalyze by this dense cloud and fog in the process of evolution. After spending twice as much time, Sheen who finally brought the three little ones to Tiger Dad's Tiger Den. The little demon is still guarding in front of the Tiger Father's Tiger Den. Only the red fruit on top of his head makes Sheen who see the difference at a glance. It was bigger than before, and the red light emanating from it was a few points brighter. Sheen who guessed that it might be the credit of the clouds, glancing at the Tiger Father in the Tiger's Den. The wound had completely healed, between one breath and one inhalation. The surrounding clouds and mist exchanged in his body, still no signs of awakening. However, looking at the pair of old hairs on the ground that were shedding and falling off, Sheen who was aware of the changes in Tiger Dad, called the three little guys in, and instructed the little tiger brother to guard the side of the tiger father, put the prey, and then alone will be summer and autumn placed in a corner. After explaining everything, Sheen who was ready to leave again, he didn't feel at ease with tiger mother. If after being enveloped by the cloud, all the creatures would fall into a coma to receive the baptism of evolution, then it would also be unsafe for tiger mother. After all, so many animals in the mountains and forests had been shrouded by the cloud and evolved in advance. Once these creatures awakened, the first thing they would surely do would be to look for food to make up for what they had consumed during the evolutionary process. Sheen who knew this feeling best, so he must now return to guard Tiger Mother. In the mountain forest, Sheen who set off once more. The speed of travel was slower, but it was still fast. There was still no sound coming from the road, which made Sheen whose heart feel a little more secure. At least it meant that the creature shrouded by the cloud would not awaken in a short period of time. According to Qin Hu's experience, I'm afraid that without three to five hours, he then will not wake up. But then the creatures that were catalyzed by the cloud in advance might awaken early. Qin Hu advanced in the direction where Tiger Mother's territory was located. Even though the clouds were too thick to see the direction, Qin Hu was relying on his scent and memories to move forward quickly. At the same time, Qin Hu was also estimating the speed of the advancing clouds in his mind. According to what he had seen earlier, he was afraid that it would take about half an hour to reach Tiger Mother's territory from the area covered by the cloud. He still had time. Thinking to himself, Sheen whose limbs quickly ran in the cloud-covered mountain forest. Looking from the sky above the mountain forest, a dividing line formed by clouds appeared, diffusing and extending forward a little. The area below was shrouded as much as it could be, in a place far away from Sheen whose territory. Some of the creatures lying on the ground had become trembling from their initial motionlessness and their eyes were slightly open. Intense hunger made the eyes of this group of predators glow with an unstoppable light. They desperately needed food. The mountain forest shrouded in clouds gradually changed with the passage of time. Some of the originally silent plants, at this moment, even swayed and shook their postures, and began to rapidly blossom with gorgeous flowers on their bodies. The charming fragrance was released in the mountain forest, luring animals from all directions. Some of the originally harmless animals became hideous at this moment and the teeth in their mouths became sharp and lengthy. The other animals that were in the midst of evolution and had not yet come to their senses suffered, and were disemboweled and devoured by such suddenly mutated animals. An uneasy atmosphere spread in the mountains and forests along with the extension of the clouds. What was even more terrifying was that those beasts that were already ferocious became even more ferocious under the magical catalyst of the clouds and mist, as if a layer of ferocious attribute buffs had been superimposed on their bodies. A brown bear weighing more than 200 pounds, after awakening in the cave, its body was more than twice as tall as its original size, and a pair of bear claws became as hard as steel. The sharp claws scratched through the surrounding rocks, and even rubbed out blinding sparks, emitting metal-like sounds. All the creatures in the mountains and forests were under the shroud of clouds and mist undergoing subtle or huge changes. Whether it was their body size or otherwise, they were all evolving in a more excellent direction. Some animals that were originally herbivorous had also changed their habits, becoming omnivores, and would even hunt adding meat to their recipes. More places that were once desolate were revitalized. Not only was the impending winter gone, but the faded mountains and forests were rejuvenated with green vegetation. But the strange thing is that some herbivores were eating the young grass on the ground one second, but the next second they were entangled by the roots of the vegetation that slowly extended out from the ground, and slowly dragged into the ground in paralysis to become the nutrients for the new growth of the vegetation. All the changes were taking place in this mountain forest. All the impossible has become possible here one by one. 
Jean who only vaguely heard hissing sounds coming from the mountain forest behind him. There were some sounds that made him feel a jolt of fear. He quickly traveled through the mountains and forests. Immersed in the clouds and mist, Jean who also received great benefits. With every breath, the mysterious energy within his body increased further. Stronger than the effects of eating plus swallowing the wild ginseng before. It could be said that with every breath, Jean whose strength was slowly increasing. The first thing was his body, which was growing little by little. His speed was already a few points faster than the fastest cicadeer. In terms of strength, Jean who felt that between his full power outburst, a tiger's palm was able to snap a tree as thick as an adult's waist. The bite force of the tiger's mouth, Jean who also does not have a bottom. Anyway, biting the neck of an adult northeastern tiger is not difficult. On the way, Jean who was also evaluating his current strength. The special catalytic effect brought about by the clouds would definitely affect the entire mountain forest. Perhaps the range would be even larger. Sheen who didn't know, with the strength of so many animals being catalyzed as a whole, the mountain forest would become even more treacherous. The original biosphere was broken, and a new order would inevitably have to go through a cruel and bloody process before taking shape. Sheen who only hoped that with his current strength, he would be able to have a place to survive in such a mountain forest. Only by surviving would he be able to plan for the future. Finally, Jean who ran out of the range covered by clouds and mist, and at the same time came to the center of the tiger mother's territory. Just after raising his head and sniffing the air to look for traces of the tiger mom, he saw the tiger mom in the distant mountains and forests who had put down her prey and was looking up at the clouds in the distance. Roar! Jean who let out a loud tiger roar. Tiger mom turned her head and saw Jean who, then somewhat unhappily, she sent out a response towards Jean who, perhaps seeing Jean who directly intruding into her territory. The tiger mom felt threatened. After all, the body and strength of Qin Hu, who had undergone several evolutions, was now comparable to an adult male tiger. The tiger mom quickly ran towards Qin Hu with an aggressive air. Obviously, she was ready to give this non-stop talking eldest son some lessons. But when she came closer, looking at Qin Hu's increasingly stout and raging body, tiger mother was only vigilant, stopping three or four meters in front of Qin Hu to observe. Qin Hu had no time to explain too much and could only speak out to appease the tiger mother's emotions, and then wait for the cloud to envelop. Mother and son. The two tigers just stared at each other. Jean who shot a glance at tiger mother's body and did not blame her for looking so hostile. After all, in a short while, I'm afraid that he might be about to have a few more siblings as well. However, the immediate priority was still to guard tiger mother through the evolutionary process brought about by the clouds. Tiger mother didn't know this, and Jean who took the initiative to step back a distance then quietly sat down in a crouch and watched Tiger Mother. As long as the Tiger Mom didn't leave, Sheen who planned to wait like this until the clouds came over and after the Tiger Mom entered a state of lethargy, he planned to move the Tiger Mom into the Tiger's den. This was safer. After all, Sheen who was still worried about those horrible sounds he heard in the mountain forest earlier, when the cloud shrouded the mountain forest, the Tiger Mom did not have any uneasy feeling, just puzzled for a moment, her eyes loosened up, and then turned weak and slumped down. After slightly opening her eyes to look at Qin Hu, she completely lost consciousness. Qin Hu guarded in the tiger mother's side, probed her vital signs, the same after no danger. Qin began to move the tiger mother carefully to the location of the tiger's den. It took a great deal of effort before Qin Hu safely returned tiger mom to the tiger's den, and then guarded the cave entrance outside himself. The clouds in the mountain forest were getting thicker and thicker, and Qin Hu could not even see the distance of 200 meters at this moment. Vaguely, Sheen who seemed to see the clouds and fog there are black shadows in the shuttle traveling. Sheen who thought that he was hallucinating, but the smells and loud noises coming from the mountains and forests convinced him that it was an unknown creature. Sheen who collected his breath and breathing, lowered his body, and hid in the mountain forest, trying to minimize his presence. The tiger mother was still in the tiger's den, enjoying the evolution brought about by the clouds and mist. Sheen who gazed at the mountains and forests shrouded in clouds and mist, a dangerous aura lingered in his heart. As if there were some creatures capable of posing a threat to him watching and observing him in the clouds and mist. Unknown. Confused emotions pressed on Sheen whose heart like a huge stone. Ow. A roar rang out. And a pair of bright eyes were revealed in the clouds. Like fire candles. Especially conspicuous. Sheen whose demeanor was grave as he looked ahead. His body immediately tensing up from a relaxed state. The creature in the clouds and mist slowly revealed its figure. Sheen who gazed at the already mutated creature in front of him. His eyes filled with wariness. The fog gradually revealed the figure of the mutated creature. Even though he was prepared, Jean who was startled by the scene and his mind was shaken. However, he soon adjusted his mind and smoothed out, concentrating on the crisis in front of him. This was a giganticized lynx. Its original body of no more than half a meter had now swelled to more than two meters, 
as if it had been injected with a bulking agent. The slightly ugly and twisted face with a mouthful of hideous sharp teeth gave people an invisible sense of oppression. Sheen who treated it cautiously, not daring to be the slightest bit sloppy, perhaps just completed the process of evolution. Sheen who could clearly see the deflated belly of the mutant lynx. The sudden surge of powerful strength instantly inflated his confidence and dared to challenge the original king of beasts. Sheen who was resolute and unafraid. The lynx let out a sharp and terrifying sound before it lunged towards where Sheen who was. But Sheen who's speed and reaction is faster. A side jump to avoid. The attack missed. Sheen who and the mutant lynx around the circle confrontation. Sheen who could not figure out the strength of this mutant lynx. And did not dare to go all out for a while. And this mutant lynx seemed to be a bit impatient. Hissing dangerously from time to time from its throat. Sheen who noticed the blood filaments in the eyes of the mutant lynx. Which seemed to have lost some of its mind. The mutant lynx attacked again. Sheen who seized the opportunity. In the mutant lynx jumped and came. Instantly jumped up higher than it in midair. And then instantaneous potential toward its back fell. Both claws took a lot of effort before Sheen who snapped his claws into the fur of the mutant lynx. And then pressed down on its body. Perhaps stimulated by the pain. The mutant lynx began to shake violently on the ground shaking body. Attempting to throw Sheen who down. But it underestimated Sheen who's strength today. A pair of steel like sharp claws deadlocked on the mutant lynx. Legs borrowed strength. Tiger's mouth looking for an opportunity to fiercely bite down towards its back. Tearing and pulling. Bullseye's chunks of flesh were torn down by Chin Hu's mouth. The intense pain made the mutant lynx scream. And its momentum weakened a lot. Chin Hu didn't intend to let go of this opportunity. And continued to pursue and expand the results of the battle. Mutant lynx is still violently shaking body. Still trying to shake Chin Hu down. But Chin Hu was too stable. Biting down and not letting go. It may also be that Chin Hu's weight is too heavy. Not long the mutant lynx's movements become slowed down. Breathing is also much more rapid. The strength to consume a lot. Sheen who seized the moment. Loosened the right sharp claw. And then toward the front of the violent pick up and turn over. Two flexible back legs at the same time force. Plus Sheen who tiger mouth biting place. After a heavy thud. The entire body of the mutant lynx was flipped over by Sheen who. And smashed onto the ground on all fours. Sheen who didn't give the other party a chance to flip over at all. And directly twisted his head and rode up to meet the mutant lynx's sharp claws and hideous mouth. After enduring some injuries. He instantly locked his throat and blocked the throat of fate. Ka Ching. With a crunching sound, Chin who directly bit off the mutant lynx's throat with his strength. Even so, the mutant lynx didn't die the first time. Its limbs were still struggling violently. Its breathing became rapid, and it let out a gulping sound. Chin who watched the eyes of the mutant lynx, filled with blood, but not yet completely lost vitality. It was the same as what Chin who had guessed. The power of the cloud also gave these animals a more vigorous vitality. Even if they suffered a fatal injury, they would not die immediately. As long as they were given time, they might be able to put a stop to the death. Chin who dead bite not let go of his mouth. The struggle of the mutant lynx grew stronger and stronger. Even twisting its limbs to scratch his cheeks in an attempt to make Chin who let go of his mouth. Feeling the blood coming out of his mouth. Chin who was also aroused with a strong fighting instinct. Allowing the blood of the mutant lynx to flow down his mouth towards his throat. He swallowed down. With a gulp and swallow. Chin who felt a wave of warmth rise from his body. Such a feeling made his eyes light up. Unexpectedly after revolution. The blood of mutated creatures was also able to stimulate the increase of mysterious energy in Chin whose body. And the amount wasn't small. Chin who couldn't let go even more. Deadly suppressing the mutant lynx's body. No matter how much it struggled. It just wouldn't let go of its mouth. Until after half an hour of holding this position. The mutant lynx swallowed its last breath unwillingly. It couldn't have imagined that with its own powerful strength. It actually still couldn't beat this male tiger that didn't look very strong. After all the dust settled, Chin who loosened the tiger's mouth. Sticking out his tongue, he gasped for air to relieve the tension in his heart. Before Chin who could breathe a sigh of relief, the fierce roar of the murderer once again came from the mountain forest not far away. The sound was getting closer and closer. Taking a look at the surroundings, Chin who felt that probably out of hunger. The sensitivity of these mutated animals to the smell of blood had increased drastically. Chin who rolled over and got up from the ground. Before he could lick the blood from the corner of his mouth, another mutant creature sprang out of the cloud and pounced on Chin Hu. The smell of blood stimulated the hungry mutant leopard. A hint of ruthlessness flashed under Chin Hu's eyes. The tiger mother was still sleeping in the cave. So Chin Hu had to fight quickly. If any more mutant animals were attracted to follow, he would have no choice but to tough it out. Fortunately, Chin Hu's current strength was not weak. And even in the battle against the mutated creatures, he was equally unbeaten. Facing the mutant leopard. Sheen who had to bring his speed up to the optimum to prevent this guy from sneaking in with his speed advantage.
Perhaps he was confused by the powerful force he gained after revolution, causing the mutant leopard to lose its usual look of awe when it saw Qin Hu, but to pounce without hesitation. Qin Hu also has anger in his eyes, as the king of all beasts. Even if the mountains and forests have undergone great changes, many creatures through the catalyst of the clouds and mist has a strong power, but also not to the point where the tiger is bullied by the dog. Qin Hu took the initiative to meet up, his terrifying tiger's mouth expanding to its maximum extent, directly biting down towards the mutant leopard's body, feeling the physical object bitten in his mouth. Qin Hu mobilized the muscles of his entire body to power up and began to tear it apart. With a swish sound, the instantaneous eruption of powerful force directly tore off the mutant leopard's left front limb directly. The thick smell of blood instantly filled the surrounding mountains and forests. In an instant, it shocked the mutant creatures that had originally been foolishly moving in their dead minds. The mutant leopard wailed in pain as Qin Hu stepped forward, not immediately killing the other party. He needed to deter those mutant creatures hiding in the shadows. The tiger's mouth bit down on the mutant leopard's body, and the tiger's claws pressed down on the other parts. With a tearing sound, the mutant leopard's strong body couldn't resist Qin Hu's tearing. The terrifying force instantly tore the mutant leopard apart. At the same time, due to its strong vitality, the mutant leopard had not completely died yet and could only let out a wail of pain and despair to the extreme. The sound of wandering footsteps around was much less, and Qin Hu breathed a sigh of relief, licking the blood mixed with shredded flesh at the corner of his mouth. Qin Hu let out a terrifying tiger whistle in the direction around the mountain forest. At this moment, his fighting spirit was high, and he had a sense of invincibility that he was not afraid of all enemies. The terrifying tiger whistle was ten times louder than usual, spreading out with great penetration towards the mountain forest in the clouds. The two or three kilometers around Qin Hu all heard this horrible sound. Many of the mutated creatures that were attracted by the smell of blood also stopped in their tracks at this moment. There was more than a hint of sanity in their hungry eyes. They also feared such stronger creatures capable of slaughtering powerful beasts. Standing at three to four meters around the tiger's den and cruising back and forth for a few rounds, there were still no other mutant creatures attacking in the surrounding mountains and forests, and Qin who also let out a sigh of relief, then slowly walked to the front of the two corpses and began to pick and choose and devour them. A stream of warmth rushed uninterruptedly through Qin Hu's body, and the injuries sustained in the battle just now were healing and recovering at a speed visible to the naked eye. The smell of blood covered Qin Hu's body, so that he had a few more cold and murderous aura. Coupled with a pair of cold and merciless eyes, he deterred quite a few mutant creatures in the mountains and forests that wanted to take advantage of the opportunity to share a piece of meat. After eating his fill, Qin Hu squatted at the entrance of the tiger's den and guarded it. Time passed slowly, and the surrounding mountains and forests became more and more dangerous. From time to time, the sounds of mutant creatures could be heard, as well as the wails of other weak creatures being preyed upon. Qin Hu even clearly heard the crisp sound of an animal devouring and chewing bones in the hundreds of meters of mountain forest surrounding the tiger's den. He couldn't help but lament the great changes brought about by this cloud. Just as the atmosphere around him was getting more and more tense, Qin Hu heard a faint sound coming from the tiger's den behind him in his ears. When he turned around and peered inside, a pair of bright eyes were staring at Qin Hu in the darkness. Roar! The tiger mother subconsciously let out a roar. Even though she maintained a trace of sanity, there seemed to be a force in her body that was interfering with her actions, causing her to become even more berserk. Sheen who backed up and withdrew from the tiger's den, then his gaze was fixed on tiger mother. Mother and son just stared at each other a little bit and walked out of the tiger's den, perhaps stimulated by the strong smell of blood outside. The force in her body instantly dispersed the remaining sanity of tiger mother, then lunged towards the remnants of the mutant lynx and mutant leopard in front of her. Click click click. The sound of swallowing bones resounded around Qin Hu as she stared intently at the change in Tiger Mother. Perhaps there was an animal in this that Qin Hu didn't know about. Without any movement, Qin just stood by silently. It wasn't until after Tiger Mother had swallowed both sentences of the mutated creature's corpses early that the berserk color in her eyes slowly receded and she regained her sensible look. Taking a look at the blood scattered in the open space around her, a trace of humanized love flashed through Tiger Mother's eyes, still at a distance. Qin Hu raised his head and glanced at the surrounding mountains and forests, estimating the time until darkness, then spoke out to remind Tiger Mother. Qin Hu's meaning Tiger Mother instantly understood. Then looking at her bulging belly, her eyes became determined again. Instead of sitting around waiting to die, it was better to fight to the death. In Tiger Mom's opinion, while she was in a good state at the moment, following Qin Hu together to move towards Tiger Dad's cave might also reduce many dangers. Thinking about the uncontrollable moment just now, Tiger Mother knew clearly that after these mutated creatures had awakened, they were just like her, briefly losing their fear and sanity, just like a tool that only knew how to feed. Roar! After a moment of contemplation, Tiger Mother uttered a response to Qin Hu, 
Receiving an affirmative reply, Sheen who did not hesitate any longer, and at that moment, he prepared to walk towards the cloud-covered mountain forest. After turning around again and reminding Tiger Mother to follow her closely, Mother and Son began to embark on the path to the rendezvous. Sheen who was cautious to the extreme, with his hearing and eyesight in full view, he constantly scanned the mountain forest in front of him. After walking a distance of less than a few hundred meters, Sheen who found many bloody places in the mountain forest. Apart from some fur, even the bones had been chewed and swallowed by the predators. From these places, Sheen who was able to spy out the level of danger that this mountain forest was facing at the moment. Even he himself didn't dare to say that he was 100% sure that he would be able to traverse it safely. The sounds of roaring, tearing, fighting, and devouring continuously came from all around the mountain forest. The odor from Chin whose body also effectively deterred a group of mutant creatures that were foolishly moving. Tiger Mother followed closely behind Chin who with the same somewhat gloomy expression. She seemed to be a little confused as to why the mountain forest had become like this, becoming so strange and dangerous. This mountain forest, was it still the territory she ruled? There was some confusion in Tiger Mother's eyes, but she recovered in just a moment. Her rich experience in survival made her believe only in her own strength. Even if it was difficult, it would only be short-lived. Just like winter, even if it was cold, the sun would still warm it. For this long distance, Chin who walked slowly and very cautiously. Along the way, he passed through areas where no less than two dozen mutated creatures had already been plundered and killed, leaving a field of blood in vain. The clouds have not yet shown signs of dispersing. Instead, they are getting denser and denser. I'm afraid that the area covered at this moment has already exceeded the area where Chin Hu and the others are living. I don't know what other uncontrollable changes will happen in the future. Along the way, this was what Chin Hu thought about the most. The current scene was becoming more and more like the sci-fi evolution class he had seen in his previous life. Perhaps as time passed, more and more terrifying mutated creatures would also appear. And I'm afraid that their northeast tiger clan will no longer be the sole master of this mountain forest. It's not easy to survive in such an environment. Chin Hu thought. Whether or not they could once again reign at the top of the king would also depend on what kind of evolutionary path the Northeast Tiger would take in the future. Hoomph! A sharp humming sound interrupted Chin whose path they were traveling. In the clouds, a black shadow loomed in the mountains and forests, seemingly devouring something on the ground. Chin who signaled Tiger Mother to hide her body, and then poked himself forward to observe. When the distance got closer, Chin who saw clearly that this was a group of wild boars that had already mutated, and at the moment, they were digging through the soil with red eyes searching for food. However, Chin who was surprised to find that these wild boars are not only twice as big as before, even the hair on their backs has become hard, as if they have inserted countless sharp steel needles on their backs, emitting a dark, dark light, while the tusks on both sides of the pig's mouth that are up to half a meter long are even more intimidating to the people. Moreover, the food that these mutant boars are searching for by digging into the soil is not starchy food like plant roots, but also mutant hairs that are hidden under the soil. Just a second ago, Chin who saw a boar weighing more than 600 pounds stomping the mutant hair out of the soil into mush with a single hoof and then devouring it on the ground with a grunt and a whimper. Chin who surveyed for a moment. There was still a considerable gap between himself and this group of behemoths in front of him. While the other party hadn't yet discovered himself, going around the road might be the best method. Chin who stepped back and then signaled Tiger Mother to follow him around, taking a deep breath and moving away from the area where the mutant boar group was foraging. Chin who sighed. A great man can bend and bend and bend. He will clean them up later. The strength of the mutant boar made Chin who choose to avoid the front line for the time being, choosing to take a detour. Chin who also had some considerations in his mind. Tiger Mom's state is unstable, so be careful if you can. After the mountain forest was shrouded in clouds and mist and mutated, many places became unsafe. Chin who also understands, but right now the safest way is still to unite Tiger Dad and Tiger Mom, together to fight against the unknown dangers of the mountains and forests. This is the best choice. This road, it was still not calm. The mountain forest was filled with the smell of blood. Sheen Hu and the others could only smell the odor that remained in the air. Not a single bit of those animal corpses remained, and even the bones were dragged into the ground by other plants to serve as nutrients. Every step forward was a huge test of the psyche. Tiger Mother's complexion kept changing along the way, and several times he was startled by the tree whiskers suddenly sticking out from the side. This was the first time he had ever encountered such a situation. It was also the first time she had seen the mountains and forests become so unfamiliar. Sheen who walked ahead, and when he encountered mutated trees, he used his sharp claws to cut them, hardening a path for Tiger Mom to quickly pass through. Bang! A loud sound came, and Sheen who signaled Tiger Mother to lower her body. In the clouds ahead, a huge figure marched through the mountains and forests, 
Squeezing the surrounding trees and emitting crunching 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 Sheen Hupro held his breath and watched ahead. After this black shadow revealed itself, his pupils contracted violently and a look of disbelief appeared on his face. On the flattened group of trees ahead, a snake as massive as a mountain was devouring a wild boar that weighed over 600 pounds. It was the same mutated wild boar that made Chin Hu and the others have to choose to go around the road. But compared to the mutated giant snake in front of them, it could only be reduced to food in its mouth. With no power to fight back, Chin Hu minimized his presence. Such a huge mutant snake made him feel the threat of death. The vertical pupils of the mutant giant snake like a lantern gave people an inexplicable sense of fear. A trace of fear had just risen in Chin Hu's heart, but it was dispelled by him. The strength of this mutant giant snake was too terrifying. Chin Hu estimated in his heart that even if he and Tiger Dad went together, he was afraid that he might not be able to get a little benefit from the other party's mouth. If you can not provoke, try not to provoke. Chin Hu witnessed this mutant giant snake's figure disappear into the clouds and mist before he stood still and let out a long sigh of relief. After thinking about it, Chin Hu discerned the direction and chased down the path opened up by the mutant giant snake. Although it was dangerous, it was the quickest way to travel at the moment. After seeing the horrors of the mountain forest, Chin Hu became more and more worried about the situation of Tiger Dad and the three little ones. As for Tiger Mom, after seeing the terrifying mutated creatures in the mountain forest, she directly fell silent. Without a word, she followed behind Chin Hu with caution. Chin Hu could see that Tiger Mother still had difficulty accepting such a mountain forest for a while. After all, the huge discrepancy was highlighted in front of her all of a sudden, leaving her not yet adequately prepared. However, nature was so cruel. After following the traces left behind by the mutated giant snake for 5 or 6 kilometers, Chin Hu stopped in his tracks. He realized that the giant snake had turned a corner and wasn't heading in the direction where Tiger Dad's cave was located. After letting out a sigh of relief in his heart, Chin Hu took Tiger Mom and quickly set off on the road. It wasn't far from Tiger Dad's cave. It was only a few kilometers away. Chin Hu planned to venture forward. After seeing the terrifying body of the mutated giant snake, Chin Hu didn't dare to randomly make whistling noises in the mountain forest. After the change in the mountain forest, they were no longer the king of this mountain forest. Mutant snakes with a body like a mountain. Mutant boars weighing more than 600 pounds and fully armed. These are all things that Chin Hu was not able to deal with at the moment. As for whether there were other more terrifying creatures in the depths of the mountain forest, Chin Hu believed that there must be. It was just that they hadn't seen or discovered them yet. Chin Hu and the others were getting closer and closer to the tiger's den. At the same time the number of situations encountered also increased. Even spiders the size of a tiger's palm appeared. And this, was only the first day of the cloud shrouding the mountain forest. In the days to come, who knows what other strange and bizarre things will appear. When they were close to the tiger father's cave, Chin Hu even saw a colorful spider that was ready to attack them. It was slapped by Chin Hu with a tiger's palm. Chin Hu carefully probed. Seeing the slightly familiar surroundings, he began to call out in a small voice forward. However, after a period of time passed, no sound of response came back from the opposite side. Not even the slightest movement. Chin Hu heart anxious, fought the tiger father and the three little ones out of what happened. With the tiger mother recklessly rushed into the scope of the tiger's den. The original tiger's den around has been covered with a new spread of vines, tree whiskers and other roots, compared with the Chin who left before. Simply a sea change. The most heartbreaking thing for Chin who was that not far in front of the tiger's den, a large area of blood scattered in the open space. There are a lot of plant roots in this cleanup. Chin who pounced towards the tiger's den. There was no figure he imagined and expected inside. Instead it was empty, without any presence of plants or animals. Chin whose heart went cold. Then he perked up again. Without seeing the bodies of Tiger Dad and the three little ones, how could he be so arbitrary? Chin who scanned the surroundings and began to look for clues. Tiger Mom was also hovering around the perimeter of the tiger's den, and it was obvious that she had guessed some of it as well. She might not care much about the others, but Tiger Dad and Little Tiger Brother were definitely something she cared about. In order to find their whereabouts as soon as possible, Chin who voiced out an explanation for Tiger Mother to stay in the tiger's den for the time being. Chin who glanced around then chased after them towards a very obvious trail. The constant smell of blood along the way interfered with Chin Hu's judgment of the smell, and he was unable to find any traces of Tiger Dad and the others. After walking for some distance, Chin Hu found a handful of tiger hair belonging to Xia's body on a branch. Chin Hu sniffed it and realized that something was wrong. There was a smell of blood on it. Could it be that Tiger Dad and the others were really in danger? Chin Hu's mind kept flashing back to the group of mutated boars, and even the image of the mutated giant snake attacking was visualized. Shaking his head to get rid of these thoughts, Chin Hu began to think seriously. His sensitive sense of hearing was utilized. 
But the sounds in the mountains and forests also became noisy, and the gains were not that great. However, Qin Hu heard a series of loud noises, as if there was some kind of terrifying beast in the clouds that was driving the mutated creatures in the mountains and forests towards one place. Qin Hu was shocked in his heart and immediately reversed his direction. In the face of such a situation, Qin Hu chose to first meet out a wave, since he didn't find any flavor of blood of the same kind along the way. It meant that Tiger Dad was still safe. Only by saving his own life, Qin Hu could continue to search for the missing Tiger Dad and the others. The atmosphere of the mountain forest under the cloud-filled fog became more and more oppressive. The field of vision could only extend to a distance of more than a hundred meters around, but the constant roars and tearing sounds coming from the mountain forest showed that this place was not calm. Qin Hu continued to pursue forward. The terrifying sounds coming from the distance gave him the illusion of being in an abyss. Along the way, there were constantly thick trees sprawled across the open space between the mountains and forests. Looking forward, it was like a bulldozer violently opening up a road from the middle of the forest. Qin Hu marveled at the destructive power of this mutated creature as he walked forward. Many of the broken trees Qin Hu also took a look at. Many of them were violently broken. There was no lack of ancient trees that had grown for a hundred years. The further they went, the clearer the sounds of animals running in the surrounding mists became. From time to time, there were even the figures of mutated creatures that revealed themselves from the clouds and mist, and then disappeared again. Some of the mutated creatures, Qin Hu could not recognize their original names. There were strange and weird ones of all shapes and sizes. However, Qin Hu could feel that all the mutant creatures in this small piece of mountain forest were being driven in one direction by the monster not far away. The further they went, the more mutant creatures they encountered, the stronger this feeling became. Qin Hu was curious in his heart. Perhaps Tiger Dad and their whereabouts could find some traces here. Running forward with the mutant creatures, Qin Hu was constantly provoked by his side. All of them were countered by his strength. A terrifying roar came from the front. The huge sound wave formed substance, causing the clouds in the mountains and forests to stagnate. Qin Hu subconsciously covered his ears. The sound was too magnificent. Taking advantage of the gap where the surrounding clouds were blown away for a short while, Qin Hu saw the mutated creature standing high up in the mountain forest. A giganticized mutated northeastern tiger. With hideous and terrifying cheeks, the two long canine teeth on the top and bottom were exposed, and the crystal liquid like water flowed into long lines that flowed on the ground. What impressed Qin Hu even more was the huge figure of the Northeast Tiger. Visually, the body length should be more than 4 meters and close to 5 meters. A pair of reddish and bloodshot yellow eyes revealed a cold and merciless killing intent. With just a glance, Qin Hu was shocked by this enlarged version of the Northeast Tiger. In a short period of time, he hadn't expected that there would be a Northeastern Tiger that would evolve to such an extent. The clouds closed in once again, covering the Northeast Tiger's enormous body. Qin Hu was able to clearly perceive this terrifying oppression. However, when recalling this figure in his mind, Qin Hu always felt a sense of familiarity. It can't be Father Tiger, right? A flicker of speculation flashed through Qin Hu's mind before he dismissed such a thought. Qin Hu had clearly seen with his own eyes that Tiger Dad had fallen asleep in the clouds and experienced evolution. At that time, he didn't have a body like the one he had now. Moreover, Qin Hu had never seen a mutated creature that could evolve twice. After a short moment of thinking, Qin Hu decided to continue his pursuit. After all, Tiger Dad and the others were still missing. He had a premonition that Tiger Dad and the others were safe. The ground of the mountain forest was vibrating, showing that there were many groups of animals that were running wild at the moment. Qin Hu was among them. After walking another two kilometers towards the front, Qin Hu realized that the terrain below was getting steeper and steeper. A sloping valley. There was even a strong odor of blood faintly coming from the front, making people sick at the smell. Qin Hu crossed over a group of weaker mutant creatures to check it out. The sight that caught his eyes made Qin Hu stare in disbelief. Only in the center of the canyon, dozens of large mutant creatures were stacked together, as tall as two or three stories. In each of the three directions of the mutated creatures' corpses, there was a mutated northeast tiger that was one size smaller stationed. At this moment, they were guarding a red demonic plant that was rooted on the mutant creature's corpse. This familiar scene caused Qin Hu to freeze. That giant tiger just now is the tiger father? Qin Hu asked himself rhetorically in his mind. Countless questions rose up derivatively in his mind, but little tiger brother, as well as Xia and Autumn's size at the moment, were actually about twice as big as Qin Hu at the moment. What surprised Qin Hu the most was the little demon, a demonic plant, rooted above the mutated creature's corpse, the root stem was no longer slender, but had turned into a 7 or 8 meter long vine-like, roots grew out densely and fluttered in the wind, a steady stream of red liquid was being transported upwards in its rhizome. After the red fruit on top of the little demon's head was nourished by such a huge amount of nutrients, its color became more and more translucent, forming a fist-sized tomato in general. 
the luster was enticing, and it also gave off a unique fragrance that was mesmerizing, wanting to be devoured into the stomach. Sheen who looked at the mutated creatures around him, a coolness suddenly arose in his heart. This cloud mist had spawned so many mutant creatures, it couldn't just be used as little demon sustenance, right? Perhaps it was providing for little demon and their group? Sheen who was terrified, while his eyes looked towards the already ripe red fruit on top of the little demon's head, without waiting for him to step forward, the little demon shook its body and the red fruit on top of its head immediately fell off before falling into the mouth of little tiger brother. A monstrous tiger's roar came out from little tiger's mouth, and his aura was more than ten times thicker than before when he only wailed. His eyes were red and filled with blood, plus the exposed canine teeth in his mouth. His appearance was exactly the same as the mutated giant tiger Chin who had seen before. In comparison, Chin who was even more certain that these huge northeast tigers in front of him were the disappeared tiger father and the three little ones. As for their current state, Chin who guessed that it had something to do with devouring the red fruit on top of the little demon's head. However, after standing in the distance and watching for a long time, Sheen who didn't dare to go up and disturb them, from their eyes, Sheen who saw a frenzy, as well as the excitement after losing their minds, the fruit also had the effect of confusing the mind and controlling mutated creatures, Sheen who was secretly alert in his heart, after taking a few steps forward, a strange fragrance was inhaled into his mouth, and then Sheen who felt that his body began to erupt uncontrollably with a warm current, it was the same effect as devouring the blood and flesh of a mutated creature. Sheen whose gaze was awake as he stared at the small demon in front of him. The more he learned, the more curious he became about this plant. There were too many secrets in him, and it seemed as if this mountain forest was the growth soil prepared for their clan in general. Perhaps this was just Sheen whose personal conjecture as well. In order to confirm little tiger brother and their status, Sheen who risked a loud roar at the edge of the mountain forest towards the three little ones guarding different directions. Sheen who watched the changes in their expressions, seemingly hearing the familiar voice. The three huge northeastern tigers coincidentally cast their gazes in the direction where Chin Hu was. Oppression. A huge sense of oppression was pressing against Chin Hu. Such a huge mutated northeastern tiger that had evolved from the northeastern tiger brought a terrifying pressure to Chin Hu. What made Chin Hu strange was that little tiger brother and their three little guys didn't seem to recognize him. After staring at them carefully, Chin Hu realized that their eyes had already been taken over by madness and murderousness. And just like the other mutated creatures in the mountains and forests, they were also eyeing the fruit that came out of the little demon's head. Chin who looked at the surrounding mountains and forests. More and more mutant creature corpses were absorbed by the little demon. The red fruit on top of his head became more and more crystal clear. And even Chin who smelled an aroma that was a hundred times stronger than before. And the smell of it made people's spirits shake. The mutant creatures that were still alive in the surroundings were getting crazier and crazier. This particular fragrance seemed to have a fatal temptation for them. And they were all recklessly rushing over here. Occasionally. A few mutant creatures with high temperament crashed into the three-headed giant tiger, and in the instant they let out a roar to swear their dissatisfaction. They were torn into pieces of meat by the huge tiger claws. Sheen who avoided the prying gazes of the three giant tigers and wandered amongst the mutant creatures. He could sense that this fruit condensed by the little demon must have an unusual effect, but there were too many mutant creatures around, and even though they were attracted to the point of insanity by the scent that filled the mountains and forests, they still hadn't changed their instincts to fight and kill. Chin who watched the three giant tigers in the distance between the trees, wanting to take advantage of the opportunity. The little demon kept extracting nutrients from the bodies of these mutated creatures to ripen the fruits on their heads. Roar! A terrifying voice rang out, and all of the mutated creatures stopped moving in fear at the sound. In the clouds, an even more massive giant tiger revealed itself. Chin who fixed his eyes on it and was also a bit incredulous. The tiger father had actually appeared in this place. His gaze was filled with strangeness and Chin who didn't dare to step forward for fear of being flattened by a slap. Why did this fruit have such a powerful attraction? It was able to make so many mutated creatures go crazy for it. Why is he not controlled by the fragrance emanating from this fruit? Chin who was somewhat puzzled. At the same time, the little demon at the center finally moved. The original red liquid was more rapidly channeled upwards, and the fruit was ripe. Roar! Terrifying sounds rose and fell in a mingling of voices. In the next moment, under Chin who's gaze, the three giant tigers that had lost their sanity actually joined together to fight the gigantic eyes tiger father. Sheen who looked dumbfounded. He hadn't been able to figure out why the tiger dad and the three little ones had suddenly become what they were now, and hadn't recognized him, acting like strange tigers. Taking advantage of the four tigers fighting each other and the imbalance of the powerful forces in the field, the other mutated creatures standing guard around them also began to make their presence felt. There were constantly creatures tangling with each other, and the scent of blood instantly filled the air in this area. The atmosphere of the scene was getting crazier and crazier. Even Chin Hu, 
was meeting the attacks of several mutated lynxes. All of them were killing mad. Sheen whose eyes were also a little red. His heart increasingly longed to tear all the living creatures in sight to pieces. These mutated creatures were all his enemies. A bad premonition surfaced in his heart. Sheen whose heart shook. The rich scent in the air reached its extreme at this moment, and was actually able to disturb Sheen whose mind. The scenes of tearing and killing became more and more frantic, and blood even stained the land red amongst the mountains and forests. Due to the exuberant vitality of the mutant creatures, even if they were injured during the killings, they could quickly heal and recover. But the blood that flowed out gathered into a small stream. The fruit was ripe. Sheen who raised his head and forgot about it, and was shocked by the sight before him. The four giant tigers that were originally fighting also stopped and turned their gazes here. All the mutant creatures present seemed to have a sense in their hearts, sensing at the same time that the fruit was ripe. The body of the little demon was shrinking and becoming smaller, and that fruit also touched the ground from the air with it. All the creatures gave up fighting at the first moment and ran wildly towards the location where the fruit fell. At that instant, a sudden change kicked in. An even stronger scent than before swooped up from the fruit, and the mutated creatures in the surroundings couldn't help but stop after inhaling it violently. The four giant tigers did the same. Even the manic Chin who felt an aura of tranquility. Opening his eyes, Chin who saw the little demon that was running towards him trembling. It was too weak. Condensing this one fruit had almost killed it. Chin who subconsciously grabbed the small demon's rooted bone, then was about to head outside. The mutated creatures in the surroundings had yet to react. Chin who had already taken the little demon a distance of 7 or 8 meters. After the scent faded a bit, all the creatures opened their eyes. When they looked around again, there was not a trace of the fruit in the center except for the white bones of the densely packed mutant creatures. All the mutant creatures were enraged. The most important thing had disappeared in full view of everyone. And as the rightful owner, Chin who was speeding towards the distance at an extremely fast speed, he could tell that the little demon was trying its best to control the fruit on top of its head from emitting any odor. The trembling body as it traveled indicated that it was somewhat out of control at the moment. Chin who glanced behind him, and all that was left were the clouds that could not be seen at a glance. However, he could feel that behind the clouds were hundreds of terrifying mutated creatures in pursuit. Chin who didn't know what the fruit that the little demon had produced was and why it was so attractive. But the next moment he knew. After failing to control the fruit above his head, the little demon quickly tilted its head to Chin who's side, then used its own roots to peel back Chin who's tiger's teeth sending that fruit into his tiger's mouth. After Chin who reacted, the fruit had already entered the mouth. There was no strange fragrance as smelled. Instead there was more of a bitter flavor. Chin who subconsciously swallowed. And then an incredible change occurred in his body. Originally, there was already a lot of mysterious energy accumulated in his body. And after Chin who swallowed the fruit sent by the little demon, this energy unexpectedly exploded out in an instant. Like a flood breaking the dike, it furiously and unstoppably surged into Chin who's body crazily destroying the cells in his body, and then another wave of energy was repairing it at the same speed. Under the reciprocal cycle, Sheen who felt that his body was about to be tortured into disintegration, the immense torture instantly caused him to lose control of his body, and even the little demon was flung out at an extremely fast speed, smashing into the tree trunk with a snapping clear sound. Sheen who felt like his body was about to crack. At the same time, his already blurry eye saw his tiger paw that had more than doubled in size. Sheen whose body convulsed and rapidly changed. It was expanding and giganticizing at an incredible speed. At the same time, a cold and majestic demeanor showed up a little bit on his body. Sheen who didn't know what kind of fruit the little demon had given him, but the effect was surprisingly good. Before he lost consciousness, Sheen who didn't even have time to find a safe location to put the little demon down, the terrifying power was increasing in his body. Sheen who could feel the changes in his body but couldn't control them, even his consciousness was in a state of occasionally lost and occasionally awake. The power built up in his body became more and more massive, and his entire body bulged like a balloon that had been blown up. The little demon regained some strength from its weakness, seemingly aware of Chin who stayed at the moment. In order to avoid the repercussions, even though it was still very weak, it began to crawl towards the distant mountains and forests, wanting to avoid this place. In reality, Chin whose body from the limbs, with the naked eye visible speed expansion huge, and then extend to the limbs, and then cover the whole body. This fruit was like a catalyst, capable of remodeling the cells in the organism's body in a short period of time, allowing them to accumulate and withstand more powerful forces, making every cell in the body tougher and stronger. Jean who opened his eyes and saw that the trees around him had shrunk a lot, just as he was puzzled, he looked underneath him, and the huge tiger's claws made him freeze. At this moment, his body was at least more than three times bigger than before, and his body came to a length of more than six meters. He felt that his body was filled with explosive power, and as long as he wanted to, 
he could casually slap through a giant wood. A powerful sense of strength surged through his heart. Jean whose self-confidence exploded and he couldn't wait to find someone to fight immediately. At the same time, the mysterious energy in his body was still growing crazily, giving Jean whose entire body the feeling that he was still continuing to eat even though he was bursting at the seams. It seemed like the next moment, his body was about to explode. At the same time, the rattling in the mountains and forests behind him that kept approaching allowed Jean Hu to find a place to vent. Roar! A deafening tiger roar emanated from Jean Hu's throat and the clouds in the mountains and forests in front of him were dispersed by his tiger roar. Tempestuous emotions instantly rose up in his heart. The grumpiness in his heart only dissipated a bit when Chin who raised his huge tiger claw and slapped a half-meter thick tree beside him. After slapping out with a claw, Chin who was a bit uptight about this feeling of destruction. It seemed that this kind of venting destruction was able to open a vent for the increasingly expanding power within his body. This time, not waiting for the mutant creatures behind the cloud to come after him, Jean who instead reversed his direction and headed towards the mutant creatures behind him. The fearful sound of the wind whistled in the mountains, driving the surrounding clouds to roll up together, forming a small tornado. This was only a small scene formed during Jean who's running, but in a few moments, the distance of several hundred meters flashed by. The extreme speed gave Jean who an experience unlike any other. The mutant creatures trailing after the scent were also dumbfounded at the sight of the behemoth that suddenly sprang out of the clouds. They had seen three such mutated giant tigers earlier and now seeing one again made them a little confused. Jean who let out a roar from his mouth and pounced towards the mutated boar in front of him. Excitement and desire for battle instantly caused his eyes to be covered in blood. Tempestuous emotions instantly took over his entire heart. A mutant boar that was close to 600 pounds was sent flying by Jean whose claw, crashing through six or seven trees before coming to a stop. After landing, the wild boar's mouth let out a humming and puffing sound, and two large round nostrils spewed out two clearly visible breaths. Then dragging its heavy and huge body, it rushed towards the gigantic eyes Jean who at a speed of 80 to 90 mph. The movement of the wild boar's run caused the earth to start trembling. It swooped down with the momentum of a landslide, launching its attack towards the giant tiger with the courage of an unstoppable man. The mutant boar's eyes stared at Jean who with a reddish color, as if to say again, so many things are here. Why are you bullying me? Facing such a powerful savage charge, Jean who was resolutely unafraid. At this moment, he felt that his whole body's strength was bursting, and he even wanted to have a hard encounter with this mutant boar under this state. Jean who also spread his limbs slightly and accelerated at the same time. The two giants riveted their energies towards each other and charged. Between the mountains and forests whistling, a huge collision sound resounded in the surroundings. Terrifying airwaves rippled out in all directions, lifting the surrounding clouds and fog that covered the mountains and forests, allowing more mutated creatures to see this incredible scene. In the mountain forest, there was blood emerging from Chin whose forehead, flowing down his cheeks, looking ahead, Chin whose eyes revealed a look of pride, that 600 pound boar was currently lying on all fours, its fragile abdomen showing, its body trembling slightly, although it didn't die, it was knocked unconscious on the spot by Chin who, in the frontal collision, Chin who overwhelmingly won with absolute strength and superiority, the slightly weaker mutant creatures around them all sobered up a bit in their eyes at this moment, looking at Chin who with more than a hint of fear, they subconsciously took a step back. Sheen who stepped forward and turned around. His gaze like a torch as he scanned the four directions. Few mutant creatures locked eyes with him, and those weaker ones directly lowered their heads, displaying a submissive stance. Sheen who stepped forward, and the mutant creatures didn't dare to block his steps. After all, there were very few of these mutated creatures whose size exceeded that 600 plus pound boar. They also didn't have the courage to challenge Sheen whose majesty. After colliding with the mutant boar, Sheen whose consciousness cleared up some more. He felt that as long as the power within his body could be given out, his consciousness would become more and more awake, and Chin who also felt that in his outer body, the accumulation of power had reached a kind of bottleneck, and it seemed that this kind of fighting was more capable of allowing the mysterious energy within his body to function, and at the same time, it could also further increase the limits of his body. Chin whose eyes scanned the four directions, looking for a powerful mutant creature that could fight with him, as the clouds lifted. Many of the mutant creatures that had witnessed Chin whose powerful strength chose to avoid or submit. This made Chin who somewhat disappointed. He was now more eager for a good fight. The oppressive atmosphere spread in the mountain forest, sweeping around. Those mutant lynxes, mutant leopards, and even some mutant giant wolves didn't dare to look directly at his gaze. At this moment, Chin who couldn't help but think of Tiger Dad and Little Tiger Brother and their three little guys. Is it that they are also like themselves? Because this fruit caused the body to be giganticized. At the same time, Chin who thought of Tiger Dad and the mutated giant snake like a small mountain that he saw earlier, when he saw Tiger Dad again afterward, his gaze became much clearer, 
Sheen who thought that a feasible way was to find the gigantic ice tiger dad and then fight him to help him vent out the terrifying power from the fruit in his body. Just as he was thinking, the moment Sheen who raised his head, a gigantic tiger's head was slowly revealed in the clouds. The terrifying aura was mixed with a humanized and complex emotion. Sheen whose gaze met with it, and his heart was also shocked. Behind the clouds, the giant tiger's powerful aura instantly galvanized the warlike genes in Sheen whose body. The roars were unceasing. Sheen who glanced at the mutated giant tiger that revealed itself from the clouds and missed. It was the tiger father. There was more than a hint of sobriety in his eyes. It was much better than before. At least better than those three little guys that recognized Sheen who. But the next moment, his eyes became cold and dangerous again. Sheen who was also provoked to briefly lose control of his body. He could feel the power within him stretching and spreading throughout his body. The two giant tigers kept moving closer towards each other. The great battle was on the verge of breaking out. The mutated creatures in the surrounding mountains and forests consciously stepped back from the area. Roar! A tiger's roar resounded in the mountains and forests, followed by a huge sound force. The tiger father's body, which was close to seven meters, violently pounced over. Sheen Hu, who had lost his mind and was relying on his instincts, also began to let out a roar. At this moment, both father and son seemed to be left with nothing but the instinct to fight. The kings were facing each other. Father Tiger's huge tiger paw slapped on Sheen Hu's body, sending out a burst of airy sounds that were astonishingly loud. A hint of pain came through, causing Sheen Hu to regain some of his senses before he began to counterattack. The two huge figures went back and forth between the mountains and forests, causing the surrounding plants to suffer. Some of the plants that had been given special abilities by the clouds didn't even have time to escape before they were trampled by the father and son's huge tiger claws and flattened in the mud pits. After a few short rounds, Sheen who felt that the power in his body had been soothed again. It seemed that through fighting, it was able to catalyze the speed of power or evolution within the body. Although he recognized the other party as Tiger Dad between sobriety, Sheen who knew that the two of them fought without fear for their lives, and perhaps that was the reason for the complex look in Tiger Dad's eyes when he saw him. Perhaps Tiger Dad also sensed this, only by fighting with powerful mutated creatures could he accelerate his evolution, break the limits and gain even more power. Terrifying power was unleashed in the carcasses of father and son, causing destruction that made the surrounding mutant creatures move a little farther away. Dust flew in the mountains and forests, and broken wood shavings and sandstone were all over the place. After going through a special evolution, Tiger Dad and Sheen whose power had already reached a new level of strength, before experiencing evolution, Tiger Father's strength and size was originally beyond the existence of ordinary adult northeastern tigers, now first get the life substance provided by the little demon to obtain the evolution, and was full of clouds and mist to catalyze a part of the mountain, and perhaps also devoured the fruits borne by the little demon to cause the Tiger Father's current state. Sheen who, on the other hand, relied on the assistance of the mysterious energy in his body to be able to reach a level comparable to Tiger Dad, the strength of father and son was equal, and in terms of strength and speed, Sheen whose performance was even more eye-catching. Although the battle was fierce, the real damage caused was not very serious. After all, both their father and son's hides had a strong defense. A bite was even shrugged off with just a bit of skin being rubbed off. After the confrontation was to growl at each other, bracing themselves, and his father and son came into contact again and again, both sides enjoyed the fight more and more. The sound of the battle also became more and more shocking. It even made the mutant creatures on the sidelines think that these two big guys with not much difference in appearance had fought with real fire and were fighting to the death. After some more entanglement, the tiger father withdrew seven or eight meters, then stared at Chin Hu on the opposite side with red eyes. His sobriety was increasing more and more often, and even after realizing that the opposite side was his own son, Papa Tiger had thought of terminating the fight. But after every fight, that feeling of being all clear and sound made him want to stop again. This is evolving. Sheen who similarly stopped and carefully felt the changes within his body, and he couldn't help but marvel in his heart. The original changes caused by the fruit and the mysterious energy had caused all the cells in Sheen whose body to evolve and renew. The intense battle accelerated this evolutionary process. After all, Sheen whose body at the moment was too large. All the cells all evolved, need a certain amount of time, and Papa Tiger seemed to be facing the same situation. Discovering the benefits of fighting, the father and son regained their senses but after glancing at each other, they understood what was going on in each other's minds. Sheen who understood and took the lead in launching an attack. Mysterious energy erupted within his body, spreading over his body's limbs and tiger claws. It erupted with a speed that was twice as fast as before. A 6 meter plus beast erupted with a speed of more than 100 mph, charging towards another giant beast. The vast momentum shook the surrounding mutant creatures who were onlookers. Sheen whose tiger claws fiercely stretched out. The claws gathered energy from his body. 
and even some dots of light flashed in the melon as he waved it around. A loud bang was bared. The tiger skin on the tiger father's front chest was instantly cut through the skin, revealing dots. The pain alerted him instantly before he returned the blow with even more fierce momentum. After this strike, Sheen who seemed to have discovered the wonderful use of the power within his body and kept experimenting on Tiger Dad, glancing at the increasing number of wounds on his body. Tiger Dad didn't understand why he was slowly losing the battle. Obviously, he was bigger in size, and his strength was also slightly superior to Chin Hu. But even so, Tiger Dad's body was still hanging with dozens of wounds of different sizes. Soon, the battle between Chin Hu's father and son reached a white-hot stage. They both gave vent to the power that had accumulated in their bodies during the battle. It also renewed and evolved the cells in their entire bodies. Chin Hu realized that he was able to basically control the power within his body. After using his mind to try and slowly gather the power that had spread throughout his body and converge in one place, something magical happened. Chin Hu's body was actually restoring its original form little by little. The effect of this power seemed to be to giganticize the wrapped up organism. Watching the Chin Hu on the opposite side return to its normal size in one go, and expand into a giant tiger in another, Tiger Dad was a bit confused. Although his spiritual intelligence had improved a lot at this moment, there were also some phenomena and things that he was not able to fully understand for the time being. After completing his evolution through fighting, Chin who didn't choose to continue wrestling with the Tiger Dad, he seemed to have discovered a part of his body's secret. Under the urging of this mysterious energy, Chin who felt that his cells had become complete and filled with power inside, and through the mobilization of that mysterious energy, there was even a feeling of bracing in many places. Chin who knew that the power gathered by the little demon draining the fruits produced by so many mutant creatures had already allowed him to reach the limit of evolution at the moment. If he wanted to go further, it would depend on Chin whose growth afterward. As for Papa Tiger's state, it seemed to be the same, only that he had yet to master the energy in his body and control the shrinking of his body size like Chin who did. But this time, Chin who was very satisfied. Tiger Ah. Chin who felt that the energy in his body seemed to be smoother, both in terms of invocation and operation it was smoother than before. This was an excellent phenomenon. Chin who controlled his body. Then little by little, the energy in his body gathered and contracted in his abdomen, and his body was gradually shrinking, returning to the size of 2 meters. After a battle, Tiger Dad's sanity had similarly cleared up quite a bit. He just couldn't control the size of his body like Chin who yet. Chin who turned his head to look around, wanting to ask the little demon if there was any way. After all, this fruit was what it got out. Scanning around, this little guy has been pushed to the edge of the line of sight by the father and son's airwaves, and then a little further back, it will be completely hidden in the clouds. Seemingly sensing Chin Hu's proximity, the little demon lifted his spirits a bit, then sensed Chin Hu pointing in the direction of Papa Tiger and the others. In the next moment, the little demon shook its two branches and leaves, indicating that there was no way. Chin Hu couldn't help but feel a bit disappointed. Although their strength had greatly increased and they were able to breathe for a few moments in this mountain forest, for the time being, there was no way for their size to become like Chin Hu's, stowing away. But on the other hand, it was also a good thing. Before, with Tiger Dad's current size and strength, he was able to at least ensure that they were not infested by other mutated creatures at the moment. And just at the moment when Tiger Mother was about to give birth, father and son looked at each other, both somewhat understanding. The Tiger Father stepped forward, still large in size, just without the crazy and violent demeanor from before, and with more majesty and inviolable temperament. Roar! A few tiger whistles came from the distant mountains and forests. Chin who glanced at Tiger Dad, packing up these few little guys would still have to be left to him. Perhaps it was also only after venting the excess energy that had accumulated in their bodies but could not be absorbed through fighting that their minds would not be disoriented by this power. The tiger father understood and let out a tiger whistle from his mouth, then turned his body around and chased after the three cubs in the direction where they had made the sound. Chin who saw a glance at the surrounding mountains and forests, and the tightened energy in his body was instantly released, and his body expanded and grew larger at a speed visible to the naked eye. Then he brought along the little demon that had already returned to its normal size and headed in the other direction of the mountain forest. This magical experience made Chin who sigh a little. In order to avoid unnecessary trouble, Chin who still decided to go back and bring Tiger Mom over first. It was an easy task to let Tiger Dad clean up the three cubs, and it was estimated that by the time he returned, the three of them would have regained their senses. The sound of whistling wind resounded in his ears as Chin who kept searching for the direction in the mountains and forests. After getting bigger in size, his line of sight was also able to extend longer through the clouds, reaching a distance of 500 meters. However, as soon as he contracted his energy and resumed his normal size, his line of sight would similarly be shortened to within 200 meters. Along the way, 
Sheen who met more mutated creatures, even the earthworms, ants, and even pheasants in the soil began to mutate to different degrees. Some of the ants became the size of dog cubs, and were distributed in groups in the mountains and forests, so densely packed that even powerful mutated creatures did not dare to easily approach this huge number of mutated ants. When passing by a mountain forest, Sheen who saw a flock of pheasants squatting on a hundred meter tree, seven or eight of varying sizes, each of them was around three meters in size, and the feathers on their bodies had gone through an evolutionary metamorphosis, becoming even more brilliant and colorful, and with a hurried glance, it was like seeing a phoenix in a myth or legend, Sheen who couldn't help but slow down his steps, eyes searching in the mountains and forests, the clouds covered in a short period of time, the mountains and forests have undergone such drastic changes, full of unknown at the same time, but also let a person's heart give birth to infinite curiosity, maybe it is the reason that the cloud is too dense, walk a few kilometers later, Sheen who gradually cannot smell the smell of the air, observing the surrounding mountains and forests again, there was also a difference with the memories in his mind, stopping to identify the direction, Sheen who searched in all directions, his huge body deterred many of the mutant creatures that were waiting to move, some of the mutant creatures that did not care were either slapped flat or bitten to pieces by Sheen who, after wandering around in the mountains and forests, Sheen who finally smelled a familiar odor once again, he quickly rushed towards the front, and the slightly familiar scenery around him made Sheen who become a little excited, roar, letting out a calling tiger roar, with a few jumps, Sheen who arrived in front of the tiger's father's tiger den from before, and then his body slowly returned to its normal size, luckily, no accidents happened, and under Sheen who's gaze, tiger mother poked her head out of the cave, after going through some series of changes, Tiger Mother was also a bit different, her eyes were filled with spirituality, and her gaze towards Chin who became much gentler, no longer filled with animalistic instincts, Chin who stepped forward and let out a low growl, signaling Tiger Mother to follow him, Tiger Mother didn't hesitate, but instead let out a sound from her mouth in response, Chin who glanced at Tiger Mom, then his body began to gradually expand, Tiger Mother was startled by the change, she had never seen a tiger that could expand its body. This scene she saw with her own eyes turned her perception upside down. However, knowing that the giant tiger in front of her was her own son, the tiger mom put her heart down and followed Chin who as he raced towards the area ahead. After finding the tiger mom and bringing her to reunite with the tiger dad, their family will be together again. Chin who thought in his heart, but at the same time, he was also a little worried, fearing that tiger mom wouldn't be able to accept the addition of the other two little ones. After all, they were all just tigers. On the way. Sheen who finally discovered something different, the clouds over the mountains and forests were no longer white, but were mixed with some black, like dark clouds, covering down a little bit, the sky was finally getting dark, the tension in Sheen whose heart increased a few more points, and his speed was raised a bit, he wanted to rush to meet up with Tiger Dad before it got dark, after all, darkness in the mountain forest was also the most dangerous time, plus this mountain forest was covered with unknown mutant creatures, no one knew what kind of mutant creatures were still hidden in the depths of the mountain forest. Chin who looked back at Tiger Mom, seeing that he was able to keep up with his pace. Chin who was also much relieved. However, listening to the sounds coming from distant places in the mountains and forests, made Chin whose heart a little more worried. The darkness of the night was confusing, not to mention this mountain forest filled with unknown mutated creatures. Roar! After walking out for some distance, Chin who let out a tiger roar, while also sending a message to Tiger Dad and the others. Tiger Mom was somewhat looking forward to it. In such a scary mountain forest, having a dependence was good enough. At least she didn't have to worry about her child being killed and eaten by the planning creatures. The cloud-covered mountain forest welcomed the first night. Unlike the bustling at the beginning, in the darkness of the night, the mountain forest instead became silent. In the middle of the mountain forest, an abrupt rattling suddenly came from a short distance away. Sheen Hu, who was traveling forward, scanned the surroundings with vigilant eyes his front paw lagging in the air, glancing at the clouds in front of him, and then placing his paw on the ground again, his eyes gazing intently at the direction behind the clouds, the uneasy premonition always lingered in his heart, it was his body's instinct that was reminding him of the potential dangers hidden in the surrounding mountains and forests, but Chin Hu, who was six meters in size, was not afraid, from a distance, Chin Hu was like one or two colorful off-road vehicles weaving through the mountains and forests, here is not far from the direction of the tiger father where they are, maybe only a few kilometers away, but the clouds seemed to have the effect of blocking the spread of sound, the tiger whistling sound Chin who made was ten times louder than when he was his normal size, logically a few kilometers away should have been heard long ago, and half an hour was enough time for tiger dad to clean up those three disobedient cubs, Chin who escorted tiger mom as she walked through the mountains and forests, 
Tiger Mom's original door was much more intense than Qin Hu's, and she was more cautious without taking a single step. However, with Qin Hu around, she wasn't as intimidated. After walking for some distance, Qin Hu slowed down their speed. Soon, three huge figures appeared in the clouds ahead of them. These were three male tigers. They were walking side by side one after the other. Their huge eyes did not have the wisdom and calmness of adult male tigers, but had more than a little bit of dullness and mischievousness in them. At this moment, they were walking silently through the mountain forest. Roar! Sheen who ambushed to the side, then suddenly jumped out and let out a loud roar, startling the three giant tigers that were quietly groping their way forward in unison. Xia and Xiao, who were scrambling backwards in panic, were blocked by little tiger brother. The three giant tigers saw that the other giant tiger in front of them was somewhat familiar. Little tiger brother had already recognized his own brother when Sheen who jumped out to scare them, and he also smelled a familiar scent. Sheen who saw that the three little guys had already recognized him, so he didn't make any ambiguity and ran towards them, then raised his huge tiger claws and slapped them. The three little guys had regained their consciousness, but the huge words of their bodies remained intact. Sheen who went forward. The size of the three little guys was smaller compared to him. It was only a little over four meters, but compared to the other mutant creatures in the mountains and forests, they were considered big. At least they wouldn't be randomly bullied by the other mutant creatures. Seeing that Sheen Hu and the others were so familiar, Tiger Mother followed suit and walked out from the mountain forest. Seeing the familiar figure, Little Tiger Brother swept past Sheen Hu in a flash and pounced to Tiger Mom's side. Tiger Mother was startled by the Little Tiger Brother that suddenly scurried over. But after careful discernment, she recognized the Little Tiger Brother's scent. Roar! An affectionate call came out of Tiger Mother's mouth. And Little Tiger Brother quietly looked at Tiger Mother before plopping down towards her. The tiger mother rubbed the little tiger brother's fur affectionately. Although the size difference was too large, it didn't affect the mother and son's renewed affection at all. Glancing at the two giant tigers behind her, tiger mother also recognized them. The hostility in her eyes was no longer there, but she just didn't look as affectionate either, and was more of a stranger. Seeing this, Sheen who let out a roar before urging them to get on their way as soon as possible. Perhaps it was the tiger father who was worried about Sheen whose safety and sent these three little guys to come and receive them. It was also possible that these three little guys heard the tiger roar that Qin Hu let out, but were afraid of the other unknown mutant creatures in the mountains and forests, so they didn't dare to make too much noise. Although their bodies had suddenly grown bigger, their minds were still that of tiger cubs, protecting the tiger mom in the middle. The three little ones led the way, and Qin Hu closed the tail. The group continued walking through the mountains and forests. The night is getting deeper and deeper. Occasionally, one or two sounds would come out of the forest to break the silence but every time it rattled, it was a landslide in general. Such a sound also signaled that behind it was a powerful mutated creature. In just one day's time, there was no telling how many mutated creatures had been created in the mountains and forests. Those that were strong might have become even stronger, just like Qin Hu and the others. Those creatures that once seemed weak also turned into a dominant party because of the catalytic effect of the clouds and mist. For example, Qin Hu had seen the mutant ants before. A dense swarm of them could instantly gnaw a giant mutant creature into a skeleton. Therefore, Sheen who was very cautious all the way, even if he had some self-preservation power, who knows what unknown and powerful mutant creatures were hidden in the depths of the mountains and forests. While Sheen who was thinking, a loud tiger whistle came from the front, he raised his head to look, and the domineering figure of the tiger father slowly crossed over the clouds and fog, protruding into the mountain forest, and in no time at all, he had arrived at their side, gazing at the tiger mother with a gentle demeanor. At this moment, they were finally united. Roar, little tiger brother let out a low roar, and at this moment, he also walked over and stood by his brother's side. After a moment's hesitation, the family gathered around together again together, resting against each other's foreheads before licking each other's fur. The mountains and forests were getting more and more dangerous, and from now on, they would work together to tackle the unknown challenges together, without leaving each other. Xia and Xiu watched the scene from a short distance away, some loneliness in their complexion, then moved closer to each other and comforted each other. Sheen who walked over and stood beside the siblings, little tiger brother also walked over and stood side by side with them. Although Sheen whose parents were still slightly resistant to them, but at least there was no longer the hostility they had before. So perhaps after a while, the siblings would integrate into this collective. Sheen who swept a glance at the alliance formed by the five giant tigers. Even if there were quite a few powerful mutated creatures in the mountains and forests, I'm afraid that there would still be a place for them. However, the road ahead was feared to be full of hardships and dangers and they were not afraid, but instead, they were full of yearning. Moreover, Qin who glanced at the little demon that he had brought with him, as long as he had it with him, 
Qin who believed that with the power of their five giant tigers, they would definitely be able to cultivate that kind of fruit again, and train tiger mother to become a giant tiger as well. At the same time, the more and more rounded body of the tiger mom also signaled that in the near future, Qin Hu and his brothers would add another brother or sister. In this way, a powerful force of seven or eight giant tigers, once again become the ruler of this mountain forest. I am afraid that it is only a matter of time. Qin whose heart was full of grandeur at the moment, and he hated that he couldn't implement this plan right away. But the tiger father's tiger whistle pulled him from his longing into reality. Because of tiger mom's body, they must now find a safe and stable place. Tiger dad's previous cave was out of bounds. After all, it couldn't accommodate them as giant tigers either. Gathering around and communicating, they decided to just find a place close to where there were many rocks to rest for the night, and then look for a place to land after dawn. The five giant tigers gathered together. The tiger father was in the front, the tiger mother and the three little ones were in the center, and the Qin tiger was at the end. After the reunion, the family regained their peace. The place where they once landed had been destroyed, and tiger dad and the others now urgently needed to find a place to land. The mountains and forests were too dangerous, and many mutated creatures gradually lurked at night, waiting for an opportunity to move. Qin Hu and the others searched left and right for a rock pile that could provide shelter. After searching for several kilometers in all directions, there was no suitable place in sight. Father Tiger led the way ahead. After all, this place once belonged to his territory. And although the mountains and forests had changed, as had the trees, the terrain hadn't changed a great deal. As long as one was careful, one could always find shelter. Tiger Dad, who was moving forward in the mountain forest, raised his head sharply and turned to look behind him, signaling that they had a situation. The mountain forest was becoming more and more dangerous. Just a few kilometers down the road, Qin Hu and the others had met several sneak attacks, all of which were resolved by them, filling their stomachs by the way, without having to worry about food. It was precisely for this reason that Qin Hu and the others were extra cautious. Tiger father now in place to listen for a while. No other movement came, just when he wanted to go forward. The ground suddenly issued a poof sound. Under the cloud cover, even the moonlight could not be reflected down. Tiger dad's vision was greatly impeded, and they could only rely on their sense of hearing and smell to feel their way forward a little. Qin who quickly stepped forward, and the three little ones surrounded Tiger Mom in the middle to protect her. Taking a closer look, the ground was densely packed with mutated tang vines, each with thumb-sized counterthorns, looking more like a tree demon that had become fertilized. In the blink of an eye, dozens of vines crawled and stretched towards where Qin Hu and Tiger Dad were, extremely fast. Qin Hu's tiger claws as sharp as steel chopped off a few vines that climbed up his body along the ground, and then immediately turned his direction. These vines are extremely fast and the power of the rhizome is very strong. Ordinary creatures are targeted. Not more than a minute or two will certainly be entangled and wrapped. Strangled alive may also be possible. But the root of this vine is not very strong. Sheen who judgment. Human forged blade may also be able to cut. After resolving the entangled vines, Sheen who took a few steps back. The breaks of these vines were currently flowing out tender green liquid, and emitted a fart stench. Sheen who subconsciously took a sniff. A strong sense of dizziness came over him and a wave of nausea flooded his entire body. Toxic. Qin who didn't dare to delay and immediately let out a roar to remind Tiger Dad. Perhaps Tiger Dad also noticed that the air was not right, and his entire body also hurriedly scurried backward, away from this vine-covered area. Father and son exchanged a glance, then tacitly walked backward, redirecting their direction to find another path. They had been forced to swerve several times along the way. The clouds made the mountains and forests increasingly unknown, terrifying and mysterious. It was undeniable that there were plants like the little demon that contained great opportunities in them, and there were also mutated creatures that were huge and ferocious, like me on Qin whose side and theirs. However, there was still reality to face. After adjusting their emotions and confirming that they were not affected by the poisonous gas released by the vines, the father and son duo found an unfamiliar direction to move forward again. The surroundings were pitch black, and their vision was even worse than during the day. They could only see about a hundred meters. Tiger Dad walked very cautiously along the way, fearing the mountains and forests while thinking about his next plan. There was still some distance to go to the foot of the mountain that Tiger Dad remembered as being more rocky. If there were no accidents, they would reach it in a few more kilometers. Although Qin Hu didn't have to worry about winter food anymore, the danger of the mountains and forests gave him an endless desire to explore as well. Glancing at the little demon that seemed to have fallen asleep, Qin Hu felt that such unknown opportunities must still exist in this mountain forest. When he grew up some more, Qin who was ready to go to the perimeter of the mountain forest to take a look. The three little ones didn't think about it that much. It was just that the changing mountain forest in front of them made them feel as if they had opened the door to a new world. 
full of curiosity but also with distress, the toughest of all had to be Tiger Mother. Although her body had also evolved and her strength had increased quite a bit, it was still a bit lacking compared to the other mutated creatures in the mountain forest. But with her family guarding her, she wasn't overly worried about her safety. Everything was moving in a good direction. Luckily, there were no other accidents on this stretch of road. And Chin Hu and the others smoothly reached the foot of the mountain that Tiger Dad remembered. Through the hazy clouds, Chin Hu saw unevenly distributed bare rocks all around. Taking a look around, although it wasn't exactly flat and open, it was still not a problem to accommodate a few of their giant tigers. After slightly cleaning up the surrounding rocks and stacking them up like a wall, Chin Hu finally had a temporary place to land. But this place wasn't very safe either. Behind the rocks they had any found the corpses of other animals, not by unknown mutated creatures with only half of their skeletons left, but that was how the mountain forest was now. Strength was king. As the former rulers of the mountain forest, Tiger Dad and the others had no absolute suppressive power at the moment. Chin who was lying on the ground, and although his body didn't feel tired, he was mentally sleepy. Tiger Dad was pacing and patrolling around the camp, and Tiger Mom was surrounded by the tigers in the center for protection. Although there weren't necessarily any other mutant creatures that would dare to sneak up on them, there were the large mutant creatures to be wary of. After the chaos, the mountains and forests should derive an order again. Sheen who narrowed his eyes, gradually he fell into a deep sleep. Tiger Mom had also tossed and turned. If her body hadn't been strengthened a lot, I'm afraid she wouldn't have been able to hold on. The three little ones had also experienced sudden changes, and now that they had a backer, their demeanor was also suddenly lax, lying on the ground occasionally teasing and relaxing. Tiger Dad glanced behind him and also took a few steps back, then plopped down in front of them. He wasn't sure where to settle them, but Papa Tiger was not afraid of challenges, and as long as he had the chance, he would still follow his instinctive guidance and rely on his own strength to stake out a mountain forest as his territory once again. Several tigers all lay down on their backs, and within a short time they wore out the sounds of deep sleep. Occasionally, one or two growls would emanate from around the mountain forest and the tiger's father just looked up and observed, and slowly calmed down again. This kind of tearing and killing is too common in the mountain forest nowadays, and the tiger father also lost the mind of the previous ruler. As long as he can survive and build up his strength, he believes that he will always become the king of the territory. In the silence of the mountains and forests, Sheen whose family began to spend the first night of the cloud-covered mountains and forests. This night was destined to be uneventful. The strong survive, the weak eat the strong. The menace of the mountain forest was not as great as what Chin who encountered in front of them. A few giant tigers surrounded together sound asleep, but no one under the big bones, are some almost instinctive vigilance. As long as the surrounding situation, they will be able to immediately join the battle. At the side of the battlefield, the sound of wind in the mountains and forests dashed, and it seemed that there were powerful creatures that flickered in their surroundings. Chin who only squinted slightly for a while, and when he opened his eyes again, the sky was already bright. There was no change from yesterday. The dense clouds still covered everything in the mountains and forests, hiding the bloody scene that took place here. Tiger Dad had woken up a long time ago and was currently baring his fangs, tearing into the corpse of a mutated creature. Tiger Mom rounded her stomach now on the side, eating contentedly. A mutant creature's corpse is too big. Tiger Mom can't eat it. Instead, it's cheaper for the three little ones guarding the surrounding area. Nowadays, under the cloud cover, the mountains and forests remain the same and the mutant creatures have greatly increased, but instead, they don't have the risk of food shortage. Even the mountains and forests, which were originally supposed to be snowy, were now as warm as spring, perfect for survival, except for the dangers. The tiger father patrolled around for a week, letting out a roar to scare off the predators in the surrounding area, and Chin Hu and the three tiger cubs immediately followed, shielding the tiger mother in the middle. For the sake of safety, the family was still tightly united. And even though they were a little slow to move with Tiger Mom, they were still able to endure it. Among the mountains and forests, one night was also enough time for some horrifying changes to occur. Originally Chin who they met cheap vines, at this moment even extended to the place where they landed not far away. At this moment is waving the vines with teeth and claws, like a group of grasping lively ferocious ghosts. Tiger Dad was afraid of the poisonous gas secreted by the vines, so he didn't choose to fight hard and continued to walk around. When they met some small mutated creatures, with Chin whose current strength, they could make the other party run away without a trace by casually scaring them. Father Tiger walked ahead, his demeanor calm and collected. In the mountain forest ahead, a road that had been ravaged jumped out in front of his father and son. Beneath the clear traces there were scale armor the size of a bottle cap, and the further they explored, the scale armor that fell on the ground became larger and larger. The thickest could even be the size of a person's palm. 
This must be an overlord with terrifying strength. Qin Hu didn't dare to be sloppy and let out a low roar to prompt his tiger father. Glancing at the several giant tigers behind him, Tiger Dad chose to avoid them. He didn't have the confidence to fight with such a terrifying mutant creature. There would be a big battle when they met. Qin Hu and the others bypassed this place and continued on their way. They were amazed by what they saw along the way. Qin Hu's mind was speculating about what he had met earlier. The mutant python that was like a mountain. If it was it, I'm afraid that they would really need to add a few of their tiger daddies to be able to fight it. The hissing sound was endless. The mountain forest during the day was back to its lively scene. Every second was a fight for the right to survive in the tearing and killing. The clouds didn't know how long it would last. Qin Hu and the others could only explore as they walked. Interestingly, Qin Hu and the others witnessed a tiny mutant rat become instantly murderous with its eyes turning red after swallowing a lime green fruit, and it was extremely fast. For a while, the tigers roared angrily, but they just couldn't do anything to help this small-sized mutant rat, but it made them have a few more scratches on their bodies, while Tiger Dad was holding his breath. The mutant rat instantly found a weak point and attacked towards Tiger Mom who was protected by the tiger group. Sheen Hu and Tiger Dad jumped and pounced down from a distance of about 10 meters in front of them, and with the fastest speed possible, they took a bite out of the mutant rat. A bitter flavor filled Tiger Dad's mouth, causing him to hastily spit out the mutant rat he had swallowed and chewed. Tiger Mother stood in the mountain forest, a hint of helplessness flashing in her eyes. A mutant rat was able to pick on herself, and the powerful sense of disparity made her feel indescribably uncomfortable. Tiger Dad came over and comforted her, and then the group of tigers continued on their way. Taking advantage of the daylight hours, they had to find a place suitable for long-term survival. It was best to have a sufficient water source and a sturdy cave. The food part was not much more demanding. The tiger's father was in the front of the road, and did not stop fighting with the mutated creatures hidden in the mountains and forests, and after traveling for more than 10 kilometers, there were also wounds on his body that were hard to heal. That is a mutant grizzly bear left behind. Fortunately at the last moment Sheen who did not speak of martial arts and virtue of a leap on, the group beat up the situation so that the mutant grizzly bear briefly regained consciousness. Under the weighing of the pros and cons of the escape, Sheen who did not meet any other mutant tigers, in terms of mountains and forests, this area has long exceeded the scope of the original tiger parents' territory. In addition to the increase in the number of mutated creatures, the same mutated tigers they did not meet a single one. It was strange, but at the same time, they were also being careful and on guard. The further they went, the mist in the mountains and forests seemed to be a little more dense, the climate was a bit warmer, and the air had a bit more of a moist feeling. The fungus on some trees that had originally driven away had slowly revived and grown out at this moment, and even gave off a burst of charming fragrance. Glancing at the soil below the trees, Sheen Hu and the others subconsciously moved away from this dangerous area. There were too few places where they could safely survive, and only some of the originally barren stone forest areas were not occupied by mutated creatures or plants. Tiger Mother shook her skull before moving on ahead. His rich experience in tiger life allowed him to survive in more difficult environments and his sense of resilience was the magic weapon that allowed them to keep surviving. Dangers were everywhere, and Sheen who couldn't help much, but could only follow his tiger father to scout a path ahead and solve the mutated creatures that were within his reach. The mountain forest suddenly blew a strong fragrance of flowers. Sheen who they looked up. The mountain forest in front of them was densely distributed with white flowers. At the moment was swaying its body with the mountain wind, emitting a burst of strong fragrance. Sheen who subconsciously wanted to close his tiger's nose, but after smelling a fresh fragrance, the energy in his body was actually slowly increasing. In this way the ones who originally intended to go around the road stopped, because Qin Hu, like a fool, has been on the sea of flowers in the mountains and forests pouncing and go, sucked in a mouthful. The clouds in the surrounding air and the fragrance of the flowers together into Qin Hu's body. Mysterious energy at a very fast speed transformation enhancement. Then before the quality is a little bit higher, Tiger Dad and the others didn't understand Qin Hu's behavior and their faces even stared up, thinking that he had been seduced by the fragrance of the flowers and was in danger. But in the next second, in the stunned looks of several giant tigers, the white flowers that roamed the mountains withered instantly, turning into roots and dead leaves that scattered in the soil. Blip! Qin who instantly thought of this special flower, which seemed to possess even more peculiar effects after mutating. In a short period of time, it had allowed Qin who to receive a huge benefit. The atmosphere gradually became tense. The crunching sound of trees tearing apart and the ear-piercing sound of heavy objects crushing through the ground at high speed came from the mountains and forests behind them. Qin who didn't dare to be careless and still sped towards his destination at the fastest speed. He could feel the mutant python behind him getting angrier and angrier. When it didn't catch up with Qin Hu, the trees along the way were victimized and became its temporary objects of venting. Despite the clouds obscuring their vision, 
They were still chasing towards the front at an extremely fast speed. Perhaps it was due to the fact that the life aura emanating from the two behemoths in front of and behind them were both very powerful. The mutated creatures in the surroundings didn't appear, and they were all avoided. After an ultra-low hissing sound, Sheen who suddenly felt a coldness behind him. When he turned around and looked towards the back, he only saw the scene of the mountains and forests shaking and the grass flying, while there was a hideous, wide-open snake's mouth above his torso aiming to bite down. Sheen who was shocked, speed in the limit and raised a few points, narrowly and narrowly must pass the hideous snake mouth. A bang came, the python bit into the ground, gnawing a mouthful of dirt. Sheen who saw that the python's eyes seemed to be red, it was already on the verge of losing its mind. Taking a look at the surroundings, Sheen who estimated the remaining distance, the detour was a bit farther than the path they had taken before, but with their current speed, it would only be a matter of 10 minutes. Sheen who continuously surveyed the mutant python behind him, almost there, almost there, he was also very nervous in his heart. All the way chasing after him, the mutant python's terrifying strength and tremendous destructive power made Sheen who feel terrified at all times. However, he had already offended this mutant python to death and now it was impossible to retreat, so he could only lead the other party there. In the next short period of time, Sheen who felt a huge threat. I don't know what method this mutant python used, its speed was faster than once. Even if Sheen who used all of his mysterious energy on his limbs to increase his speed, it was still slightly slower. The python's gaze was always fixed on Sheen who's body, not giving him the slightest chance to escape. If he caught this despicable person, the python would definitely want to play with him before swallowing him in one gulp. The distance between the two sides was getting closer and closer. There were still three or four kilometers away from the destination Sheen who estimated. The places in the mountain forest where they had traveled were all tripped out into a wide path at the moment. In front of the threat of imminent death, Sheen who also erupted with amazing strength and willpower, constantly raising his limits. The mutant python had completely lost its mind. A snake tail swaying like a long whip waving at high speed, snapping the objects on both sides into powder. Even the surrounding rocks didn't escape such a fate. Sheen who felt like his four paws were running on fumes, the distance between the python and himself had been drawn in to within 10 meters, he could even clearly smell the fishy odor coming from the python's mouth, the elongated fangs, the detail in staggered scale armor, gave Sheen who a feeling of scalp numbness, being wrapped up in such a behemoth, the only way to end up was perhaps to be rolled and strangled to death, and then swallowed alive by the other party as a whole, however, it was obvious that there was no way out for the tiger. Just when the distance between the giant python behind him and Sheen who was less than 5 meters, Sheen who saw the increasingly familiar environment in front of him, which hadn't changed much from when they had walked through before, the mutant creature corpses on the ground were directly skipped over by Sheen who, tentatively taking a quick glance at the surroundings, Sheen who filled in a direction with the most temperance vines, and then without hesitation, dug in, the mutant python behind him followed closely behind, and rushed into this forest of tang vines with great vigor, sure enough, this sensational scene immediately awakened the originally static vine forest. After Chin who scurried into the forest of vines, he tried his best to pick a place with fewer vines to land his feet and run wildly, almost feeling like he was bouncing on the bottom. The mutant python behind him didn't realize the danger around him, and was still furiously chasing after Chin who. Chin who could only maneuver flexibly, circling around the temperance forest as much as possible in an attempt to wake up more temperance forests. However, as expected, after a few minutes, the vines in the forest, whether on the trees or on the ground, regardless of their size, all began to dance. Even if some of the vines were to wind towards the mutant python, they would be thrown off by its amazing speed, unable to reach a bit. Seeing this, Sheen who clenched his teeth, a fierce light emitted from his eyes, his speed unexpectedly slowing down. Mutant python saw the situation, speed also slowed down, hideous snake mouth constantly from midair down to bite Sheen whose body, the speed slowed down. The surrounding sky-covering tangbines instantly surged towards them. At first, the mutant python didn't care. Even if its body was entangled by the annoying vines, it wouldn't be nervous. Its entire body was covered in scale armor that was comparable to steel, so these vines couldn't harm it. Even if it was entangled in the vines, the python only controlled its huge body to roll back and forth and broke the countless vines covering its body. Chin who saw such a large number of vines being broken by the python, and after the break really emitted a starry odor. He instantly accelerated and fled towards the direction of those unbroken vines. The python got rid of the tang vines entanglement, similarly chased towards Chin Hu. Instead, after two or three times, the tang vine forest was already a mess. There were countless broken tang vines scattered on the ground, and the brakes were constantly emitting an odor. Chin Hu glanced behind him, despite having held his breath in advance, there was still a bit of dizziness in his head. 
he didn't dare to delay any longer, taking advantage of the fact that the poisonous gas hadn't completely closed off this area before escaping. There were sporadic rattles coming from behind him, Sheen who didn't continue to escape ahead, but stopped, amidst the clouds and mist. The direction of the Tang Vine forest in front of him had already been tainted by the poisonous gas and changed color, and could be distinguished from afar. Right in the center, a huge long shadow was struggling. At the same time, a bang came from the ground, a few meters thick. Dozens of meters long giant Tang Vine broke out from below the ground. In just a few moments of effort, the mutant python was firmly entangled. Although the python was familiar with this kind of entanglement, the increasingly dense poisonous gas outside made it a little headstrong as well. Some sanity returned to its vertical pupils, and then a hoarse hissing sound came out of its mouth. It was in a hurry. Sheen who had gone far away, heard the commotion, and did not see the python chase out, and then returned to see the fun. Just regained sight in the clouds, he saw a giant python and a giant tang vine hugging each other, mingling on the ground rolling, both wanting to tear each other apart. Sheen who saw this level of mutant creature fighting for the first time, and at that moment, he didn't rush to run for his life but instead stood on the sidelines and became a spectator with great interest. The mountain forest was never calm. While waiting, they could occasionally meet some mutant creatures, but they were all scared away by Chin Hu's and their aura. The little demon was drawing nutrients from the mutant creature's body to its heart's content. The source was constantly transformed and then transported to the fruit above their heads. Chin Hu and the others were guarding the surroundings. Perhaps having experienced this process before, they were a little nervous but not worried, as long as the fruit produced by the little demon was ripe they would be able to immediately move the place and return to the tiger's den to let the tiger mother devour it, thus obtaining evolutionary power. The idea and plan were good. Sheen who didn't worry about any changes. The only thing he was worried about was fearing that the strange fragrance from the fruit would attract those large mutated creatures passing by. But this probability was generally very small. For this reason, Sheen who also deliberately inspected the surrounding area, except for those large mutated creatures that had mutated from the previous herbivores. There were no other predators. Sheen who put his heart down and dispersed with the three little ones in all directions to watch the scene behind the clouds. They waited quietly, only needing an hour or two. The little demon would be able to draw enough nutrients off, ripen the fruit and complete the entire process. Although this process was relatively exhausting for the little demon, Sheen who still wanted to let it give it one last try, comparing this to the question of whether they would be able to survive better in the mountains and forests in the future. There was no other big commotion coming out and the three little guys also seemed to be relatively leisurely. Sheen who looked at the surrounding mountains and didn't dare to let his guard down. After waiting in anxiety for half an hour like this, Sheen who smelled a strange fragrance in his nose, the other three little guys seemed to smell it as well, and all of them had a mental shock, and then stood up from the ground in unison. Perhaps it was because they had taken this kind of fruit before, they had resistance to the fragrance, and no longer lost their sanity under the interference of the fragrance as before being manipulated and unable to be autonomous. Sheen whose complexion tensed up as he glanced around and then at the little demon in front of him. The corpses of the mutated creatures in the surroundings had all been turned into white bones, and the last of the nutrients were being drawn by the little demon in a steady stream. The red fruit on top of its head had already grown to a sufficient size, and its appearance had begun to change color. Strands of foreign fragrance were drifting along the winds of the mountains and forests, attracting more mutated creatures from the mountains and forests. Perhaps it was instinctive. The fragrance was beyond the control of even the little demon itself. Sheen who vigilantly patrolled the surroundings, constantly sending out bursts of mellow tiger whistles in different directions in an attempt to deter those mutant creatures with his powerful sound. Little tiger brother followed his brother's example, and his mouth also emitted a horrifying tiger whistle, matching Xia and Xiao's voices together. Wandering in the vast mountain forests, many of the mutated creatures that hadn't been completely disturbed by the strange fragrance heard the sound, and also stopped. Standing in the mountains and forests hesitantly, although they were making a lot of noise to deter the unknown enemy, they were also exposing their own positions at the same time. Sheen who let out a low roar, telling the other three little ones to be vigilant and ready to deal with any mutant creatures that might rush out. They began to close in, gradually shrinking their territory with the little demon at the center. Seemingly sensing Sheen who and their nervousness, the little demon was also doing its best to finish the last thing in the fastest time possible. The leaves in the mountain forest were rattled by the wind and the dull atmosphere was broken by a dark figure. Sheen who greeted the dark figure that rushed out from the clouds. It was a mutated boar that weighed over a ton and a half, the long tusks on both sides of its mouth still carrying the scent of earth, seemingly having just been attracted to it. The small eye sockets had yet to completely lose its mind, and Sheen whose huge figure appearing in front of it made it not dare to act rashly either. Sheen who wouldn't confront it here, and was prepared for a quick battle, 
with a glance at each other. Sheen whose huge tiger body moved, facing the mutant boar and ran wildly over. The mutant boar subconsciously took a step back with the huge noise, then let out a grunt and charged towards Chin Hu. The huge weight made the mountains and forests tremble, and after the horrible collision sound, the mutant boar was crushed under Chin Hu's body. At the same time the body was pierced by the hard bristles on the back of the mutant boar. Chin Hu didn't feel any pain, he just bit down on the mutant boar's throat, no matter how hard it struggled, it was to no avail. It wouldn't take more than a few minutes for Chin Hu to solve the first threat. However, this was just an appetizer in the early stage. Perhaps in a short while, there would be even more huge mutant creatures attracted by this strange fragrance. None of them were careless. The tiger's eyes stared at the surrounding mountains and forests, guarding against any mutant creatures that might suddenly appear. The body of the little demon was trembling slightly, and the roots of its entire body were working hard to transport nutrients towards the fruit above its head. Chin who threw the mutated boar from earlier towards it as well. The huge amount of nutrients were once again absorbed by the roots, making it appear to be working even harder. Chin who could only take the three little ones and do his best to guard the four directions. Fortunately, the little demon that was the protagonist of this event belonged to its own people, and once it really met that kind of enemy that it couldn't fight, it could also run away on its own at the first opportunity. There were still mutated creatures in the mountains and forests rushing towards this place. The strange fragrance was somewhat fatally attractive to these mutant creatures. Sheen who estimated that any mutated creature that swallowed the fruit produced by the little demon might be able to obtain a chance to evolve. It was just that after they swallowed it, their bodies would become giganticized, while their strength and speed would be catapulted to the limit depending on the individual. And these creatures seemed to be instinctively craving for this fruit. Sheen who was very nervous and at the same time was keeping an eye on the little demon. Once the fruit was ripe, he wouldn't hesitate to take it along and run away. Before Chin who agreed with the three little guys, there is a special situation. Chin who will look they will be able to comprehend. And towards the mountains and forests scattered escape. And finally in the tiger's den convergence. At the moment, there is no strength to crush the existence of Chin who and their four giant tigers can still hold out for a while. However, in 10 minutes time, the mountain forest was surrounded by no less than 50 to 60 mutant creatures of various sizes. They hadn't been overwhelmed by desire, but they also refused to leave and surrounded the surrounding tigers eyeing the opportunity. Roar! A berserk sound came out, and the air around them stagnated. Behind the clouds, a white wolf king with a body size of more than 4 meters was revealed with a group of slightly smaller mutant wolves. The mutant wolf king showed his teeth and vented his dissatisfaction towards Chin Hu and the others. A dozen or so wolves that were 3 to 4 meters in size gathered together, and it was a great impact visually. Little Tiger D and the others couldn't help but lean towards Chin Hu, in a triangular defense. Chin who blanced at little demon's direction, if it could be delayed for a few more minutes, it would be able to completely ripen its fruit. The sound of whistling wind exploded in the mountains and forests. Chin who and the others were followed by hundreds of mutant creatures of various sizes. Some of the mutant creatures gave up after chasing after a few giant tigers ran away with the fruit for some distance, but more of them kept chasing after them, not too long and not too short. Both sides kept a distance of several hundred meters one after the other. Sheen who looked back from time to time and was thinking of a solution in his head. However, with the fruit's strange aroma in place, it had been attracting the mutant creatures behind him, and at the moment, he didn't have a better way to solve it. He could only keep letting out roars to deter the mutant creatures following behind him. Perhaps there was some effect. After chasing after a few kilometers, the mutant creatures behind him were a little less, but there were still some that did not die. Sheen who had no choice but to take them and run together in the direction of the tiger's nest hoping that Father Tiger would hear them in advance and come out to save the day. The mutant creatures chased after them vociferously, and Chin Hu and the few of them kept speeding up in front. There wasn't a gap all of a sudden. Chin Hu thought about it and threw the little demon to little tiger brother, letting them run at full speed in the direction of the tiger's den first, going back with so many mutated creatures, even with tiger dad's help, they were facing great pressure, not to mention ensuring that tiger mom could successfully swallow the fruit to complete her evolution. The mysterious energy in Chin whose body was surging, and his body unexpectedly expanded some more, reaching a height of about 6 meters. A tiger's roar erupted from his throat, rolling up waves of air that caused the pursuing mutant creatures behind him to stall. Chin who turned his body around, then stopped in a narrow mountain forest, stopping the numerous mutant creatures in their tracks. Roar! The tiger's roar sowed through the mountain forest, and many mutated creatures had awe in their eyes. They knew that the fruit that emitted a strange fragrance could bring them great benefits but this giant tiger in front of them wasn't a good heat. No one dared to be the first to pull the tiger's whiskers, and they all circled around at a distance, eyes anxiously looking at the other few giant tigers that disappeared into the clouds, smelling the fading fragrance. 
these mutant creatures also slowly began to get impatient. Constant hissing sounds resounded in front of Qin Hu. Although they didn't dare to attack Qin Hu, but standing on the sidelines and making noises, these mutant creatures were also happy to do so. After a few minutes, many of the mutant creatures in front of them became even more agitated, with a tendency to swarm towards Qin Hu the next moment. However, Qin Hu did not show fear. To the front of the most impatient group of mutant creatures is a burst of roar. At the same time the huge tiger body toward the other side of the opposing pressure and go, there is not hesitate to fight the momentum. Qin Hu knew that this method could not be delayed for a long time, but could drag a minute is a minute. Before Qin Hu came into contact with the mutant creature in front of him, there was a mutant creature watching from the side that bared its teeth and bit up at it. A tiger's tail threw out, like a long whip swung out, heavily smashed in the sneak attacking mutant creature body snapped and flew a few meters away from the open space. This is just like stabbing a hornet's nest. The original stagnant mutant creatures at the moment even had a few more points of courage. A brain towards Qin who surged up. Roar! A manic tiger whistle roared out. Qin who slapped a jumping mutant creature to death with a claw, and then started the fight. More mutant creatures, however, ran wildly, crossing straight over Qin who sighed before chasing after the clouds ahead. To them, it was enough to have other of their kind to slow down Qin who, the big man and grabbing the fruit was the most important thing, there was no need to take their own lives, fighting and looking around, after settling the dozen or so mutant creatures around them, Qin who also suffered some injuries on his body, which were quickly healed by the mysterious energy in his body, but the other mutant creatures almost all left Qin who behind and chased after him towards the front, I hope it works, Qin who bit into a few mouthfuls of the blood and flesh of the mutant creatures on the ground and swallowed them, then recovered from the consumption of the mystic energy just now, and readjusted his direction towards the tiger's den to follow them. In the clouds, hissing sounds were constantly emitted. Little Tiger D and the others were also advancing at breakneck speed through the mountains and forests, occasionally emitting tiger roars towards the front. The mutated creatures behind them had been intercepted by Qin Hu for some time, and it was rare for them to clear the air. Perhaps they had heard their voices. In the tiger's den, the tiger's father looked around vigilantly, his fluffy ears twitched, and this time the sound he heard was even clearer. He rose, his massive tiger body gazing in the direction from which the sound came. The sound of the tiger whistling became clearer and clearer, which made him realize that something was wrong. With a solemn expression, he took up a fighting stance. Judging from the sound, both sides shouldn't be much farther away. The tiger father's expression was grave, but in his heart, he was thinking about what kind of trouble these bear children had caused. A few minutes later, there was movement coming from the clouds and mist, which made tiger dad even more grave. Just as he was about to pounce towards the mountains and forest to attack, little tiger brother appeared in his sight with the little demon in his mouth. Before he could figure out the situation, tiger dad smelled a special fragrance coming from the air. In an instant, he knew what these little cubs had gone to do. Without much time to think, the tiger father let out a tiger whistle towards the tiger's den, calling out the tiger mother who was breastfeeding. Before he could figure out the situation, little tiger brother walked up with the little demon in his mouth. With a whoosh, he detached the fruit and threw it into the tiger mom's mouth. The sensation of it melting in her mouth came, and tiger mom also felt the fulfilling sensation of that surge of power. After completing this, several little ones accompanied tiger dad and scattered to keep a close eye on the clouds ahead. The increasingly clear ringing alerted the mutated creatures behind them to come after them along with them. The tiger father let out a roar, greeting the three little ones beside him to protect the tiger mother, and he himself also searched for the best position to take advantage of the terrain. In less than a few minutes, the figures of mutant creatures emerged from the clouds. A huge tiger body blocked their way. It also startled these mutant creatures. Roar! Papa Tiger let out a terrifying tiger roar, then took the lead in attacking. The mutant creatures around them were startled and fled to the sides. The exotic fragrance of the fruit also disappeared here, and the residual rich aroma caused some of the mutant creatures to completely lose their minds. They recklessly surged towards Tiger Dad's direction with viciousness. Tiger Dad was undaunted and just urged the three little ones to surround the evolving Tiger Mom. A great battle began. After a few minutes, Sheen Hu, who had arrived at breakneck speed, also joined the battle, constantly tearing into the attacking mutant creatures. Father and son looked at each other in the middle of the scene, and then worked in tandem to clean up the mutated creatures despite their injuries. The pressure brought about by dozens of mutant creatures of varying sizes, besieging together was still great. Even though Sheen Hu and his father and son were amazingly powerful, their bodies were still covered in wounds. Fortunately, after losing the attraction of the fruit's fragrance, these mutant creatures didn't fall into complete madness, retaining their sanity, and under the stimulation of the bloody odor, they finally stirred up fear in their hearts. After leaving behind half of the corpses, 
the mutant creatures that fled gradually appeared. On the other side, the occasional mutant creature that broke through the father and son's interception was also resolved by the three little ones' combined efforts. In the end, only their family was left in the entire mountain forest. Licking his wounds, Tiger Dad walked over to look at the continuously evolving Tiger Mom. The worry in his eyes finally slowly disappeared. After swallowing the fruit, Tiger Mother's body also began to gradually expand and giganticize as Chin who had predicted, accompanied by a surge in speed and strength. The entire evolution process had lasted for more than an hour. In the end, the Tiger Mom's body size surpassed Chin Hu's, and was only a little bit smaller than the Tiger Dad's body, becoming the veritable second in the Tiger family. At this point, Chin Hu's family had also completed their evolution, and had the strength to settle down in this mountain forest. After a series of tossing and turning, Chin Hu also discovered his current deficiency in strength. However, the good thing was that the mysterious energy in his body was still increasing, and as long as Chin Hu ate, the mysterious energy would be able to enhance his strength all the time. Chin Hu believed that one day he would be able to break out of his current state and evolve to an even more powerful point. In the clearing, besides Chin Hu picking out mutated creatures to feed on to increase his mystic energy, the little demon was also dragging its body to draw nutrients. Condensing a fruit was still consuming to it, and Chin Hu was also thinking about the origin of their type of mutant creatures. However, the little demon had contributed too much to Chin Hu and his family, and Chin Hu would not treat it poorly gathering all the mutant creature corpses together, and placing the little demon on it, Chin who then came over to visit Tiger Dad's injuries. Luckily, it was only some superficial wounds, and he would recover after a day or two of recuperation. As for the tiger mother who had undergone evolution, she was adapting to her strength in the open space in front of the tiger's den. From time to time, she fell to the ground or knocked over a tall tree, watching the family transform into the shape of a giant tiger. Chin who felt that they should do something. The mountains and forests were too big, and it was more suitable for a giant tiger heavenly group like them to make a break for it. Tiger Dad watched from the side, occasionally stepping in to teach Tiger Mom to adapt to her power, as well as imparting some tips to her. Chin Hu and the others watched from the sidelines. After evolving, Tiger Mother's body also became much larger, looking like a behemoth. This made Chin Hu a bit worried. After all, the two newborn cubs were like two small ants to the current Tiger Mother, but there was always a solution. After spending some time adapting to the mutated body and suddenly gaining massive strength, Tiger Mother also looked a little excited. Taking advantage of this gap, Chin Hu and the others guarded outside the tiger's den, while the two tigers, Tiger Dad and Tiger Mom, ran wildly towards the mountains in pairs. On one hand, there could be a place for Tiger Mom to exert and adapt to her power as soon as possible, and on the other hand, they could also go out for a walk and have a bit of a two-person world. This made it difficult for Chin Hu and the others. Taking care of the two cubs fell on them, unable to do so, Chin who can only converge the whole body's mysterious energy, will be reduced to the normal size of the body. Only then was he barely able to take care of his two little brothers. Whether you are a human or a tiger, taking care of cubs is a headache. Chin who only hoped that the tiger parents would come back earlier. Time was like water, and in the blink of an eye, the sky overhead began to darken. Vaguely, Chin who seemed to see the moon overhead through the clouds, but when he opened his eyes again, there were only clouds covering the sky. It seemed that his eyes were blurred. Finally, tiger parents who had played enough also came back from the mountains. It was good that nothing happened in between. After handing over the two little brothers to Tiger Mom, Chin who was finally relieved. In the eyes of the three little ones with palpitating hearts, Chin who walked over. The tiger's nest had limited space, so they could only make do with sleeping in front of the open space here. But today, Chin whose mind was a bit heavy. The mountain forest was completely shrouded down by the darkness of the night, and it was pitch black. The three little ones sprawled out on their backs not long before they made the sound of sleeping. Chin who had something on his mind. Now that Tiger's mother had also swallowed the evolutionary fruit, there was a big increase in size and actuality. Although they were living a fairly peaceful life now, it was ultimately not as free as the days before. Chin who thought that it was time to encourage Tiger Dad and the others to look for a feng shui treasure land to accomplish something. Six giant tigers. Such a power is considered a very powerful force in this mountain forest. I thought that Tiger Dad and the others would be very happy to re-establish a territory. Even if they didn't have such an idea, they would still be able to venture into the mountain forest and look for other opportunities. The mountains and forests were so vast, plus the catalyst of the clouds and mist these days. Chin who believed that a lot of good things must have been born out of it. But what also worried Chin who in the middle of this was the humans. After all, from the time he was born until now. Chin who had never seen any trace of humans in this mountain forest. But now that the mountain forest had undergone such a drastic change, there was no telling if the cloud's sphere of influence had covered the mountain forest and extended to the place where humans lived. 
If that was the case, with the character of humans, I'm afraid that this mountain forest would be discovered sooner or later, thus attracting the prying eyes of humans. At that time, where should Qin Hu and the others go? This was was a problem. Qin Hu pondered. However, the biggest problem at the moment was that they should find a piece of land to survive properly. After surviving the pre-mutation stage of the mountain forest, the danger was also much smaller, so Qin Hu planned to develop a wave of peacefully. As he ate during this period of time, Qin Hu realized that swallowing the fruit condensed by the little demon had helped him to raise his body to the extreme, but the mysterious energy in his body would still be produced every time he ate, and there was a constant flow of it. As long as Qin Hu was bent on swallowing and enhancing the mysterious energy in his body, perhaps one day he would be able to break out of his current state and limits and usher in a new evolution. Qin Hu was still very excited about this discovery. After all, this was equivalent to the fact that he would be able to obtain a constant supply of mystical energy as long as he kept eating, becoming stronger all the time. With this feature, Qin Hu felt that he would be able to develop another wave, and by then, he might become the king of this entire mountain forest. Thinking of this, Qin Hu also had great expectations in his heart. Pondering in his mind, he thought of many things in a single moment. Unconsciously, Qin Hu also squinted his eyes and fell into a deep sleep amidst his thoughts. There were no words for the night. The mountain forest remained calm. Qin Hu was woken up by the sound of birds chirping. When he opened his eyes, Qin Hu noticed a difference. A beam of sunlight slanted down from the top of his head, falling warmly on his body. HM, sunlight? Qin Hu immediately woke up a lot and came back to his senses, then realized that something was wrong. Taking a glance around, he realized that the clouds that had shrouded the entire mountain forest seemed to have completely disappeared, revealing the original face of the mountain forest again. Qin Hu was a bit disbelieving, and woke up the three little ones beside him, then began to explore the surrounding area. As the clouds disappeared, the view was naturally unobstructed. At a glance, the mountains and forests in front of us are back to their former situation, but there are many changes. First of all, it should have been winter, and there should have been a lot of dead wood and snow in the forest, but now in front of our eyes is a green mountain forest, plus a scene of vitality. Occasionally, there were several meter long flying birds skimming overhead, emitting a burst of chirping sounds. At the same time, the other creatures in the mountain forest also discovered this phenomenon, exploring their surroundings in the forest. Sheen who let out a tiger whistle to wake up his parents in the tiger's den, and then ran wildly towards a hill not far away. Standing at a high place, he could see a bit further. The terrain of the mountains and forests had changed a bit, but the bulk of it could still be seen. It was just that the trees had become taller, the vegetation was greener, and everything seemed to be more vibrant than before. The beautiful scenery in front of him made Qin who somewhat incredulous, not realizing that the mountain forest shrouded in clouds had become so beautiful. After observing for a while, Qin who saw a familiar mountain range in the distance, that was the peak where Tiger Dad's Tiger's Den was once located, and it was still there today. Based on this judgment, Qin who realized that they were only 20 to 30 kilometers away from the location of Tiger Dad's Tiger Den. Tiger Dad also took an incredulous look at the surrounding scenery, and then ran wildly to Qin Hu's side. Taking a look at the surroundings, he walked back towards the tiger's den. The clouds covering the mountains and forests disappeared, and the scenery that was originally covered was once again presented. The figures of many mutated creatures frequented the mountain forest, allowing Qin Hu to also see the true colors of this mountain forest for the first time. Many various creatures had completely changed their appearance. Instead, it had the appearance of Jurassic Park for a few moments. Qin Hu was somewhat excited. Perhaps conquering such a mountain forest was the best journey. Qin who decided to take some more rest and recuperation, then compel his parents to find a bigger and wider mountain forest, then take over the land and become the ruler of the mountain forest, restoring the glory of the family. The clouds that covered the mountains and forests finally cleared up completely, standing on a high place and looking around. One could see everything. The vast mountain forest wilderness had become even more brittle and green, and many of the trees had undergone great changes, becoming even taller and thicker. Even if some huge mutant creatures walked in the mountains and forests, they looked much smaller compared to these trees. As the clouds dispersed, Qin Hu's mood also became a lot more relaxed. Standing on a high place, he let out a roar, and the sound spread far and wide in all directions. The other three little guys were also equally happy, jumping and running in the surrounding forest, putting down the worries in his heart. Qin Hu felt that this kind of mountain forest is really suitable for them to provide a living environment for such mutated creatures. The six or seven meter giant tiger leaped and ran wildly in the mountain forest, and compared to the huge trees around it, it didn't seem to stand out. The tiger father glanced at the surrounding mountains and forests, his eyes as calm as water. After taking over the care of the children from tiger mom, 
She was also enjoying the rare sunny weather in the mountain forest. The family was enjoying the weather as the clouds were dispersing. Pleasant rattles also continued to emanate from the surrounding mountains, as if all the creatures in the mountains were cheering for the clouds that were obscuring the mountains to disperse, as well as welcoming another new life. After the euphoric mood that lasted for half an hour, the few little ones also finally cleared their heads. Sheen who also lay down on the ground, enjoying the rare sunshine shining on him, the warmth fell on his body, although not for long, but for him it was like a century so long ago. The tiger father was the first to quiet down, quietly lying in front of the tiger's den, looking at the two children who had not yet opened their eyes. Sheen who basked in the sun for a while and stood up when tiger mom returned, greeting the three little ones to gather over. He was also ready to take them to the mountains to have a look and wander around, and bring back some food on the way. After all this time of evolution, they were getting hungry faster, and had to keep eating once a day instead of once every three or five days like before. Roar! After a roar, Sheen who took the lead and rushed into the mountain forest. Without the cover of clouds, their speed was much faster. Sheen who tried it out, his speed was a whole lot faster than before. Without using the assistance of the mysterious energy in his body, relying on the power of his flesh to run alone, he could reach more than a hundred mph. If he added the assistance of the mysterious energy in his body, this speed could be increased by about half again. Calculated in this way, such speed in the mountains and forests thought also ranked. Along the way, there were quite a few small-sized mutated creatures moving around, either crawling or wriggling, making the mountains and forests alive with life. Occasionally, one could also see mutated falcons carrying hundreds of pounds of mutated creatures skimming through the sky, emitting rumbling air friction sounds. All of this attracted the eyes of Chin Hu and his party. The three little ones hadn't seen such a scene either. It was a good thing that the cloud-catalyzed mountain forest was filled with mutant creatures. There just weren't too many targets that fit Chin Hu's taste or size but most of them were also able to lay their hands on as hunting targets. However, after careful consideration, Sheen who felt that it was better to pick those prey that had been hunted before the mutation. After all, there were too many creatures that had mutated in the mountain forest. Perhaps some originally non-toxic creatures mutated and became highly toxic, and some originally edible creatures mutated into inedible ones. The mountains and forests had only been revealed again, and there was still a lot of time and opportunities. So Chin who was not too busy to slowly distinguish them later when he had the time to do so. Roar. Letting out a low roar. Chin who told the three little ones to spread out and look for prey, while also paying attention to safety, before the few of them could get far. A vibrating sensation as well as the sound of humming and puffing came from the mountain forest. Even after the mutation, the habits of this group of wild boars still hadn't undergone any major changes. It was just that after they got bigger in size, the sound they made was even louder. Coupled with the spiky bristles on their bodies, as well as their weight measured in tons, and their habit of living in groups. Even now, when mutated creatures are rampant, there are few creatures that threaten them. This had also developed this group of mutant boars' habit of being even more rampant. However, it also happens to be cheaper for Chin Hu and the others. They don't have to deliberately look for traces of their prey. They send them to the door themselves. The wild boars grunted and panted as they ran through the interlocking mountains and forests, seemingly celebrating the dispersal of the clouds as well. But a group of a dozen or so mutated boars of hundreds or thousands of kilograms ran wildly past, and many trees suffered, without even needing to purposely find a place to ambush. Sheen Hu and the four of them gathered together and charged down towards this group of mutant boars. When they met in the flat area, both waves froze for a moment. Since the mutation, the wild boar group hadn't met such a huge tiger, and Sheen Hu and the others hadn't expected that this group of wild boars would even have no special reaction when they saw them, and they didn't even have the sense to run away. Clueless. However, Sheen who didn't care about that much, aiming at one of the several hundred pounds of mutated wild boar and pounced on it. Seeing this, Xiao Wu Di and the three of them also selected targets from different directions behind them and pounced on them. Until this moment, the wild boar group only had a slight movement. A commotion occurred. The instinct engraved in the body of the wild boar reminded them of the terror of the several giant tigers in front of them. The Qin tigers had long ago pounced to the vicinity of the mutated wild boars, ignoring the terrifying force of their charge. He sidestepped and dodged before slapping down the mutated boars with extreme strength, and then began to control their throats. All actions were completed within a minute or two. After the dust settled, the wild boar herd had also long since run out of sight. The three little guys had combined their efforts to hunt a mutant boar that weighed thousands of pounds, and it was unknown if this one was an adult or not. After combining their efforts to end the wild boar's lifespan, Sheen Hu and the others dragged the food and started walking back. Having harvested food not much farther out of the tiger's den, the mountain forest was getting more and more vibrant now. Moreover, in Chin Hu's opinion, creatures like the mutant wild boar, 
which had a particularly strong reproduction ability even before the mutation, might be a powerful force in the mountain forest, if only they could be integrated together, but that could only be thought about, after all, this stuff tended to be family oriented. More interesting to Qin who were the other surviving northeastern tigers in the mountain forest, they were definitely not the only northeastern tigers in the huge mountain forest, plus, the abundant mutated creatures in the mountain forest provided a constant supply of nutrients, as long as there were sufficient fruits, then was it possible to consider taking in other unmutated northeastern tigers? Sheen who felt that this idea could be something to keep an eye on, after all, as of now, Sheen who hadn't seen any other of his kind, so maybe besides the mutations that had undergone giganticization like theirs, there were other tigers that had found a different chance and evolved with a different result. With this thought, Sheen who dragged the food back to the tiger's den, having just gone out not too far, hunting for food before exploring the mysteries of the mountains and forests also left Sheen whose curiosity unsatisfied. After having breakfast, he was also going to see the different mountain forest after the clouds had cleared. It had to be said that the mountains and forests that had undergone evolution had really changed into another mold. Walking in the mountain forest nowadays, the more Qin who looked at it, the more he felt that it had the appearance of Jurassic Park, and it was even more real and shocking than the world that appeared in the movie. At least the mutant creatures living here were too many to count. After eating and drinking enough, Qin who gave Tiger Data report and ran out in the direction of the mountain forest with the three little ones. Now that there was no more cover, the wildness in Qin whose heart gradually began to be released, compared to the previous mountains and forests, the current forest and wildness was even more enjoyable, full of mystery and desire to explore. Roar, letting out a tiger's roar from his throat, greeting the other three little ones together. Qin who started walking along the tiger's den in all directions. Qin who had considered it, now that their family possessed six giant tigers, both in terms of individual strength and group strength. They were considered to be number one in this forested wilderness. Today, they had only one task, to use the tiger's den as the center, to circle the land to their heart's content, and then mark it out, occupy the land as the king. This was what Qin Hu and the others were going to do at this moment. A trace of excitement flashed through the eyes of the three little ones. In the past, they had only watched their fathers do such things, and now it was their turn to mark their own scent in this mountain forest. Qin Hu led the way and ran at the front. Small mutated creatures that were disturbed constantly ran out of the grass where they passed, and there were even palm-sized mosquitoes, bees, and other small animals. Along the one or two kilometers they sprayed urine to mark the information, following the traditional method of demarcating and announcing the extent of their territory to other creatures. Sheen who didn't know if such an aura could deter the mutant creatures that were also predators, but it was better than doing nothing. In order to be safe, Sheen who did not pull them too far away, separated by a distance of a few hundred meters, if there is anything other people can quickly react and come to take care of it in the first place. Along the way, after circling dozens of kilometers of mountains and forests, Qin who they met the first trouble, it was that piece of Tang Vine forest that made Qin who a little afraid, they didn't seem to be expanding their territory and remained in this area, not moving a bit, standing a few hundred meters away from the Tingnian forest, Qin who clearly saw the traces left by the python in the Tingnian forest before, not long had passed, and these marks were still clear. Until this moment, Qin who realized how horrible the destructive power of the python was, if he didn't plan in advance and led the way, I'm afraid that he might not be able to pull this mutant python as a mat even if he took his own tiger's life. Carefully looked at the traces in the Tingmung forest, Qin who realized that in one corner of the forest there was a huge hole exposed, not far away from a long circular path. Seeing this scene, Qin who had some numbness in his scalp, that giant python isn't even dead? There was some disbelief, but thinking about it seemed to make sense. Since the mutated python hadn't died, at the very least, it had ended up in a lose-lose situation with the main tang vine in the tang vine forest. Thinking about this, Sheen who left a heart, did not leave a mark in this area boundaries of the odor? Anyway, there is this tang vine forest, is equivalent to a natural wall, and even meet the powerful mutant creatures, and then used to do a trap is not impossible. I just don't know if the main tang vine in this tang vine forest has recovered. After observing the surroundings for a while, until the little tiger brother and the three of them arrived, Qin who seriously warned them, after all, the threat of this Tingling forest three little guys also know some, coupled with their brother's serious demeanor, they also kept an eye on this area, bypassing this area, Qin who and the others continued forward to circle the territory, after all, to accommodate six or even more giant tigers to survive, a territory that was small wouldn't be enough to run, although they didn't have to worry too much about food, that northeastern tiger would dislike the size of its territory. With this mindset, Qin Hu and the others continued to circle along the mountain forest in front of them. The whole process wasn't exactly smooth, 
and in the middle, they met some predators with the same idea. In the middle, they met a few mutated leopards as well as a few single mutated lynx, before the two sides could face each other. Chin whose powerful aura scared these predators away with a terrifying roar. However, when they circled to the foot of a mountain peak, they met two mutated grizzly bears, causing Chin Hu and the others to stop in their tracks. Compared to the other mutated creatures, the grizzly bears were not only bigger after this evolution, even their weight and defense were more prominent. It was no longer enough to describe the mutated grizzly bear with thick skin and flesh, especially this mutated grizzly bear that Chin Hu and his team met. Compared to the mutated grizzly bears they had seen before, its size was bigger, and when it stood up, it even reached a height of 7 meters, coupled with its thick fur. It stood vertically in its place just like a small moving mountain. The other grizzly bear was standing on the mountainside, looking at the movements at the foot of the mountain from a distance of several hundred meters, as if it was going to rush down in the next second and beat up Chin Hu in a group. Therefore, when this mutated grizzly bear at the foot of the mountain saw Chin Hu arriving, not only was it not intimidated by his size, instead, it pulled its voice and growled at him, even making provocative noises. Chin Hu was undaunted, and without waiting for the other three little ones to arrive, he charged up himself. After all, occupying the land is the king of this kind of thing. In the middle of the surely inevitably meet such a disobedient predator to rule. One against two. Chin Hu is not afraid. There is a mysterious energy plus. Even if he is injured he can quickly heal. At most it is just a little bit of pain. Moreover, Chin Hu also intended to use the corpses of these mutated creatures to deter those mutated hunters. Letting them know that even though they possessed a taller body size and great strength, these northeast tigers of theirs still had the power to slaughter them. Ow. The mutant grizzly bear let out a somewhat hoarse roar. Its fat and thick paw waved in front of its body and slapped it towards the pouncing Chin tiger. Whistling wind sound resounded in his ears. Chin who lowered his head to dodge the mutant grizzly bear's bare paw and crashed headfirst into the front. Bang on the ground. The grizzly bear got up like a madman and crashed towards Chin who again. Chin who, however, did not give it a chance. The mysterious energy within his body surged out all over his body, converging on the tiger claws of his forelimbs. Under the sunlight, Chin whose tiger claws were actually rendered into the color of gold. In the scratching sound, it very easily broke through the fur of the mutant grizzly bear, and even rolled out a piece of white bear meat out. The mutant grizzly bear did not expect that the thick fur that it was proud of would be broken open by the giant tiger's claw in front of it, and it also brought its serious injuries. After feeling the pain, the mutant grizzly bear looked down and saw that his chest was scratched by the tiger's claws with several deep wounds, and not only was the flesh and fur on top of it brought flying, but at the moment, it was streaming with blood, emitting a bloody odor. A hit, Chin who did not stop, but continued to wander around the mutant grizzly bear. Two tiger claws constantly out, issued a bear sound. Falling on the mutant grizzly bear body is a deep wound, and Chin whose speed is extremely fast. The mutant grizzly bear's attack falls in his eyes seems extremely slow, quickly dodged. After a few minutes, the mutant grizzly bear's body was covered with wounds of different sizes. The other mutant grizzly bear at the mountainside smelled the bloody odor in the air and seeing his companion falling into the wind, was running wildly towards the foot of the mountain, setting off a burst of rolling stones to fall. Sheen who swept a glance, and before the other mutant grizzly bear could arrive, he launched another attack towards the injured grizzly bear with great speed. A bite on the throat, although the mutant grizzly bear's body wounds are similarly stopping the bleeding and rapidly healing, but was bitten off the spine, the same will die, and because of the evolution of the mutation has a more vigorous vitality than the original, so that on the contrary, the death of the more painful, tortured for a longer period of time. Click a sound. Chin who from the back of the mutant grizzly bear press is a bite down. In front of his almost perverted bite force, even metal will be bitten into two pieces by his bite. The mutant grizzly bear fell to the ground, its head hanging to the side without support, its body still maintaining the awareness of attacking, lunging towards Chin who, but it was just futile. Chin who stood aside, looking at the mutant grizzly bear struggling around the ground, there was no intolerance in his eyes. To be merciful to the enemy was to be cruel to oneself. Roar. The next moment, little tiger brother and the three of them also arrived one after another. And before the mutant grizzly bear on the mountainside could run close, the three giant tigers stood in front of Chin who one after another. It had to be said that the mutant grizzly bear's behavior of stopping its footsteps in the midst of running at breakneck speeds made it a bit thankful. One giant tiger was so ferocious, and now three came at once, which made the mutated grizzly bear scared as well regardless of the death or life of its companions. It turned its head towards the mountain peak and ran wildly. The round body, coupled with the three steps and a look back, comical appearance instead filled with a few points of joy. Sheen who did not go forward to continue to chase, 
also did not have the first time the ground is not completely out of breath mutant grizzly bear to kill. Just learn once like, in the mutant grizzly bear next to the spray belonging to the smell of him, leaving this mutant grizzly bear to emit a heavy breathing sound of huffing and puffing, little by little being chased by death. Crossing over the mutant grizzly bear's carcass, Sheen Hu and the others continue to walk forward to encircle more mountains and forests. A few dozen miles of territory could not satisfy Sheen Hu's ambition at the moment, he wanted more. Sheen Hu realized that after experiencing some things, his heart became more determined, and he would not sympathize with some cruel things. Perhaps this was another kind of growth that he had experienced, deterring the enemy while restoring the rule belonging to the Northeast Tiger. For this mountain forest, belonging to the legend of the Northeast Tiger, and once again descended, only this time is no longer belongs to a certain Northeast Tiger's myth, but a group of Northeast Giant Tiger's legend. Perhaps in the near future, Sheen Hu they will once again climb to the top of this mountain forest, sitting back once the throne, once again the king of this vast forest field. Even if there were many mutated and powerful creatures in this mountain forest, so what? It was full of challenges and opponents, which was what Qin Hu found interesting. Occupying the land was far from as simple as Qin Hu thought. Encircling and marking the land was only the first step. In this way, marking more than a hundred kilometers of territory along the mountains and forests had already taken a few giant tigers a whole day's time. In the middle, they even met quite a few powerful mutant creatures, such as mutated brown bears, leopards, musk oxen and other powerful mutated creatures after evolution. Whether in terms of size or strength, they could make many creatures shy away. Relying on the teamwork of several giant tigers, Qin Hu and the others successfully drove away these mutated creatures and completed the initial circling of the territory. More than a hundred kilometers of mountain forests were drawn in a circle, which was also the scope of their initial domination. After all, there were some places in the mountain forest where even if Qin Hu was not weak, there would be a vague uneasiness coming from his heart when he reached where he was. The sixth sense seemed to be alerting him. Qin Hu did not dare to be careless. After all, at present, he had not yet understood the situation of various powerful mutant creatures in the mountains and forests, and rashly intruded into such a forbidden area was still a bit inappropriate. Spending a whole day to determine the territory to the preliminary, Qin Hu will lead the three little guys toward the tiger father to return to the command. After pacifying the tiger mom, the four giant tigers were ready to clean up the threatening mutated creatures within the territory. The larger predators were the first to be cleared. In order to increase efficiency, Tiger Chin and Tiger Dad each set off in one direction, with the three little ones traveling together. In this way, moving in unison from three directions, the efficiency of clearing the mountain forest was greatly increased. Various sounds spread out in this mountain forest. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to describe the mountain forest at this moment with chickens flying and dogs jumping. Various mutant creatures that had never been seen before were also memorized by Qin Hu and the others at this moment. Some of the mutant creatures that were smaller in size, but had stronger attacking power and lived in groups. Qin Hu and the others didn't go to mess with them or pay attention to them. Insect creatures such as mutant ants, mutant bees and so on were spared. If they really wanted to compare, they wouldn't dare to fight with these annoying little guys. Since it was the first time they had done this kind of thing, each of the giant tigers cleaned up very carefully. After all, as long as there were no mutated creatures that threatened them, that was enough. When they met creatures like mutated wild boars and sick a deer in the mountains and forests, Qin Hu and the others would also take a detour to avoid disturbing these future foods and causing them to migrate. It could be said that in order to run the first piece of territory that he had circled with his own hands, Qin Hu's intentions were very meticulous. Papa Tiger had experience before, but it was in ruling a territory. When used to deal with the mountain forest at hand, it might still leave a lot to be desired. The sound of the tiger's whistle resounded and spread through the mountains and forests, heralding the return of the king who ruled over this area in this unclaimed land. The territory of more than a hundred miles was mostly filled with mountains, forests and ranges in the middle, interspersed with a few occasional canyons and lakes, with mountains, water and forests. It could be said that it was very satisfying as a place to settle down. And in this piece of forest, in addition to a few mutant grizzly bears, brown bears, leopards and lynxes, as well as wolves and foxes, there are no other mutant creatures that can threaten the tiger group, but Qin Hu had been worried about things other than these mutated creatures. For example, human beings, mutant pythons and other unorthodox existences. But fortunately, Qin Hu's worries were just worries. After clearing the mountains and forests, many potential threats were cleared by them. This also allowed them to usher in their first period of rest and recuperation. In the first few days of occupying the area, several giant tigers had to patrol along the borderline every day restamping those places where the border had been destroyed. The predators that mistakenly entered the area were driven away, and those that didn't listen to the greetings were directly killed. 
demonstrating their force and adding deterrence. It seemed that everything was back to the way life was before. The rare peace and quiet also gave a few giant tigers time to recuperate their hearts that had been strained for a long time. For several days in a row, Qin who spent his days in great peace and quiet. Every day, apart from watching over the two tiger cubs that had just opened their eyes, he was hunting and eating as much as possible, and then increasing the mysterious energy in his body. The steady feeding for several days in a row allowed Qin Hu to feel a long-lost sense of becoming stronger. As he continued to eat, Qin Hu could feel the binding sensation coming from his body getting stronger and stronger. The enhanced strength in his body seemed to be trapped by an invisible force, unable to let it all out. Even during these few days, Qin Hu invited Tiger Dad as a companion, hoping to see if he could break through the limits of self-evolution through the pressure from the outside world. At the same time, the rare leisure time also allowed Qin Hu to start examining and summarizing the flaws in his evolutionary process. As long as he ate, Qin Hu was able to obtain a steady stream of mystical energy. Only that since the mountain forest had undergone a mutation, the threats had also become more and more dangerous. Qin Hu did not focus his mind on this. After swallowing the fruit produced by the little demon, and after his body's combined speed had increased to a bottleneck, and his strength was enough to cope with the crisis in front of him, Qin Hu also relaxed a bit. If he had just been isolated, such strength would indeed have given him the fundamentals to settle down. But Qin Hu's journey is the entire star ocean. Such strength is far from enough to deal with the danger from the mountains and forests, not to mention the unknown strength of the human beings in this world. Therefore, with his free time, Qin Hu refocused on how to improve his strength. After all, a mutant python was enough to pose a fatal threat to him, and even with the mysterious energy in his body, Qin Hu did not have the absolute strength to fight against the mutant python. Now, the first thing Qin Hu did after waking up every day was to head to the mountains and forests to hunt for meat, and then continuously increase the amount of mystic energy in his body. He didn't know how much meat he needed to accumulate enough power to break the current evolutionary limit, but with every bit of food he ate, the feeling of his body getting tighter and tighter allowed him to find a direction to work towards. After another day of eating round and round, Qin Hu lay down in the clearing to rest, slightly squinting his eyes. His ears listened to the movements coming from the mountains and forests in all directions, and then felt the warmth that continued to spread out from his belly, and a sense of satisfaction flowed from his expression. Little tiger brother and the two siblings, Summer and Autumn, were playing in another place. Today has already toured the edge of the territory, and there is no major problem. As long as they are given some more time to settle down, the strength of the several giant tigers will certainly be enhanced by another cut. The little demon also followed beside Qin Hu, rooted in the corpse of a mutant creature to draw nourishment. The position of the top of the head and coalesced a flower-like small package. What distracted Qin Hu a bit was that lately, the little demon always looked towards the depths of the mountains and forests, as if it was exploring deeper into the mountains and forests. A few times Qin Hu even discovered its eagerness to go to the depths of the mountain forest. However, they were all pacified by Qin Hu. But the more and more strange behavior of the little demon also made the speculation in Qin Hu's heart raise up again. The moon was very bright at night, and the moonlight had taken on a bit of coolness. The mountain wind blew, like the wind of winter, but not so piercingly cold. Qin Hu lay on his back in the clearing, stomping away little tiger brother's hind legs that had just hitched up with one foot, and silently looking at the little demon that was rooted in the dirt. After the clouds dispersed, it didn't seem to affect his ability to absorb these special powers. Having a place to settle down for the time being, Qin Hu also decided to make some adjustments to enhance his strength. Qin Hu raised his head to look at the distant mountains and forests. Everything looked so beautiful under the moonlight. This forest field was where he would end up. Qin Hu knew that this was where he was destined to be in this life. Perhaps after some more time, when he was stronger, he would have to leave this place and enter the deeper mountains and forests to venture out. Living at a snail's pace in this tiny territory was not the life Qin Hu aspired to, although it was stable. It didn't have the goal he was pursuing. The little demon's body swayed a little slightly as the mountain wind blew. Nowadays, the little demon was a trump card in Qin Hu's hand. Perhaps if he swallowed another fruit that it had condensed, he would be able to immediately break the evolutionary shackles of his body at the moment. But condensing several fruits in a short period of time, even though there were mutated creatures providing huge nutrients, it also made the little demon a bit exhausted. This made Qin Hu dismiss the idea. Anyway, Constantly eating was able to increase its strength. Eat more, perhaps it wouldn't take long for Qin Hu to be able to break through the evolutionary shackles. Huge head lying on the ground. Qin Hu pondered over the current situation in front of him. Do not have to worry about food and the threat from humans. Right now the most puzzling instead is the threat from the mountains and forests. After all, after the mutation and evolution, there were quite a few mutated creatures living in this area. And the place Qin Hu and his team were in could only be considered the fringe of this vast forest field. 
although they had now circled a territory. This territory, for tiger parents, was indeed enough for them to live their lives peacefully. Plus nowadays, most of the creatures had mutated, and there were more types of food that could provide them with food. Therefore, the food sources here were also very sufficient. Moreover, apart from individual powerful mutated creatures that could threaten their safety, they could almost look down on the mountains and forests with pride. At least, so far, apart from that mutated python, Sheen who hadn't seen any creature that could kill a giant tiger of their size. This mountain forest was left for tiger parents, and perhaps summer and autumn could be fostered here as well. Anyway, the tiger parents would definitely not drive away little tiger brother, their own son, together with Xia and Xiao, the three little ones cooperating together. Hunting most of the mutated creatures to fill up their stomachs would not be a problem. When they grow up for a year and a half in this quiet territory, after their minds and strengths become more mature and powerful, they might be more helpful to Qin Hu. As for Qin Hu himself, he felt that his path lay in the mountains and forests. Stronger mutated creatures and more exciting and varied experiences were the life Qin Hu aspired to. Ha dash. Tilting his head back, he yawned as a wave of sleepiness hit his entire body. Shortly afterward, in the open clearing mountain, several giant tigers let out grunts, one after the other, spreading in an endless stream towards the mountains and forests. In the surroundings, there were other mutated creatures walking among the mountains and forests foraging for food, but they all consciously avoided this area. A new order and hierarchy was being established in the mountains and forests, and all the mutant creatures understood this, and followed their bodies' instinctive warnings of danger to recognize and adapt to this new order. The night was silent. By the time dawn broke, Sheen who was awakened by the bite of his little tiger brother. After the days had calmed down, the little guy's mischievous character came to the fore again, even so big size, still in front of Qin Hu naughty provocation. Qin Hu is his game object and imaginary enemy. Perhaps it was the waking up spirit, or perhaps it was bitten by little tiger D that hurt. Qin Hu took advantage of the little tiger brother is not paying attention. Raised the tiger paw as a slap. Will he slap far away from himself? Looking around, tiger father and tiger mother also came out. Apart from not seeing little demon's figure, the other members were all making lazy movements. Getting up and searching for a while, Sheen who found the little demon's figure near the edge of the tiger's den. Looking ahead with his two leaves hanging low, he acted a bit listless. Sheen who didn't know if this guy was homesick or what, always staring in the direction of the deeper mountain forests and getting more and more eager. However, right now Sheen who didn't have the idea of heading towards the mountain forest, so he could only keep comforting the little demon's emotions. Goo goo. Between wandering, a loud sound came from Sheen whose belly. The feeling of hunger started to reach his brain from his stomach again slowly spreading throughout his body. Sheen who now had to eat more food every day. In addition to securing his daily needs, he was more interested in growing his strength as much as possible. He could feel the binding of his strength within his body. And at the same time, he also understood that he had now reached a bottleneck. But Sheen who was not in a hurry. It would only be his first birthday in a few days. So staying for a while longer. Adapting and polishing his current body and strength was the best way to improve his overall strength. Roar letting out a tiger whistle to summon the three little ones. Sheen who was ready to take them to the mountains and forests to hunt again, while adapting to the life in the mountains and forests, it would also further unite the teamwork ability of the three little ones he had. Today's mountain forest was no different from yesterday's. The air was still fresh. Stepping over the stream, Sheen who began to head towards the center of the territory. In the past few days, they had long since mapped out the mutated creatures living in this territory. Apart from the mutant sick a deer herd in Munchak, Hares and a family of mutant musk oxen and mutant moose. The most numerous was the mutant wild boar. The size of the body varies, but the number is hundreds of them, distributed into a dozen groups, living in all corners of this territory. This was also one of the main sources of food for Qin Hu and the others. After all, the mutated boar's meat was much less fishy than before, and even tasted a bit more fragrant, and had become their family's favorite hunting object. Today was no exception. Qin Hu intended to bring back two mutated wild boars. As long as they weighed more than a ton, it would be enough for their family to eat for several days. Moreover, the mutated boar's reproduction ability was stronger than before, so even if they hunted every other day, they were not afraid that they would exterminate their family. After all, outside of this territory, the number of mutated boars was only a little more. Still Qin who acted alone, and the three little ones walked together. Finding the mutant boars wasn't difficult. Searching for odors and traces, the four tigers quickly found the place where they were foraging. A dozen of dark mutant boars wagged their tails and lowered their heads as they searched for food, not at all worried about the coveting of other predators. After all, there weren't many predators in this mountain forest that could use them as food. Ka Ching, 
After biting off the ribs in front of the mutated boar's chest cavity in one bite and then eating the delicious food that wasn't stained with blood, Sheen who felt somewhat satisfied, the mysterious energy in his body was still growing as he ate, and there was a little more of it. The original group of mutated wild boars was first hunted by Chin Hu, and during the escape process, another one was hunted by the three little guys who had already ambushed them, and the rest had long since run out of shadow. Because of the smell of blood, a circle of small creatures waiting to clean up the mess surrounded the mountain forest. Chin Hu glanced this way, then didn't do much to focus or evict them. A mutant boar that weighed more than a meal was enough for Chin Hu to eat and still have a lot left over. Soon after, the three little guys dragged the mutant boar they had hunted, then made noises and slowly leaned over towards the location of the food. Chin who had already eaten almost all of it, leaving the rest for them to use as food, and then bringing back the food they had hunted, which was good. After eating his fill, Chin who wasn't idle either, standing in the surrounding locations to give the three feeding little ones a guard. Although there were no other large creatures in this area, there were still a lot of small mutated creatures around that were ready to get something for nothing. Scanning around, Chin who discovered something different, fixing his eyes on it, a spotted big cat was currently crouching behind a tree not far away, quietly watching this place, Chin who confirmed that this was another unmutated northeastern tiger, and from his current perspective, it truly looked like a spotted big cat, he walked towards this unmutated one of his kind, and perhaps because it was in the way of Chin who's size and aura, the unmutated northeastern tiger fled with almost no hesitation, Chin who glanced at it, then chased after it in the direction the northeastern tiger had left, not far into the mountain forest, Chin who saw the northeastern tiger that was galloping wildly through the forest, it was fast, but compared to Chin who's speed, it was too slow, so much so that he was able to catch up easily, Chin who chased after it along the mountains and forests, it didn't take long, and it easily leapt to the front of the northeastern tiger's escape, cutting off the way forward, roar, a clear tiger's roar came out as it was doing its best to show its threat, but to Chin who, they were all futile. Surveying this unmutated northeastern tiger, Chin who felt very normal. The difference in size was not too big with the unmutated northeastern tiger. Its age was probably just over two years old, just coming of age, and it was a male tiger. It hadn't had very many days, and the ribs on both sides were clearly visible protruding out. Thinking about it differently was also true. If it could have a stable food source, I'm afraid it wouldn't be waiting in the mountains and forests to eat the leftover scraps of other creatures. Chin who wondered if all the northeast tigers other than them did not undergo evolutionary mutation, or if there was something special about this male tiger in front of him, underneath the trembling body of the male tiger, Chin who carefully observed and then pondered for a while, not doing anything to it, and this male tiger in front of him also similarly gazed at the northeast tiger in front of him that had intercepted its way and was suspected to be of the same kind, but it hadn't seen such a huge one of its kind, and it gave it an oppressive feeling that made it hard to breathe, the Chin tiger quickly lost interest then tentatively let out a tiger whistle at this male tiger, signaling it to follow him, twisting his head to look at Chin Hu suspiciously. In the midst of hesitation, this male tiger still understood and followed Chin Hu's lead, returning to the place where he hunted before. The three little ones were still eating. Chin Hu walked in, then tore off a piece of meat from the mutated boar and walked over. Snap! With a sound, he placed the meat in front of the male tiger. Then Chin Hu turned around and left. Xiong Hu looked at the scented mutant boar meat with some disbelief. However, driven by food, hunger eventually overcame reason. Dragging this huge piece of wild boar meat, Xiong Hu headed towards the mountain forest with some joy. Returning to his original spot, Qin Hu watched the male tiger's departure. He was a bit surprised. Was this male tiger an exception or was it a common occurrence? Previously, when circling the mountain forest, as well as inspecting the mountain forest, he did not find the existence of this unmutated male tiger thinking that it was only recently that it had intruded into this mountain forest of theirs from somewhere else. Sheen who felt that he could keep an eye out to see what the reason was. An hour and a half later, the three little ones had also finished devouring the remaining wild boar meat, their bellies bulging in round. Sheen who greeted them to come over and himself bit into another mutated wild boar of more than 600 pounds and rushed towards the location of the tiger's den. In the following days, when Sheen who came out to hunt, he intentionally or unintentionally moved around this area. When he saw the familiar figure that was as petite as a big cat again, he would also send a piece of food or let the three little ones finish eating and leave some portion that was enough for it to eat. For half a month in a row, Sheen who had seen that male tiger a total of four or five times, the most recent time he saw it, Sheen who realized that something was wrong. The male tiger's size seemed to have changed, becoming much larger. The body length had reached about 2 meters and 560, an increase of 50 to 60 centimeters from the first time Sheen who had seen it. Not only that, the male tiger's physique was also somewhat rounded, 
and the tiger's claws and teeth had also changed. For this reason, Sheen who also spent a day tracking and observing it, and found that this male tiger was already able to rely on its own strength to hunt some small mutated creatures. After thinking for a moment, Sheen who felt that this middle might have something to do with the mutated boar meat that he had sent out. After all, after eating those meats, he could clearly feel the increase of mysterious energy in his body, and the size of the other three little guys was also slowly increasing, although not obviously, but it was indeed improving. Moreover, after almost a month of settling down, Sheen who felt that the binding power in his body had almost reached its peak. For this reason, Sheen who also prepared a large amount of meat to hoard, hoping to eat enough meat at once to allow himself to break through his current limit. However, such a method did not succeed, the mysterious energy in his body was still growing, but that binding force was not changing anymore. This time, Sheen who failed. He originally thought that with enough meat provided, he would be able to rely on the mysterious energy in his body to break the bondage and achieve a new evolutionary mutation. Unfortunately, the reality was not as smooth as he had imagined. Although the other family members didn't know what Chin Hu was doing, they could all feel a sense of pressure breaking coming from him in recent times, especially Tiger's father. He even occasionally felt the premonition of danger in Chin Hu. Chin Hu understood that perhaps it was time for him to leave and head deeper into the mountains to find more opportunities to break the bottleneck of evolution within his body, coupled with little demons growing desire. Sheen who also decided that he would leave tiger parent and tiger mom and head to the deeper mountain forests to venture out. On the one hand, he was looking for a way to break the shackles of evolution within his body, and on the other hand, he also brought the little demon along with him to fulfill its request and see a more splendid world. The wind blowing in the mountains and forests was slightly cool, but it was very comfortable when it fell on the body. Sheen who stopped at the bottom of a forest and raised his head to sniff the air in the mountain forest before turning around and continuing in the direction of the north. The second day after he left the tiger's den, after having no hope of breaking through his current bottleneck, Sheen who had planned to leave the team to venture out on his own. Perhaps there was something as magical as the fruit condensed by the little demon in the mountain forest further north that could help him break the current evolutionary shackles. There was nothing unusual to be found in the air of the mountain forest ahead, other than the dirt and moist air. It was the various dimensional odors emanating from the animals. By now, Sheen who was able to distinguish the subtle odors in the air. After leaving the tiger's den and tiger parents, Sheen who became more cautious. This period of time had made Sheen who a little more dependent, comparing it to having the help of other tigers. A lot of the time it was a little easier. Now that he had to venture out on his own, Sheen who instead became more cautious. Survival game in the mountain forest continues every moment. In addition to not having the animals at the beginning of the mutation of that good grueling, most of the creatures have to rely on the more grueling killings in order to obtain the right to survive. Sheen who indifferently looked at all the bloody scenes happening in front of him. Right now, his heart was already considered strong. After resting for a small amount of time under a dozens of meters high tree and finding some water sources to replenish, Sheen who continued on his way with the little demon. Along the way, there were mutated creatures hunting. The object was a mutated hare. Sheen who just glanced at it and then stopped paying attention. Such a small prey was not enough for him to swallow in one bite. Perhaps it was the smell of blood here that attracted other creatures and not long after that, dense rattles resounded all around. The surrounding vegetation shook, and it looked like many mutated creatures were gathering towards this place. The predator hadn't yet caught its breath, and at that moment it couldn't wait to bite the prey that came to it and run away. Sheen who turned around and walked along the stream, the little demon stuck to the fur on his back, swaying in the wind. The deeper he went into the mountain forest in the north, Sheen who realized that the vegetation here became more and more exuberant. Even the moss on the rocks had grown into lawns of 20 to 30 centimeters. Other weeds grew even more exuberantly. Some of them even reached a height of 1 or 2 meters. Walking in them had the illusion of being in a sea of grass. Who? A mouthful of thick air blew away the wet fog in front of him. And the continuous forest and wild then appeared. With Chin whose body type at the moment. He couldn't even see the end of the mountain forest. Every tree here appeared even taller. Even taller and denser than the primitive forests of South America that Chin who had seen in the documentary in his previous life. Of course, being in the middle of such a forest also made some of the original low-lying places turn into rivers. And the river was not narrow. It was 30 to 40 meters wide. Occasionally there were dozens of pounds of big fish leaping out of the water. Splashing a splash and then falling down. What made Chin who feel even more surprised was that the appearance of these big fish looked a bit unusual. With their sharp teeth exposed, they looked extraordinarily hideous. After the creek merged into the big river, Sheen who still walked along the river bank, the area on both sides of the river was relatively wider, and the view was also good, so apart from paying attention to the dangers from the water, there was almost no need to be afraid of ambushes from mutated creatures on both sides of the river, 
The vegetation and environment here was already quite different from the area Qin who had lived in before, but it was still perverse. Not only was there no winter snow, but it was more like the summer rainy season. Pa! While Qin who was advancing, a large fish over a meter long crossed the surface of the water and pulled a flying bird that was skimming low over the surface of the water in one bite. As the water rippled, the flying bird fluttered in the water for a few times before failing to rise up in the air, and not long after the red blood spread out on the river surface, the surrounding water surface continuously issued a clattering sound, and then a dozen of fish whose size difference was not very big scrambled to gather to grab food. The scene was just like the picture of a group of crocodiles scrambling for food after a crocodile had captured its prey. Seeing this, Qin who subconsciously away from the water a few points. No one knows what kind of mutant fish is hidden under the surface of the river. It was important to remain cautious of the unknown in order not to get himself into trouble. Qin who remained vigilant as he walked forward. He didn't have a fixed target, so he just wandered around in the mountains and forests to move forward. Perhaps he also wanted to take his chances. After all, the forest was big and everything was there. When he walked to the evening, the sun was already setting fast. Qin who planned to find a safe place around to spend the night. Yesterday was the day he didn't find a good place to stay, causing him to be drenched by the sudden rainstorm that fell during the night. Leaving the river, Qin who wandered around looking for a place where he could shelter from the wind and rain. Most of the trees here were tall, but with straight trunks, the canopy wasn't much bigger. Coupled with the dark clouds overhead and the unusually humid air, Qin who guessed that there would be another sudden downpour tonight, his quickly looked for a place to land. Without realizing it, Qin who walked towards the mountain forest. The surroundings have also changed significantly. The trees are tall but the canopy is small. Occasionally there are flying birds leaping between the trees. The vegetation and also the moss on the rocks were also inhabited by ping pong ball sized creatures. Qin who couldn't recognize what kind of species it was. Mutant squirrels jumped and scurried between the trunks of the trees, occasionally gazing down at the passing Qin who and letting out strange cries of TSK, TSK, TSK. It was still really quite different. As night fell, Qin who arrived under a mountain range, surrounded by scattered trees that still grew, with a relatively large canopy that could also be used as a perch. Qin who looked around and it was okay. At least the surrounding area was wide and there was no danger of being sneak attacked or ambushed. Those rocks at the back can also be used as a place to block the rain. Only the space is a little small. Really want to use this place. Qin who must also shrink some body size to be able to. Finding a mossy rock to get down. Qin who felt like lying on the carpet. Simply rest. When the sun set. Qin who left this temporary landing place. After walking for a whole day. Qin who was also hungry. And he was going to take the little demon to the mountain forest to find some food to replenish his strength. However, most of the mountain forests at night were filled with dangers, especially being in this unfamiliar place. Due to his unfamiliarity with the environment, Qin who took a lot of time to find some traces of prey. Following forward, he didn't find any prey, but instead, he saw an unusual tree. This one was a birch tree similar to a Christmas tree. Only in the dimly lit mountain forest, its trees were emitting a bit of fluorescence. Ordinary a tree that had been hung with colored lights. The lights attracted the mutant flying insects around. Qin who slowed down his steps. The reasoning that there must be a demon when things go wrong was not lost on him. Moreover, under the trees ahead, Qin who also smelled the scent of blood. However, the little demon following Qin who was acting a bit agitated at the moment. Constantly patting Qin who's back with his two leaves. Trying to make him continue to walk forward and get closer to the glowing tree. After thinking about it, Qin who still plopped down at the same spot quietly and silently observing. Comparatively, he was unfamiliar with the situation, and it was always unsafe to act rashly. The sound of animals walking came from all around. Holding a curious mind, Qin who shrunk his body to Nestle in a grassy area, hiding his body completely, leaving only a gap with a wide field of vision out. The trees that emitted light and glitter had changed greatly at this moment. Looking bright, occasionally, there were basketball-sized mutant flying insects approaching, landing on the branches and leaves of the tree trunks seemingly sucking on some delicious liquid, not far away in the low altitude. A large swarm of densely packed mutant flying insects flew towards the light in a swarm. Qin who just raised his head to look at it, and then when he looked back, the mutant flying insect that had originally landed on the trees had already disappeared, and when he looked more closely, it had now landed on all fours under the trees. Perhaps it was because it sensed that there was a large group of mutant flying insects approaching in the distance. The size of this tree seemed to have increased a little more. The crown of the tree was even bigger, while a strange odor, if any, emanated out. Qin who found it a bit choking, but the mutant flying insects were eager for it. The mutant flying insects came in groups, densely landing around the luminous tree, sucking the liquid on the branches to their heart's content. Not long after, 
The sound of swish 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 broke through the air, and those mutant flying insects that came over were like dumplings that fell to the ground, sensing that the time was ripe. The luminous tree gradually gathered its crown, then swayed its branches and leaves, and a little bit of dewdrops as dense as rain fell down, landing on the paralyzed mutant flying insects below. The sound of the overlooking was bared, accompanied by a disgusting odor rising up. The mutant flying insects below had already disappeared. The mutant flying insects that had been overlooked on the grass had been cleaned up. Not even a single bone crumb was left behind. The glowing tree then returned to its original state, emitting a targeted odor to attract the mutant flying insects to the area. Sheen who became more alert in his heart, secretly admonishing himself. Such bizarre phenomena in the mountains and forests were much more prevalent and dangerous. And if one wasn't careful, one could become food and sustenance for these mutated creatures. The little demon was lying on Sheen Hu's head, and seeing the glowing tree hunting, it didn't act as anxious as it did just now. There should be something present underneath that tree, and it was still something that was useful to plant like mutant creatures, but not clear about the strength of this luminous tree, as well as jealous of the luminous tree's liquid that can paralyze creatures. Sheen Hu did not dare to force his way. After observing around for a while longer, the luminescent tree used the same way to capture hundreds of mutant flying insects before and after. And then the brightness of the tree trunk began to dim, not much different from the ordinary trees around. Sheen who thought about it, there was still no need to cause more trouble, comforting the little demon. He was ready to continue hunting to go. Only the mountain forest is dangerous. Sheen who is not as casual as before, although his strength is not weak. But this forest has too many strange mutant creatures, one carelessness may suffer. At this time, Sheen who couldn't help but miss Xiao Hu Di and the others. Teamwork was still very important. However, these dangers were not difficult for Qin Hu. In the mountains and forests, as long as one pays more attention, safety can still be guaranteed. Avoiding this area, Qin Hu searched for the smell in the air and followed up. At night, the mountain forest was still quite lively, and there were still many animals that liked to forage at night, most of which were mutated hares or mutated rats and the like. Qin Hu jumped off the rock and followed a remote mountain path into the forest. The birds perched overhead were startled by the noise Qin Hu made and fluttered their wings to fly away. Looking up, Sheen who dropped his gaze back to the grass in front of him, the surrounding terrain was somewhat wide, a hillside, covered with grass and moss, which withered and then grew back, much more vigorous, many hairs hadn't changed much after the mutation, and still fed on plant roots and young leaves, and some mutated rats also followed them, occasionally also preying on palm-sized mutated insects in the grass, a dozen or so dozens of pounds of mutant rabbits scattered around the foraging, Sheen who has locked them, whoosh sound, Limbs burst out of a powerful force, launched a swift surprise attack. Although the mutant hare reacted quickly, Qin whose tiger paw and tiger's mouth had already acted. After biting the fluffy tail of a mutant hare, slapping down the front limbs and holding one down, and sending them to their deaths in a very short period of time, Qin who chased the escaping mutant hares around. Although those mutant rats were about the same size as the mutant hares, Qin who did not have the heart to hunt them, and generously let them go. After working for seven to eight minutes and spoiling a lot of plants, Sheen who harvested five mutant hares, close to more than 200 pounds of meat, which was enough for him to pat his stomach, setting aside a mutant hare and tossing it to the little demon. Sheen who then devoured it and ate in place. If the bloody odor here attracted other hunters, perhaps Sheen who would be able to harvest another wave of supplies. As a result, there were predators that arrived smelling the bloody odor, but before they got close, they ran away when they saw Sheen who eating from afar. Sheen who had no choice but to finish eating the last mutated hare. Wipe off the residual rabbit fur at the corner of his mouth, and bring along little demon to prepare to return to the habitat. On the way back, the clouds became denser, and even the moonlight was blocked. The mountain forest instantly darkened. Rumble. The clouds in the sky flashed with purple light, followed by a deafening sound that resounded throughout the entire mountain forest. It was about to rain, so Chin who accelerated his speed, passing by the location of the original blowing tree, he stole a glance and realized that nothing had changed. It still looked ordinary. Chin who ignored it and turned around to run towards the landing place. Ta! A soybean-sized raindrop hit the tip of Chin who's nose, followed by a clattering sound in the sky. Although he was drenched in some rain, it was good that it wasn't much. Gathering his body, Chin who hid under the rocks to avoid the rain, lying on his back in a dry place. Chin who looked at the mountains and forests below and wondered how all those mutated creatures lived in such weather. The sound of thunder was accompanied by the swish of the rain. And after watching the rain for a while, Sheen who actually felt a little sleepy, the little demon, perhaps frightened by the terrifying thunder in its head, nestled tightly in Sheen who's arms, humanely covering its two leaves and not moving a muscle, Sheen who mic'd up his eyes, ready to submit to the arrangement of sleepiness, 
Rumble. Another bright light flashed by in the sky, but Qin Hu sensed a huge crisis approaching. This made him say instantly sleepy. By the light of the lightning, Qin Hu saw a dark shadow pacing forward in the mountains and forests. Seemingly noticing something, the black shadow glanced Qin Hu's way. It was just a glance, but Qin Hu felt that all the hairs of his body stood straight up. His scalp was numb, and his whole body was as stiff as an out-of-body soul. Fortunately, that black shadow just looked at a glance. Scarlet eyes retracted after also disappeared in the mountains and forests. It was only after a long time that Qin Hu came back to his senses. Panting heavily, braving the heavy rain, Qin Hu catapulted himself forward to do some exploring. In the mountain forest, a mud pit two to three meters in diameter was filled with rainwater. Qin Hu's mind was shaken. How big must this be? The bare feet were two to three meters big. At this moment, an emotion of insignificance and fear rose in Qin Hu's heart. He still knew too little about the mutated mountain forest. The rain had stopped. Instead, the air became fresher and the mountains and forests became more vibrant. After this torrential rain, many places had accumulated rainwater, forming ponds and swamps of different sizes. This is no longer strange. Having seen the ferocious creatures in the dark night storm, Qin Hu didn't dare to stay too long in this place and departed immediately after the rain stopped. This place was too frightening. Qin Hu could feel that all the animals in the mountains and forests were still continuing to evolve, and even if the clouds dispersed, it only slowed down their rate of evolution. As long as they plundered the evolutionary power accumulated within the bodies of other creatures, the other creatures were also able to continue to grow stronger. But Qin Hu himself had reached an evolutionary bottleneck, and I'm afraid that his strength wouldn't grow much until he broke this shackle. This might have something to do with the fact that he had once devoured the fruit condensed by the little demon, and suddenly and quickly gained a large amount of evolutionary power, leading to some problems in his body. Perhaps something that could help him existed in the depths of the mountain forest. Moreover, after walking some places, Qin Hu also realized that every other place in this mountain forest, some creatures of superb size and strength would always appear, like the mutated python that he met before, and the ferocious beasts that had left behind a blurry figure last night. They were like overlords patrolling their territory, looking down on some creatures. This was somewhat similar to the northeastern tigers that ruled the territory before the mutation, both being existences at the top of the strength of a territory. Crossing over the mountains and forests, Qin Hu subconsciously stayed away from those places where the water was deep. Their evolution, which had started long ago, was one step ahead of all the plants and animals on the grassland, and was naturally a bit faster. Qin Hu has confidence in himself, even if he meets a mutant creature with overwhelming strength, he will not be afraid, but instead, he has more goals in his mind. Evolution, is also a kind of selection process, Qin Hu believes that he will not be weaker than those who are now at the top of the beast. Walking through the low-lying area with a lot of stagnant water, Qin Hu began to walk along the mountain forest towards the slope. The gullies washed out by the torrential rain were just right for Qin Hu to hurry. Jumping and running freely between the mountains and forests gave him an extra touch of ease. After walking not too far, Qin smelled the odor of decay in the air in front of him. After slowing down his steps and moving forward vigilantly for some distance, Qin Hu saw what was ahead of him. An 8 or 9 meter long mutated giant snake was lying horizontally in the mountains and forests its body bulging and broken into two sections, emitting a rotten smell, in which the head and tail had traces of being gnawed by huge teeth marks. After observing the surroundings and finding no potential danger, Qin Hu quietly approached towards the mutant giant snake's corpse. Enduring the pungent odor of decay, Qin Hu carefully looked at the mutant giant snake. Looking through the gaping hole in the belly of the corpse, inside was a mutated boar that hadn't been digested yet, swallowed whole. There were no other fatal injuries on the giant snake's corpse. Instead, there were breaks at the abdominal muscles, and there were many messy footprints on the dirt around it. This indicated that after this giant snake swallowed this mutant boar, its huge bloated body could only lie still and digest in place before it was discovered by other predators, who killed it before it could spit out the mutant boar to save its life. Perhaps the giant snake could never have imagined that there were such unreasonable contraptions in this mountain forest. From the beginning to the end, this mutated giant snake had probably died not more than a few days ago, and the corpse was only emitting a rotting odor and hadn't decayed further. There were many large and small mouths on the giant snake's corpse. Most of them were gnawed. The most obvious one was the 7-inch position. A conspicuous hole was here, and there was dried blood on the ground. The snake gallbladder was gone and the body was not eaten, which made Qin who suspect that the predator was rushing to the giant snake's gallbladder. Previously, Qin who also suspected that some parts of the bodies of some mutated creatures had coalesced a large amount of evolutionary power. And perhaps there were also animals that had discovered it and had started hunting other animals to obtain the evolutionary power. This was the same reason why Qin who could increase the mysterious energy in his body by devouring other mutated creatures. 
The organisms contained the power of evolution within their bodies. Sheen who stared at the corpse of the giant snake on the ground, out of his mind for a while, then had some thoughts. Right during this gap, the small demon that was originally lying on Sheen whose body slid down sharply, and then cleanly came to the giant snake's corpse, skillfully stretching its roots towards the surrounding gaps in the flesh and blood. The huge nutrients contained in the giant snake's body made the little demon enjoy it somewhat. Sheen who didn't stop it, quietly guarding from the side, occasionally paying attention to the surroundings. The fruit on top of the little demon's head solidified a few more points. After an hour or so, the huge body of the giant snake began to collapse, gradually losing its support and turning into a puddle of mud-like existence. Shaking himself off, the little demon walked towards Chin whose position again, having absorbed such a huge amount of nutrients. Its demeanor was much more spirited again. Chin who took the little demon with him and continued to set off, coming to a cliff hill on higher ground as they looked down at the flat and vast forest field ahead. He had a premonition that a more exciting world might appear in the mountains and forests ahead. Pfffff. The sound of wind skimmed past his ears as Chin who ran extremely fast through the Frank Mountain Forest. After entering this forest field, Chin who realized how flat and vast the area of this was. The environment of this place was unfamiliar, and Chin had never touched this area before. Like other forests, the trees here were taller and straighter, and on the ground below the woods, there was no longer lush vegetation. But instead, there were many more unknown fungi and many birds were stationed in the trees overhead, emitting a thousand strange chirps, which seemed to be a lot more lively than any other place, more let Chin who feel magical thing, marching process he suddenly smelled a fragrance, view only to find that the smell is more than 300 meters ahead of the tree, a radish sized mountain ginseng issued, Chin who walked to the plant in front of the ginseng, looked around the circle, the size of the white radish head let him some surprise, asked the mountain ginseng emitted out of the fragrance, Sheen who confirmed that this plant may also often over the mutation, just do not know whether it can still be eaten now. After thinking about it, Sheen who still planed the mutated mountain ginseng out from the soil, and ignoring the residual soil on it, he gently bit into it, and then began to chew up the fresh mountain ginseng. The moment he entered the mouth, Sheen who felt like eating a peach, only it was not right, it was especially soft and rotten. The mountain ginseng crumbled as soon as his tongue was rolled, he didn't need to chew at all. Chin who realized that this mutated mountain ginseng was also particularly juicy and also very tasty, and was eating it with great relish when a warm current in his body quickly sprang up, like a rushing wave that came with great force, Chin whose eyes were round, after eating the entire strain of mutant mountain ginseng, he found that the evolutionary shackles binding him seemed to have loosened a bit under the impact of this force, but not enough to break the confinement, this discovery made him ecstatic, moreover, after devouring it, Chin who also discovered that the evolutionary power contained in this mutant mountain ginseng was comparable to the amount Chin who had accumulated from devouring 20 mutant boars and a bit more. Ka, ka. As the mutant mountain ginseng transformed into majestic energy within Chin whose body, a light sound came from the bones of his entire body, accompanied by a sharp pain as if it was knocking the bones and digging the marrow out of his body, causing him to roll on the ground in pain. Immediately, his body changed again, his bones began to elongate and extend again. The sharp claws of his limbs were also slowly getting bigger and longer, and the hair all over his body also fluffed up and grew a bit longer in an instant. The entire ordeal lasted for half an hour, making Chin who somewhat unable to hold on. When the pain dissipated, Chin who felt refreshed, bulging the muscles and strength of the whole body, although the evolutionary shackle was still there, but it was torn open a little bit, not unbreakable. This made Chin who overjoyed. Originally thought that it would take a long time to find a strange encounter to break the evolutionary yoke in his body, but didn't expect to have the result so soon. Sheen who shook his body, shook off the molted hair, and then carefully surveyed the body that had undergone subtle changes. First of all, in terms of body size, a strain of mutant mountain ginseng had allowed Sheen whose body size to evolve bigger and stronger. Although it looked a bit skinny and only had a bony frame, it had also reached about 7 or 8 meters, almost on par with Tiger Dad's body size muscle and fat-wise as long as there was enough food, making up for it was no big deal. Next was the weight aspect. The change in bones allowed Chin whose weight to increase abruptly. A single footstep on the dirt could leave a large footprint over two dozen centimeters deep. At the same time, the change in size also made Chin whose field of vision change. And when he looked at the scenery around him, it was a bit smaller. Speed and strength also improved by a large margin. As long as the muscles and fat make up for it, Chin who is also considered a small bully in this forest and wild. After running and jumping in the surrounding mountains and forests and adapting to his changed body and strength, Sheen who was ready to hunt to make up for his size, with his current size and momentum, even those large predators met, but also have to be treated with caution. 
Maybe the less courageous directly fled from the scene may also be possible. This time is considered a small evolution. But the most exciting thing for Jean who is the discovery of a solution to the evolutionary shackles in his body. In the process of hunting in the mountain forest, Jean who also began to consciously or unconsciously pay attention to whether there are other traces of mutant mountain ginseng. After all, he had looked for a lot of this stuff to chew and swallow before he had evolved and mutated. After searching a whole mountain forest and finding traces of prey and no traces of mutant ginseng, Jean who decided to hunt first. After evolving, his body lacked energy severely, and most of the accumulated energy was used to transform the bones of his entire body. Luckily, Jean who met another group of mutated boars. This thing was currently considered the most common prey in the mountains and forests. Jean who didn't hesitate. His huge mountain-like body rushed out like a swift wind. Seeing this scene, the leading group of mutant boars didn't dare to delay for a moment, immediately scattering in all directions and fleeing for their lives. However, their large and heavy bodies destined them to have a hard time escaping Chin Hu's pursuit. An adult mutant boar was pounced on by Chin Hu, making a dull crash. The collision of the two behemoths was destined to end impossibly calmly. After resolving a mutant boar, Chin Hu quickly scanned the surrounding mountains and forests, following the direction of the swaying trees and chased after it again. Just like this nakedly leaving the hunted food where it was, not afraid of other hunters coming to fight for it. Chin Hu's speed is extremely fast, and there is no feeling of being overwhelmed. Jumping and speeding through the mountains and forests, Sheen Hu, on the contrary, had an unprecedented feeling of enjoyment. The forest passages were covered by huge trees and appeared to be a bit narrow, and Sheen Hu jumped nimbly, avoiding these places. His speed was not affected, and soon caught up with an adult boar. Sheen Hu did not have the slightest hesitation, immediately pounced on, as swift as the wind, as heavy as a mountain. Mutant boar hissed in panic and made a mess, was blocking the escape back road. Coupled with Jean whose huge body and ferocious aura, gave this mutant boar great pressure. Even the resistance of the mind are not, only want to escape. Jean who did not give a chance, straight toward the mutant boar's throat. After the evolution of the sharp claws more long and sharp, effortlessly pierced into the mutant boar's flesh and fat, catching the powerful impact. Jean who limbs force, will mutant boar huge body twisted fall on the ground, at the same time a jump flip, tiger mouth steadily biting the throat part. Ho ho. The suppressed and unsmooth breathing made the mutant boar let out a ho ho sound. Sheen who bit down dead center and kept adding strength. In less than a minute, the mutant boar's limbs lost all strength to struggle. Sheen who easily will this more than a thousand pounds of mutant boar gripped to the direction of the previous prey rush. The bloody odor still attracted some mutant creatures. When Sheen who arrived, some mutated birds and small predators were nibbling on the boar, and they were all blown away by the airwaves generated by Sheen whose tiger whistle. Now, there were not many predators that could make Chin Hu feel fearful. Even if he met the mutant python before, Chin Hu still had the strength to fight and win the battle. However, even so, Chin Hu still maintained a cautious attitude. After all, this mountain forest is still very vast. The emergence of even more horrifying creatures is not uncommon. The mutations brought about by the clouds had caused an overall change in the creatures of the mountain forest. This was a forest field where opportunity and danger coexisted, placing the two mutated boars together. Sheen who began to eat. Sharp teeth bit down and started devouring them in large gulps, until the amount of gurgling energy in his body rose up to make up for the depletion in his body. Sheen who felt relieved all over. Two mutant boars, more than a meal of food. Sheen who spent more than two hours before he finished swallowing. The bulging belly made him look less skinny. To restore the body to roundness, may still need some time, but then before the bone-thin appearance is too much better. At this time, the sun in the mountain forest was gradually turning south and Chin who finally had the time to wander around the mountain forest in search of the mutant mountain ginseng. This was a particularly time-consuming affair, even though Chin whose nose was very sensitive. In the end, he still had to rely on his eyes to search and identify. Chin who was very familiar with the growing environment of the ginseng, but for the mutated ginseng, he was also a bit uncertain and could only wander around in the mountain forest to see his luck. However, luck did not seem to favor Chin who once again, after wandering around the surrounding mountain forest in a radius of more than 10 kilometers, Chin Hu did not even find an ordinary wild ginseng. It wasn't until nightfall that Chin Hu had to look for a place to land in the surrounding area, raising his head to look at the sky, clear and transparent. The night does not look like it will rain. Chin Hu randomly picks a favor to lie down. After every evolution, Chin Hu viewed everything in this forest and wild land with a completely new understanding. It was the process of looking beyond the world and chasing after himself. As night fell, the starry sky was slightly transcendent under the dots. After resting slightly for a moment, Chin who continued his search in the mountain forest. He previously found mutant ginseng place as the center. 
constantly around the surrounding, in a circle spread out, each time the scope of the search is a little larger than before. It could be said that he had reached the point of digging three feet into the ground, accompanied by the moonlight. I do not know how long, Sheen who search play a circle, some tired feeling, before and after a whole day. He walked through the area has been 70 to 80 square kilometers of the range, just when he was about to stop. The mountain forest in front of him suddenly blew a subtle scent of fragrance with the mountain wind, with just a slight sniff. Then Sheen who somewhat dull gaze instantly turned clanking bright, with a shake of his body and a revitalization of his spirit. He sped towards the mountain forest in front of him at a brisk pace. Finally found another mutant mountain ginseng, Sheen whose heart was excited. Not long after, the fragrance in the air blown by the mountain wind ahead was getting stronger and stronger. And then, in front of a cliff two to three hundred meters ahead, Sheen who took a look at the mutant ginseng that was rooted here. It was precisely because of this that the clear flavor emitted by the mutant ginseng could be brought by the mountain wind, allowing Sheen who to develop. With a burst of energy, Sheen who ran towards the mountain cliff in front of him. At the same time, a bad feeling instantly appeared in his heart, as if he was being targeted by some creatures around him. Sheen who slowed down his pace, his eyes sharply sizing up the surroundings. The target remained the same. The surrounding mountains and forests are green and lush, much more lush than the other places. The branches and leaves are also more luxuriant. The area below the cliff has a not too big and not too small pool of water. The surrounding area was dark and silent, and looked a little scary. The feeling of being watched is getting stronger and stronger. Chin who is also getting more and more alert, not knowing where the danger comes from, but he believes in his own strength. Just as he approached the cliff where the mutant mountain ginseng was growing, a gut-wrenching aura appeared in the flanking mountain forest. A black shadow spread its wings and swooped in, followed by another bird of prey also fluttered its wings and followed at great speed. Their size is not small. A pair of sharp claws underneath their bodies are even more chilly, such as steel-like iron. This is two mutant owls. Wingspan open, body size close to 5 meters, swish sound swooped and passed, even Chin who only saw the figure, hurriedly dodged or failed to avoid the sharp claws of the mutant owls, his back was cut out of the road wound, Chin whose body mysterious energy surging, the wounds on the back spine to the naked eye visible speed healing, soon disappeared, having suffered a small loss, Chin who was somewhat enraged, but in the way of the mutant owls flying back into the darkness of the mountains after building up their success with a single strike, Sheen who could only passively defend himself. It could be seen that these two mutant owls also cared about the mutant mountain ginseng growing at the cliffs, and it was very likely that they had been guarding this place all along. Sheen who ventured forward. The little demon on his back had long since disappeared, and had stealthily approached towards the cliff in the darkness. Sheen who did not borrow the trees to hide, but stood in the open, hoping to use this to attract the two mutant owls to come to attack, to buy time for the little demon beside him. In the forest in front, Two large mutant owls were squatting on the tree trunks, crouching with their bodies, their eyes showing ferocity, while staring at Chin whose movements below, ready to wait for an opportunity to act. Chin who eyes watching the surrounding, foot pace is not slow at all, next to the small demon is even with him to pull away a large cut, eyes will be close to the cliff. Mutant owls are anxious, issued a cooing sound, they had also never seen an animal as huge as Chin Hu, but for the sake of the mutant mountain ginseng, they were prepared to fight. The soft sound of fluttering wings rang in Chin whose ears as he didn't move and built up his strength. The mutant owl soared above Chin whose head, its sharp steel claws falling towards his eyes. In haste, the power accumulated in Chin whose hind limbs instantly erupted, and his huge body leapt upwards, swooping to a height of more than 10 meters, his front claws snapping the mutant owl that wanted to sneak attack to fly, crashing into a thick tree trunk not far away to skateboard down. G.A. A miserable scream rang out. Landing Chin who still failed to escape the attack of another mutant owl. The abdominal position was broken open at 20 to 30 centimeters of mouth. Chin who stood under the tree, glanced sideways at the sore spot, ignoring the blood flowing out of the wound, and took a step towards the mutant owl that he had shot down. Before he could walk in, a sense of crisis instantly exploded in Chin whose heart. Before he could react, a white cold air like a cloud spewed out from the mutant owl's mouth and instantly landed on his body. Ka 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 ka. The ear-piercing sound of air freezing rang out. Sheen who only felt that his body was wrapped in piercing coldness, and his limbs were stiff and unable to move, from the outside world. At this moment, Sheen whose huge body had all frozen into an ice sculpture. Sheen who did not expect that this mutant owl had such an ability, feeling his body being constantly invaded by coldness. Sheen who hurriedly mobilized the mysterious energy in his body. As he expected, the coldness dissipated a little bit under the expulsion of the mystic energy and finally exited the body. A cracking sound rang out. With a bang, the ice crystals covering Chin whose body exploded and shot off in all directions. 
The two mutant owls watching from afar were also startled by this scene. In the past, none of the creatures they had frozen could break through the ice crystals, and only after they died and the heat in their bodies completely dissipated would the ice crystals turn into water droplets and disperse. Such a situation exceeded their knowledge. Similarly, the cold air ejected by the mutant owl also broke Jean whose knowledge of mutant creatures. Fortunately, taking advantage of this gap, the little demon had already approached the mutant ginseng and stretched out its dense root whiskers to pull out the entire mutant ginseng. The moment he got his hands on the ginseng, the little demon floated in the air like the wind and glided towards the direction where Chin Hu was. The messy rocks on the ground didn't affect its forward speed in the slightest. As for the two mutant owls, they were furious and lost their minds as they grabbed towards the mutant ginseng wrapped in the root whiskers of the little demon. Chin Hu ran forward in three or two steps protecting little demon behind him and dealing with the attack of the two mutant owls head on. Chin whose hind limbs stored up strength, supporting his body to stand upright, using the sharp claws of his front limbs to fight against the enemy, and sending out tiger whistles towards the front to deter the enemy. The two mutant owls attacked recklessly, fluttering their wings back and forth. Chin who could only passively defend, even if the claws of his forelimbs occasionally hit the enemy, he couldn't stop the two mutant owls passion like fire. Having stolen their treasures, the big cat in front of him was simply looking for death. Sheen whose fight was suffocating. Such was the disadvantage of ground to air. After his back and head were scratched with quite a few wounds. Sheen who didn't tangle with them anymore. Grabbing the little demon between runs and breaking into the mountain forest. Behind him, the two mutant owls were in hot pursuit. Emitting bursts of angry chirps. Sheen who looked back. Ready to find a place to kill these two things. To see what the cold air spewing out of their bodies. The mountain forest at night was a bit gloomy especially when there was no moonlight shining tonight. The two mutant owls behind them were undaunted by the threat from Chin Hu. Their demeanor was still incomparably angry, their eyes staring at the mutant mountain ginseng in the little demon's arms, and their sharp steel claws underneath their bodies were spread out, ready to swoop down and attack at any time. At the next moment, the two mutant owls' wings shook, and their speed of flying and weaving through the forest increased by a few points, and they swooped down at Chin Hu, who was running at breakneck speed on the ground. Perhaps the speed was too fast even emitting a terrifying sonic boom that cut through the air. Passive defense makes Chin who feel very suffocated, but there is no powerful means of counterattack. He would have liked to take advantage of the force of the surrounding tall tree trunks. A leap, behind the two mutant owls from the air to pounce down. But these two mutant owls vigilance is too high. As soon as he found Chin whose posture is not right, immediately waved his wings to rise into the air, so that his counterattack has no place to play. Can only call out in vain, Hating can't give birth to wings up to the sky to bite these two big birds, running in the mountains and forests for a while. Sheen who came to an open place, when the two mutant owls behind him swooped down to the near, only to see that Sheen who actually did not escape, but instead turned to face them to stand in place. Do not hide and do not avoid. What made it even more difficult for the two mutant owls was that Sheen who even landed on his buttocks and squatted there, quietly waiting for them to arrive. His eyes were filled with killing intent, as soon as he had the chance. Chin who would definitely not let go of these two annoying big birds. Why don't you just stop hiding and find a place to fight head on? Two mutant owls only. The fact that Chin who had acted so contemptuously had obviously angered them. In the next second, the two mutant owls split into two directions, not hesitating to open their steel claws, and swoop down from different angles in both directions with the most powerful posture. They were bound to give the big cat below a taste of their power. Chin whose eyes kept rotating, capturing and predicting the trajectory of the two mutant owls. His heart was always on guard, hoping to use this to launch a counterattack. Bear, Chin who rose up and jumped, seizing the opportunity to swing his forelimbs and claws, launching a counterattack. At the same time, a mutant owl's sharp steel claws similarly slashed across Chin his back, revealing traces of blood, the wounds so deep that the bones inside could be clearly seen. Hiss, intense pain came, Chin who grinned and endured it, at the same time calling on the mysterious energy to start covering the wound area squeezing and healing the injury little by little. At the same time, a mutant owl's miserable chirping also came over. One of them was seized by Chin Hu. The sharp claws of the forelands instantly slashed through, directly cutting open a half-meter-long mouth on its abdomen. If it flew a little slower, I'm afraid that it would have been directly disemboweled by Chin Hu. After seeing the blood, the two mutant owls temporarily gave up the chase. With the injuries flew to the mountains, the ground along the way continuously scattered blood and occasionally can hear one or two wailing sound. Finally, he got rid of the two difficult big birds. Chin who endured the pain and felt the healing scars on his back before relaxing. Although he wasn't seriously injured, the pain of having his skin and flesh broken open was still a bit unbearable for him. However, it was also Chin whose ruthless fighting style of exchanging injuries for injuries that forced the enemy back. 
The ones with wings were really tough. This was the first time Qin who had seen the power of an airborne mutant creature. But everything was worth it. The little demon withdrew the root that was protecting the mutated mountain ginseng and then passed it over towards him. Qin whose eyes keenly noticed that the vitality of the mutant mountain ginseng had dimmed a bit, and there was also a small, thin hole on the surface of the rootstock. He glanced at the little demon who was a little vain and didn't take it to heart. Instead, he felt that this little thing was really childish, both in its behavior and actions, leaving this open area and finding a giant tree to settle underneath. Qin who then surveyed the mutated mountain ginseng that he had just snatched into his hands. Compared to the previous one, this mutant ginseng was quite a bit smaller, but it emitted the same fragrance, even a bit more intense. The color of the skin was the same as that of a white carrot, so it was easy to confuse the two if one did not look closely. I don't know how effective it would be. Ka, after lightly biting down, a third of the entire rhizome was gone. After chewing in the mouth, the same sensation of melt in the mouth, after chewing between the teeth and swallowing down the throat, the mutant ginseng was transformed into a stream of sweet juice that smoothly slid into the belly. Inside the body strands of familiar warmth rises up, and then diffuse and extend to the whole body. The body is bound taut feeling loosened some, so that Qin Hu body a burst of relaxation and relief. Mouth issued a smooth tiger whistle sound. There is an effect, but it's quite a bit worse compared to the effect brought about by that mutant mountain ginseng before. Qin Hu turned around and bit off another one-third of the remaining mutant mountain ginseng, while the rest was all thrown to the little demon on guard. Qin Hu's action, so that the little demon, on the other hand, acted joyfully, constantly swaying its two leaves, receiving the mutant ginseng, while the roots underneath its body quickly unfolded, wrapping around the mutant ginseng, impatiently rooting and drawing it up. This thing was equally useful to it. After thoroughly digesting the mutant mountain ginseng, Qin Hu jumped in place and moved his body. A large and a small mutant mountain ginseng had reduced the evolutionary shackles in Qin Hu's body by about one-third and that feeling of his body being bound was not so unpleasant anymore. However, he didn't know whether it was due to the development of drug resistance or the fact that this mutant mountain ginseng was smaller in size and had insufficient accumulation. The effect brought about after swallowing it was weakening. However, Qin who wasn't worried. After all, in addition to the mutant mountain ginseng, there must be other things with special effects that existed in the mountain forest. There would be many more opportunities in the future. He was not in a hurry. What made Qin who feel most benefited this time was still the mutant owl that could spit out cold air. Occasionally a mouthful of cold air was sprayed, and instantly the whole body was frozen like ice crystals. The slightest carelessness, the cold gas invades the body, devouring the vitality of the whole body. It will not take a few minutes to completely turn into an ice sculpture, if not for the magical effect of the mysterious energy in Qin whose body, which could expel this cold air. I'm afraid he would have been poisoned as well. Mutant creatures with such a special ability may still be the first time Qin who met, but also the first time to feel the attack that can make him feel dangerous. After moving his body, Qin who pulled on the little demon and then paced in the mountain forest. Although the night was deep, he didn't feel the slightest bit sleepy. Instead, he felt refreshed and energized. However, Qin who felt that there should be no other mutated mountain ginseng present in this mountain region. Tomorrow, he also continued traveling along the north, perhaps in the depths of the forest wilderness. There were still some things like mutant mountain ginseng that could accelerate his evolution, break the evolutionary shackles in his body, and feel the magic of evolution once again. However, before that, Qin Hu also had to face unknown dangers. After all, the mountains and forests were not the mountains and forests of old. When Qin Hu woke up, the sky was already bright. The top of his head was covered with dark clouds, and a cool wind was blowing in the mountain forest, a situation of a mountain rain. After getting up and finding a water source to replenish himself, Qin Hu continued his journey towards the depths of the mountain forest, taking a look at the blood left behind by the two mutant owls yesterday, but unexpectedly, there was only a little trace of it, and the blood on the ground was packed up by the unknown creatures without a single drop left. Moreover, Qin Hu could sense that the mutant owl that he had almost disemboweled was most likely still alive. After the mutant python before, he had made a deal with these two big birds, Qin Hu walked slowly through the mountain forest, somewhat enjoying the soothing and warm mountain breeze, resuming his gigantic size, the aura that belonged uniquely to a predator made those mutated creatures living in the corners of the mountains and forests have a natural sense of fear, and avoided the area Qin who passed by from afar, therefore, all the way there, Qin who was not disturbed by other mutated creatures, toward the north has been there, Qin who feels that the climate here compared to the previous living area to lower a lot, after all, now still belongs to the winter. No snow and ice crystals is already against the norm, some cooling when normal. Passing through a dense mountain forest, the area ahead is a vast plain forest field, 
straight and firm trees with a few leaves, forming a sea of green forest in front of us. Standing on the spot and gazing into the distance at the boundless sea of forests, Sheen who had the illusion that these were all my mountains and rivers, his mood was extraordinarily relaxed. After blowing the mountain wind for a while, Sheen who took a step towards the front, going all the way down the slope and stepping onto another piece of dense mountain forest. Meanwhile, as soon as he entered this place, Sheen who realized that the air here seemed to be more moist and filled with something similar to clouds. After observing the surrounding, the trees here are also more straight and taller than the previous area. The diameter of the common trees can be about 2 to 3 meters, the taller giant trees can be more than 10 meters in diameter, which is comparable to the primitive forests, only that the leaves on the branches of the trees are even more scarce. It was unusual for such trees to appear here. Even some of the ground was still growing green vegetation, occasionally appearing large emerald green moss, also appeared to be rich in vitality and vigor. Obviously, this area had received a great deal of influence from the clouds, and until so long after the clouds dispersed, there was still a large amount of essence left here, which not only caused the trees to mutate, but also caused the ecological environment in the area to undergo a drastic change. Perhaps the evolution of the creatures here is still continuing. Just at a somewhat slow pace, Sheen who woke up from his surprise, the danger here had increased a lot compared to the mountains and forests he had passed through before, but at the same time, the probability of bumping into opportunities had also increased. Sheen who had a feeling that he would be able to find something here that would break the evolutionary shackles in his body. Suddenly, a somewhat pungent odor came from beside a large tree with a diameter of 7 or 8 meters. Sheen who fixed his eyes on the corpse of an unknown mutated creature. The eyes had dried up and even white hairs of different sizes had grown on the corpse, which looked a bit scary. This was a common deterrent for predators. Sheen who was on alert. Meeting this meant that this place had an owner. On the ground, Sheen who could vaguely identify some scents and footprints. The number is large, about hundreds, although the footprints left behind are only half of its feet, but the other side wins in a large number, and is still a group of predators, cannot provoke or do not easily provoke. Sheen who thought like this, and distinguished the smell that he had just sniffed, somewhat similar to the smell of wolves, but also very different, with a tawdry odor. Woo! Just as Sheen who was exploring, the unknown creatures call from the distant mountains ahead, not in a hurry, seemed to be calling out to its companions. Sheen who thought about it, but still took a step to step over this cordon, in order to break the evolutionary shackles within his body, taking some risks was still worth it, following the direction the voice came from, Sheen who listened with his ears, constantly adjusting his direction of advancement, running and leaping through the mountains and forests with a surprisingly fast speed and little movement, not much time, Sheen who saw the mountain forest in front of him, a snow white fur, upright ears, Body size of more than 3 meters like a wolf like a fox mutant creature stood in the middle. Surrounded by more than a dozen of the same kind of size difference is not big. They seemed to be waiting for something, but also wanted to prepare for a group hunt. Sheen who hid in the shadows, his eyes curiously observing this group of unknown mutant creatures. Not long after, a few more predators came over in the distance with prey in their mouths. The more Sheen who came, the more confused he felt, mainly because these unnamed mutant creatures were behaving too strangely. More than two dozen mutant creatures, half of them had hunted food placed in front of them. It was as if they were ready to offer half of the food for the leader. Without waiting for long, with a call from the mutant mountain creature standing at the very center, a plant unexpectedly came out from the mountain forest in front of them. Sheen whose heart was shaken, and in his heart, he said that it was not good. How did the little demon get lost, and ran into the middle of a group of predators? But then, when he turned to look at his side, the little demon was excitedly pointing at the demonic plant in front of him with its leaves. It was exactly the same. And as the demonic plant, which was identical to the little demon, stepped out, the group of predators then prostrated themselves on the ground and pushed their prey a little bit forward. As the demonic plant moved forward, the roots lightly tapped into the food offered by the predators. And in less than a moment, it sucked the prey into a dried corpse. A tooth-sized, Crystal clear crystallized object fell down the demonic plant's rhizome to the front of the mutant creature that had offered its prey. What kind of exchange was this? Just as Chin who was mesmerized by what he was watching, the demonic plant in the distance suddenly stopped moving and slowly gazed in the direction Chin who and the others were in. It seemed that in an inexplicable induction with the little demon, Chin who and the others were discovered. Sure enough, when the leader of the group of mutant creatures noticed the movements of the demonic plant, he roared in Chin whose direction and the other mutant creatures immediately got up from the ground, exposed their sharp teeth, raised their heads, and charged over aggressively. More than 20 mutant creatures with a body size of more than 500 pounds and a body length of 3 to 4 meters came running wildly together. This scene could not be overstated with the use of a great momentum. 
I'm afraid that even a mutant elephant would not hesitate to run away from such a powerful group. Sheen who did not have any hesitation. After seeing that this group of mutant creatures had indeed discovered their position and were rushing towards them with great vigor, he hurriedly brought along little demon and fled towards the mountain forest in front of him, not wanting to clash with this group of mutant creatures head on, even if his heart is curious, but protecting his life is important. Being surrounded by so many mutant predators, although it's not life-threatening, but the feeling of injury and pain will still make Chin Hu a little tired. The extremely fast and furious mutant predator marched through the mountains and forests. The horrifying momentum scared many of the creatures of the mountains and forests, avoiding the area where this group of beasts were passing by. Chin Hu also stopped hiding and ran wildly through the mountain forest. He was very sure that the demonic plant must have discovered their location before unleashing this group of mutated predators to chase towards them. Moreover, at this moment, the little demon also had a feeling of telepathic connection towards the demonic plant. It seemed to be able to sense the other party's emotions and location, which was why it seemed so excited and agitated before. Seeing Chin whose figure revealed in front, this group of mutated predators also became angry. This area was ruled by them, and Chin whose sudden intrusion was like a stranger intruding into their home without saying hello and spreading his joy recklessly. How could they not be angry? However, Chin whose size still made them a little hesitant. After all, no matter how strong their individual strength was and how sharp their teeth were, alone against a behemoth like Chin Hu, there was no advantage to speak of, and only a teen was the basis of their survival and fighting. Therefore, they closely follow each other around their companions. The cohesive team power can crush the powerful enemy, and become their battle record to deter other predators in the mountains and forests. Chin Hu didn't want to clash head-on with these mutated predators, and he hadn't yet figured out what was going on with the other demonic plant that had suddenly appeared. And what the heck was that white crystal that had condensed out of the prey it had drawn from? With a belly full of curiosity, Sheen who led the little demon on a wild run, leaving the pursuing predators behind and continuing to run towards the north. However, not long after running, Sheen who realized that something was wrong, a feeling that if anything always lingered in his heart. Running forward not long, he found to be wrong, into the woods for a distance, then heard rustle footsteps, a figure like the wind straight appeared in his path. This was the leading mutant predator which was carrying the demonic plant on its back. Like a king, it stood on top of the predator's head before pointing at Chin who as well as the little demon in front of it with its two slightly grayish leaves. Wow! The little demon also showed some excitement and nervousness, rubbing its two leaves and making noises. Chin who sensed this emotion, as if the two plants were very eager for each other. A mutant predator that was more than 3 meters and close to 4 meters in length was simply not enough for Chin who to look at. After a slight moment of hesitation, Chin who smashed through the trees blocking the way then opened his sharp claws towards the other party. Fearless and reckless. Swish. Chin who was surprised that his tiger claw was easily dodged by the other party. And just like an instantaneous movement, he instantly appeared in the distance. Chin who saw clearly that it was the other party's speed that was too fast, causing this illusion of instantaneous movement. Moreover, when the mutant predator was dodging, the demonic plant on top of its head was emitting a burst of white light to wrap them up. After Chin who stopped his attack, the mutant predator's eyes revealed a deep look of contempt, as if it was provoking. Behind them there was a constant rumbling. Sheen who frowned, not wanting to tangle with them, it was not favorable to them. But just after running a few steps forward, the mutated predator appeared in front. Like a ghost, it was inseparable. Roar! The tiger's roar rolled up waves of air like a tornado towards the other party. Sheen who utilized the mysterious energy in his body. His limbs filled with lightness, his speed increased to the extreme and he pounced towards the front. Swish! The opponent didn't want to fight Chin Hu head-on, only wanting to delay until the other mutant predators behind them arrived and surrounded them together. Both the demonic plant and the mutant predator had underestimated Chin Hu's speed at the moment. Just as they wanted to continue instantly moving to block Chin Hu, they realized that Chin Hu's figure was also following closely behind them, and it was getting tighter and tighter. A low cry emitted from the mouth of the mutant predator, somewhat similar to the cry of a fox, but different. But Chin Hu felt that this thing should be a mutated variety of fox, no matter if it was before the mutation, or after the mutation. The smell of fox slot on its body and the shape of the hairs on both sides of the corners of its mouth didn't change. Bear! After pulling in the distance, Chin Hu seized the opportunity to slash over with a tiger claw. The long and sharp claw slashed with bright light, pulling out several slits on the mutant fox's buttocks. Fresh blood was scattered. Chin Hu took a sniff of the blood odor and found that it was not bloody, but instead had a sweet flavor while the little demon directly stretched out its roots and spread them out, shoveling the dirt on the ground along with the scattered blood and wrapping it up. Too strange. This blood seemed to have an attraction to the little demon. After being injured by Chin Hu, 
The leading mutant fox had also learned its lesson and didn't dare to approach easily, only making some small movements on the sides to block Chin Hu's advance. Woo! A long, long call sounded, and the mutant fox group that was following closely in the distance gained a few more points in speed, and it wouldn't take long for them to arrive. The leading mutant foxes kept crashing through the trees in front of them and throwing them to the rear. Sheen who could only avoid them flexibly and then accelerate in hot pursuit. Soon, the shadow of a group of mutant foxes appeared behind them. Sheen who did not intend to escape. And the blood of these mutated foxes seemed to be beneficial to the little demon. Seeing Sheen who stop, the mutant fox in front of them and the demonic plants above its head were a bit excited. This time, after observing it up close, Sheen who saw these mutant foxes clearly, their bodies had similarly evolved, and they were even taller and stronger in size and height, just like the mythological nine-tailed foxes, except that they didn't have nine tails behind them. Chin who was surrounded in the center, surrounded by mutated foxes that were showing their teeth and waiting for orders to attack, their leader walked over carrying the demonic plant. Then after gazing at Chin who for a while, he launched the order to attack. This time, Chin who was ready to let go and try his current strength, and he didn't deliberately control his power. Instead, he went all out. The little demon was tightly attached to Chin Hu's back, and the atmosphere was as heavy as a mountain. After eliminating one third of the evolutionary shackles within his body, Chin Hu felt that his strength had been enhanced some more, and today was the day to verify it. All along, fighting and slaying was Chin Hu's favorite, but there were just very few such opportunities. Under the instructions of the mutant fox leader, the predators surrounded Chin Hu in a semicircle, launching attacks from all around with him as the center. Chin who raised his claws to counterattack, his body as swift as lightning, slapping the first mutant fox that opened its mouth to bite away, doing an open heart surgery along the way. The internal organs and blood were scattered all over the place. There were still mutant foxes surrounding them, startled by the sudden change of events, then continued to surround them. Chin who was ferocious to the extreme, utilizing his strength to the extreme, relying on its huge size advantage, it directly kicked the two mutant foxes that were pouncing from behind out of the way while the tiger's mouth bit down on the other one, and its forelimbs pressed down on one in a deadly manner. The fighting Chin who was like a god of war possessed, his aura was monstrous, releasing his mouth and spitting out the mutant fox that had its neck bitten off, he continued to attack the other one. Although he was bitten by the mutant fox that came after him, the pain made Chin who a little more lucid, and he struck harder and more viciously, continue to kill, kill until the other party is chilled. Chin whose eyes were bloodshot as the mysterious energy surged within his body providing a powerful aid. Chin whose brazenness as well as his wound-for-wound -wound combat made the only remaining mutant foxes afraid as well. They hadn't seen such a ferocious mutated creature, and they had likewise never seen such a difficult creature. Roar! Spitting out a mouthful of fox fur, he let out a tiger's roar, and the blood stains in his mouth spewed out along the waves of air, causing the mutant fox leader who was commanding not far away to become afraid. This battle was soothing. Chin who came to the opposite side of the demonic plants. They wanted to escape. But they couldn't get much faster than Chin Hu. The giant tiger carrying a strong killing aura was like a tiger god in the dust. It was getting closer and closer. And even the small demon behind it that was drawing nutrients from the mutant fox's corpse couldn't be bothered to be busy. And quickly flicked its roots to catch up. The mountain forest calmed down. The ending was already doomed. Hoo hoo. Thick breathing sounds came from the mouth of the mutated fox leader. Its throat had been bitten by Chin Hu. And blood seeped out and flowed all over the place. Its eyes slowly changed from fear to calmness, then slowly lowered its voice until its torso completely lost its vitality. The corpses of the mutant predators and the blood scattered on the surrounding soil were emitting a fresh fragrance, spreading and diffusing in the surrounding air. Chin who thought that perhaps it was because these mutant foxes often swallowed the white crystals condensed by this demonic plant, causing the blood in their bodies to carry that kind of characteristic, thus giving them this fragrance. Chin who licked a mouthful of the fox blood remaining at the corner of his mouth. The fragrance was clear with a fox slut flavor, but the life substance contained in it was very rich, and was very beneficial to the evolution of living creatures. Some weak creatures were attracted over, but their legs were softened by the bloody scene in front of them, and they just came and staggered their bodies to flee to the distance. Having resolved the enemies around him, Sheen who stepped in the middle of their shattered corpses, like a god of killing, taking stock of his battlefield. The other demonic plant was currently lying on the ground with some trembling. The mutated creature underneath it had already been torn into two sections by Chin Hu, and it looked extraordinarily bloody. Just like the small demon that was threatened by Chin Hu's beating, this demonic plant was shocked by Chin Hu's ruthless methods, and despite showing fear, it did not make a move to escape. The small demon came after him from behind, and was overjoyed to see the bloody scene around him, as well as the kindred that was being held. 
not caring about anything else, it directly stretched out its roots and extracted the essence of the special blood that was exposed. It couldn't be wasted. Sheen who glanced at the little demon's actions and paid no more attention. What interested him more was this demonic plant in front of him. Although his appearance was the same as the little demon's, the functions of each other were different. The kind of white crystals that he had witnessed before made Sheen who somewhat interested. Without any unnecessary words, Sheen who walked slowly to the demonic plant and then ripped the corpse of a mutated creature over. The intention was obvious. He wanted that white crystal. Out of Qin Hu's expectation. When this demonic plant saw this, its slender roots didn't tremble anymore, and using its roots as its paws, it took a few steps forward and rooted on the corpse and started to draw nutrients. In less than a few minutes, an entire corpse was sucked into dryness by it. At the same time, at the location of the demonic plant's rhizome, a small flower packet gradually grew out and finally bloomed open, revealing a white crystal the size of a melon inside. Sheen who took a look, after condensing this white crystal, the demonic plant in front of him acted very weak, as if it had consumed a large amount of its life substance for this crystal. Sheen who ignored it, this scene was too familiar to him, the little demon fellow had performed like this back then. Botched, putting the white crystals into his mouth, Sheen who wasn't afraid of any side effects, after all, he had seen these mutant creatures swallowed on the spot before, and the medicine didn't die. The moment the white crystals entered his mouth, the painful mouths on Qin whose entire body fused a little faster, and his body and mind fell into a state of soothing serenity. It seemed to be able to affect the creature's emotions and state of mind in general. There was no sorrow or joy, and even Qin who forgot even the pain of the wounds on his body, his eyes were vacant for a moment. The demonic plant next to him seemed to have anticipated this situation. The roots below it quietly groped back a bit and was about to scamper away when a dark shadow pressed down overhead. Bang! After a soft sound, a huge tiger paw print appeared in the dirt in front of them. In the center, a plant lay in a large shape, yet there was still life showing. Obviously, Sheen who knew that there was something fishy about this and had left a hand in it, his eyes regained their animation and gazed at the demonic plant in front of him again. Fear, dread, and extreme nervousness spread out from it. Sheen who was surprised, but at this moment, he did feel the emotions displayed by this demonic plant. It seems that this white crystal is capable of restoring and boosting spiritual power. Thinking back to the scene just now, he realized that after a fight, the spirit that was originally a bit tired disappeared again after swallowing the white crystal, as if it had rested for a long time and restored its spirit. Knowing the role of the white crystal, Sheen who felt dispensable. However, the little demon seemed to hold a very great curiosity towards this kind. After absorbing the blood scattered around, it rushed here without stopping. The arrival of the little demon made the body of this demonic plant tremble even more. It was extremely scared. Sheen who didn't know what species they were and why they were so different. Glancing at the little demon, Sheen who turned around and walked towards the back, leaving it to be dealt with. Glancing at the mutated foxes on the ground, there were no survivors. This battle still had some touches on him. If it wasn't for the presence of the mysterious energy in his body, which allowed him to heal in time when injured. I'm afraid that Chin who would not necessarily be a match for these mutant creatures. After resolving these mutant creatures, Chin whose whole body had more than a hundred wounds, big and small, some places had just healed and were cut open again by the enemy's sharp claws. Although it wasn't life-threatening, such pain still tortured Chin whose nerves. On the other side, the little demon kept moving forward, approaching this kind step by step. In the next moment, the roots underneath densely stretched out, wrapping the opposite kind in a mass, seemingly resigned to its fate. This demonic plant only resisted for a moment before giving up. Sheen who just swept a glance, but he didn't expect such a result. The same kind was also given a swallow. However, the little demon now seemed to be a bit taller and had grown a third leaf as well. Sheen who sized it up and couldn't see anything famous about it, so he let it be. After cleaning up the battlefield here, Sheen who went along backward to retrieve the other mutated fox corpses that were scattered. He tried to take a bite, but the fragrant scent of it couldn't cover up a faint smell of fox slut on the skin and flesh. Giving up the idea of eating, the remaining corpses were all cheaper for the little demon. After doing all this, time may also be a long time. The sky is also gradually darkened. Chin who realized that although the climate here should not be seasonal, the sun was very punctual, and the days became shorter and shorter, in line with the characteristics of winter. Lying on Chin whose fluffy fur, the little demon was somewhat satisfied, and the fruit on top of his head solidified a few more points. Surveying the surroundings, Sheen who felt that he could rest here for the night before continuing his journey, but it was also easy to encounter other predators. After all, this area was originally ruled by this group of mutant foxes. The commotion just now must have stirred up the surrounding mountains and forests, and there might be predators from the neighboring territories coming to explore the situation at night. For the rest of the night, 
Jean who was coaching the seven newly accepted minions. It was good that they only looked like Era on the outside, but their intelligence was still there. At least after a night of coaching, there was no problem obeying orders. Loyalty was harder to say. When it was almost dawn, Jean who didn't care about the seven little brothers who were slightly tired after being tossed around all night, yelled and got up, ready to go on the road. Taking the still sleeping little demon with him, he left again. Because he was unfamiliar with the surroundings, Jean who let the lead junior brother lead the way and wander around a bit. Jean who planned to search around and perhaps find some good things, and if he met any other large beasts, he might be able to move around and gain some experience in fighting. Jean who asked the lead junior to move forward to the area where abnormalities appeared around. Danger, at the same time, meant opportunity, especially in this day and age. Jean who walked in the center. A strange combination of one tiger, seven wolves and one plant walking among the mountains and forests, with small mutated creatures trailing behind him, perhaps to pick up some leftovers for food. The leader of the giant wolf leader. In order to facilitate the call, Jean who directly named it Era. With Era's leadership, they advanced much faster. And at the same time, Jean who also found that these giant wolves would be very familiar with this area. The place where there was a water source. The place where there were herbivorous mutant creatures. The place where there were other large beasts that couldn't be messed with. They all memorized them and subconsciously avoided these places. Jean who, however, didn't have time to make a detour and directly let Era lead him towards the nearest dangerous area. In the middle, he passed by a mutated black bear's territory. And after breaking in, he happened to meet this guy feeding. After discovering Chin Hu and their group of intruders, the mutant black bear stood upright, and the fishy odor from its mouth came out. Era and the other six minions were directly frightened by the terrifying aura of the mutant black bear. If not for Chin Hu standing calmly in front, these guys were afraid that they would have fled with their tails tucked between their legs. Even so, they also hid behind Chin Hu. It didn't take much time for a one-ton mutant black bear to lie unwillingly in a pool of blood, its huge body becoming food for several giant wolves and Chin Hu. Ha, huh? would mutant bear bile have any different effects if eaten? With such a thought suddenly flashing through his mind, Jean who stretched out his sharp claws and pulled out the mutant black bear's bear bile, lifting it between his claws. For safety's sake, Jean who summoned Era and ordered it to open its mouth before directly stuffing the mutant bear bile into its mouth, followed by covering the wolf's mouth so that it could swallow it. Era was terrified by Jean who's rough behavior, and thought that his life would not be saved. However, with the raw swallowing of the mutated bear bile, a fresh scent odor with bitterness stretched out along the throat. Subsequently, a stream of heat couldn't stop churning in his intestines. Jean who listened to the information that Era passed over with a thoughtful look in his eyes. It seems that mutated bear bile is indeed not ordinary. I just don't know what effect it has. Jean who greeted the other six onlooking giant wolf minions and came forward, splitting half of the bear meat for them. As for Era, Jean who gave him a separate piece and was also observing his condition and body changes at all times, perhaps out of instinct. Several of the giant wolf juniors would also fight with each other when they were eating, and even let out vicious low growls at other of their kind. Sheen who shook his head, looking at the way they wolfed down their food, and then associating it with the fact that there were only seven giant wolves in this group. He feared that they had not had a good time before. Perhaps they were truly like the lost dogs, wandering around in this mountain forest and being highly bullied. Perhaps, this was also one of the reasons why they were willing to submit to Sheen who's command. After eating and drinking his fill, Jean who had his seven little brothers gather together and observe the changes in Era. However, to his disappointment, after an hour, he didn't see any reaction from Era. Woo woo. Just when Jean who was puzzled and even about to give up, Era's body suddenly reacted. And it was still not under its own control. Its abdomen squirmed as if something was about to change. Jean who looked at Era expectantly. If the mutated bear bile had an effect, perhaps he could consider it in the future. Voodoo. As his belly squirmed for a while, Era's complexion became a little twisted, somewhat unable to hold back. Era's gaze anxiously looked towards the surrounding mountains and forests, without waiting to open his mouth to make a sound. His speed was extremely fast as he furiously ran towards the bottom of a tree trunk. Sheen Hu's was about to follow up to take a look, and then a strong odor came keenly from the tiger's nose, almost choking, stopped the feeling of nausea, changed to a place with slightly better air, and only then breathed a sigh of relief. The other six juniors were also frightened by the odor and followed Jean Hu to run out a distance. It was only after a long time that Era dragged his weak body, trembling legs coming this way. Jean Hu hurriedly vocalized and asked Era if she had any other feelings. The reply he received also brightened Jean Hu's eyes. Although eating mutant bear bile would greatly likely result in a diarrhea, it could improve his eyesight and even enhance his body's functions to a small extent. After thinking about it, Jean Hu felt that it was better to forget about it. After all, 
It was a bit unworthy to try a diarrhea for the sake of this little benefit. On the next road, Era walked through the mountains and forest seven or eight times, and in the end, his entire body was so deflated that he could barely walk. Sheen who also stopped, ready to let him recuperate before advancing. Three giant wolves guarded Era's side, while the rest patrolled around a bit, looking for some fallen leaves over in the meantime, spreading them out and making a mat. Having a little brother is good. The quality of life has gone up a lot. Sheen who thought in his heart, although he had to provide them with food, but it wasn't a difficult task. With so many mutated creatures in the mountain forest, hunting a few at random, the food would be enough. On the cozy grass mat, Sheen who closed his eyes with some enjoyment, it was necessary to search for strange objects that could break the evolutionary shackles in his body as soon as possible. A few giant wolf little brothers were also enjoying themselves, and after Sheen who rested, they remained on guard in the surrounding area, not thinking of escaping. After all, it was enough to follow their big brother to be able to have enough to eat. The sunlight soon began to become tilted. The light of the surrounding forest slowly dimmed, making the originally somewhat gloomy mountain forest even darker. Entering the night in advance, the three giant wolves were resting on their backs not far away, their eyes scanning the surroundings. Between their ears, they suddenly heard a loud noise coming from them, and it seemed that there were creatures rapidly approaching not far away. The six giant wolves other than Era all stood up at this moment and gathered together, looking ahead with a grave expression. The movement among the mountains and forests was getting closer and closer to here. Subsequently, Jean who also raised his head with a puzzled look in his gaze, immediately after, a colorful figure appeared in the mountain forest in front and to the side. In the darkness, a dozen pairs of eyes as bright as light bulbs gazed at them, causing one to feel a sense of fear. Upon seeing the mutated creatures surrounding the mountains and forests that surrounded them, not only were the few juniors a little scared, even Sheen who himself was surprised because he had never seen a dozen or so mutated leopards living in a group in a group. This is a group of strange looking leopards. Their spotted fur color is exactly the same as leopards. Their body size is similar to that of the giant wolf beside Chin Hu, but their heads are hairy and whiskered, and they look like cats with a leopard body on top. These mutant leopards all had some long fangs, very similar to saber-toothed tigers instead. The dozen or so mutant leopards with their long fangs exposed quietly gazed at the giant wolf and Chin Hu in front of them. Even Era, who was battle-hardened and had rich experience in escaping, couldn't help but swallow his saliva, and even his tail, which had just been upraised, unconsciously clamped down. Chin who looked at this scene, really doubt that he received these few little brothers is really era mutated into this. A dozen mutated leopards surrounded the front, forming a half circle. At this moment, there was a loud noise coming from the forest in front, and a slightly larger leopard walked out from the center. It looked at Chin who sighs, and the depths of its eyes were somewhat shocked. It was best to not start a conflict with such a big guy. The leading mutant leopard gazed at Chin Hu in their strange combination before letting out a roar that seemed to be discussing with Chin Hu. In order to show that he had no intention of starting a war, the mutant leopard leader even had the other leopards under his command retreat back a bit into the forest at the back, leaving only himself to negotiate at the front. Chin Hu went up. From the sound just now, he heard the meaning and was somewhat surprised at the intelligence of this mutant leopard. However, after the evolution, everything in the mountain forest was different from before and the appearance of such a situation was expected by Chin Hu. The mutant leopard leader took a few steps forward. The long teeth exposed on both sides of its mouth made it look a bit more imposing. As Chin Hu approached, its huge size made it invariably feel a strong pressure, and its body trembled slightly without control. Even though it had seen quite a few giant beasts, today was the first time it had come into such close contact, and the faint odor of blood on the other party's body made it feel a strong sense of umpteen uneasiness. The leopard leader had a premonition that in front of this behemoth of Chin Hu, he was just like an ant, and the other party might not have to use its full strength to tear himself into pieces, and the strength that he was so proud of was so insignificant at this point, although his side's numbers were several times that of the opposite side. Once they fought, it was very likely that it was his side that would suffer. The mutant leopard leader forcefully controlled its behavior, not allowing Chin Hu to see its fear. Roar! Chin Hu approached and let out a tiger's roar at the mutant leopard leader in front of him the powerful airwaves blowing the fur on its face messed up. To endure, the mutant leopard leader understood Chin Hu's meaning. A low roar came out in response. After stopping two or three times repeatedly, Chin Hu understood that this group of mutant leopards had come to divide the territory. Previously, the group of mutant foxes were their neighbors, and after that storm, all the mutant foxes were eliminated by Chin Hu, and this group of mutant leopards sensed the abnormality, and only then came out to collect the territory of this mountain area. Although he did not intend to stay here for a long time, Chin Hu did not want to give up this area to this group of mutant leopards so easily. 
Seeing that the other party had understood his meaning and was seriously thinking about it, the mutant leopard leader breathed a sigh of relief in his heart, then tried to straighten his body and quietly waited for a response. Since the other party could communicate, Sheen who planned to squeeze these mutant leopards, as the territorial ruler of this place, I'm afraid that there might still be some good things in their hands. Roar! Sheen who spoke out, telling the other party that this area could be given to them, but they must take something in exchange. As for what to take in exchange, Sheen who didn't specify, letting the other party make their own estimation. If they were to meet other mutated creatures occupying this area, the mutated leopard leader would definitely not hesitate to order his clan to expel these guys, even if it meant fighting to the death. But Sheen whose appearance broke its thoughts. It could tell that Sheen who, this behemoth, was definitely not just a mascot with a huge body size, the aura on the other side, already that intense killing aura, only it such as it wandered on the edge of life and death could understand. After thinking for a moment, it also intended to test the opposite side of this big cat, letting out a low growl to the clan members behind it to convey the order. Both sides then waited silently. Not long after, a white mutant merganser was brought up. The moment he saw this mutant sick a deer, Sheen who felt that this creature was extraordinary. A pair of antlers had become crystal clear, and even had strands of fishy red blood veins outlined within. What was even more rare was that this thing also exuded a kind of attraction that the creature could hardly suppress. Sheen who glanced at it, and although he was somewhat moved, he didn't move, shaking his head and continuing to maintain his condescending demeanor. The mutant leopard leader gritted his teeth. He was also a little angry. This big cat was too greedy. But just exchanging this mutant sick a deer for the dominion of this territory seemed to be a bit low. Getting up and roaring backward again. Not far from the forest. Three more mutant leopards left in response. This time, they took longer. Perhaps due to the long round trip. But Sheen who had the patience to wait. The few giant wolves behind them saw the situation. And the fear in their hearts slowly dissipated. And their gazes towards Sheen who were also more warped with admiration. Only the strong can win respect and power. After waiting for more than an hour. The three mutant leopards that originally left came back. Each leopard held something in its mouth, then walked up and placed it in front of Chin Hu. This time, the things the leopards brought out really made Chin Hu's heart flutter. Three white mutant mountain ginsengs. Although they were not as big as the two plants Chin Hu had found on his own earlier, the efficacy of the mutant mountain ginseng was something Chin Hu greatly desired. This time Chin Hu wasn't going to push back. After pretending to think for a moment, he sent out a roar to the mutant leopard leader in front of him probably meaning that your sincerity is sufficient. This area will be given to you, but only after they leave will they be able to move into this territory. Hearing this roar, the mutant leopard leader breathed a sigh of relief in his heart, then glanced at Chin Hu and returned a cry, hoping that Chin Hu would honor his oath, before leaving with the other leopards in the rear. As soon as the other party left, Chin Hu immediately put away the three mutated mountain ginsengs on the ground, not caring at all about the saliva on them. After all, this stuff was what he lacked the most right now. And here at the mutant leopard, he had gotten three of them in one go. Chin whose eyes rolled as if he had discovered a new continent. However, this also made Chin who feel that the mutant creatures in this area were distinctly different. They were able to communicate through sound. And the intelligence of every mutant creature was not low. In that case, could he not do something with this? Chin who pondered in his heart, the light in his eyes getting brighter and brighter. Receiving the three mutant mountain ginseng that the mutant leopard sent in exchange, Chin who was a little overjoyed. After all, he needed this stuff too much. With these three mutant mountain ginseng, perhaps the evolutionary shackles in his body could be broken open some more, letting a few giant wolves bring the white mutant plum deer with them. Chin who returned to the place where they had just perched, the little demon had yet to awaken, while Chin who picked up a mutant mountain ginseng and swallowed it whole. That feeling came. The mutant mountain ginseng turned silky smooth in the mouth, and then began to decompose in Chin whose belly, transforming into a majestic life substance catalyzing the cellular tissues of the entire body to evolve. As a Chin Hu who had taken mutant ginseng, he naturally understood this feeling. After a short while, the invisible shackles that imprisoned the body seemed to be making a cackling cracking sound under the double impact of the huge living matter transformed by the mutant mountain ginseng and Chin Hu's mysterious energy, and then dissipated a little bit. The feeling of total body relief was even more pronounced than last time. Just as Chin Hu was on his way up, the evolutionary yoke in his body that was originally broken came to an abrupt end, and it turned out that it was because the life substance carried by this strain of mutant mountain ginseng had already been consumed, and that's why there was a lack of energy in the aftermath. At the same time, this strain of mutant ginseng transformed a huge amount of life substance, which only made the evolutionary shackles in Qin whose body break a little bit. It seemed that, the further one went, the effect brought about by swallowing the same strange thing diminished, 
and the energy needed to break open the evolutionary shackles the next time was doubled. Jin who felt this deeply right now, and a single mutant mountain ginseng helped him break it just a little bit. It seems that this kind of strange thing is still most effective when taken for the first time. Jin who thought in his heart. His eyes looked towards the remaining two mutant mountain ginseng, and in line with the principle of not wasting, he threw them all into his mouth, completely disregarded the saliva flowing down from the several giant wolf minions salivating next to him. After swallowing, the evolutionary shackles in his body broke a little bit more, far less than before. Feeling carefully, Jin who found that the life substance provided by these three mutant mountain ginsengs had allowed his body to evolve a bit, and the broken evolutionary shackles were still a third of the size, and the further it went, the harder the confinement became, the more massive the life substance needed, and the difficulty increased geometrically, but Jin who wouldn't give up, he wanted to see what kind of changes would happen to his body after he evolved again, moreover, he could feel that in this mountain forest, other creatures were also continuing to evolve. It was just that most of the creatures were evolving slowly and needed time to build up, but the predators were evolving at a rapid pace, perhaps it was because they were meat eaters, and while satisfying their survival needs, they were also invisibly plundering the life matter accumulated in the bodies of other organisms, indirectly contributing to their own evolution. This led to the reason that along the way, the predators Chin who saw were getting stronger and stronger, and their body sizes were getting bigger and bigger. Moreover, under this era of evolution, the natural law of natural selection of things manifested itself even more clearly. By then, the entire mountain forest may come out of the state of blossoming. All predators will occupy a more powerful position, but there is no lack of gifted herbivores, plants and so on the rise. In short, it was a reshaping of the food chain. Jean who turned to look at the other object the giant wolves dragged back. Although the white mutant plum blossom deer was rare, it didn't have much strength or self-protection ability, and even if it looked good, it could only fall into the predator's mouth to pat its belly. I don't know how long this mutant sick a deer has been dead, but the body doesn't have a trace of rotten odor. Even the white antlers on the top of the head still have a fragrance that continues to emanate, and the blood on the antlers is still flowing. Chin who carefully observed a circle, and found that the essence accumulated by this mutant white plum blossom deer might be on the pair of antlers on top of its head. After approaching, Chin who stretched out his tiger claw, then sharply scratched across the root of the antlers and a pair of white translucent antlers came off. In the next moment, the body of the mutant plum blossom deer, which was still alive, was turned into a pool of blood, and the essence in the bones was also dispersed. This scene not only surprised Chin Hu, even the few giant wolves beside him were startled. They hadn't seen such a horrifying scene. Lifting up the pair of white antlers, Chin Hu carefully surveyed them. Surprisingly, nothing had changed, just like growing on a deer. The blood on the antlers was still flowing and the color was even a little brighter. After thinking about it, risking the mindset of giving it a try, Jean who took a bite on the top of the antlers. Ka bared, ka bared, crisp chewing sounds came from Jean whose mouth, and within a few moments the antler in his mouth was chewed to pieces. It was a bit like eating crispy bones, although it was a bit hard, but chewing it was another flavor. Another Jean who who did not expect is that after swallowing the antlers, his whole body was spreading a cool breath. As the mountain whined through the hair and flesh, blowing directly between his lungs. What is even more amazing is that after this energy into the body, it was not transformed by the abdomen into the mysterious energy in the body, but instead let him extend and stretch in the body, so that Chin who felt refreshed. It's a pity that it doesn't have much effect on breaking the evolutionary shackles in the body. Chin who returned to his senses and looked at the half-bitten antlers, sighing with some regret. He then threw the rest of the antlers to Era, asking him to give a little bit to each of the rest of the giant wolf minions to taste the flavor of the strange thing. The same refreshing breath rose within the seven giant wolves, and at that moment, they were even glad that they had chosen to submit at that moment. That chieftain would freely bestow such a strange thing to his men, and so casually at that, Chin who didn't bother with their thoughts. Instead, he planned to continue to let Era lead him towards a place with abnormalities in the nearby mountains and forests. Such dangerous places were the areas where Chin who felt there might be opportunities. As for those mutant leopards that coveted this territory, it was already beyond Chin whose expectations if he could blackmail something out of their hands. Moreover, Chin who intended to do something different. If the other mutated creatures in this mountain forest could also communicate like the mutated leopards, he felt that he could apply the primitive society's play of bartering, thus acting as a middleman and earning a little bit of hard-earned money. In this way, Chin who could collect a large number of strange objects in a short period of time, and then determine the items that would be beneficial to him from there. However, the prerequisite was that these mutant creatures could be persuaded and had a certain level of intelligence to do so. With this thought in mind, 
Xin Hu felt that if he only had these seven giant wolves under his hand, it seemed a bit insufficient. After familiarizing himself with the environment of this region, Xin Hu felt that he could also prepare to find a piece of mountain forest and develop it into his own territory, and then physically recruit a group of subordinates, so the prerequisites for success would be there. Having gained benefits, Xin Hu was in a good mood, and after resting for a while, he let Era lead the way again. From the exchange and communication with Era, Xin Hu learned that the terrain of this territory was not complicated, and was mainly composed of three regions. The largest is the center of this vast forest field. On both sides of the left side is a towering mountain range, but also live a lot of horrible strength of the mutant creatures. Just era they have not been to that place. The area to the right of the forest field is a swamp plus a large river. Inside the mutant fish also unknown strength and horror. So it seems that this mountain forest is indeed considered a good place to gain a foothold. However, every tree in this place has its own owner, including the territory of the mutant fox that Qin who broke into earlier. If he wasn't so powerful that he directly destroyed this group of mutant foxes, and ruthlessly shocked Era several giant wolves and that group of mutant leopards, I'm afraid he wouldn't be able to exchange these exotic things so easily. On the way forward, Era was like a verbose old woman. As long as it knew, Qin who could hear something. Moreover, Qin who also confirmed from its mouth the fact that their seven giant wolves had to wander around the edges of various power territories due to their weak strength. This too aroused Qin whose interest. After all, there were six or seven territorial forces that Era alone had come into contact with. Most of them were mutated communities that were powerful but lived in groups. It was similar to the original predators such as mutated leopards, mutated foxes, mutated lynxes and so on, but strangely enough, there was no mention of mutated northeastern tigers from Era's mouth. Perhaps there were in the more northern zones, but Qin who was indeed the first mutated northeastern tiger that Era had seen, walking among the mountains and forests, after 20 to 30 kilometers, he was about to reach the edge of the mutant fox colony's territory. Era's expression became serious again. According to Qin Hu's order, if they wanted to go to those unusual places, they would more or less have to intrude into the territorial boundaries of other mutant creature groups. But with Qin Hu's strength, Era's scruples were much less. After all, to be able to slaughter an entire mutant community with one's own strength was also considered rare in this mountain forest. Moreover, they sneaked around, not encountering it head-on, so there wasn't much danger. They had done this kind of thing a lot before, occasionally encountering other mutant creatures in pursuit. Most of them were still safe. Qin who followed behind Era, and after leaving the territory of the mutant fox colony, the mutant leopard that had been keeping a distance from them also stopped in its tracks. Only after seeing Qin who and their figures disappear into the depths of the mountains and forests, really leaving the area, did they let out a sigh of relief before calling out to the other mutant leopards to start occupying the territory? Qin who didn't bother with any of these. The further they went, the more mutated creatures there were here. Perhaps it was because it was at the intersection of the territories and the danger wasn't too great. However, the further they went, the more mutant creatures they encountered. After walking for more than 10 kilometers and almost approaching the territory ahead, Qin who heard the sound of restlessness coming from the front in his ears, interrupting Era's pace to continue with the mountain forest, Qin who now stood still to carefully listen to the situation. The restless sound was getting closer and closer. Like the kind of situation that would only occur if thousands of creatures were running for their lives together. Era and the others didn't hear anything unusual, so they all looked at Qin Hu with blank faces. After waiting for a few minutes, when the gravel on the ground began to vibrate up and down in a regular manner, their expressions became panicked. With such a huge commotion occurring in the mountain forest, some terrifying creature must have appeared chasing or slaughtering the mutated creatures along the way. Not only them, even the small mutant creatures in the surroundings also detected the abnormality and began to stand still to listen carefully to the subtle rattles coming from the forest. The primitive instincts told them that there was danger approaching. At this moment, Qin who also felt an oppressive emotion lingering in his heart. Before he could react, the small mutated creatures around him were in disarray and began to scatter and flee in all directions. Qin who contracted the energy in his body and shrunk his body, then brought Era with him as they ran horizontally. After passing through several hundred meters of mountain forest and walking to an area where the debris on the ground no longer vibrated, they stopped. In the next second, a black shadow flew skimming overhead, all of which were two or three meter sized mutated birds and fowls, emitting bursts of fearful hissing sounds. At the same time, the commotion coming from the mountain forest was getting louder and louder, just as if there was a beast tied. Some small, but fast mutant creatures ran wildly at the forefront, followed by those that were not too big or small. The horde surged through the mountains and forests like a tidal wave, wrapping up the creatures that passed along the way and rolling up rushing dust. Quite a few trees were broken, and the number of mutated creatures that were trampled and crushed were countless. 
It was as if there were some terrifying beasts chasing after them. Jean Hu and the others avoided the center of the beast tide and stood at the edge of the area quietly watching. There were too many mutant creatures running past, with many different varieties and appearances, but there were still quite a few mutant creatures that were mostly similar. This scene had opened Qin Hu's eyes. However, for the creatures behind the wave of hand beasts, Qin Hu's heart was even more intensely interested. Pieces and pieces of mutant creatures sped away from their eyes. Such a stunning momentum has long made a few giant wolves fearful. At the moment has lowered his head and tail, hiding behind the trunk of the tree shivering. Qin Hu watched. Era pretended to be calm, following his side. I do not know how long. The beast tide center of the mutant creatures began to become huge, in which there are a lot of predators sandwiched between them to escape wildly. Mutant lynx, mutant boar herd, mutant black bear, brown bear, and even Chin who saw a body width of 3 or 4 meters. The length is more than 10 meters of mutant giant snake. Such powerful mutant creatures were fleeing for their lives, which made Chin who a little more afraid of the unknown mutant creatures behind him. After another half an hour or so, the area in front of him was stepped out by the escaping mutant creatures to make a path to the platform. The number of mutant creatures passing by in front of him was getting smaller and smaller, but Chin Hu felt that the depressing emotion in his heart was getting thicker and thicker, until the area in front of him was completely devoid of mutant creatures. Chin Hu felt that his breathing had become a few points heavier, and as for Era, he directly covered his eyes and slumped to the ground, on nothing to take into account. Chin Hu's eyes stared at the mountain forest in front of him. Dang! A heavy sound that went to the mountain's road through sounded, followed by a huge webbed palm of more than 10 meters falling from overhead, setting off a strong gust of wind blowing to both sides. It was getting closer and closer. Chin who saw clearly, the size of this mutant creature was simply horrifying. Wow! A crisp cry came out as a long pink tongue ejected from the mouth of the giant mutant creature, reeling in a mutant creature from a position a hundred meters ahead and pouring it back into its mouth. As it slowly walked past Chin Hu's eyes, its huge body made him marvel. This mutant creature that looked somewhat like a baby fish reached a body length of several dozen meters, and its height was more than 20 meters, truly like a mountain. Era raised his head to look at it before covering his eyes with both paws, and although his body trembled unceasingly, he suppressed the urge to immediately escape. After the mutated creature walked away, Chin who patted Era's body and woke it up. Roar! From Era's behavior, Chin who knew that they should have seen this giant creature before, so he held the mentality of trying it out and asked. Unexpectedly, Era had really seen this giant thing, and the other mutated creatures in the mountain forest had also given this thing a name. Wanderer. Such a creature didn't seem to be the only one in the mountain forest. The huge size of the creature already made more than 90% of the mutated creatures shy away from it. If they had some more exotic skills, like the one that just passed by with a chameleon-like curled tongue, I'm afraid that very few mutated creatures would be able to pose a life-threatening threat to them. And that's why these traveling hunters are the one and only that live in this mountain forest. After removing the paw covering his eyes and revealing a slit to observe for a moment, and realizing that the figure of the hunters had indeed disappeared, Era then shook his fur with a bit of shock. Several other giant wolves also recovered from their fear only after being painfully slapped by Era's paw. The terrifying aura brought about by this kind of behemoth was too amazingly shocking. At the same time, Jean who also realized that he knew too little about the situation of this strange mountain forest, especially the mutated creatures whose creatures were in the middle of it. The appearance of the traveling hunter added a few more points to Chin Hu's motivation to become stronger. Ow! Oh, another loud noise came from the mountain forest that had just quieted down. The frightened Era, who had just regained his normalcy, shivered and subconsciously raised his paw to cover his eyes. Chin Hu, who saw the situation clearly, however, went with a claw of fear, interrupting the prostrate Era. It was just a group of mutated creatures that were greedy for small advantages. It was because the places where the hunters hunted through could often converge a large swath of mutated creatures. On the way to exhaustion, there would inevitably be unlucky ones that would be trampled on the ground by other mutant creatures, thus losing their lives. When the number of mutant creatures reached a certain level, such mutant creatures that died due to trampling or accidents were in the minority, and the nomadic hunters won't be interested in this kind of food, so naturally I'll be cheaper for the other mutant creatures. In the long run, wherever the hunter passes by, there must be a group of predators who use this to make a living. Chin who didn't think so, he just hadn't seen such a scene before, and stood still to watch the other predators fight for food. Roar! Some other mutated creatures spotted Chin who and their figures, thinking that they were the same ones who had come to pick up a bargain, and let out a threatening roar at them, but fled away in panic because of Chin who's size. Chin who saw the figures of many predators, and there were even a few northeastern tigers mixed in between, only their size was not big, just two or three meters. Although they also experienced mutation, but it was still different from Chin whose family who were high on drugs and mutated. 
Era looked at the surroundings, then discerned the direction, and then came to ask Jean whose opinion, which to there was no place for any hesitation, and at that moment, Era was allowed to top the little demon, and led the six minions all the way to the northwest. There was a mountain range location there, but there was a strange place that met Chin whose requirements, a cave that glows. At the same time, this area was also home to many groups of mutated black bears and brown bears, which were not only individually strong, but also had thick defenses and were too numerous to be messed with. But Chin who didn't care, as long as he couldn't be beaten, the ones who died were the enemies, and a cave that glows, perhaps there are strange things inside. In a short time, Chin who and his party avoided the predators that followed the hunters and then braved the cold wind to continue toward the northwestern mountain range. The scenes of wolves howling and mountains shaking did not appear. Their group was quiet, and as much as possible, Lincoln took remote routes to not disturb the mutant creature communities in the territories along the way. Chin Hu and Era walked at the forefront, crossing a small river and shaking the water from their bodies before continuing on. In order to stay hidden, they traveled all the way up steep places, and the temperature was lowered quite a bit from the previous mountain forests, and the exhaled gas took on a white mist. After marching for a while, Chin Hu also let a few of his juniors stop and rest for a while. After all, they didn't have Chin Hu's abundant strength and constant supply of energy, and didn't care about physical exertion at all. Walking and stopping, in the middle, they also met a group of mutant creatures, but did not face each other, until the time when the sky became dark. They crossed the mountain forest and saw this towering mountain peak in front of them. As soon as they arrived at this place, the water mist in the air completely turned into flying snow mixed in with the gusty winds, constantly slapping at their bodies. The few giant wolves were still fine and weren't afraid of this level of severe cold, and so was Chin Hu. It was just that the gusty winds and flying snow were too great, obscuring their vision and speed of travel. Looking around, the sparse trees and irregular rocks all over the place, coupled with the white snow all over the place, made Chin Hu feel a different landscape. This was the first time he had seen winter snow in this world, and it was still so pure white. The fierce wind and flying snow still raged. Chin Hu then found a place to stop with the wind and snow at his back, shaking the snowflakes that had accumulated on their fur. The giant wolves other than Chin who clearly felt the cold. Roar dash. While they were resting by hiding in a leeward place, an angry roar came from the snow and wind in front of them, and then it stopped again. Chin Hu and the others didn't pay any attention to it. The mutated brown bears and black bears that lived here were the most numerous, although these two are both bears, but they are not a community. Occasionally there will be fighting and killing. This situation has already forgotten to be strange. At the same time, it also showed that they were not far from the area Era had spoken of. As long as they avoided the places where the mutant brown bears and black bears lived, and quietly entered, everything would be smooth. Just as Chin Hu and the others were resting, on the exposed rocks in front of them, two mutant brown bears and black bears of similar sizes were wrestling together. Crimson blood was flowing out from the places where they had been hurt, and it was currently bubbling hot falling low on the snow and dying dots of red flowers. Moreover, as they fought, the black bear gradually fell into a disadvantage, and at the same time, it also had a mind to escape. With a turn, the black bear ventured forward and fled. The mutant brown bear opened its bloody mouth, hissed and quickly followed. Coincidentally, the direction they fled in was exactly where Chin Hu and the others were resting at the moment. After another distance, the two sides would surely be able to meet at a leeward place not far away. Chin who listened to the movement that was getting closer and closer, and also sensed that something was wrong, probing out his body to look into the snow and wind, but the distance was too far, only the traces of the wind and snow blowing through, no other creatures were visible, but besides the wind and snow whistling, a faint odor of blood blew along with the wind and snow, which was keenly captured by Chin Hu, combined with the commotion he heard just now, Chin Hu understood the story, that is, he didn't know where the defeated side fled to, after moving his body in the leeward land, his body warmed up again. Era as well as several other giant wolves recovered their spirit and were already ready to continue their journey. But in the very next moment, a black bear with wounds all over its body violently rushed in, and then both sides even glared at each other as it passed by. It seemed that both were surprised, being surrounded by seven or eight huge-sized mutant creatures on the front path, coupled with being heavily injured. Such a situation instantly caused this black bear to panic and not caring about the brown bears chasing after it, the next moment it threw off its body, facing Chin Hu and the others squarely, and let out a hissing roar. The roar with the smell of blood came out from the black bear's mouth, causing the several giant wolves that were resting to be stunned. Obviously, they hadn't done anything, they had just looked at them, there was no need to get so angry. Although they seemed to be that much stronger, they were misunderstood by the other party before they even made a move, especially an injured black bear. Roar! 
The bloody odor was blown along the wind and snow to Chin Hu and the others, filling their mouths and noses and stimulating their nerves, especially the several giant wolves, which had long been impatiently showing their teeth, staring viciously at the black bear in the wind and snow. Once it moved, the next second they would not hesitate to pounce forward and tear off a piece of bloody meat from the mutated black bear. Chin Hu got up, and the seven juniors standing in front of him glanced at each other, then obediently retreated to the sides, making way for the center. And when Chin Hu's figure appeared, the aura oppression brought about by his huge size directly scared the injured mutant black bear into trembling. Too huge, too terrifying. The mutant black bear had never seen such a huge-sized mutant northeastern tiger before. Even the most powerful mutant black bear king in their pack was a bit worse than this tiger in front of them. The huge size and domineering aura all gave people the feeling of not being able to walk. The mutant black bear also didn't expect how it could appear in this remote place in an area where creatures were scarce. Roar! Just as the black bear was shocked by Chin Hu's aura, a roar came from behind him at the right time, causing his mind to jolt back from his trance-like state. At this moment, the black bear's voice to that immortal enemy also sounded particularly pleasant to the ear, and there was even a little bit of anticipation. The mutant black bear even squatted down on the snow, shrinking its body, trying to minimize its presence. At the same time, the roar coming from the snow and wind also attracted the attention of Chin Hu and his party and they all cast their eyes into the snow and wind, watching the strange mutant creature that had not yet revealed itself. Chin whose nose had already smelled the odor coming from the wind and snow. After analyzing and judging it, he knew that it was a mutated brown bear, and the smell of its body was similarly mixed with a strong smell of blood, coupled with the mutant black bear that escaped alone in front of him. Chin who probably understood the situation. Two fighting mutant bears, one of which had fled in defeat. Not long after, under Chin whose watchful eyes, the mutant brown bear dragged its bulky body and rushed up. After seeing the mutated black bear, the brown bear's eyes revealed a joyful color, and at the same time, it was also puzzled by the black bear that didn't run away. When enemies met each other, they would see each other's eyes, but there was an exception at the moment. When the mutated brown bear came to the black bear's nearness with full fury, the giant wolf and Chin who also saw his figure, although they didn't know what was going on, the two bears were at each other's throats, and the seven giant wolves also revealed their curious minds. They also wanted to know if the mutated black bear and brown bear could fight head on anymore. Chin who stepped forward to block the fierce expressions of the seven giant wolves, and the giant wolves, seeing this, wisely gave up their chance to show off, leaving the brightest spot for Chin Ji. The mutant brown bear and the black bear were not far apart, but both looked at Chin who with the same expression. For Chin who, he only wanted to see these two mutant bears to get some information from their mouths, and by the way, he was interested in letting them empty their hearts again. After all, Chin who felt that the taste of mutant bear bile was still good, and it had a special kind of efficacy, and the texture was also very good. Chin who strides towards the direction where the two bears are. At the same time, the surrounding wind and snow because of his appearance was blocked to the four directions of the blowing, hard body to cut off the path of the wind and snow blowing. The two mutated black bears had never seen such a scene before, and immediately froze in place. Just as Chin who approached, he let out an inquiring tiger whistle at the two mutant bears not caring if the other party could understand it or not. Chin whose eyes stared at them, expecting a reply from either of their black bears. However, it seemed that the brown bear's head wasn't working very well. What responded to Chin who was an angry roar, while a berserk intent rose in his eyes. Chin whose eyes were cold, treating this kind of goods, the simple and direct way was the most useful. Tiger claws crossed, in an instant, the smell of blood in the air skyrocketed, and then was taken away by the strong wind and snow, so that the surrounding air is fresh again. There was a snap. The sound of a heavy object falling on the ground was weak, but it still woke up the mutant black bear that was in shock. Staring at the loss of the mutant brown bear's head out of the neatly broken skull, it felt the chill of death. The corpse of the mutant brown bear that was bubbling with blood was still trembling slightly. His tenacious vitality made him not completely dead. Even after losing his head, he could still struggle to survive for some time. Sheen who glanced at the only remaining mutant black bear, his eyes with killing intent gave it great pressure. Regardless of what the black bear's expression was, Chin who walked over to the mutant brown bear's corpse whose head had been cut off by his claw, stretched out his sharp claws, and broke open the belly right in front of the giant wolf and the mutant black bear, from which he plucked out the fresh bear bile. After removing the bloody flavor on the surface, the flavor in the bear bile was slightly bitter, but the aftertaste was so strong that it made people somewhat addicted to it. Chin who was somewhat addicted to this flavor, a pleasant demeanor appearing on his face. This made the mutant black bear next to him even more fearful, his small eyes constantly darting around. Under the threat of death, the mutant black bear finally spoke out some information that was useful to Chin Hu. 
It turned out that the strange place they had been searching for was in the center of the area where the mutant brown bear community lived, and was guarded by them as their home. This was also the reason why the mutant brown bear had rebelled so angrily after Chin who had just revealed such a meaning. While Chin who was thinking, not far away from the snow and wind, a black bear whose body type was even taller and stronger than the mutant black bear in front of him was slowly revealed, followed by a group of mutant black bears of varying sizes. Seeing this, the seven giant wolves immediately stepped forward, escorting on both sides of Chin Hu, showing their loyalty. And when the leading mutant black bear saw this, it didn't get angry, but instead, under Chin Hu's gaze, it shielded the injured one of its kind behind it, then turned its head and let out a low growl at Chin Hu, seeming to grow louder at something in its voice. Obviously, this mutant black bear with the largest size was the king of their group, and it also seemed to be full of wisdom, and the message conveyed in its voice was much stronger than the mutant black bear just now. Chin who stepped forward and walked closer, stopping in front of the black bear king, both of them were only 10 meters apart, they were both sizing each other up, their size, teeth, sharp claws, and demeanor. However, when Chin who looked at the dozens of mutated black bears behind him, his mind couldn't help but recall the bear bile he had just swallowed. Although it couldn't allow him to break free from the evolutionary shackles in his body, it could provide a huge amount of energy and had a good taste, making his mouth water a bit. I also wonder what the mutant black bear bile tastes like. Chin who stared at the dozens of mutant black bear figures and scanned around. In his opinion these were just dozens of bear bile waiting for him to feed on. If the other party made any moves, Chin who would definitely strike back with thunderous force. After observing the other party, Chin who clearly saw the fluctuations in the black bear king's eyes. A pair of dark and small eyes kept turning, seemingly contemplating something. The injured black bear that was protected by the black bear king also finally let out a sigh of relief at this moment. The image of Chin who cutting open the brown bear's body and pulling out the other bear's bile was still deeply engraved in his mind until now, becoming a lingering shadow. The black bear king pondered in place for a long time, and before Chin who lost his patience, the other party finally moved. Roar roar roar. A low bear roar was continuously emitted and Chin who carefully understood the meaning expressed in it. The black bear king was talking, Chin who was listening, and the more he listened, the more confused he became. In front of him, this big black guy actually expressed that he wanted to fight with Chin who to test his strength, and only after getting his approval would he cooperate with Chin who and take him to find the area where the mutant brown bear community lived. At the same time, Chin who could not take action against them, and if necessary, he would also help them defend against the threat from the mutant brown bear group. The conditions weren't too harsh, but Chin who still planned to blackmail these mutant bears that were simple and naive in nature. Roar. Chin who told the other party that all these conditions were acceptable, but if he wanted him to make a move, the mutant black bear group would have to pay a price and take out some exotic things that Chin who could see eye to eye with before he could do so. Perhaps it was really bullied very much by the other group. After Chin who said his meaning three times and the black bear king understood, he immediately agreed, but he needed Chin who to take out his full strength and defeat him. Then he would have enough exotic things to send. Faced with this kind of request, Chin who was not ambiguous, and after a tiger whistle sounded out of his mouth as a reminder, he launched an attack at the black bear king without hesitation. He stretched out his tiger's palm and followed the momentum of the wind and snow, slapping out a sound that exploded like thunder. The other creatures on both sides had the sense to make enough fighting ground for the two kings. While appreciating this rare battle of kings, the wind and snow blocked them. Pa. The black bear king on the opposite side saw Chin who attacking and reacted extremely quickly, dodging the breaking claws with a slant. Plump body. Swift speed. Chin who slapped his palm in the air, and the huge force tilted on the ground, blowing out a big crater with a boom, splashing up the surrounding snow. The terrifying sound caused the onlookers on both sides to be startled. This force was too terrifying. However, Chin who strike did not cause any injuries to the black bear king, causing the kindred behind him to add another powerful confidence in their leader's strength. Although it didn't resolve the battle with a single move, to the extent that it made Chin whose expectations of this black bear king distrength rise somewhat. At the same time, after testing, he also began to look squarely at this battle. With a gaze in his eyes, Chin whose tiger tail pressed down, and his hind legs vigorously exerted force, pouncing over in the direction of the black bear king, the huge tiger's mouth roared and bit down towards the other party. In the face of this kind of attack, the black bear king was also shocked. Originally thought that the speed that Chin who had just shown as well as was the ultimate, did not expect that this moment was even faster, and let him have a kind of suffocating feeling of a Tarzan pressing down on the top of the mountain. He didn't dare to be slow and immediately got up to dodge, while taking advantage of the situation to return fire. Bang! In the midst of the wind and snow, the two behemoths wrestled together, so fast that they would even produce sonic booms. But soon, 
Jean whose tiger palm landed on the Black Bear King's plump body. The massive force fell and was blocked by the Black Bear King's thick fat, rippling a layer of meat wolf on his body and weakening the force of Jean whose attack. Even so, the Black Bear King still felt a sense of suffocation coming from his belly. If this force was a few points greater, I'm afraid that even the thick fat at his belly would be broken. In the snow and wind, the hissing sounds of the two came. The thumping and collision sounds kept coming, coupled with the splashing of broken rocks and flying snow, made the battle seem unusually intense. The strength of the Black Bear King gave Chin Hu the urge to let go of his full strength and fight soundly. After a few rounds, Chin Hu had already figured out the Black Bear King's bottom line. The body was plump only because the fat was too thick, but it also provided defense for the body, greatly removing the force that fell inside the body. If he couldn't break the Black Bear King's defense with absolute strength, he would have to simmer with his physical strength. With such a fat body size and such a swift speed, it was definitely not sustainable. Chin Hu seized the Black Bear King's weak point. After tossing him back and forth several times at a very fast speed, this guy unexpectedly did not move out of place and directly stood in place to defend. Figuring out the other side of the bottom, Sheen who has a number in mind, also don't want to wear down with the Black Bear King, but in the battle Sheen who found that the more power he used, the more energy in the body will be consumed. The new birth of the power of the more refined a few points, and at the same time on the body of the evolution of the yoke is also loosened a very small part of the body, probably only the size of a hair. This discovery, immediately let Chin who came to be interested, looking at the eyes of the Black Bear King as if he had seen the meat and potatoes. Bang bang bang. The sound of the collision from the wind and snow grew louder and louder, causing both sides of the onlookers to become a little frightened. And as one of the main characters in the battle, the Black Bear King was even more bitter. The force that fell on his body just now he was still able to withstand, but he didn't know what kind of madness this big cat in front of him was having, and one blow was even stronger than another even so strong that after he discharged the force himself, his internal organs could still feel a violent vibration. After enduring another attack, the Black Bear King felt a trace of pain coming from within his body. His internal organs were injured under this attack. Looking up at Chin who's even hotter eyes, the Black Bear King felt a chill. If he had known, he wouldn't have tested the strength of this kind of battle maniac. Amidst the snowflakes, when Chin whose huge tiger paw landed on the Black Bear King again, he felt as if he had been hit by a small mountain. Put. A stream of blood spewed out uncontrollably from his mouth, followed by his plump body flying out three to four meters in the air. After struggling to get up, a pair of dark bear paws waved in front of Chin Hu. The smell of blood in the air stimulated Chin Hu's nerves, causing him to instantly come back to his senses. Looking at the black bear king that flew out backwards, Chin Hu instantly released a third of the mysterious energy in his body and once again collected it. This time, Chin Hu had a rough idea of his strength. At the same time, it also allowed him to discover another force to break the evolutionary shackles within his body. It wasn't that the battle didn't work. It was that the strength of the opponents he fought with before didn't work, preventing Chin Hu from utilizing the auxiliary role of the mysterious energy in his body. And that was why it didn't cause the evolutionary yoke to shatter. Now, and the Black Bear King of Battle, Chin Hu realized, perhaps with their own strength than the opponent fighting, with the body of the mysterious energy explosion and auxiliary role, perhaps faster than the search for strange things to break the body of the evolution of the shackles. Thinking of this, Sheen whose eyes flashed with a brilliant light, somewhat thankful to this naive black bear king. If it wasn't for him wanting to try his strength, I'm afraid he wouldn't have discovered this shortcut. Sheen whose strength was recognized by the black bear king, even against the king of the mutant brown bear tribe. With Sheen whose strength, he was able to defeat it, and when he encountered a siege, he was able to easily escape without fear for his life. The wind and snow gradually decreased. The snow on the ground was a few points thicker, and the temperature in the air dropped a bit. The gas breathed in the mouth and nose also turned into channels of white mist. In the snow white mountain forest, a fat black black bear led the way in front. Behind him were dozens of mutant black bears of different sizes. Obviously, these mutated black bears were all of his clan. After walking a distance towards the northwest, the black black bear king stopped and stood upright, sniffing his scent in several directions ahead, seemingly searching for something. Chin who also sniffed around, because of the wind and snow that had just been experienced, coupled with the fact that the air had become moist, many odors had disappeared, and even the scent that had just been left behind had become minuscule after a short while, but obviously this black bear king has its own special skills, after a burst of sniffing around, really let him find the residual smell, after sending out a voice to communicate with Chin Hu, he waved his paw and recruited a slightly smaller mutant black bear from the group to come forward. After emitting a few low growls that were more like instructions, this black bear left with some reluctance. Afterwards, most of the clansmen in the entire mutant black bear group followed him and left in another direction. 
Qin who didn't stop him. Instead, he also asked Era to bring a few of his little brothers and the little demons to follow them and leave together. To do this kind of thing by surprise, the smaller the commotion, the easier it would be to succeed and the safer it would be. It was only after only Qin Hu and the Black Bear King were left in the snow that they continued their journey towards the west. The further they traveled, the more rocks were exposed to the snow, and the trees gradually grew thicker. Even the temperature slowly rose a bit. It was almost time to arrive at the area where the mutant brown bear tribe lived. The Black Bear King let out a low voice to remind Qin Hu, without him having to say it. Qin Hu also smelled the bear odor that permeated the air. Although it was very faint, the result was very clear and intuitive. Taking a look at the snow in front of them, there were several large footprints imprinted on the ground, obviously left behind by a creature that had just passed through here not long ago. Qin Hu and the others knew that ahead was where the mutant brown bear community lived. Although he knew that powerful battles could also help him break the evolutionary shackles, Qin Hu wanted to grab both hands. There might even be an unexpected surprise. The black bear king glanced around, then pointed the direction to Qin Hu, and then let out a low roar, as if saying goodbye to Qin Hu with the meaning of blessing Qin Hu in it. Qin Hu didn't say much and just nodded in response, before coming to talk about the communication, by the black bear in front of the mutant brown bear community's territory to attract frontal fire. Qin Hu took the opportunity to move, looking for what he needed, and in the process slaughtered, weakening the mutant brown bear community's strength. This result may seem like the black bear king is at a disadvantage, but they have already been cornered by the brown bear tribe, and if they continue like this, they may only have to go towards extinction. Sheen who cat walks in the mountain forest, tiger paw stepping on the snow, making a soft ringing sound, leaving a heavy footprint, following the direction pointed out by the black bear king, Sheen who passed through a forest, climbed over a small hill, and after bypassing the two mutant brown bears on patrol, he finally saw a different scenery, a semicircular green valley formed by white snow and mountains wrapped around it, Sheen who was naturally astonished when he saw such a scenery, at the same time, he also saw the mutant brown bears that occasionally frequented the green valley. These mutant brown bears were generally larger than black bears, not only in size, but also in paws, claws, and already sharp teeth. No wonder the mutant black bear community was suppressed so miserably. It was completely crushed, both in terms of strength and numbers. The environment here also provides a natural shelter for the mutant brown bear community, isolating the wind and snow from the outside, forming a barrier, coupled with the harsh climate. In addition to the thick-skinned black bears and brown bears that can endure the harsh cold life, only some special mutant creatures live. The entire valley was about a dozen square kilometers, and standing at the top of a small hill, one could see the whole picture at a glance. At the same time the towering mountains behind the valley made Qin who think of the strange place era mentioned earlier. Qin who did not act rashly, but shrunk his body, at the same time with the surrounding snow will have been covered up, so lying in the snow to hide the shape and breath, waiting for the black bear king's signal. Anyway, he is not afraid of the heat and cold. Temperature changes do not have much effect on him. As for the black bear king and his three clansmen, they were sneaking to the place where the mutant brown bears gathered. When they saw dozens of huge mutant brown bears not far away, they were also a bit scared. But for the sake of their own people, they quickly calmed down again. After confirming his eyes, the mutant black bear king no longer hit his figure and charged down towards the front. A sneak attack ripping an underage mutant brown bear into several pieces. The bloody odor quickly spread, coupled with the sensitive sense of smell of bears. The abnormality here was quickly discovered by the other mutant brown bears. Roar roar roar. The black bear king's figure was exposed, and the surrounding mutated brown bears began to run in this direction. After cooperating with the three clansmen and quickly attacking and killing two other mutant brown bears, they began to retreat to the back. At the same time, a terrifying roar spread through the mountains and forests. Sheen Hu, who was lying in the snow waiting for the right moment, naturally heard the roar, knowing that the black bear king had begun to move, Qin who did not hesitate and rushed out of his hiding place like lightning, then dashed through the mountains and forests towards the towering mountains ahead, running out of the snow-covered area, Qin who entered the valley and stepped between the green mountains, his speed was fast, and his size didn't revert to giganticization, but kept moving forward, in the middle, he also met other mutated brown bears, but Qin who didn't make a move and instead went around, the black bear king and their commotion was too loud, attracting most of the mutant brown bears in this valley, so all along the way Qin who met very few mutant brown bears, it was considered smooth, after crossing the valley and swimming through a small lake, Qin who slowly approached the foot of the mountain, however, there was an adult mutant brown bear in front of him, which was currently staring at Qin whose figure, even though Qin who had shrunk his body, there was no way to change the aura on his body, allowing this mutant brown bear to sense the abnormality, roar, 
without any extra means. Sheen who ran furiously towards the mutant brown bear at extreme speed, while the bound energy in his body was instantly released, and his body size was expanding and recovering at a speed visible to the naked eye. Looking at the instantly swollen several times Chin Hu, this mutant brown bear may have been frightened, in Chin Hu claws across its head when even stared. No extra counterattack. The mutant brown bear's upright body fell down with a thud, blood flowing along the ground and slowly seeping down again. Directly in front, a huge mutant brown bear was currently looking at the clan members who were torn into several pieces, and roared angrily a few times in the direction where the black bear king and the others had fled, his thick breath contracting violently in his mouth and nose, Clearly the anger in his heart was in the process of increasing violently. This group of weak black bears actually dared to take advantage of the opportunity to sneak attack his own clan, simply looking for death. This mutant brown bear king who was over 6 meters tall issued an angry command directing the rest of his clan to chase after them towards the front. He must use the blood of these black bears to quench the anger in his heart. Roar. With the brown bear king's roar, the hundreds of mutated brown bears that had rushed here instantly moved. The movement on Chin whose side wasn't too big and didn't attract the attention of the other mutant brown bears. The entire brown bear group in the valley was attracted by the bear king's angry roar. It surged towards the woods in front of the valley. This bought Chin who a lot of time. He leaped over a high rock, borrowed the strength of a large tree next to him, and then accelerated over with a whoosh sound. Boom! After a heavy landing, Chin who could already see the bottom of the mountain range in front of him, in front of the two mutant brown bears running towards the front, Chin who dodged and appeared and then his claws crossed the neck of these two brown bears, and then this brown bear still running at breakneck speeds then twisted its body, and its head and body were divided into two pieces, and rolled over a few times on the snowy ground before its headless body fell on the ground, exuding a strong bloody odor, the white snow was dyed red, drawing a straight line, Sheen who passed by and looked at it, incidentally using his claws to pull the surrounding snow towards the brown bear, kindly putting it on some snow, Sheen who looked at the empty snowy area ahead, scanned the surrounding area, and then ran towards the front more quickly. A tornado trailed behind him, swirling up the snow on the ground and covering up the traces left behind just now. Rather like stepping on snow without a trace, Sheen whose body hadn't gotten any bigger yet, but his body weight was still not small, and the traces left behind were obvious. This, coupled with the lingering scent of blood in the air, made some passing brown bears notice that something was wrong. They raised their heads and sniffed in the air around them, searching a little bit in all directions. More importantly, the two mutated brown bears slowly approached the forest where Chin who had destroyed his body. However, at this moment, Chin who had already reached below the mountain range, standing in the forest, looking up at the peaks in front of him that towered into the clouds without seeing the tops of the mountains, an aura of a sweeping view of the mountains instantly stirred up in his chest and abdomen. Chin who stopped at the foot of the mountain and observed the surrounding situation, at a location 7 to 800 meters ahead of the mountain range, Chin who sensed a different aura. At the same time, that location was also where the location of that strange place was located. Roar dash. Another terrifying hiss resounded in the valley, and Chin who felt a distinct aura appear. It seemed like the cheap brown bear king had gone crazy. In the mountain forest, the black bear king led three of his men in a guerrilla attack. Taking advantage of the chaos in the valley, they ambushed the mountain forest, specializing in picking on those underage mutant brown bears. So much so that of the brown bears that followed behind. Most of what they saw were corpses torn apart on the ground. A dozen or so underage mutant brown bears lay in pools of blood before and after. The brown bear king was also completely enraged. Angry growls continuously emanating from his mouth while standing upright, his thick palms slapping at his chest. In the next moment, he landed on all fours, red-eyed, and led his clan behind him in a frantic and frenzied dash towards the place where the black bear odor originated from. Chin who did not act rashly, and was waiting quietly for the moment around him. There was something unusual about this place. It was too quiet especially at this moment when the valley was all in a state of chaos, but there were no other creatures here except for the brown bears that Chin who had encountered earlier, which was very unusual. After observing for more than 10 minutes, Chin who didn't find anything unusual, he was a bit impatient and accelerated his limbs towards the top of the mountain range to continue his journey. The higher up, the slope began to steep up, but the trees are more dense, just compared to other trees, seems a little low. Chin who Fangwush jumped to a shrub to hide, and then look around and then continue to move forward. He is very cautious. Seven or eight hundred meters of distance for Chin Hu does not need much time. Even if the slope here is getting bigger and bigger, the terrain is getting steeper and steeper. His figure still jumped nimbly on the steep rocks. In order to maintain his speed, Chin Hu had to increase the strength of his limbs to explode. And even when he jumped, the rocks below him couldn't withstand the massive force and split apart with a click, and then stop when, in front of the field of vision, 
appeared a diameter of more than 10 meters east of the mountain, and the cave entrance around the surprisingly dense white fog cover, so that people cannot see clearly the appearance of the cave around. Just when Qin who was ready to go forward and quietly feel his way into the cave, a terrifying sound instantly rang out, followed by a black shadow that came with it. Qin who did not have time to react, bang after a loud bang, only to feel the whole head drowsy, face is hot and painful. His vision returned to normal from blurring, and only then did he see clearly the unknown creature that had attacked him. It was a mutated brown bear that was even larger than the brown bear king that chased after the black bear. It was just that the aura on his body seemed a bit dead, and Sheen who even smelled the flavor of danger and corruption from him. In just a few moments, the wound left by this old brown bear on Sheen whose cheek healed, adjusting his state, Sheen who also no longer retained his strength, instantly releasing the suppressed power in his body. Then his body swelled up and became bigger, not far from that old brown bear. And when this old brown bear saw this, he was also a bit surprised. And then there was a hint of fluctuation in his calm eyes. He stood up his body, his two bear paws hanging on both sides, his somewhat white eyelashes moved, and then without warning, he attacked towards Qin Hu. Qin Hu jumped up from his spot, dodging the old brown bear's attack and reversing his direction, bringing himself a little closer to the cave in front of him. Being in the middle of the white mist, Qin Hu realized the abnormality. This white mist was surprisingly not formed by the gathering of water and mist, but was the remnants of the clouds and mist that had previously idled all the mountains and forests. Taking a breath, Sheen who felt the mysterious energy that kept surging in his body. At the same time, the evolutionary shackles in his body were also a bit dumbfounded. This was simply a heavenly paradise. This discovery made Sheen who happy. As long as he solved this old brown bear in front of him, he would be able to explore the secrets in the cave. If he could use this to break the evolutionary shackles in his body and achieve evolution once again, this must be the biggest gain of Qin Hu's trip. The old brown bear blocked in front of Qin Hu and didn't seem to care about Qin Hu's surprise. Instead, it was somewhat immovable like a mountain. At the same time, Qin Hu felt that this old brown bear in front of him should possess an extremely high level of intelligence. After all, there must be a demon when things go wrong. Roar, holding the mentality of trying, Qin Hu sent out his voice wanting to communicate with him for a while, but the old brown bear did not have any response. Instead, it looked at Qin Hu with a somewhat teasing expression. Roar! Qin Hu felt that he had been tricked. From the moment he found himself, this old brown bear had no intention of letting himself leave here alive. But thinking about it, the cloud that could allow creatures to continue evolving was actually so dense in this cave. And once this discovery was spread, there was no telling how many mutated creatures with intelligence were going to flock here. Ow dash! After a short pause, Qin who let out a roar, declaring his strength and anger. He took two steps forward, his sharp teeth showing, his gaze fixed on top of the body of this old brown bear in front of him. Such an opponent made him a bit excited. More than anything else, he wanted to vent and experiment his strength. Even if the previous black bear king had exerted his full strength, he couldn't force Qin who to exert his full strength. But there was something special about this old brown bear in front of him. His gaze was as contemptuous and disdainful as a wise old man looking at the frivolous and ignorant juniors in front of him, not even caring about Qin Hu's provocation. Qin Hu was truly angry. This was the first time he had truly ignored another mutant creature. The two powerful opponents confronted each other for a moment. The surrounding mountains and forests rattled as seven or eight tall mutant brown bears with equally robust bodies heard the rattling sound and surrounded them. Roar roar roar. The moment they saw Qin Hu's silhouette, they showed a panicked look, a hint of fear flashing then slowly regained their composure after seeing the silhouette of the old brown bear in front of them. They let out roars, their voices still carrying a hint of fear, as if they were asking the old brown bear what he meant. Do you want to help? Roar! A silent old brown bear spoke out, and the mutated brown bear closest to the old brown bear was kicked out with fear in its gaze. Under the old brown bear's powerful aura, they began to head in the direction the clan had rushed to for support. The moment he turned around, Sheen who clearly saw these mutant brown bears reveal a hint of relief. Without the influence of other creatures, the old brown bears gently moved their bodies, and then their idle gazes instantly coalesced in one place, forcing Qin Hu to have the illusion of not being able to look directly at them. Afterward, a sonic boom broke through the air, bringing the surrounding snow flying through the air. Qin Hu saw the old brown bear move, revealing speed and strength beyond his imagination. Despite his first instinctive reaction, he was not able to react and dodge in the first place. Pain. It was as if his body had been split apart. Sheen whose huge body flew off 40 to 50 meters backwards before coming to a stop. A 2 to 3 meter high mixture of snow and debris piled up behind him. Sheen who was lying horizontally on the ground, motionless, his breath pulling violently as he let out a ho-ho sound. With just one strike, Sheen who was defeated, even his body was severely injured, 
and there was damage to the internal organs of his body. A mouthful of bruised blood mixed with blood clots spewed out from his throat before Qin who felt his breathing much smoother, while his body as well as his internal organs were only soothed between them. Who? The old brown bear is not far away quietly watching the injured Qin who struggling on the ground, also did not take advantage of the victory. The painkillers fell on the well. The strong confidence in his own strength was revealed at this moment. Qin who staggered to his feet, rubbing away the blood from the corners of his mouth. The mysterious energy in his body was like a river rushing through the veins of his body and filling them up. The injured internal organs in his body were instantly repaired and healed. Feeling the surge of mystical energy in his body and the exponentially increased strength, Qin whose gaze similarly changed. This old brown bear might be able to receive an attack after his strength exploded. Qin who loosened his grip on the gravel on the ground. His body swished over like the wind, and the tiger's palm infused with mystical energy opened up, and violently slapped a claw on top of the old brown bear's head. Bang after the sound of the air. In the eyes of the old brown bear surprised, his own body was actually Qin who to fly out. At the same time the tiger claw is also comparable to the steel defense of his cheeks cut out a deep wound. Without waiting for the old brown bear to react, Qin who once again pounced on him, his sharp and lengthy tiger claws expanding to the limit, violently slashing towards the old brown bear's body. Bear. Qin who felt the sense of relief after his strength was released. At the same time, he was more aware of the evolutionary shackles within his body being tugged and shattered after he endured the violent attack. The old brown bear's eyes were scarlet. The strength that Qin who had displayed had surprised and amazed him a little. Originally thought to be just a cocky and arrogant young scion, a fly that could be slapped to death with a random bear paw, now it really had the sharp claws of a young tiger and gave birth to the aura of a king. This scene made the old brown bear's mind conjure up the scene when he met an adult northeastern tiger in its peak state many years ago, and escaped from the other party's hands in death. The old brown bear wiped away the blood flowing from his face with his bare paw and then stood up again. The fur on his belly was scratched out by Qin Hu, revealing the wound that had been broken open underneath. Qin Hu's tiger claw had cut right through his defense and hurt him. Qin Hu shook the snow and debris from his fur and returned to normal. The belligerent aura on his body became even more intense, and he kept emitting tiger whistles to provoke the old brown bear in front of him, fighting against each other. Qin Hu took a step, sand and rocks flying under his feet, and ran all the way furiously. The old brown bear's gaze narrowed, meaning Qin whose onslaught with the most experienced posture. Boom boom. A loud sound like a mountain crumbling came, resounding through the clouds and vibrating the mountains and forests. All the creatures in the valley were startled. The brown bear king, who was still chasing the black bear king, as well as his clansmen heard the loud sound. The figure that was still frantically chasing stopped instantly, then stood in place for a moment to think. A serious look appeared on his face. Then he yelled towards his clansmen around him gave up the chase, and ran furiously towards his back. The old brown bear that had been heavily injured by Qin who fell to the ground, its blood-stained paws supporting its body by bracing itself against the rocks in front of the cave. Qin who stared at the old brown bear whose strength was horrible. His frenzied eyes faded a bit, and his heart was filled with a bit more respect. In the battle, both sides had done their best, and Qin who had even utilized the mysterious energy in his body to the extreme. His internal organs were smashed again and again by this old brown bear in front of him and were subsequently repaired and healed by him. With this kind of pain, Sheen who was somewhat patient, Sheen who as well as the old brown bear's body were stained red with blood. However, Sheen who was victorious in having the assistance of the mysterious energy within his body, the injuries both inside and outside his body were able to heal quickly. In the midst of the battle, the old brown bear also discovered Sheen who's state, just like a small strong man that could not be defeated. Obviously he had already been beaten by him and spat out the internal organs broken fast, his breath was weakened to the extreme, and it seemed that he was about to be cut off, but in the next second, he slowly came back to life, as if he was being reinflated balloon in general. It can be said that the old brown bear strengthened Qin who was also stronger than some, but now it is Qin who to live to support the appearance of unsupportable. The old brown bear was still holding on, not letting himself fall in the battle. The victory was already clear. At this moment, Qin who instead appreciated the strength of this old brown bear, perhaps thanks to this cave in front of him, he was able to evolve all the way and possess today's terrifying strength. Even if he was a bit sorry, Sheen who had to make his move, walking forward, another violent blow, the old brown bear finally lost the strength to support, completely collapsed on the ground, only the thick breathing sound coming from his mouth, along with the blood flowing out from the corner of his mouth, a little bit of infiltrating the surrounding soil. ka -ching. A thick bone cracking sound rang out as Sheen who finally broke the old brown bear's neck. The pain of suffocation and spine breakage made him twitch up on the ground. His last hold on this world. Sheen who stepped over the old brown bear's corpse, then approached the cave, with his head tilted up, 
He took a deep breath of the cloud that contained special power. Sheen who felt relieved all over. At the same time the evolutionary shackles in his body loosened up a lot. The peak battle with the old brown bear had erupted all of Sheen whose strength. In the battlefield in front of the cave, deep pits 2 to 3 meters in size could be seen everywhere. The sound of thumping collisions constantly came from the empty cave. Sheen who was in pain and could only divert his attention in this way to reduce the pain caused by this itch. He felt that his two ribs were on the verge of being poked through by something. It was very uncomfortable. Like there was something that couldn't wait to come out from here. At the same time at the two ribs. At this moment, two vortexes were actually created. Sweeping the energy in Sheen whose body toward the center in a brutal manner. Seemingly breeding something. Under this double impact, Sheen who felt that his body was undergoing some changes. The situation was not very good. The energy in his body was constantly being sucked away by the two vortexes in his ribs. And at the same time, the strange itchy feeling disappeared a lot. Instead, another painful feeling appeared. But it was still bearable. Sheen who could not think of anything else, but once again risked the danger of being broken by the huge energy to lie down on the edge of the pool, and constantly swallowed wildly the ground milkstone marrow liquid inside. At this moment, his body was too hungry for energy. The energy from the outside world was frantically swooping into Sheen whose body, and then being devoured by the two vortexes at his two ribs, and between the back and forth, the conversion of energy seemed to have reached a balance. This allowed Sheen who to endure much less pain. But looking at the decreasing amount of earth milkstone marrow liquid, a trace of worry surfaced in Sheen Hu's heart. The evolutionary shackles in his body had been completely broken, and Sheen Hu hadn't even had the chance to experience this powerful strength after evolving again before he was tortured into what he was now. He could only barely maintain his current state. With the massive amount of energy pouring into Sheen Hu's body, the vortex at his two ribs was maintaining a state of high energy input, and at the moment, it seemed to be showing some signs of being full. Taking a look with his eyes, Sheen who was startled, only to see the original two ribs, at the moment even gave birth to two basketball-sized sarcoma, and also in the continuous expansion of the larger, like a balloon, seems to have the risk of explosion at any time, Sheen who lying on the edge of the pool, I somewhat stagnant looking at this sudden change, the whirlpools in the two ribs slowly slowed down, and the demand for energy was no longer so strong, returning to his senses, Sheen who took a breath and then allowed himself to relax a bit before continuing to devour the earth milkstone marrow in the pool again. Put. Sheen who felt a fiery pain in his double ribs. Then he heard the sound of rupture in his ears. When he twisted his head to look, the flesh tumors at the place of his double ribs unexpectedly broke open, and a pair of flesh-colored general wings appeared from the middle, which were bare, and looked a bit oozing. This pair of flesh wings was only the length of an adult's arm, and it looked as if it had not yet been fully birthed, perhaps due to the lack of energy. Sheen who seemed to have thought of this reason, and began to gulp down the earth milk stone marrow into his mouth to make up for the lack of energy. Sure enough, in Sheen whose efforts, the two ribs out of the pair of flesh wings just bred broken out of the body with sufficient energy to supplement, at the moment is to the naked eye visible speed to become plump up, as if pumped with gas, they began to derive and plump up. However, in a few minutes, this pair of flesh wings grew to the size of 2 meters, and the wings stretched out to be more than 4 meters long to the point that it matched the size of Sheen whose eyes. When the ground milk stone marrow in the pool bottomed out, Sheen whose newly birthed wings were also completely plumped up, and were considered to be in full form. He also didn't expect his body to undergo such a special evolution after breaking the evolutionary shackles and evolving again. If there wasn't this pool of earth milk stone marrow liquid to provide a huge and sufficient amount of energy, relying solely on Sheen who himself, he didn't know when he would be able to collect such a huge amount of energy to complete the breeding of his newly grown wings. This was truly an unexpected blessing. Sheen who at this time also shifted from the stun state he was in just now to the ecstasy he felt at this moment. Extending the remaining part of the energy in his body between his ribs, he moved his consciousness and waved his wings. And surprisingly, they really moved, with no rawness at all. And the two wings became one with Sheen who, this is simply like a tiger adding wings ah, tentatively waved the wings of both ribs, actually really moved as he expected, lifting the clouds in all directions. And with the Chin who will pull all of the ground milkstone marrow to swallow empty. Originally cohesion in the upper part of the cloud also disappeared. The clouds in the cave also seemed to begin to overflow in all directions. No longer so dense. More a little empty. Before and after only a few minutes time. The clouds in the cave completely dissipated. The surrounding environment also returned to the original appearance. Chin who swept a glance and his complexion brightened. This kind of special geographical environment. There must be more than just the ground milkstone marrow as a strange thing. Feeling the condition in his body, Sheen who frowned, breaking the evolutionary shackles had consumed a large amount of earth milk marrow, while nurturing his wings had also consumed a huge amount of energy. 
Even with the earth milk marrow pool supporting the bottom, Jean whose body also had little energy left, he urgently needed the accompanying exotic things around him to replenish the over-consumed energy in his body, or else he would not be able to cope with the mutated brown bears that had arrived at the sound of their voices. With a plan in mind, Jean who began to move, counting the time, the group of mutant brown bears should also be on the way to the cave. He had to hurry up, or else he would not be able to get out of the cave when he was trapped to death in the cave. Scanning down in the cave, Jean who immediately saw two mutant wild ginseng, strong and powerful roots set in the rocks to draw liquefied dewdrops, fat and tender rhizomes are exposed, and there are seven crystal leaves on the top of the head. Not only that, in the surrounding rock wall, Jean who also saw many strange, but do not know the name of the strange things. Based on the principle of not wasting, Jean who dug them all down from the walls around the cave, originally also indestructible rock, in Jean who break the evolutionary shackles, but also became unbearable. With a claw digging, a little effort can also cut the rock. Unlike before that, claws across the rock can only send out a metallic sound. The rock wall cannot cause a little damage. Packing up all the collected items, Jean who took another look around and licked the drop of ground milk stone marrow that had just dripped down, confirming that there was nothing left behind before he was satisfied and ready to leave. Meanwhile, at this moment, outside the cave, the mutant brown bear king led nearly 200 adult mutant brown bears to surround towards this place. They were raging, with a complete demeanor of devouring their enemies alive. Many of the mutant brown bears didn't know what was happening, but they were able to hear something from the king's voice. In a few minutes' time, however, the mountains and rocks shook, the leaves swished, and a fierce wind and dust swept along with them. The mutant brown bear king led the charge at the forefront. Looking at the original clouds surrounded by the clan's holy land at the moment even without a trace of strange scenery, the heart suddenly felt bad. After running forward for some distance, a large corpse fell down in front of him, the blood that flowed out stained the soil along the way, and similarly turned the place scarlet. Ho ho ho! There was no more life, it was completely cold. The mutant brown bear king had completely lost his mind when he saw the scene, and he furiously pounded his body, wanting to vent out the anger in his chest. At the same time, the irrational him even instantly ran wildly towards the cave. However, not waiting for him within the cave, a black shadow instantly swept past his head, crashed into the rock wall next to him with a thud, and then staggered and soared into midair. The mutant brown bear king looked up at the black shadow that had just flown past, and froze for a second or two before judging from the strong scent remaining in the air that the one that just now was the intruder that had intruded into their clan's sacred ground. Roar roar roar. A series of angry sounds erupted from his mouth and the mutant brown bears surrounding him all looked up at the sound. Jean who staggered and controlled his body, trying his best not to fall from dozens of meters in the air. The most crucial thing was that there were too many mutant brown bears below, despite the fact that he had now broken the evolutionary shackles and was so powerful that he didn't even have a bottom line. He had just finished evolving and had used up a lot of energy to cloud a pair of wings. So Jean who didn't have much power to fight back right now, once he fell from the air, he would have to face the siege of several hundred mutant brown bears. With such a huge consumption, I'm afraid that the one who will be boiled to death will be Chin Hu himself. Even though it was assisted by the mystic energy, the mystic energy had been consumed too much just now when it had birthed a pair of wings. It had turned from a pool of water before into a small puddle now. Therefore, when he heard the commotion in the cave, Chin Hu swallowed the two mutated mountain ginsengs he had just dug down without the slightest hesitation. After having some energy in his body, Chin Hu began to flutter his newly birthed wings. Initially, Apart from kicking up a gust of wind, Jean whose body did not fly. Instead, his body crashed into the rock walls on both sides. After practicing several times over and over again, Jean who barely managed to control the speed and power of his wings flight, allowing his body to be driven off the ground as well. There was also the scene where the mutant brown bear king went into the cave and saw Jean who staggering and fluttering as he crashed into the rock wall. Even though the two sides were separated by dozens of meters. The mutant brown bears on the ground still refused to give up and followed Jean whose flying figure to the death. While in a trance, Jean whose body was rolled by the scurrying air current and instantly flipped and descended towards the ground. Jean whose body surged out a force extended to the wings. In less than 20 meters from the ground in midair barely maintained the figure, avoiding the scene of falling to the ground by hundreds of mutant brown bears ravaged. Just after stabilizing his figure and fluttering his wings to continue moving forward, Jean who felt a wave of weakness in his body. The energy needed to maintain the wings to fly was somewhat large, so much so that Jean who could not bear it somewhat now, glancing at the mutant brown bears on the ground that were still following closely, Jean who looked up and flew towards the distant cliff, he had to get rid of the pursuers behind him as soon as possible, or else when the energy in his body ran out, the consequences would be too terrible. Night came, and the air was filled with flurries again, 
the wind that blew past was even colder and more bone chilling. Even though Qin whose body had already reached the point of invulnerability to heat and cold before, he now felt a hint of coldness, the gas that was exhaled, which was mixed with some moisture, was instantly frozen into small pieces of debris that fell to the ground, the wildly roaring cold wind, coupled with the snowflakes drifting across the sky, was likewise a rare scene for the mutated creatures living in this mountain forest, before this, although the winter temperatures here were low, they had not reached this level of unprecedented blizzard scenes, it had started blowing from the evening until the night fell now, and there was no tendency for it to stop or weaken, this made Qin whose situation somewhat difficult, although he had hunted a mutant pheasant to pat his stomach, it was not enough, coupled with the fact that the weather was harsh at the moment, I'm afraid that there weren't many mutant creatures out foraging, Qin whose chances of trying to replenish his energy in hunting for supplemental mutant creatures became even more remote, Qin who found a thicker tree, squatting alone behind it, looking at the sides of the wind and snow whistling through, suddenly some missed the tiger father and mother and the three little ones, I do not know how they are now, whether they have guarded the territory, whether they have not been bullied by other mutant creatures, the feeling of loneliness instantly surged into Qin whose heart at this moment, roar roar roar, in the midst of the raging storm, a sound with a very distinct difference pulled him back from his out-of-body state, Qin who listened carefully, the sound was coming from not far away, meaning probably to continue searching forward, originally, Qin who thought that this group of mutant brown bears would not be able to bypass the cliffs and run out for dozens of kilometers to search and track themselves, however, he miscalculated, this group of mutant bears were like a kicked flathead, they would not stop until they found the enemy and fought, Qin who did not know that after he stumbled and flew away, the mutant brown bear king returned to their clan's holy land with a group of clansmen, after collecting the old brown bear's corpse with a saddened mood, he then remembered the clan's holy land that was guarded by him, when the mutant brown bear king led a group of clansmen into the cave, and saw that there was originally a pool full of earth milk marrow, and there was only a bright pool left, the strong and savage mutant brown bear king's huge body couldn't help but shake for a while, when looking around and seeing a pitted gap above the rock wall, he almost didn't spit out a breath, simply then bandits into the nest spoiled the scene more let the bear nest, it was precisely this that made the mutant brown bear king, who had already given up the chase, rise up with infinite anger, after leaving one third of his clan to guard the valley, he immediately took the remaining 200 mutant brown bears with him and chased after Qin who in the direction he disappeared, even though the storm was raging at the moment, these mutant brown bears had no intention of stopping, if Qin who knew how much fire these mutant bears were harboring in their hearts, he would have been ready to run away, but now after hearing the voice of these mutant bears, Qin who instead played a different calculation in his heart, thinking about how to find some prey to replenish the consumption, these bear cubs will send themselves to the door, hearing the commotion, Qin who didn't hide under the tree anymore, while there was still some energy in his body, he was ready to give it a go, after all, the bear bile was not much in terms of both flavor and the energy it provided, plus a few hundred pounds of meat from a mutated brown bear, all of this was enough for Qin who to take a breather, planning in his heart, Qin who immediately scurried out, braving the wind and snow, still moving with a normal sized body, the current weather provided him with excellent cover, blowing away the breath and concealing the figure, judging the location, Qin who picked a tall tree and climbed it with agility, crouching on the trunk high above, quietly waiting for the fallen bear cub to appear, the wind and snow whistled and blew, making the place where Qin who stood also a little shaky, after waiting for about half an hour or so, Qin who finally saw the figure of the first mutant brown bear, they were indeed searching for Qin whose traces, and they were still growing lines, carpet groping their way forward, Qin who didn't act rashly and quietly watched the 4 meter tall mutant brown bear passing by below, the weather at the moment also made these searching mutant brown bears shiver, they weren't very well off either, despite their thick fur and fat, this kind of weather was really too harsh, beyond their imagination, the more they left the densely populated mountain forests, the colder the air became, and even the rocks in some places were frozen and cracked, 10 minutes after the first mutant brown bear had already left, slowly another mutant brown bear came staggering over, its size and height were smaller than the bear cub that passed by before, and it wasn't particularly resistant to the cold, under the blowing of the stormy snow, it was already shivering from the cold at this moment, it was also because of resisting the cold that made its reaction a few points slower as well, Sheen who also didn't expect this mutant brown bear king to actually be able to command this group of bear cubs to form two search lines to advance, however, Sheen who judged that they shouldn't have a third line left, and there were no other mutant brown bears coming afterward, moreover, after squatting just now, Sheen who also knew that there was one every one or two hundred meters between this group of mutant brown bears, a few minutes apart, they passed on their information through roars while reporting their search findings, roar roar roar, 
After the mutant brown bear in front of him roared to his companions in the distance to indicate that he was unharmed, Sheen Hu, who was squatting on the tree, immediately moved. Both wings stretched out silently, the energy in his body extending to his wings. Sheen Hu shook and glided down through the wind and snow. Before the mutant brown bear could react, Sheen Hu's body steeply grew in size and bit the neck from behind. By the time the mutant brown bear sensed the pain, and its throat wanted to make a sound to warn its companions, a crisp click sounded, and its head hung crookedly to the side, and its body violently sent out a burst of huge force, but it could only hit the snow without making any noise. Having thrillingly and swiftly resolved the mutant brown bear, Sheen who became somewhat excited. Although this mutant brown bear hadn't yet broken, Sheen who wouldn't waste time waiting for it to break. Taking advantage of the fact that the other mutant brown bears hadn't discovered anything unusual yet, Sheen who stretched out his sharp claws and cleanly pulled out at the mutant brown bear in front of him, picking off a slightly smaller mutant bear bile and swallowing it. Sheen who felt warmth rising throughout his chest and abdomen, expelling some of the cold from the outside world. A mutant bear bile could provide Sheen who with roughly 1% of his original energy total, and the mutated brown bear that had its bile taken was completely immobile at the moment. Sheen who acted quickly again. A little later the bear meat should be frozen hard, although it can be eaten, but it pinched his teeth. A glance, this close to 500 pounds of mutant brown bear if all eaten into the belly, should be able to provide about 15% of the energy. If he hunted a few more mutant brown bears, Sheen who would probably be able to make up for the energy he consumed. With food and replenished energy, Sheen who wasn't restraining himself and started eating quickly in his giganticized form. He was prepared to hunt as many as possible to make up for his consumption before this group of mutant brown bears discovered the abnormality. Even if he couldn't eat so much bear meat, picking a few more mutant bear bile to make up for it would be worth it. Within a few minutes, several hundred pounds of meat were devoured by the gigantic ice Chin Hu. Borrowing the shelter of the wind and snow, Chin Hu started hunting again. The wind and snow remained, and the temperature continued to drop. The mutant brown bear king was followed by four or five smaller clansmen, even though they had thick skin and flesh. In the face of this extremely harsh weather, they were also frozen and shivering a bit. However, the mutant brown bear king's intention to search for Jean whose traces had not been extinguished, but instead had become even more elevated. After all, the enemy they were searching for also had to face such harsh weather, plus the fact that their herd was large in number. The advantage is mine. Howl howl howl. After howling at the top of their lungs for a while, the sound of replies came from the surrounding mountains and forests one after another. But the replies didn't yield anything. Just as the mutant brown bear king was about to lead a few of his clan members to continue walking deeper into the mountain forest ahead, a sharp sound came from the distance. They hurriedly stopped and listened. Roar roar roar. Another sharp sound came. And the mutant brown bear king's complexion changed a little. There was something going on, indicating that the enemy had revealed their traces. Hurriedly, it ran furiously towards the back. In just a few minutes, dozens of mutant brown bears gathered here. In the wind and snow infested mountain forest. Dozens of mutant brown bears surrounded each other, causing the temperature of the surrounding air to rise quite a bit. Looking at the skeleton that was resting on the ground in front of them, the mutant brown bears surrounding them even felt a chill go straight to the sky. Only the mutant brown bear king remained unchanged, crossing over the figures of his clansmen and arriving in front of the skeleton, carefully sniffing the residual odor in the air, as well as parting towards the footprints left by Qin Hu and the surroundings. Roar roar roar. The mutant brown bear king's voice resounded through the mountains and forests. Once overpowering the sound of the wind and snow whistling through the forest, the sound traveled out far and wide, and even Chin Hu, who was several kilometers away, heard it. Ignoring this provocative voice, Chin Hu continued to search for the single mutant brown bear. With the energy support in his body, Chin Hu also had the confidence to face the ever-changing temperature. His goal was to kill two more mutant bears. As long as he devoured them all, he would be able to recover about half of his strength. At that time, whether to fight or leave, Sheen who had the initiative. As long as he waved his wings and flew into the sky, no one would be able to catch up with him if he had enough energy. The snow in the mountains and forests was getting thicker and thicker, and the snowflakes drifted down like cotton wool. The wind finally stopped raging, making the mountain forest slowly become silent again. The mutant brown bears changed the direction of their search and began to continue traveling towards the back. Sheen who didn't use the previous ploy, but found a slightly open place, weakened his body and then buried himself with snow. The snow was empty and permeable to the wind, not hindering breathing, while also concealing his figure and masking his odor. As long as Chin Hu didn't move, these bear cubs didn't step on the snowy ground where Chin Hu was hiding. I'm afraid it would be hard to discover his existence. Chin Hu waited quietly, relying on his keen sense of hearing to perceive the changes outside. Perhaps these mutant brown bears could also realize Chin Hu's threat. 
When they searched further back, they all traveled in pairs, Sheen who listened to the movements outside, and the slight sound made by the bear's paws stepping on the snow was even more obvious to his ears. In order not to scare the snakes, Sheen who thought for a while, as long as these two mutant brown bears did not actively discover him, he would let the two bear cubs go. After all, behind them, there were more mutant brown bears, and it was the two in the back that Sheen who was prepared to hunt. The two mutant brown bears were alert to each other as they searched towards the front. They were more likely to explore some relatively hidden places. At the same time, they also tried to stay away from the tall trees around them. Instead, the ground was a place they rarely paid attention to. After all, they were deeply impressed by the miserable condition of the mutated brown bear just now. As they supported each other and walked forward, both of these two mutant brown bears carried a hint of uneasiness in their eyes. When they passed by the place where Chin who was hiding deep, they could even hear the thick breathing of the two mutant brown bears from a distance of 7 or 8 meters. Luckily, these two bear cubs were the same as Chin who expected. They didn't discover where he was hiding. After all, in their impression, Chin who had always been a behemoth of an image. After the two bear cubs passed by Chin who's hiding place, the surrounding mountains were once again quiet. Chin who didn't know how far apart the group they were searching for was, so he kept his body tucked in and maintained a posture without moving. Roar. A bear roar emitted a roar from not far ahead towards the sky. A similar sound followed in the distance, like a relay race, rising and falling in succession. Chin who also felt a little surprised when he heard it. After all, as long as the brown bear in the middle of that position didn't make a sound in response, the mutant brown bears in the surrounding area would be able to immediately discover it. In this way, the time left for Chin who was even shorter. After waiting for a few minutes, the other two mutant bears also followed immediately. Chin who quietly moved his slightly stiff body, and then prepared himself for the next hunt. Gently exhaling a mouthful of hot air, melting the snow covering the front of his nostrils, revealing two holes, Chin who glanced down. After seeing that the two mutated brown bears were indeed heading towards this place, his mind immediately pondered. Roar! After another reported bear roar came out, Chin who was ready to act. In the short time he had, he had to take down the two mutant brown bears as soon as possible and then replenish them as soon as possible. He couldn't be besieged by the huge number of mutant brown bears here, slightly adjusting the angle of his body. Just as the two mutant brown bears passed by, Chin who instantly scurried out from the snow where he was hiding, and at once aimed at the back of the neck of a nearby mutant brown bear, the tiger's mouth opened wide and bit with vigor, then without looking at the result, he directly dodged towards the other mutant brown bear next to him. Ho ho! The roar in his throat had just reached his throat when Chin who slid his throat in one fell swoop, and a large amount of blood poured back into his windpipe causing this mutant brown bear to only make a ho-ho sound. Both mutant brown bears were resolved by Chin Hu, and the entire process took less than 5 seconds. Although neither of them were killed by Chin Hu in the first place, they lost the ability to call for help from the other clansmen. The mutant brown bear whose throat had been slit by Chin Hu suffered pain and desperately fled in the direction where the other companions were. Chin Hu landed in front of it with a few jumps and sent him off to start a new life without mercy. The other mutant brown bear struggled me, but eventually lost its life due to suffocation. Chin who quickly pulled out two mutant bear bile and then swallowed them. The energy in his body was dabbling in recovery. Chin who didn't delay, and directly expanded his size and started to swallow it in large gulps. If Chin whose prediction wasn't wrong, in another two to three minutes, what happened here would be discovered by the other mutant brown bears. Therefore, within just a few minutes, Chin who could only devour as much bear meat as possible. What should be given up still had to be given up. Roar. The roar of a bear not far away had sounded and Chin Hu unhurriedly cut off a piece of a dozen or so pounds of bear meat with his claws before swallowing it whole. He then remained eating the meat amidst the angry roars of the other mutated brown bears. With these two bears meat as a base, Chin Hu had accumulated enough energy to soar in the sky for a while. Therefore, Chin Hu didn't intend to play hide and seek with these bear cubs, he just devoured the rest of the bear meat in place and waited for the other mutated brown bears to arrive. As Chin Hu continued to eat, large mouthfuls of bear meat were swallowed into his belly and a steady stream of energy was transformed and stored in his body. After eating one mutant brown bear, until he had eaten a third of the other one as well, a rumbling sound came from the mountain forest not far away. Sheen who rushed to pick up a bite, then swallowed it unhurriedly. Raising his head, he glanced at the mutated brown bears that were besieging him in all directions. Sheen who calmly pressed the mutant brown bear corpse at his feet with his claws, tore off another chunk of meat from the fattest belly and swallowed it. This feeding scene caused the mutant brown bears surrounding the area to become enraged, furiously digging into the ground with their bear claws, if they hadn't gotten an order from the mutant brown bear king, they would have swarmed up and eaten Chin Hu alive. Roar! As a violent, thunderous bear roar came, 
Many of the mutant brown bears surrounding the perimeter consciously took a step back towards the sides, making way for a path. A huge and cold figure walked towards the direction where Qin Hu was. With just a glance, Qin Hu felt a strong killing intent and battle intent. If the other party is not too many, I am afraid that Qin Hu will really fight with the other party in this mountain forest, both to decide life and death, as well as to divide the highs and lows. Roar! The mutant brown bear king arrived, and Qin Hu responded to the other party's strength with the same tiger roar. The surrounding mutant brown bears had already waited impatiently. However, Qin Hu didn't care and didn't have a trace of awareness of being surrounded in a desperate situation. Sweeping a glance at the surrounding group of mutant brown bears, he licked his tongue, having swallowed three mutant bear bile in a row. He coveted the taste of this strange thing. Roar! Finally, Qin Hu's eyes that were just looking at food enraged the mutant brown bears. After receiving the order from the king of their own clan, the mutant brown bears that were surrounding them on all sides finally felt that they had a use for it. Roaring and grimacing, they tore towards Qin Hu. Roar! Although Qin Hu wasn't afraid of fighting, he was still a little panicked at being surrounded by hundreds of mutant brown bears. After letting out a tiger whistle, Qin Hu extended his wings under his ribs with a whoosh. Energy poured out. Fluttering his wings, his feet stepped on the incoming mutant bears to utilize the force and then headed for the sky. The wings waved, creating a huge wave of wind, and the surrounding snow was also swept over. The mutant brown bears swarmed, but allowed Qin Hu to fly away from midair. The mutant brown bear king had expected Qin Hu to do this, and just as Qin Hu's body soared up, his huge body suddenly lowered a knot, and his legs stored up their strength and came out. With a loud whoosh sound, the mutant brown bear king's thick body was like a black shadow, jumping up from the original place to a height of more than 10 meters, coming towards Qin Hu who had not yet completely lifted up in the air. This sudden move of the mutant brown bear king also scared Qin Hu, as his body soared up. He was about to soar around in midair to taunt these bear cubs when a huge black shadow came from far below, accompanied by a bear's paw that grabbed at him. With a whoosh dodge, Qin Hu's back brushed against the mutant brown bear king's paw. Boom! A heavy smashing sound rang out, splashing away the surrounding snow, revealing a half-meter deep mud pit. Qin Hu breathed a sigh of relief, then continued to flap his wings and flew some distance above. About 50 to 60 meters from the ground he stopped rising and instead soared around, drawing circles. Tossing back and forth right above the heads of the group of mutant brown bears, Qin Hu's provocative behavior, unsurprisingly, made the mutant brown bears below even angrier. Obviously, the enemy was right in front of them, but they couldn't catch them, not to mention tearing the enemy apart and devouring them. Deafening roars rose and fell in the mountain forest below. Qin Hu had devoured more than two mutant brown bears and recovered more than half of the energy in his body. Even though he had regained his size and his wings consumed a little more energy, but he could carry on. Perhaps feel in the sky circling provocation is not too much. Sheen who again towards the group of mutant brown bears can dive, and then halfway pull up. After two or three times, the mutant bears below began to grab the rocks on the ground and throw them towards the sky, listening to the rock blocks swishing across his ears. Sheen who was also a bit unable to dodge. Roar! After letting out a very provocative tiger whistle, Sheen who began to fly in the other direction. Having gotten what Sheen who wanted in this place, he had to get out in a hurry. The group of mutant brown bears behind him was still in hot pursuit. This time Qin Hu, who had enough energy, didn't give them a chance to follow. After flying back and forth for a circle, Qin Hu grasped a little bit of the law, occasionally fluttering his wings, and then using the wind to glide forward, saving energy and not wasting energy in his body. Until he couldn't see the mutant brown bear below the forest, Qin Hu controlled the energy in his body to converge a little bit, and his body also returned to its normal form. Looking down at the mountains and forests below, Sheen whose heart wandered out of a sense of free flight. Flying is always the dream that every human being desires. Now that Sheen who had realized this dream, he felt somewhat unreal instead. After looking around and identifying the direction, Sheen who flew towards the valley where the mutant brown bear community lived. The evolutionary shackles in his body were broken, but Sheen who felt that there were still unknown changes in his body that he hadn't discovered. The wings that grew out of his ribs might be the biggest gain from breaking the evolutionary shackles but there were other evolutionary potentials that he had yet to discover. Before rushing, Qin Hu didn't have any extra time to carefully observe and experience it. Only after getting away from the disturbance of the mutant brown bear colony and settling down would he have the time to explore these new changes. Skimming over the valley, the distance of several dozen kilometers allowed Qin Hu to fly for quite a while, and about two-thirds of the original half of the energy in his body had been consumed. Qin Hu looked la direction, then prepared to find a safe place to land. Although flying in the sky with his wings was exhilarating, it was far less cost-effective than using his limbs to run on the ground. The sound of a crash on the ground came out. Qin Hu failed to control his landing speed, 
and fell again. But the good thing was that there was snow on the ground, so Qin whose fall didn't hurt. Shaking the snow from his body and scanning around, Qin who ran wildly towards the mountain forest in front of him. It's still cost effective to run to catch the road. Wings are only suitable for escaping. Qin who muttered in his heart, and with another glance, he returned to the mountain forest where he had parted ways with the black bear king before. Stopping for a moment to identify himself, Qin who ran towards the previously agreed upon rendezvous point, where Era was waiting for his return in that mountain forest with Little Demon and other juniors. Content is being added. Please visit later. The word count of the content in this chapter is too low. Other sites may still be in the process of updating. It will be automatically fixed later. On the not so thick snow, Qin who slightly opened his eyes, scanned the surroundings and stomped away the two giant wolves lying on top of him before slowly getting up. Today's weather is good. There is no snow and wind and it's not cloudy. Instead there is more sunlight. Instead of shining on the white snow, it was a bit blinding. The black bear king left after delivering the payment promised to Qin Hu. Under the squeeze of hundreds of mutant brown bears, a small group of dozens of black bears like them could only be eaten up. Instead of doing so, it would be better to fight in a different place. And maybe in a few years there would still be a possibility of reproduction and growth. Qin Hu did not have any good advice on this, and could only wish that this group of oppressed bears could live better in a different environment. After resting here for a night, Qin Hu also roughly figured out the changes after he broke the evolutionary shackles. The first thing was that his physique was stronger, and all kinds of bodily functions became more active, like a shot of enhancement potion. The second thing was that Qin Hu felt that his appetite had become bigger, consuming more food and demanding more energy. Finally, Qin Hu also realized that as long as he had enough energy in his body, once it was fully released, his body type could still be strengthened, and his strength could go up a level. But this storming state couldn't last, it could only last for 3 to 5 minutes. It's still good to use it as one's base card to fight for one's life at the last moment. Qin Hu experimented. Under this state, his height can reach 15 meters or so, weight is in 3 tons up, burst out of the horror of destructive force, so that Qin Hu himself are heart shocked. Stretching out more than 2 meters of the tiger palm towards the front chute, directly can be a small mountain to cut flat, no matter how hard boulders, cannot resist the Qin Hu that such as special steel hard tiger claws. At the same time, Maintaining this state would drastically consume the energy in Qin Hu's body, just like a leaky pocket, clattering. In order to experiment with his strength after breaking the evolutionary shackles, Qin Hu let loose a bit in the night. After three minutes had passed, Qin Hu weakly lifted his storming state, leaning against an old tree and gasping for breath, his hind legs trembling with fear and trembling, as if he would fall if he was unsteady. This time, in just one night snack, Qin Hu had eaten two mutant boars of around 400 pounds. Even so, Qin who only felt half full from eating one. If he wasn't afraid of tiring out the seven little brothers who were hunting with him, Qin who was still planning to continue hunting mutated creatures to replenish his energy consumption. Facing the sunlight, Qin who stretched his waist somewhat comfortably, tried his body, and sure enough, it wasn't as weak as it was last night, and then scanned the surroundings habitually. After a night of thinking, Qin whose plan for his next action also had some shape. This trip out to wander around. What Qin Hu did was to break the evolutionary shackles in his body, and now this goal has been accomplished. Now that this goal has been accomplished, coupled with the fact that his strength has grown a lot, Qin Hu also intends to continue to wander around, make some achievements, and at the same time, occupy a piece of mountains and forests, and then coalesce a piece of power out. The previous scene of the mutant brown bear king ordering hundreds of his clan to chase after him made Qin Hu envious. However, with Qin Hu's current strength, Perhaps only mutated creatures like the traveling hunter that he had seen by chance before could pose some threat to him. If it was under the storming state, Qin Hu was certain that he could get rid of the traveling hunter before he fell into weakness. After evolving again, the surgeon's strength added a powerful confidence to Qin Hu. However, the little demon seemed eager to take a trip up to the mountains further north. Qin Hu decided to put aside his idea of expanding his territory for now and fulfill the little demon's request. After all, at the beginning of his evolutionary experience, it was the little demon's desperation to condense the fruit that saved Qin Hu's family. Accompanying it on a journey would be considered repaying this favor. After resting for the night, Qin Hu felt that his state had recovered again. After moving around for a while and stretching his body, the rest of the giant wolf minions woke up one after another, circling around Qin Hu as if to curry favor. The strange things that the black bear king had given to Qin Hu before, except for the two mutant mountain ginseng that he had received, all the others were given to a few of his little brothers. After swallowing them, the body of this group of little brothers also changed, their body size became a bit longer, and their strength was also a bit stronger than before. However, facing Qin Hu, or a tiger claw cannot be received, 
Anyway, Qin Hu took in a few giant wolf little brother to them also do not have high requirements, also do not expect them to charge for their own, usually run errands, do some small things is almost the same. After feeling their boss's corn and big stick, Era and the other six giant wolf little brothers showed even more enthusiasm towards Qin Hu. Roar! After sending out a tiger whistle to gather all the giant wolf little brothers, while the sky was good, Qin Hu planned to leave now. Seeing that it had been almost a month since he had come out to venture out, Qin Hu was not willing to delay much. Heading north, he didn't know how much longer the distance would be before he could reach the place that the little demon had sensed, but he would surely encounter all sorts of wonderful things along the way. Qin Hu had to prepare some in advance. A few giant wolf minions made a sound and gave Qin Hu a word, then ran wildly towards the mountains under Era's leadership. In the past, his strength was not strong and his numbers were small, and he was often bullied by other mutant creatures or packs. But now that he had a strong boss, even the several giant wolves began to branch out. Qin Hu let a few giant wolves go hunting in the mountains and forests. It just so happened that he was a bit hungry now, and he would feel happy if he could eat breakfast without doing it himself. Walking through the snow, Qin Hu felt that it was only now that he got a little bit of winter. Perhaps it was because of the previous cloud that caused the environment to follow suit with unknown changes. The original winter was delayed backward by almost two months or so. This caused the entire environment to undergo a great deal of upheaval. However, Qin Hu did not care about this. The tiger paw stepped on the snow. Making a rubbing sound, the tiger paw pinched a ball of snow. Even some fun. Not long after, there was a ringing in the mountain forest. Qin Hu didn't need to look closely to know that it was a few giant wolves that had returned with an earlier. A two or three hundred pounds of mutant munchak has lost its vitality, but it is still bubbling with hot air. Not dead for long. A few giant wolves let out excited wolf howls. The fresh blood made them act hyperactive. Qin Hu accepted the food presented by a few of his juniors, then left them to hunt for their own food again. A bite on the warm food. The warm energy was transformed over and spread all over his body, making Qin Hu somewhat enjoy these days of meals. Thinking about the meal that had increased a lot, Qin Hu felt that a little brother like a few giant wolves seemed like there could be more. There are still benefits to taking in little brothers. At least hunting can be done without having to do it yourself. Qin Hu thought in his heart, then quickly ate the food that his little brothers had honored him with. A mutant munchak that wasn't too big could only be used as Qin Hu's breakfast, patting his stomach. After waiting for not much time, the remaining few juniors came out from the mountain forest one after another. Looking at the blood left at the corners of their mouths, Qin Hu knew that they had also hunted food. After replenishing his physical strength, Qin Hu let out a tiger's whistle from his mouth and continued along the mountain forest towards the north again. The little demon that had only just awakened from its slumber appeared a little excited, seemingly because Qin Hu chose to bring it to continue its journey northward. Tossing back and forth on Qin Hu's back all the way before finally lying down in a big shape and starting to absorb the sunlight. The sunlight that shone in the mountain forest was reflected back by the snow, and it was a bit blinding. However, Qin Hu was not subjected to this torture and allowed Era to lead the way in front. With enough strength, there was no need for Era to make a detour directly passing through the area where these mutant creature communities lived. As long as there were any mutant creatures that dared to come over to defend their territory, they basically became the food in the belly of Qin Hu and a few of his little brothers to replenish their energy. The further north this mountain forest went, the mutant creatures became much larger in size. However, there were no creatures that could reach Qin Hu's size, except for those special mutant creatures. Therefore, with his current size and strength, Qin Hu could really walk horizontally in this mountain forest. The further north they went, the more different the climate became. With a lot of snow and low temperatures, even if there was sunlight, the climate in the mountains and forests was enough to instantly freeze liquids. Even when Qin Hu and the others passed by, the gas they exhaled turned into small crystal and snowflakes that drifted down. Not only that, the mutant creatures living in these places were also much fewer, and the territorial range of each mutant creature group was also getting bigger and bigger in number. However, with Qin Hu as a backer, Era also took this as a means to toughen up. Roar. Walking through the territories of the other mutant creature clans, a roar with a warning came from the forest without any surprises. Upon seeing the mutant creatures in front of him clearly, Sheen who was also a bit surprised, because what appeared in front of him was actually two mutated northeastern tigers of about three meters, only that the stripes on their bodies were a bit off, with more white coloring, and the king's lines on their foreheads were even clearer. The two unfamiliar mutated northeastern tigers scurried out from the mountains and forests aggressively roaring towards the leading era. Seeing that it was a few giant wolves, the two mutated northeastern tigers also made noises to repel them. Seeing this, Qin Hu stepped out from behind him, then his eyes sized up the two mutated northeastern tigers in front of him. 
This was the first time Qin Hu had seen a mutated kind of this size in this mountain forest, and it was still two heads together. Roar! Qin Hu let out a tiger roar towards the two unfamiliar mutated northeastern tigers on the opposite side. When the other party saw Qin Hu, there was already a hint of doubt in their eyes, and when they heard this tiger roar, their eyes immediately became different. Roar! A roar with a question rang out. Qin Hu was a little excited. These two strange mutated northeastern tigers also possessed intelligence that could communicate. Roar! Qin Hu told Era and the others to pull back and stand behind him, then went up to communicate with these two mutated northeastern tigers out loud. In a short span of 10 minutes, Qin Hu was able to make a simple communication with these two mutated northeastern tigers. It turned out that this group of mutant northeast tigers were not the original inhabitants of this mountain forest, but had migrated here from a more northern region due to the lack of food. Coupled with the change in the mountain forest, they stayed and spontaneously gathered together to form a force, occupying a territory to help each other survive. According to these two mutated northeastern tigers, the tiger king who led them was a huge male white tiger, and they hadn't seen a kindred spirit like Qin Hu, so they wanted to invite them to the center of the territory for a gathering. After hesitating for a while, Qin Hu agreed. One mutated northeastern tiger went back to report in advance, while the remaining mutated northeastern tiger led Qin Hu and the others towards the center of this mountain forest. Along the way, Qin Hu kept communicating with this mutant northeast tiger out loud, trying to extract more information. Coupled with the fact that these mutated creatures didn't have so many plots and tricks, so Qin Hu got a lot of useful information. Moreover, Qin Hu also knew from the mouth of the mutated northeastern tiger that they had once gone back further north, only that there were some terrifying creatures in that area, so they had been forced to return here. When mentioning the terrifying mutated creatures in the deep north, Qin Hu could clearly tell that the mutated northeastern tiger in front of him was fearful from the bottom of his heart. With the mutant northeast tiger as a guide, Qin Hu met several waves of other mutant northeast tigers along the way, both big and small, but all of them were over 3 meters in size. As they got closer to the center of the area, the number of mutant northeast tigers around them increased. Not only could they see young tigers playing around, but there were also some adult mutant northeast tigers that were even larger in size. Their gazes were all cast towards Qin Hu's group. This made Era and a few other giant wolves feel inexplicably uneasy, and a kind of fear that originated from instinct gradually permeated between their minds and bodies. Qin Hu spoke out to comfort them, then told them to just follow him closely. After walking for about half an hour or so, Qin Hu and the others finally arrived at a low-lying area where the temperature was slightly higher than the outside world. The water source here hadn't been frozen into ice by the low temperature, and the water surface was flooded with gusts of smoke, like a hot spring. Quite a number of mutated northeastern tigers were moving around in this area, eating, drinking water, bringing their cubs, and there were even those that were in the midst of their big breeding endeavors. Qin Hu hurriedly glanced at the area. There were quite a number of mutated northeastern tigers here, around 70 to 80, excluding the dozen or so cubs that hadn't grown up yet. It was also considered a strong and powerful colony. Roar! As the mutated northeastern tiger leading the way let out a tiger roar. The mutated northeastern tiger that had run back earlier to deliver the message appeared, following a white northeastern tiger of enormous size, coming towards Qin Hu in their place from a short distance away. With the appearance of this huge white tiger, the mutated northeastern tigers in the surroundings also converged towards this place. Qin Hu detected some not-so-friendly gazes among these mutant northeastern tigers, and looked la the slow state of the white giant tiger in the distance, which seemed to be trying to give himself a downward spiral. Roar! Qin Hu did not eat this set immediately issued a provocative tiger whistle, and then released the energy in his body. His body was expanding and getting bigger at a speed visible to the naked eye. Before that white giant tiger came to Qin Hu's front, a huge tiger with a body size of more than 10 meters stood in this place, and his gaze blandly swept the surrounding area with a glance, which scared those mutated northeastern tigers that had originally converged in this direction into a standstill. Not only were these mutated northeastern tigers startled, but the white giant tiger was also startled when Qin Hu released his original face. The terrifying aura of Qin whose body gave him the urge to run away immediately as he didn't dare to face it. Qin Hu stepped forward, and every step the tiger's paw landed left a massive imprint on the ground. A deep sense of powerlessness rose from the hearts of the surrounding mutated northeastern tigers. Qin Hu watched the back and forth changes of this group of his kind, knowing that their instinct to worship the strong remained, which was also one of the purposes of him revealing his strength, gazing straight ahead at the giant white tiger. If the other party wanted to provoke himself, Qin Hu didn't mind having dozens of more of his kind as minions under his hand. Moreover, after seeing so many of his mutated kind, the thoughts in Qin whose heart couldn't stop bubbling into his mind, must find a chance to take down this force composed of mutated northeastern tigers. Qin Hu secretly thought in his heart, 
Such a large number of a mutated northeastern tiger group gave Qin Hu an itchy look. Even the eyes gazing at the white giant tiger opposite him were a little jealous. However, the other party was also somewhat jealous of Qin Hu's strength. At the time of the initial evolution, the white tiger had gone through nine deaths before it was lucky to survive from this many killings, and then slowly gathered the surrounding kind, pulling out such a weakly powerful herd. But Qin Hu's arrival made him feel a threat. And in the eyes of the mutated northeastern tigers that worshipped the strong, Qin Hu was stronger and more capable of sheltering their territory. The white giant tiger stepped forward, letting his body show, somewhat flaunting his strength. Next to him were three or four smaller mutated northeastern tigers. And when they came closer, these white giant tigers suddenly let out a roar towards the giant wolf minions beside Qin Hu, and playfully pounced forward, then stopped, using this to tease the giant wolves. A few giant wolves were caught a little off guard, where a few giant tigers pounced on the momentum of the stunned, frozen in place, the body is slightly trembling, leaned over towards the Qin Hu. For the tiger group, Qin Hu was considered a powerful clan member, but for the white giant tiger, the leader, it seemed that Qin Hu's arrival was a serious threat to his position. Therefore, he didn't have much goodwill towards Qin Hu and his several giant wolf minions at all. Roar! The white giant tiger opened its mouth, emitting a tiger roar that was somewhat rough, directly driving Qin Hu away with hostility. Roar! Frowning a bit, Qin Hu didn't expect that this white giant tiger in front of him would have really high intelligence, obviously seeing that he had coveted this mutant tiger group, and only then would he exude hostility towards himself. However, this did not affect Qin Hu's response. After all, right now, Qin Hu was still thinking of going north, and was just trying to borrow a passage, only to be discovered by the mutated northeastern tiger patrolling the territory. Roar! The white giant tiger obviously didn't trust what Qin Hu said, letting out a tiger whistle and letting his men take Qin and them away. The fact that they didn't greet Qin Hu and his men at the first meeting was already a sign that he, the tiger king, was jealous of Qin Hu's strength and gave him enough respect. If other mutant northeast tigers, may have been packed a meal, and then collected into the herd began to slowly tempered, hasty goodbye, some unhappy parting of the meaning, several giant wolves followed behind Qin Hu, and a mutated northeastern tiger came out and led Qin Hu in the direction of the north, roar, watching Qin Hu and their departure, the white giant tiger issued a tiger whistle full of majesty towards the surrounding clansmen, frightening the gazes of those females not far away who were staring at them to converge a lot, Qin Hu also did not delay, just in the heart left a mind, and so on their own from the north back, must come to this place once, will these mutant northeast tigers into their own acceptance, while he was thinking in Qin Hu's mind, the mutated northeastern tiger that was leading the way in front of him led them to scurry into a small valley, following this place to continue to the north and leave this area, a few giant wolves looked at each other and followed closely behind Qin Hu, just now, they were surrounded by dozens of mutated giant tigers, and even though they knew in their hearts that they didn't have to worry with their own boss, they were still frightened by the roars and movements of those tigers, if not for Qin Hu's presence, letting them face this group of mutant tigers alone, I'm afraid they would have fled far away with their tails tucked between their legs before they even met them, this time today, it was also considered to be an eye-opening experience for the several giant wolves, along the north, led by the mutant giant tigers, Qin Hu and his group took a shortcut in the territory, but in more than an hour's time, Qin Hu and his group arrived near the edge of the territory, roar, the mutant giant tiger let out a sound to remind that going further would be outside the territory's boundaries. Qin Hu nodded, then continued walking forward. The mutant giant tiger, on the other hand, crouched in place, watching them leave. Qin Hu was helpless. It wasn't the time to take in this group of minions yet, but he had already booked this group of mutant giant tigers as his subordinates. When he had time, he would come, and as long as he subdued the leading white giant tiger, Qin Hu believed that the other mutated giant tigers wouldn't rebel against him. As soon as he thought of this, Qin Hu's pace under his feet quickened by a few points. For the time being, let's just let this group of mutated giant tigers stay here. After leaving the territory of the mutant northeastern tiger clan, Qin Hu was much closer to the mountain range in front of him. In order to reach the depths of the northern mountain forest, one would need to climb over the few low mountains ahead. But the temperature of the northern mountain forest was already cold enough. And to climb over the mountains again, Qin Hu didn't even know if it was right or not just stepped into the mountain forest, the wind began to pick up again, although the sun overhead still shines on the earth, but the temperature here seems to be even lower, a cold wind blew by, and Qin Hu shivered, seeming to feel some temperature as well, further north, perhaps the weather was much harsher, Qin Hu glanced at the few juniors beside him, and then proceeded towards the mountain forest without any hesitation, a few juniors also followed behind Qin Hu, although the climate is a bit cold, 
but they did not want to leave Qin Hu again before the kind of east to hide XZ days. This time, the mountain forest and the mutant creature figure less, only some mutant foxes and so on more. Other all the way to see the small mutant creature has not seen. Qin Hu explored the surrounding area. Occasionally there were one or two mutant birds perched in the mountain forest, but there were not many traces of mutant creature activities on the ground. After leaving this area, it was the territory of other mutant groups. Before leaving, Qin Hu asked the mutant tiger, and it seemed that this was the territory of a group of snow eagles, but Qin Hu hadn't seen this kind of mutated bird before. However, that mutant giant tiger still kindly reminded Qin Hu to be careful of the sky above his head, and if he could, try to be careful when he reached the depths of the northern mountains and forests, and not to mess with that kind of horrible mutated creatures. For this kind of reminder, Qin Hu had already heard it twice. Although he didn't know what this group of mutated giant tigers that had fled from the north had gone through, perhaps it was really like what they said, that there were terrifyingly powerful mutated creatures existing deep in the mountains and forests of the north. Even though it sounded dangerous, Qin who still planned to make a trip, and at this moment, the little demon had already been tortured by the cold weather outside and hid under Qin whose fur to keep out the cold. It also didn't expect the weather in the north to be so bitterly cold that it even made it shiver to the point of shivering. However, for the sake of that calling voice, he still had to continue to the north. Perhaps there was a substance present somewhere that could guide it to evolve again. The momentum of the wind and snow increased a bit more without realizing it. The snot flowing down from several giant wolves turned into icicles. Sheen who looked at the road ahead, the trees were getting a little thinner. Then after walking for some distance, he was ready to find a place to rest. This ghost weather was really too cold. It was considered that Sheen who was not afraid of the cold, but he also felt a hint of freezing numbness not to mention the several juniors around him. It was good that along the way, Qin who would also take them to the mountains and forests to hunt by himself, and in the meantime, move their bodies, otherwise they were afraid that they would have long been frozen. It won't do to go on like this. Qin who thought for a moment, then led the way in front, his huge body separating the wind and snow from both sides. Several giant wolves lined up in a straight line following behind Qin who as he traveled forward. In broad daylight, the wind and snow blew whistling so that people could not open their eyes, only lowered their heads and squinted to walk. Occasionally, one or two large mutant birds flew overhead, emitting a few loud chirps and then flew away into the distance. Sheen who looked up and felt that the flying bird was a little unsuspicious, seemingly treating them as prey in general, perhaps observing the sky overhead for half a day, and delayed in doing so due to its huge size. However, Sheen who was not worried about the covetousness of individual mutant birds of prey, but before parting, that mutant giant tiger had told him that this area was the sphere of influence of a group of mutant flying birds, and he was afraid that there was more than just this one mutant flying bird. The wind and snow howled, and the weather became worse and worse. A slightly raised hillside became a temporary shelter for Qin Hu and the others to block the wind and snow. Nesting together, avoiding the direct blowing of the wind and snow, the coldness instantly left their bodies. Qin Hu raised his head to look at the originally departed birds of prey that had once again reappeared in the wind and snow ravaged sky. The huge black shadow hovered on the ground, unwilling to leave for a long time, seemingly fixated on Qin Hu and his party. At the same time, because the trees on the ground were sparse and there were no patches of mountain forests, with only a few scattered, Qin Hu's vision of them appeared incomparably dazzling in this white territory. Qin Hu looked at the two circling mutant flying birds in the sky with slightly mimicked eyes. If he didn't want to use up too much energy, he would have been ready to free his wings just now to shoot down these two big birds as food. However, he had just come out not long ago, and the food he ate at noon was still undigested in his stomach, so if there was still no sign of other mutant creatures further on, I'm afraid Qin who would have to do this, before that he didn't want to scare the snakes, ow, oh. after resting for more than half an hour, Era and a few juniors felt their bodies warming up again, their previously numb limbs re-energized their chi and blood and became active, and their mental state was also a bit better than before, Qin who was also ready to depart, chirp, a long chirping cry came from the sky, followed by two huge black shadows rapidly drawing closer on the ground. Qin who turned around, staring up at the two giant birds swooping down from mid-air, his body sinking down a bit, his limbs storing up their strength ready to take to the air. Whoosh! More than 20 meters away from Qin Hu's in their heads, these two mutant birds of prey swept by at breakneck speeds one after the other, their huge and sharp claws underneath their bodies fluffed open, ready to tackle the prey on the ground at any time. It was not known if it was because of the fear of Qin Hu. These two mutant birds of prey began to lift up again at the last moment, giving up the idea of hunting. Qin who glanced at the two big birds that were far away. It was a pity that this place did not have the conditions to build a fire. Otherwise he would definitely eat two roasted chickens to fill his belly tonight. 
A few giant wolves also realized that it was a false alarm and glanced at the still calm boss era with awe in their eyes. It turns out that the boss is more calm and collected than they thought. In the middle of the white snow field, Sheen whose footsteps went deeper. It was lonely, with no sign of life. As far as the eye could see, it was all wind and snow. In the distance, there were no high mountains to block the way. Nor were there mountains and forests to cover them. They were completely exposed to the snow. And it was a completely different scenery from the mountains and forests before. Sheen who was on alert, he felt that there was something wrong with the atmosphere around him. The mutant birds that were originally hovering above their heads were now hovering in the sky thousands of meters away from them, not approaching, just waiting quietly. Moreover, the surrounding zone appeared somewhat abnormal. Sheen who stopped his steps, then pressed his head against the snow and listened. Boom boom boom. A sharp sound stopped instantly. Towards what kind of terrifying giant thing was traveling under the snow? Roar. Sheen who sensed the crisis and let out a warning tiger roar from his mouth, then ran at breakneck speed. Berserk sounds came from several meters deep under the snow, and the ear-piercing sound of the snow mixed with debris being penetrated gave people a heart-stopping feeling when they heard it. Sheen who ran wildly over the snowy plains with several giant wolves trailing behind him. A few minutes after they left their original position, a plant root with a rhizome tens of meters long broke through the soil and broke through to the mid-air position. Subsequently, this plant root seemed to have eyes, and without noticing the traces of its prey, it immediately retracted from its original position and fell into the original hole in the ground. The booming groundbreaking birth in a wild sound. Towards the place where Sheen Hu and the others had sped past in an unruly pursuit. Sheen Hu glanced back. The long rhizome was like a heavenly python, following tens of meters behind them. Sheen Hu finally understood why those two mutant birds of prey were waiting so far away. They already knew that this area was occupied by this mysterious plant. And even soaring in the air could not guarantee their absolute safety. Flying lower could be captured by the roots that suddenly broke out of the ground, thus becoming food in the mouths of other predators. After fleeing for some distance, the rhizomes behind them were always dozens of meters away from Chin Hu. But then, there was a loud sound of breaking ground, and three rhizomes of the same size broke from the ground, coming towards the front with teeth and claws in pursuit. A few giant wolves turned back to look at them and were startled by the tense aura. Their speeds all increased by a large margin. Chin Hu gave way to the front path and dropped himself to the rear. Once this rhizome caught up, he would still be able to respond in time, but the good times do not last long. The surrounding several areas, one after another resounded the sound of breaking ground. In an instant, all the surrounding areas were surrounded by tens of meters sized rhizomes encircling Chin Hu and his party. Roar! The several giant wolves that were dumbfounded by this horrifying scene were shocked back to their senses by Chin Hu's tiger's roar, and again ran wildly towards the gap in the middle of the rhizomes without stopping. Jean who also didn't expect such mutated creatures to be lurking in the middle of this rainy domain. This scene made him involuntarily think of those mutated vines he met earlier. Although they were not as thick, the degree of difficulty had only increased. After getting out of danger, Jean who breathed a sigh of relief. After joining up with Ara and a few giant wolf minions, there was a sense of relief in everyone's eyes. Thinking back to the roots that roamed the mountain just now waving like a madman, Jean who couldn't help but feel a pang of fear. The commotion that emanated from it could be clearly audible from a few hundred meters away. Still careless. Originally, if he could have discovered such an abnormality in advance, I'm afraid he wouldn't have been caught in such a passive situation. Moreover, Chin whose mind instantly remembered. When he left from the mutant northeast tiger colony, that mutant giant tiger that led the way was afraid that he was also under some kind of order to deliberately bring them towards this horrible place. If they could use this ferocious place to accomplish the move of killing someone with a borrowed knife then they would have avoided a lot of dangers. Even if they couldn't, they could still push it away. Thinking like this, Chin who once again found some clues, but now there is no hurry. These things Chin who are in the heart to remember. He is not a generous person, but in the face of other people's calculations, eat a little loss. He has no reason to let go of the people behind the back of the calculation of him. Raising his head to look at the canyon behind him, Chin who decided. This place will be his alternative place from now on. If he returns here again, he will definitely not be so cordial. Perhaps he will become the master of this territory. Sheen who retracted his gaze, comforted the few juniors around him, and found a random place to rest and recover some strength before continuing his journey towards the north. This time, the two mutant birds overhead no longer stayed where they were hovering, but followed Sheen who all the way into another piece of mountain forest. Chirp. Crisp chirping sounds kept coming from overhead causing some annoyance in one's heart. The several giant wolves didn't feel anything about it, and the little demon was unwilling to break away from Chin whose fur covering by the cold weather outside. After breaking away from that snowy wilderness, after walking for some distance, the trees here gradually became abundant again. Not only were there tall trees, 
even the mutant critters moving around were more numerous, Jean who didn't deliberately restrain his little brothers, but instead, he let them go hunting for mutated creatures and try to bring back as much food as possible. After some tossing and turning just now, the energy in Chin whose body had also consumed quite a bit, and he was a bit hungry at the moment. The several giant wolves, after having seen Chin whose divine might, were naturally happy to do these things, after all, hunting this kind of small matter, it was indeed not necessary for Chin who to step in. In the opinion of a few giant wolf little brothers, can't let the boss personally hunting, after all, killing a chicken does not use a bull knife. Chin who led the little demon to wait under a dense forest. The flying birds overhead still refused to disperse, even though the dense mountains and forests here blocked their vision, and there were many less hunting opportunities, they also refused to leave. Perhaps it was because they felt that Chin Hu and the rest of them, outsiders, were relatively fat, both in terms of size and otherwise, so if they could successfully hunt one, it would definitely be enough for them to eat for a long, long time, and the next few giant wolves returned one after another in the mountains and forests constantly waiting to meet the mutant creatures they had hunted on this trip. It was just some small-sized mutant creatures. The largest one was only about two to three hundred pounds in size. Sheen who understands that the environmental conditions around here are not good, coupled with the harsh and cold climate, can provide little food. To feed those large-scale hunters I'm afraid it's difficult. Therefore, this place is a paradise for those small mutated creatures to survive. Going back and forth seven or eight times, Sheen who picked and ate some, Patting his stomach while making up for some energy, a few giant wolves ended up returning with a batch of mutant creatures. When they wanted to leave again, Chin who called out to stop them. Although there were no mutant creatures in this place that could pose a threat to them, too much hunting would also have an impact on the food chain of this mountain forest, so Chin who was controlling them. A few giant wolves returned and began to eat under Chin who's authorization. They didn't eat much, and Chin who purposely left enough food for them after swallowing. 1 to 200 pounds of food per giant wolf was enough for them to make up for their consumption. After eating and drinking enough, Sheen Hu and the others rested for a little while, and while the sky was still dark, they continued to march ahead. After they left, the two mutant flying birds that Shin Su had hovered in the sky also glided down. The leftovers left behind by Sheen Hu and the others became their food for nothing. Although it wasn't much, it was better than nothing, and they got it for nothing. Sheen Hu didn't know and didn't care about such a situation. The climate in the mountains and forests was changeable. Chin who wanted to walk as much as possible. To this place, era and they don't recognize the road. Everyone can only feel their way forward. Chin who walked very carefully, avoiding entering that kind of dangerous zone. As long as he felt that there was something abnormal. Chin who would rather walk a little more to avoid such a zone. It wasn't that he was afraid of these unknown mutant creatures, but in order to protect the giant wolves that followed him forward. In the mountain forest, the wind had decreased quite a bit but the snow had gotten even bigger, like patches and patches of moon snowflakes spraying down from the sky. Without taking a few steps, their backs were covered in a layer of white snow. Every now and then, they had to stop and shake the snow to lighten the weight of their bodies. However, the wet and cold climate in the air also made Chin who a little uncomfortable, and even though he had fur to insulate him, that wet and sticky feeling was still there. This mountain forest that he was walking in now was still quite calm, and Chin who was always aware of the environmental changes in the surroundings and there were no potential dangers. Among the several giant wolves, only Era was more composed. The other giant wolves were more or less mischievous, more like childlike, before the mutation. They are living in such snowy forest plains. At the moment the danger is not there. Coupled with the deep snow, it is inevitable that a few more playful nature, Chin who also does not rebuke, as long as not too far away, let them play, but also not this boring rushing life more fun. Chirp, disappeared half a sound of chirping sound again. Let Chin who calm emotions again a wave. These two mutant birds of prey were like the cicadas in summer, always making it even more impossible to be quiet at the most annoying times. Chin who continued to lead the giant wolf towards the north. There weren't any large mutant creatures surviving in this mountain forest. Only a few small mutant creatures were active, and there wasn't much possibility of danger. Looking up at the sky again, Chin who planned to spend the night in this mountain forest. This way, the danger would be smaller. The sky was still slowly darkening and Chin Hu and the others searched for a short shelter. The snowflakes were still falling, but it had gotten a little smaller. Chin Hu and the others huddled together to prevent being sneak attacked by other mutated creatures, although it seemed very unlikely now. After tossing and turning all day long, the several giant wolves were really tired, and now that they had suddenly settled down, it wouldn't take long for everyone to start miking up their eyes and fall into sleep with the wind and snow. Chin Hu was not sleepy, nor was he tired, so after his little brothers went to sleep, his eyes continued to patrol the surroundings, 
so that if there was any danger close by, he could be the first to notice it. The mountains and forests were silent. The wind and snow whistled. The forest was slightly lonely at night, and coupled with the omnipresent wind and snow, it added a bit more boredom to one's heart. The omnipresent white snow had made Chin Hu already a little tired. After observing the surroundings for almost two hours, there was nothing but the sound of the wind. Chin Hu was a little visually fatigued. Four limbs crossed, the large head rested on it, the tiger's eyes slightly mimicked, a little drowsy, in the sky above his head. The two mutant flying birds that were originally hovering here disappeared after nightfall, and at this moment, thousands of meters away on a mountain cliff, dozens of mutant birds of prey gathered here, working together at the bottom of the cliff to avoid the wind and snow. The two birds of prey that had originally monitored and tracked Chin Hu and the others also flew back from afar, then merged into the dense flock of birds. Chirp! A chirping sound rang out, and the flying birds around them that were originally resting with their heads down all raised their heads. Afterwards, the sound of puffing wings continued to ring out. The dark night was their time to hunt. Now, the two companions brought news of prey. They didn't have to harbor here anymore, keeping their heads down to lower their consumption. The news of food made the numerous mutated birds of prey excited once again. In a short while, the sky was occupied by dozens of mutant flying birds. The sound of the whistling wind became a little more prevalent. Dozens of mutant flying birds led by two companions headed towards the direction where Qin Hu and the others were. The distance of thousands of meters was only the time it took them to fly for 10 minutes. The peacefully sleeping Qin Hu didn't know what was happening in the distance. But soon, the sound of a large number of wings fluttering instantly woke him up. Not long after, Qin Hu heard an abnormality in the distance. And when he looked up again, the top of his head had dimmed a few more points at some point. Chirp! Densely packed mutant flying birds hovered in the sky above their heads and below them was the forest where Qin Hu and the others were perched. What the hell is going on here? Qin Hu looked at the large number of mutant flying birds gathering. His heart was also a bit puzzled. After all, in order to avoid the tracking of these two mutant flying birds purposely went through the dense mountain forest, but these mutant flying birds still found them. And look at the momentum. This group of mutant birds of prey's purpose is not pure. Qin Hu made a sound and woke up the giant wolves resting around them. Being woken up, a few giant wolves were still a bit confused. However, a moment later, their spirits shook again. Ow. Era let out a wolf howl. Obviously the arrival of these mutant flying birds had disturbed its sleeping time. Sheen who got up and glanced at the surroundings. Perhaps these dense woods were able to make these mutant birds of prey think of hunting at that time. But the next moment, Sheen who knew that he had miscalculated. Dozens of mutant flying birds had gathered together, apparently having discovered Sheen who in their silhouettes a long time ago. But they didn't rashly launch an attack. The dense trees around them blocked their line of sight, and also hindered the space for them to maneuver. However, the next moment, these mutant birds of prey made their move. Poof! A mutant flying bird in the lead swooped down from the hovering air towards the dense mountain forest below, and then its wings snapped across the canopy of the trees. Snap! Out of Qin Hu's information, the wings of these mutant birds of prey were abnormally sharp. As their wings sliced through, the fractured cross-section of the tree canopy that fell in front of Qin Hu presented a cross-section as sharp as a blade. This indicated that the wings of these birds of prey were like a sharp blade, stretching out to be able to cut these trees off effortlessly. Qin who was somewhat surprised. Immediately afterward, the flying birds in the sky began to continuously slice through the surrounding dense mountains and forests. Plopping sounds continued to resound, and then the dense canopy of the woods fell to the ground with all the snow. Dozens of mutant birds of prey were all working together, but after a few rounds, there were only a few lone trees left in the place where Qin Hu and his team were perched. The rest of them were all stumps with their crowns cut off. Qin Hu looked at the densely packed mutant flying birds and couldn't help but feel a little worried. Their target was obviously not the behemoth that was Qin Hu, but also the several giant wolf minions under his hand. Roar! Three times they came to annoy them, and now they even brought other mutant flying birds along with them. Soundly coming to hunt Qin Hu and his party, this kind of thrice provocative behavior had already angered Qin Hu, letting out a terrifying tiger roar. Qin Hu let a few giant wolves bring the little demons to hide, while he himself stretched out his wings and leapt into the sky with a flutter. Seeing the original prey actually derive a bunch of wings under their noses and then take off into the air, the mutant birds in the air were also startled. They had never seen such a bizarre scene before. Chirp! A mutant flying bird spotted Qin Hu's trail, then let out an anxious chirp and warning. But Qin Hu had already quickly flown towards the area where the group of mutant flying birds was at an extremely fast speed. Roar! In a fit of rage, Qin Hu's huge size flew close, then his hideous tiger's mouth bit down towards a mutant flying bird. A mournful cry emanated from its mouth, followed by bright red blood scattering from midair towards the mountains and forests below. The blood stimulated Qin Hu's desire to fight. 
and at the same time caused the nearby mutant birds of prey to start panicking, fluttering their wings and starting to move away. To Qin Hu's surprise, these mutant birds didn't even leave the first time after moving away, but instead formed a circle in midair, actually wanting to start a siege against Qin Hu here. Noisy sounds resounded all around, constantly converging into Qin Hu's ears. He was located in the center, and the mutated flying birds around him instantly surged over. With a booming sound, Qin Hu's body was pecked by the beak of a mutant flying bird. Pain came, and Qin Hu was instantly alert. His eyes captured the flight path of a mutant flying bird. Qin Hu raised his tiger claw without hesitation. The sharp claws cut through midair, directly slicing off one of the wings of a mutant bird of prey, allowing the body to hover and fall towards the ground. Thumping landing sounds rang out. Before these birds of prey could die, the giant wolves below surrounded them, and several wolf tooth maws fell together. Before these mutant birds of prey lost their life, Qin Hu was still rolling through the air fighting, but these birds of prey were quite numerous, and their claws and beaks were also very sharp, plus the edges of the sharpest pair of wings, Qin Hu had to be a bit careful. Roar! Qin Hu let out a tiger roar to boost his aura. After settling four or five mutated birds of prey one after another, the rest of the enemies didn't dare to rashly attack. However, Qin Hu had already started attacking on his own. After these mutant flying birds saw that Qin Hu was too strong to have the slightest advantage, they began to flee in all directions at a rapid pace. Qin Hu began to chase after them, and dozens of mutant flying birds were whisked around by him in the air. There was a constant stream of black shadows falling from the sky. Thump 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 thump. Qin Hu could never tolerate someone coveting him, even if the enemy's strength didn't pose a single threat to him. After a chase and massacre, Qin Hu not only didn't get injured, but instead slaughtered most of those incoming mutant birds of prey, except for a few scattered ones that escaped with their lives. The mutant birds colony was already close to extinction. After fighting in the air, Qin Hu's body's energy consumption was also a bit large in order to maintain his flight. After landing, he took a deep breath to even out his breath before scanning the broken limbs on the ground around him. The blood of the mutant birds of prey was scattered over a few kilometers in the vicinity, and there were mutant birds of prey corpses crashing down here at regular intervals. Era was packing up the loot with the remaining few giant wolves. By the time Qin Hu walked over, the corpses of a dozen or so mutant flying birds had piled up into a small mountain in the area in front of them. They were still being carried. Qin Hu went forward and sized up these mutant flying birds, which looked somewhat similar in appearance to crows. Ka Ching, taking a bite and tearing off the wing of a mutated flying bird. Qin Hu chewed a bit. After fading the feathers, the meat inside was a bit strong. Even though it wasn't cooked, it was still a bit tasty to eat. The flavor of the food aroused Qin Hu's appetite and began to feast on it. The rest of the giant wolves came back, and Qin Hu also signaled them to find a new place to pile up the carcasses of the mutated birds of prey and use them as their own rations. In the silent mountain forest, other than the sound made by Qin Hu chewing his food, there were only the diligent figures of the giant wolves carrying it around. Roar! A dozen or so mutant flying birds, Qin Hu was the first to start eating from the two pairs of wings, and then proceeded one by one. Although these mutant birds of prey weren't small in size, the feathers took up most of them, and after removing them, the meat was instead much smaller. But after eating all of them, Qin Hu was also finally a few points full. Era and a few giant wolves were devouring food on the other side, but their speed was not as fast as Qin Hu. After eating and drinking, Qin Hu found a place to lie down that didn't have the scent of blood. Tossing and turning all these for a while made him not even sleepy. What's more, he also added a snack temporarily. Feeling his stomach full, there was even less sleepiness. It wasn't long before a few giant wolves were also full and there were still some mutated flying bird limbs left. The little demon came back on and turned all the remaining ones into his sustenance. After pausing for a moment, Qin Hu urged the several giant wolves to march forward again. With the battle just now, the mountains and forests in this vicinity were covered with the blood of the mutated birds of prey, and with such a large area of blood odor waving and spreading out, I'm afraid that it would attract some mutated creatures as well. In order to be safe, Qin Hu was ready to change the place. Far away from here is also good. Just walked out of the mountain forest not long ago, Qin who heard a commotion. Perhaps it was another mutated creature, or it could be caused by those small mutated creatures living in the mountain forest. In short, everything here had nothing to do with Qin Hu. After continuing on for some distance, finding a clear place and resting for a few hours, the sky gradually turned white again. After Qin Hu stretched and yawned, he stared at the rising sun. The wind and snow were gone, and the sky became clear, only that there was an extra layer of clouds in the air. Lying on the snowy ground, basking in the sun, a warm feeling penetrated into his body from his fur. The remaining few giant wolves similarly bathed in the sunlight. It was a rare day when the wind and snow stopped blowing, 
and they happened to meet the warm winter sun, so they all had a feeling of lethargy in their bodies. Roar! Sheen who let out a tiger whistle, and several giant wolves followed suit and howled up to the sky. Sheen who didn't urge to hurry, but rather bathed in the sunlight in the snow for a while before preparing to hurry. The sunlight was a bit blinding after being reflected by the snow, and they could only squint their eyes slightly as they moved forward. However, fortunately, the trees above their heads blocked some of the blinding sunlight, and walking under the shade of the trees provided a slight relief. Sheen who continued to move forward, not much more the more they walked, the sparser the forest became. After walking for some distance, a rumbling sound came to their ears. Sheen who listened with his ears next to the ground and realized that this loud sound came from underground. It wasn't from other mutated creatures, which made them all relax. When the trees behind them completely disappeared, a vast and boundless snowy plain appeared ahead. Sheen who stopped to take a look and didn't find anything unusual, and continued to march forward again. As soon as he entered the snowy plain, he realized that something was wrong. There was a constant rumbling sound coming from under his feet, accompanied by a slight vibration. Sheen who peeled away the surface layer of snow, revealing the frozen layer below. It turned out that this was a large frozen river, and Sheen who and his party were currently standing above the surface of this large river, and through the frozen layer than the river surface, they didn't see the flowing river water below. It meant that the surface of this river was frozen too hard by the northeast, walking on it without having to worry about stepping on the air and falling into the ice hole. Figuring out the source of the sound, Sheen whose heart breathed a sigh of relief, but just walked out not a few steps. Bang 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 came one after another. Looking up, the several giant wolves that were spreading out on the ice in front of him fell on top of the ice one after another because their feet slipped. Sheen who smiled, then tried the ice with his own melon. It easily cut through and made a crisp clicking sound. There was no danger. So Sheen who was a bit relieved. After all, before he came, he had seen the terror of the mutated fish in the big rivers. Who knows what kind of monsters live in the waters below the ice of this river in front of him. It was the best if he could not meet them. Sheen who let out a tiger whistle, so that a few giant wolves converge a little bit, and only then a little more honest. At a glance, it seemed that the river could not be seen on the other side. Sheen who did not bother, walking behind the giant wolves, the sunlight overhead shone on their backs, also making them feel warm. However, Sheen who was still thinking of leaving this place as soon as possible. After all, this place was too wide. Walking on the white ice, their figures were too conspicuous. Once a mutant creature flew over their heads, their line was a living target. But Sheen who didn't care. After all, he also had wings. As long as he didn't fall into the water, whether it was on land or in the sky, he was able to have a life and death fight with these mutant creatures that dared to covet him. The sound of clicking and clacking rang out. Every time the tiger's paw fell, this sound rang out once, and huge tiger paw prints nine were constantly being topped out behind Sheen Hu. Sheen Hu they continued to walk on top of the ice. A long time passed, but still did not see anything. However, at the next moment, the several giant wolves walking in front of them suddenly let out a sound of alarm. Sheen Hu raised his head towards the direction the giant wolves were looking at. Then his entire body couldn't help but stiffen for a moment. In front of him on the left, in his line of sight, a thousand meter sized huge object was currently standing quietly on top of the ice, like a sleeping terrifying creature. Sheen who didn't expect that the thing he had been worried about had still appeared. After being reborn, Sheen who hadn't visited many places, but he had been thinking about one question in his mind, how to face humans. In his previous life, Sheen who, who was also a human, was well aware of the greed of human nature. But after experiencing the evolutionary changes of the entire biological chain, Sheen who was instead a little less wary of the humans in this world. Several giant wolves similarly looked at the real behemoth that was frozen on the ice. It was precisely the metal behemoth created by human industrial technology. The huge and serene appearance made them shiver involuntarily. The mere size of it made them daunted. Sheen who was equally a little apprehensive in his heart, and took a deep breath before waking up the several giant wolves that were still lost in thought, moving step by step towards the thousand meter cruise ship in front of him. The closer he got to this giant ship, the more Qin who could feel the shock in his heart. He hadn't come into contact with the humans of this world, and didn't know what level of civilization and technology they had reached. But after seeing this cruise ship in front of him, Qin who guessed that the humans in this world were already commonly using thermal weapons, even with his current size of 10 meters, he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to withstand a few missiles. Underneath the thousand meter giant ship, two thirds of it was frozen in ice, holding it firmly in place. After approaching the giant ship, Sheen who handed the little demons over to Era to take care of them, while instructing them to hide below the deck of the giant ship and conceal themselves. He himself was prepared to head to the cruise ship when to explore a bit. From the appearance of the cruise ship, a thick layer of ice covered the entire surface of the cruise ship. 
Moreover, there were no human sounds in the surroundings except for some wind sounds. Sheen who guessed that it was possible that this cruise ship was empty inside, walking out of the area underneath the cruise ship. Sheen who glanced at the deck which was still 70 to 80 meters away from the ground, and then stretched out his wings without hesitation. With energy surging within his body, Sheen who fluttered his wings and quietly flew upwards. He was a little apprehensive in his heart, and his breathing was a little disorganized, both excited and afraid. With a distance of 70 to 80 meters, in less than a minute Sheen who landed on the deck. The surface layer here has also been covered by a layer of cold ice. Sheen who can only extend the claw machine buckle into the ice layer can still stabilize his body. The glass in front of the cockpit had been frozen and shattered, and the environment inside could be clearly seen. Sheen who weakened his body, returning to normal size, and at the same time retracted his wings, and with a single jump, he jumped in through the broken glass. Sniffing, there was no residual unfamiliar scent around. The crumbs of broken glass scattered on the ground were frozen on the ground along with the cold ice. Sheen who also looked around the room and saw only messy scattered objects and bent metal as well as some residual industrial items. There was no sign of humans. Sheen who lowered his breathing and took a step to start traveling inside the cruise ship. The aisles on both sides were not exactly spacious, but they were also about a meter and a half wide. At this moment, all the glass in the original window locations were shattered, leaving only a single framed hole. There were very few fresh traces around, and even less unfamiliar scents left behind. When passing by, one could occasionally see some feces on the windows from the birds of prey still here. At the end of the walkway, human clothes and residual household items permeated the area. Sheen who looked around, and there was not a single human remains, including bones. After wandering around and not finding any living people, Sheen whose heart relaxed a bit. The interior of this place was large and winding, and it was difficult to explore every single place. Glancing at the written markings on the cabin, Sheen who saw familiar Chinese and English markings, his heart tightened. At the moment he just wanted to find these texts or other information to learn more about the humans of this time. With little to gain from this floor, Sheen who advanced up the stairs at the end of the walkway, the text on the side hinted that this floor was a restaurant. Sheen who guessed that the information that could be obtained here should be a bit more. Walking gently upwards, Sheen who even breathed a few points heavier, before seeing any useful information, his mind began to wander. The moment he entered the cruise ship restaurant, Sheen who noticed something unusual. The environment here was chaotic with hardly a single intact item, as if some major disturbance had occurred. The items scattered on the floor were wrapped in cold ice and frozen on the floor. Sheen who stepped forward and looked down to check the items frozen in the cold ice. There were cans of cola that he was familiar with, as well as partially shattered bottles of red wine, and even Sheen who saw a loaf of bread. Along the way, all sorts of familiar objects from his previous life were now presented in front of Sheen who, giving him a feeling like he was out of this world, staying in place and lost in thought for a long time. Sheen who came back to his senses, and the color of confusion in his eyes was swept away. The entire restaurant was large, almost occupying about half of this floor, while the rest of the place formed large and small partition areas. After searching every part of the restaurant, Sheen who did not find any human figures, all of which were scattered with various food and objects, continuing to move forward to the partition areas, Sheen who realized that these walls had left the imprints of many creatures, even at the entrance of a kitchen. He saw a metal doorframe that had been bitten in half by teeth. It was as if this place had been ransacked by some horrible creature. Sheen who continued to explore forward and came to a closed room door mountain. Looking at the thick ice surface that was frozen by the cold ice on it, Sheen who stretched out his tiger claw and slapped it heavily, and the ice surface slowly shattered and fell down, emitting a dinging crisp sound. Using his claws to cut open the door of the solid wood room in front of him, Sheen who saw the scene inside, scattered bedding, broken TVs, and many household items already on the floor. It was a separate private room, complete with everything except for the absence of human figures. Sheen who turned around and walked towards the next room. This floor, a total of more than 30 private rooms. Sheen who opened one by one to check. He found many traces of unknown creatures, but did not find a single human body left behind. Perhaps they were all safely evacuated, or perhaps they were all eaten by the unknown creatures that attacked them. There was not a single living person in the entire dining room area nor were there any other mutated creatures occupying the area. Sheen who looked around, except for the large amount of supplies frozen in the ice layer of the floor, there was nothing else to be found. Coming to an area of the front desk, Sheen who looked at a box of frozen Coca-Cola inside, most of the cans had already been frozen and burst, and the spilled liquid around them had been solidified, but there were one or two cans that appeared to be undamaged in appearance. Sheen who stretched out his sharp claws and cut off all of these parts, using his claws, he cut off one part of the cola that looked intact, a rectangular piece of ice that included a bottle of cola. 
Qin Hu carefully chipped away the excess coal ice around it with his claws, then the tips of his claws easily broke through the ice and snapped out a hole. A piece of coffee-colored ice was pulled out by Qin Hu and placed in its mouth. The familiar flavor passed from its tongue to its entire body. After being reborn, Qin Hu tasted the sweet flavor of cola for the first time in this world. After cutting open the can with its claws vertically and removing the metal packaging on the outside, Qin Hu swallowed the cola that was frozen into ice cubes inside. The cold sensation went straight to the sky. Apart from the remaining food and some scraps, Qin Hu didn't see anything else on this level of the restaurant. He planned to continue exploring a bit further up. It was also unknown where this cruise ship came from and what kind of experiences the humans on the cruise ship had encountered before this. All these Qin Hu had no way of knowing. Stepping on top of the ice layer, everything around was frozen by the cold ice, forming large chunks like ice crystals. Qin Hu stepped into a new layer. There were many rooms here, with a straight passage in the center and rooms on both sides. Some of the doors were open and most of them were closed. Qin Hu moved forward and continued exploring. Judging from the environment he saw earlier, Qin Hu felt that there should be no living humans on this cruise ship. Finding one or two humans who had been frozen into popsicles might be in line with Qin Hu's expectations. Opening a closed bedroom, it was pitch black without a single ray of light. Qin Hu could see clearly that there were only a few remnants of things frozen in the ice. Blankets, toothpaste and toothbrushes, plastic bottles and some shirts and other clothes. Qin Hu didn't dare to be interested in this. The door to the next room was open and badly broken. It looked like it had been violently broken open by some creature, with sharp claw marks still on it. Qin Hu stretched his head to look inside, and as expected, the walls of the room were still covered in blood frozen in the ice, and there were even some human bones on the ground that had not yet been fully digested. Seeing this scene, Qin Hu probably understood in his heart why such a large cruise ship was empty. If this cruise ship had been attacked by unknown creatures while traveling, or perhaps something had changed that caused all of this, why was there no rescue? Qin Hu checked the surroundings and realized that there were no traces of rescuers searching here. In the rooms on this floor, Qin Hu found more than 10 places with bloodstains, and most of them were not very well preserved. Continuing on to the upper floors, Qin Hu discovered more information. On a newspaper that was completely frozen down by the cold ice, Qin Hu saw a tiny bit of information. April 21st, 2078. There was no telling how much time had passed since then. Or perhaps it was just a newspaper that had long since passed its expiration date and had been used for other purposes. Qin Hu walked along the cabin to a separate area at the very top. It looked like it should be a customized area. With a swimming pool, a dining table, a wine cooler and sofas, and other facilities. Looking back, one could see all the scenery at the stern of the ship, which could be said to be one of the best viewing spots on this cruise ship. Most importantly, Qin Hu found a complete human remains lying flat on the floor of the pool in this pool that was frozen into ice. Wiping away the snow on top with his tiger's palm, Qin Hu was able to clearly see this human's face through the ice. This is a white male in his thirties, the whole body without an inch, hands flat on both sides, face looks stagnant, should be in the death before falling into the pool subsequently frozen by the ice, to be preserved. Qin Hu looked up and down a few eyes, and then searched around again, found a cell phone computer and some other communication equipment. Appearance looks in Qin Hu saw in the previous life of the cell phone is very different, more sci-fi feeling. It was just that they had been frozen and broken, and even if they were snapped out by Qin Hu, they were useless. However, these things did allow Qin Hu to confirm one thing, that this world has a complete human civilization, and should be a bit more advanced than the technological level of Qin Hu's previous life. I just don't know whether the historical process and cultural background is different from the one Qin Hu was familiar with in his previous life. With his doubts, Qin Hu continued to search in the cruise ship, the higher up the area, the more things Qin Hu discovered. This should be the area where the rich gathered, and many things made Qin who understand more about the human civilization in this world. What made him even more surprised was that when he came to a spacious room, Qin who found several heavy fire weapons on the ground. Hundreds of bullet casings were scattered on the ground, frozen above the ground. Qin who saw this style of firearms for the first time, and was greatly surprised with the type of weapons he was familiar with from his tree, and didn't know how powerful they were and then look around the distribution of bullet holes on the wall has not far from the human remains. The degree of blood let Qin who are a little surprised, but what surprised Qin who the most was still behind. Seven or eight pieces of palm-sized scales of unknown creatures were scattered on the ground. Qin who walked closer to check them out and used his claws to cut these scales out of the ice. There were many white spots on top of the scales that looked as if they were caused by these bullets. Putting it in front of his nose and taking a sniff, a faint fishy odor still remained in it. Qin Hu guessed that this thing should be familiar with some kind of snake's body. When he chased with that python before, Qin Hu remembered this fishy odor. Was it attacked by some kind of mutated giant snake? Qin Hu put down his scale armor, 
then thought for a moment before continuing onward to the area ahead. It had to be said that the humans in this world were truly unique in their aesthetics, without the gilded decorations. Instead, they were extraordinarily appreciative of the sci-fi style, from the room to the floor layout, as well as the shape and packaging of this item were all more sci-fi and technological than similar products Jean who had seen in his previous life. It gave people a feeling of not being able to afford it at first glance. In this floor area, Sheen who saw a lot of resistance, many individual areas had some remnants of shell casings, and some buildings were damaged and deformed. What Sheen who found even more unbelievable was that in the bath of one of the rooms, he actually saw two humans of the opposite sex being intertwined. There were scattered scale armor everywhere. In a living room, Sheen who even saw a piece of flesh and blood tissue that didn't belong to a human, about a dozen centimeters, also frozen in the ice. After searching most of the areas of this liner, Sheen who felt that he had found a lot of useful things. This cruise ship had been stranded here for perhaps two to three months, coupled with those traces in the cabin. Sheen who guessed that it might be that this ship happened to meet an evolutionary tide, and the animals that the tourists brought on board mutated, and after losing their minds, they killed and devoured all of the human beings on this ship alive. After all, Sheen who also experienced the initial evolution, seen the mountains and forests are full of mutated creatures that lost their minds hunting for food. Standing at the top of the ship, not searching for a living person, Sheen whose heart breathed a sigh of relief. 